the powerful and fictional martial art known as Sosetsuken has had a long and storied history, filled with numerous ups and downs ever since its 1987 inception. Its only practitioners, the equally fictional Billy and Jimmy Lee, have had a similar and turbulent path. This is because Technos, the company that originally owned them, did not want to spend extra money and time localizing their other Japanese arcade titles for the rest of the world, and asked the director of Niketsu Koha Kunio-kun slash Renegade, Yoshihisa Kishimoto, to create something with a more worldwide appeal that could earn quarters regardless of the continent. Kishimoto took inspiration from Mad Max, Fist of the North Star, and various Bruce Lee films, rather than from the rough and tumble days of his high school career. Double Dragon became a smash hit, punching its way to the number one arcade earner spot almost overnight, which of course meant home ports were already on the horizon. And I mean a lot of ports. Uh, a lot of, a lot of ports. This cycle continued with the sequel, the second sequel, and every other subsequent spin-off, reboot, or remake that was released throughout the 90s. All told, there's 60-something games, and I'm going to be taking a look at all of them. Every. Single. One. The portables, the cell phone ports, the delisted stuff, and even some shit that barely qualifies as electronic entertainment. First, some ground rules. One, to keep this within manageable levels, I'm limiting myself to unique ports, meaning I'm going to be excluding ROM dump compilations like the Kunio Kun Double Dragon Collection, the Steam Double Dragon Trilogy, certain mobile editions, etc. These are identical to their original versions, so there's no real point in including them. Two, I'm only going to be playing games where Billy or Jimmy Lee are selectable, so no River City Girls, sports spinoffs, and sadly, no WWF superstars. Finally, and kind of related to the last point, I'm only playing official Double Dragon releases, which means no fan games or Rage of the Dragons. Sorry, but they're just not a part of the canon. I will be taking a look at Rage of the Dragons whenever that announced remaster becomes a thing. A ton of work, time, and research has gone into this video, as I've been planning it for several months and been playing these games for several months more, so, so I sincerely hope you enjoy this extensive deep dive into this classic brawling franchise that I hold near and dear to my heart. So, with that said, put on your bluest or reddest vest, grab your nunchucks, and let us fight our way through the video game history of Double Dragon. Alright, so it all kind of starts here. Double Dragon 1 for the arcade, 1987. Taito distributed this, well, Technos, and oh, let's just put in all, all the credits. Ugh! And thus, the greatest story told in video games begins. <laughs> uh, so, you have punches, you have kicks, you have throws, you have an awkward jump, you have a headbutt, which is just done by double tapping, uh, oddly enough. Like, you'd think that would be dash, they're like, no, headbutt. So that's how cool Jimmy and, Jimmy and Billy are, that they, that they jump like this. I mean, that's how I jump as a child. These are fully grown men with, like, mullets, so I don't know. Uh, that doesn't happen very rarely, them actually grabbing you. I'm not to say that doesn't happen rarely in the arcade version. It does uh, at a fairly, you know, a consistent clip. But all the other versions that we'll be taking a look at, I, I don't think it happens uh, frequently at all. That Mickey Mouse, and we're going to be seeing a whole heck of a lot of that as we go on. You're, you don't have a dash, but you feel quite fast. And it's weird because other Double Dragon games, uh, you know, across all different consoles, platforms, and even much, much future versions, it's slow. But you go back to the original arcade, and except for some slowdown here and there, uh, when you when you play on real hardware and stuff like that, the game is slow. Like, it, it feels very plodding. Wow, no fanfare for that Abobo. He just silently crashed a Kool-Aid man through the wall. That's amazing. And as we're going to see as we, we go on through this, is that Double Dragon is really weird because it's it's almost barely a beat-em-up. Yeah, you go 
to the right, sometimes to the left. Sometimes up and down, and you beat them up. You, you do that, but there's, like, strangely, a lot of platforming. Um, maybe not so much in the original arcade versions, but, like, you know, depending on, on what you're playing. Um, there, there's definitely some manipulation of characters to get into pits. Um, just using the environment a lot more than, like, say, you know, Final Fight 1 or, you know, several other bigger franchises that became bigger. There's, there, there, there it is. That is a kitty, yeah? I see whiskers. That, that is a, that is an alley cat. He is, he's just living life, just chewing on that garbage. That's life for me. Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> this is our Mr. T Abobo. Uh, I actually forget his name. I, I think it might be a a, uh, a Bobo variant. It's really funny that that the Andores from Final Fight kind of took a hint from a Bobos, where they they had slightly tweaked uh, color palettes, hairstyles, stuff like that, and it all starts with a Bobo, greatest video character of all time. Also, really like boss themes in Double Dragon. Like, they, this is dire music as we fight, but he's no, he's no real problem. Bum, 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 bum. So, for those that don't remember, only play console Double Dragons, it's really neat in that it, it exemplifies the belt scroller. We're now in mission two, but it just kind of scrolled to the right because the entire game is just a shitload of screens that you just walk to from left to right the entire way through like that's the game the separate stages don't really load except you know when you're playing various console versions which we'll see just listening to this tune though and how good it is right and how so <laughs> and how bad i am uh, when I think about music like this, and music in Final Fight, Streets of Rage, lots of other beat-em-ups, I go back to John, uh, John from uh, Digital Family's video on beat-em-ups and talking about the core principles of the genre and how music is such an integral part of it. Like, I, I dare to say more integral than, like, say, a fighting game and stuff. Because you're doing rep- Oh, no! Ooh, don't worry, we got a lot- I got lots of quarters in my pocket. Don't you worry. Um, because you're doing, you know, what's considered a lot more repetitive actions than a fighting game, right? There's less strategy, depending on the, on the game or franchise or series that you're playing. So really good music that keeps you jazzed and pumped up, that keeps you just jacked up. You need that. You absolutely need that. Oh, slow motion box. This box appears throughout the series, uh, throughout the first two games, at least, I believe. Oh, that Linda's going in. Bye, Linda. There's that famous slowdown. You got to keep the slowdown in every every subsequent port of, of Double Dragon 1 Arcade. You have to keep it. It's a feature, really. I don't know if this dude actually has his own unique name. In, in some of the uh, console versions, he looks uh, a bit different, like he, his hair, he's kind of got a Vegeta Widow's Peak hairline here, but in some of the console versions, he's he's just a a palette swapped to Billy or Jimmy. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 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 get over there. No, I'm threatening you, you gotta respect the headbutt. Respect it. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This is this is the thing I love about Double Dragon in general. Uh, even compared to Final Fighter Streets of Rage, yeah, those games sometimes, very rarely have uh, situations where you can manipulate the AI to fall into pits, hazards, whatever. But Double Dragon's special in that way. All right, that that barrel though, you have to. Yeah, oh, I really, I don't know, Coach, Ref, whoever, any sort of sports authority. I don't think I should have gotten hit by that. I don't think I should be getting whacked in the butt by this bat either. Uh, uh, whip it, whip it, whip it. Oh, I was just about to say whip it good. You ruined it. So we got these wanted posters. They're all around the first couple of levels. I don't know who they're looking for. They change uh, game per game, uh, port per port. Sometimes it's a Bobo. Sometimes it's no one special at all. Uh, I'm not even sure. That, lo that looks like even... Maybe that's a Bobo, the one the one on the right. We're already in the woods. 
because we're starting from the city and we're going to the outskirts of town. It's a nice actual story being told here. You see a little bit of that in like, you know, Final Fight later on uh, with the map screen and it just doesn't feel like an inter, like a not connected set of levels. Like in Final Fight, the, the time of day basically changes. You start off during the day, it goes into night and into the morning. Uh, which is a really nice touch, but like, Double Dragon does it in a different way, just because how the levels are mapped out. Please die. Jesus. So there's this weird hole, this weird sinkhole. I don't know what that guy was hanging around in. That's, that's very dangerous. Oh my god, this a bobo. No, I'm not. That, that takes some getting used to. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna, no, no, I'm going in. Yeah, baby! I put in plenty of quarters. Oh my god, with the overhead toss. Oh yeah! Oh, I'm selling every one of those. Ah, oh, this a bobo, this a bobo! What a beast! Come on, come on, come on, okay. I was, I was acting like, uh, like, uh, uh. Okay, now what? What are you gonna do now? If I even touch slightly to the right, okay. I was, I was seeing what I could push. Yeah, he just ignored that. Just ignored that punch combo. Just throw me. Oh, grapplers, am I right? <laughs> no! Whoa! Whoa! Just raw. Raw 720s. This is even a boss, by the way, if, if you didn't know. Again, very fortunate that I, that I have so many quarters today on my uh, dedicated Double Dragon cabinet that I got in my office. Oh, you're going in. Nope, nope, I'll actually hair pull, throw you forward. Not what I wanted. Oh, it's the hole boys. We're just hanging out near the hole, huh? What's the hole got? Yeah, get in there. Like, do they die in there? Do they starve? Do they eat each other? What's the story? What's, what's the drama that goes down in that hole? Oh, those Lee brothers is never gonna find a hideout down by the caves. So, two thick, uh, finely stacked bobos here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the meat within this bobo sandwich. Very, very not looking forward to this. Get off me. All right, just rock. So yeah, the boss of, of level three was uh, just two Abobos. Okay, that's that's threatening. What do I do? You come up here! No? Oh my god. Alright. Damn it! I knew it! There are very few ways to look cool doing that, and I failed all of them. Come on, take it, take it. Yeah. See, it's cool. It's, it's Hulk Bobo. Bobo. And they're just behind that door going, send out the green Bobo. I think this dude has a specific name. He was in River City Girls 2. I think he was the guy that you have to pay to, to get into the nightclub. What a pull. Okay, good, good. He's dead, he's dead. This, this is what we want. Now I have to kill the, the, the jobbers? That's right. Yeah, just walk away from me. Yeah, he killed the green Obobo. Don't mess with him. Uh, so this is final mission. Got these stupid ass columns. You just gotta bait them. Ooh. And then after that, we got some, I believe, spears. Yeah, look at this crap. Like, I don't know what pseudo religious cult that the that the Shadow Warriors have going on here. Oh my god, I almost made it. I hope no one breaks through this wall. That'd be really bad. That would just be so poor timing. I just need to take care of these guys and move on. I, I don't care how how suspicious this wall looks like. Who would ever bust through a brick wall like this? Especially in the bad guy's own hideout. Let's go! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Two Mr. T's, it's double T! I don't know if I'm beating them. I don't know. I'm not sure if I can. Later that same evening. All right, we're still doing it. We're still we're still fighting hard. We're still getting thrown around. One eternity later. 
All right, got one, got one. You know, big ups to that one section of the wall that's still holding itself together. No, no just, just go to the right. And here, we enter Endgame. And then the theme song comes in like any cool piece of media. This is another weird thing. We'll, we'll, we're going to be talking about it a bunch more, but in most of the arcade games, but not all of the home parts. Billy Lee is denoted as wearing blue and having blonde hair. And Jimmy has brown hair and wearing red. That will seesaw greatly through all the games that we play. And Marion, we'll see her again in a second, but you, you saw her there earlier. She has, like, again, auburn hair, which changes to blonde for some reason. Again, throughout the course of the series. And then goes to platinum white. Thanks to River City Girls. Like, the platinum white does really make, make her stand out a bit more. It's a bit more unique, I guess. But, like, pick a color, you know? For Billy and Jimmy, too, obviously. And up there, we, we have our bad guy, Machine Gun Willie. Uh, guess what he likes to use as his weapon? It's a sword. No, it's... It's it's his namesake. Alright, so he, he... You see how that he absconded there? Not absconded. Oh, there he is! Showing up! He's waiting to make his grand entrance! He's like an NWO member! Just shows up to ruin the fun! And it's a theme we're going to return to over and over and over again, is the inconsistencies uh, throughout the series, uh, throughout all the ports. It's what the creator of Double Dragon cited as a main problem with the series. Uh, Technos really didn't care. They, they farmed all their ports to different places. Hey, you want to put new, new story stuff in them? Yeah, sure, we don't care. Uh, you want Billy and Jimmy to look like this? Eh, that's fine. You want the story to be this? You want... Marion to be dead, you want her to be alive, you want Billy to be, uh, Jimmy to be the bad guy, you want him not to be, I don't know. Hey, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out in the edit. No, that's not how, that's not how it works. Alright, back elbow, really good. Is that it for Willy? No, machine gun, oh, they, they're just like, no, we out, we out, we out, we out, we out. There she is. And you know... At the end of the day, it really was worth it. Pull down your skirt, girl. Cheeky, cheeky little 80s thing going on there. May you live happily forever. I mean, I guess we didn't, like, you know, get, like, the fountain of youth, but we'll try to live forever. It's a tall order. Putting a lot of pressure on us there. But yeah, you get an extra fight if you're playing in co-op. If you're playing with Jimmy, then you have to fight Jimmy for uh, Marion's affections. And this is something that we get taken back in, taken back out, depending on what version you're playing. But that is where it all started, Double Dragon 1. Um, there's a lot to build off of there, and they sure did. And they also built down, they built left, they built right, they built all around all these different directions. So, going back to this, I feel, and our scoring convention will be Bimmies. So I'm going to be giving this 3.9 Bimmies out of 5. But there's so, so many more versions that we can play, so what do we got next? Alrighty, so the NES version of Double Dragon, an absolute classic. A banger of a classic, a classic of a banger. It's been a while, BAM, since uh, I played this. <laughs> The Wii U Virtual Console, maybe? So even from the beginning... Even from the very beginning, um, there's this weird thing where this game is more of a reimagining of the arcade original rather than a straight port. Uh, they, they changed a lot of stuff, right? So the first is that we don't see the car at the start. That's not like a thing anymore. The backgrounds are like a loose version of, of what uh, the arcade original had. And the main sort of thing with the gameplay, I'm sure you know lots of people that are familiar with the series know this, but for those that don't, is that they changed it with more of an RPG leveling style system. That every time you punch or attack an enemy, you get points uh, denoted in the bottom right there. And every time you get over a certain threshold, like a thousand points I believe, you get a heart. 
uh, in the bottom left. Every time you get a heart, you unlock a new move that I think was in the arcade original by default. Here comes two Lindas piled on top of each other, ladies. Thank you for the whip. So every time you unlock a move, you get like the backwards elbow, uh, jump kick, pulling hair, all that type of stuff. And it's neat. I, I think it's a, a, a nice thing to do for a console version to make it feel a little less like an arcade game because that's not typical. No kitty, unfortunately, uh, it, uh, on the barrel here. Kitty should be here, but sadly. And I'm using the barrel just, just for fun. I believe certain weapons don't get you points at all. Uh, punching and kicking and attacking. Oh my god, oh my god. Is is the best way to do it. There, just got a heart. So I believe what that changes is that it changes your ending combo. So you have a, like a roundhouse kick or like an uppercut. Oh my god, Linda. I like the Lindas with the purple hair though. They have a sudden je ne sais quoi about them. Uh, there's a glitch you can do here, but I always forget. AVGN told me about it. You can just ride up these two railings for some reason. It doesn't really amount to much, but we have to go through this door anyway. In terms of glitches, like this game is considered very glitchy. This was like Technos Japan's like second NES game ever. It's why Double Dragon has quite a few uh, bugs and I'd say exploits. Uh, we're gonna do some in a bit. Oh my god, it started right- it started right up! Uh, it has been quite a while since I played this version of the game. Alright, here's a boo-boo. You can't get him to die on this conveyor belt. Except he- if he doesn't want to... Fall! This is where you fall down now! Yeah, oh! Uh, but what? Ah! That's right. Such a good Abobo sprite. Ooh, good stuff. So, I am playing this on the Kunio-kun, like, uh, collection. I just want to check it out. I, I've had them, I've had this collection bought for years, but never, never really went that deep into it. I just got it just to get it. It's like 30,000 games to Kunio and Double Dragon. It doesn't have many Double Dragon games. It just has the first three NES games, but... I mean, technically, those, those were the most successful ports. Oh god, this track, here it comes. Yeah! So I did get another heart. I think that unlocks jump kicking. Yes, you have to unlock jump kicking. It's a little weird. Lo love the uh, climbing animation. It's so classic. Like, he is going places. He has a quest. Gotta save Marion. No more stomach punches, please. That's the thing. Even though you can have casual fun with this, um, one or two mistakes, and like you're almost already dead. But yeah, I remember playing this as a kid. I remember being in level one, um, and my dad looked over and he's like, "Why are they always fighting? Why are you playing games where they're always fighting? It's always violent." And I was like, "I don't know, dude. Leave me alone." He didn't do anything after that. He just made that comment. And I'll, I'll just go back to playing Double Dragon, old man. So you can see that level layouts this is very different from the like the factory second mission. And I personally really like the mission bumpers. Like we saw in the arcade game, it just goes. It is a belt scroller. Pretty sure it's where the term was originally derived from. You just scroll from one background to the other with never a break in between, except, you know, like a little animation. Versus it being much more level-based, which makes sense for the NES, plus I don't think the NES could technically do it anyway. But I like a big thing that says Mission 1, Mission 2, Mission 3, etc. So here's the, here's that first glitch that, that, that we'll use. Uh, most of you must know about this. That's, uh, that's the boss. And now he's dead. You simply scroll him into oblivion, and he despawns. Ah, oh, Christ, here comes mission three. This, is, this mission scared me as a kid, because it made me think of Friday the 13th on NES. <laughs> With the forest background, yeah. Good music, but this is a long stage, and I don't think I ever really got past this. Now, now the kid in The Wizard was able to get past this. He got 50,000, in fact. You got 50,000 on Double Dragon? Okay, I, uh, yeah, I, I got, uh, I got hair. Hair is, hair is now unlocked. <laughs> Billy's just looking at them going, Oh, right, their hair! I can just pull that! 
Me them in the face! This music's so scary. I don't know why it's got to be like that. And in terms of, you know, this being Techno Japan's second game, it's like they just weren't able to get second player uh, incorporated, like, co-op in into this. So that's why the, the versus mode, the versus fighting game mode is even in there. Because they weren't able to get that in there, well, they have no use for Jimmy's sprite. So that's why they changed the storyline from the arcade game where uh, uh, Billy and Jimmy just fight for Marion's affection. And this, it's just Jimmy was behind it all. He was the Palpatine. He was the shadow boss that was controlling Machine Gun Willie. And like, that's sick. That's a super cool, weird technical reason we can't do what we wanted to do. So we'll make something like even cooler. So this is also the game where it makes it unclear about which, which character is Billy and which is Jimmy. When you see Jimmy in this, um, he has blonde hair, but he's wearing red, and this is supposed to be brown hair, Billy. Oh god, I'm gonna botch that. Ooh, no, no, no! Into the drink. Am I dead? It came over! Whew, I forgot how hard this is. And it was still a super sick game. I love this one. It is so NES feeling to me, so I'm gonna give it... Four bimmies out of five right. jimmies. Cool. That crunching computer sound must mean we're playing the Amiga. The Amiga? Nobody really knows how to pronounce it at all, I don't think. So, yeah. Um, not really sure how this version is gonna... You know, I played very few things on, on the Amiga. I have some. Oof. Oh, look at those little bonomes down there! That's, is that what they're going to look like? Like they're in-game Sprite? No intro sequence. Oh my god. That's our Bimmy, huh? He looks like he's, he's a Playmobil dude. <laughs> We're just fighting copies of me. Uh, with different colors, obviously. But yeah, it's just, that's it, huh? That's it, we can only afford one Sprite. Just color them different. What What am I doing? Was I even hitting him? Background graphics strangely on point, but what's with these faces? Did you guys? So so yeah, this this is this is super basic. I don't seem to have the headbutt. I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna see who's gonna come out the door, right? We like oh, oh, oh I have to see a Bobo. Is it just gonna be this guy's sprite but blown up more? Or do you think a Bobo's not even gonna be in this? If they can only afford the one sprite and just recolor him and take off his vest, a Bobo cannot be in it. He's, he's a no-go be a Bobo. I'm proud of that. And, and I can't, I, I'm assuming Linda's gonna come out of there and they'll maybe like draw some extra pickle, uh, pickles. <laughs> draw some extra pickles. <laughs> and draw some extra pixels. Uh, for like to, to give the illusion of breasts maybe perhaps I'm not sure just have sound effects it's not you have you have the two sound effects just put in one more is it gonna break the bank can I even get to a bobo <laughs> oh we have a Linda oh yeah no no we gotta see a bobo there he is oh my god look at him he's glorious <laughs> Okay, um, what are, we, what are we doing here, lads? Okay, good range on the bat. That's a bit, that's extended. The thing with the bowl is I feel bad. He looks constantly worried. Oh, wow. Big hits, though. The range on your punches versus what a bobo gets is insane. Yeah, just play that. Just play uh, like every th every one once one and a half seconds. I can't get enough of it really. Uh. Oh, okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah. What you do now, bobo? What's your plan? This, the, the bad extends. That is phenomenal. All right, all right, Neko-chan, what's up? 
they kept the disabobo skin color accurate at least. Oh, you see how angry? You see how how honking pissed Billy is when he throws the knife? When he's swinging the bat, he's like, whatever. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's doomsday for you, dude. So I'm just looking at the Billy sprite. I'm just, what? Okay, so it has to load. Uh, yeah, okay, Amiga. That's, that's, you know, fair enough. I don't even know if this uses cassettes. Oh, Jesus. Starts right up. Yeah, there you go. And I guess these are the, what, what, what did I get hit? Does the box have a hitbox? When it's just laying on the ground? Now, historically, the second boss uh, of the game is just a Billy Sprite with a slight variation on his hair and and, and, his, and his colors, obviously. I can't wait to see who they put up there. Can't wait. Oh. Why? Why fall forward? Who falls forward? Take a bump on your knees, you bastard. So there should be the conveyor belt. If the conveyor belt is there, I'm actually kind of impressed. Does it move? It's not that bad, actually. All right, Linda's coming out with 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 her boo. No one's gonna come up here. Who's gonna come up here? <laughs> come on, everyone. Let's potty. You don't wanna? Come on. I came all this way. This is this is a real bare bones version of the game. <laughs> and the graphics are this is this is. Of consoles or computers, rather, that could emulate like the color palette and whatever, uh, the general look of the arcade game, like this is the worst. Why is everyone leaving? Oh. <laughs> what? No! That was amazing. Oh, I'm just stuck in the death loop. Of those versions, is like the worst, just because the sprites are so bad. Yeah, game over. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not hard pressed to to play more of that. So that it played okay. It was fast, I guess, but everything else is is dog water. So I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I want to say like 1.7 uh, bimmies out, out of out of five. It's it's unfortunately gonna get gonna get worse than that. All right, so this is the humble Amstrad, which I don't know sounds like boner medication to me. It's one of those old micro computers. It was from Europe. I don't really know anything about it. We're not here for the Amstrad. We're just here to check out its version of Double Dragon. Okay, that looks all right. It starts right up uh, with no intro. Which is kind of, you know, whatever. There's two Billies. You can either take Billy 1 or Billy 2 or, or Bimmy, I guess. I guess that would be Bimmy. Uh, honestly, like, I don't know the, the full capabilities of the Amstrad. I, I can't imagine they were much better than this. But we got dots for eyes. He doesn't... He moves kind of at a quick pace, though. I do have to say, jumps... A little, a little slow on the jumps there, Billy Boy. Scrolling, scrolling a little, little, little slow, a little choppy. Not too bad, though. I've seen worse. We will see worse. It's got the hair pull. I, that's cool. Got the head butt, so uh, a, a lot of the main moves. So, so that's kind of impressive. That's not bad. I have no idea what this music is, though. I, I don't even think this is supposed to be interpretation of the the song from the from, from the game, from the first level at least. It's, yeah, it's not terrible. It's not it's not ear screeching either. So I don't know. Wow, that is a large Mickey Mouse hat. It's the biggest one we've seen in a while. So we should have a Linda coming out of here, and there she is, with a big bouffant, very fair faucet hairstyle. There, there he is, not coming out of the wall. Okay, this, this is a Bobo. He has no time for, for grand entrances. He just shows up. I'm assuming the Amstrad could not handle uh, a, a black hole in a brick wall. It just cut in. So, wow. Wow. Give me some room to breathe, please. Welcome to my personal space. What happened? All right, game over. 
There are credits, but I don't, I don't even think we really need to continue past this point. Um, you know, Amstrad, this is your first showing. This is your first showing in, like, the late 80s. Wait, what? <laughs> that's amazing, Amstrad. I was going to give you a much worse score, uh, but that's not bad. Um, I'm going to give that... Ooh, that's a, that's a bit hard. I'm going to give that 1.8 bimmies, I think. That's That's pretty appropriate. Oh, yeah, mmm. That's a fire! Ooh! So, playing anything, basically on the Atari 2600, and especially... <laughs> oh my god, I just got my shit bopped. Okay, so there's the kick. It's up and the button, or up and diet. Oh my god! Because he's on a lower plane than me, but, but his kick hits up. That's not... Oh. What am I... About my blue hat? Does that not help? What? <laughs> Are you serious? No! I didn't expect that the Marion cutscene would be here, but, like, I really wanted to see it. No, no, no. Yeah, so for some reason, Billy Billy Lee here, Bimmy Lee, this is, this is a Bimmy for sure, uh, has this little cute hat. In fact, the bad guys have cute little hats. So I never saw this ever growing up, and I had an Atari 2600, not one who was new. I had, I got mine like the late, late 80s, like when the NES was big. My parents were like, here you go, and I'm like, thanks. I appreciate it nowadays, but back then it sure didn't. Um, I never saw, I would have, I would have rented this for sure, but I never saw Double Dragon in the rental store or like in bargain bins or a game. Oh my god. How? Can we get farther than that? Oh wait, what? Oh, okay, Jimmy in his electric hot orange pants. Uh, he'll distract the other guy. That's perfect. And then I could focus. I could focus on the top. I'm a power top. He's scared of Jimmy down there. He doesn't know what Jimmy's gonna do, but you know it's gonna be good. Can I? Can I scroll? Oh, I can control him. Actually, weirdly enough. Uh, we're gonna run the run the same play. Run the same play. Just gotta, gotta distract him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ultra combo. Nice. Where'd he spawn out of? Literally nowhere. Oh my god. Oh, he's just coming for me now. Uh, okay. Kick is not terrible. This is actually more functional than some of the other versions of the game. Uh, and it did this, this Atari remix. Oh, look at this fancy screen. This Atari remix of, of the Mission 1 theme is actually not the worst thing I've heard today. It's a different type of game because the height difference, not the height difference, but where you are on the, on, on the, on the street, I guess. This game's all about footsies, essentially. You just gotta get the proper positioning. Yeah, yeah, I should do one. Keep going for- Oh, he hits me in the back, though. Oh, shit, to do with a flute! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, okay. That was brutal. That was brutal. I am assuming that puts me at the start. I think I'm good. I, I, th I think I've experienced everything Atari 2600 Double Dragon can offer. It's hard to rate this. Mmm. It is, because it's on the Atari, but that's like, that's like a, that's like a 1.5 Bimmy, I think. And, I, and I'm being generous. Okay, so this, this music sounds oddly familiar. Might have heard this remix. Maybe it's from the, the Atari 2600 version. I probably is, actually. Oh, that looks way better. It has the cutscene. You, you know, this is kind of what I think in my head sometimes when I think Atari, but it's it's never it. I only own a 2600, never own a 7800, so... Wow, this is a war of attrition already! You know, I'm actually kind of impressed. We are ghosts. I'm not sure why we couldn't get like a... 
like a peachy color for 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 our skin. I, I guess they just went with with ghosts. That's fine. We kind of blend into a lot of the background, but I don't know. It's it's a camouflage thing. Maybe Billy and Jimmy would do even better. See, look, that guy's got it. Why can't I be like that? So honestly, off the bat, this isn't too terrible. I'm taking a lot of damage a lot of quickly. But oh Christ, okay. Already, huh? Wait, what? Oh God, I thought one dude just died or something. He melded into another sprite. Uh, I'd be interested to see if there's a Lindo or an Abobo. Definitely, because this is this is nothing. This isn't really like anything we've seen so far yet. This might be unique to the 7800. I don't really know the ins and outs of its architecture. You know, in Atari, they probably skimped out on it somehow by the time it was released. Let me know if that's accurate or not. Boop. At least there's a boop. At least there's like a little noise of defeat. Just like an exasperated sigh. Woo! Woo! It's like little cat noises sometimes. They make these little like woos. Like, woo! Oh, no. Wow! Gotcha! What? What happened? It just scrolled to the next screen. There is a Linda though! Yo, she is she is fit. That is a fit Linda. I like I like her power stance. We just jumped to this scene. Oh, wow, a Bobo pre came through there. Pre came. That's uh, I could have said that differently. Other well, people have a little bit. Of, let me do this again. Oh, it's live, pal. Sorry. Uh, he pre bashed through that wall. It is impressive that he's here. He's slightly bigger than the other sprites. He's got a big beefy chest on there, so that's nice. Oh my, am I dead? I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead. Mm. Three lives. No continues. This is the harsh, cruel rule of Double Dragon on the Atari 7800. I, aside from its difficulty, that wasn't too bad. That's like a 1.9, you know, Bimmy, I think. Yeah, uh, there's still plenty more left to go though. Oh, that's not a good... Oh, j hello. Yes, okay. I hear your scratchy sound effects and music. It feels like it's been playing two games over. Jeez, Atari ST, calm down. Oh. Aw, oh, man, it looks just like the, the other version I played. Oh, jeez, I... <laughs> Jimmy, hey, thanks for showing up. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm Jimmy now. Okay, I, I'm, sh I'm sure they're very, very similar. I, I don't know the ins and outs of, of these old consoles, unfortunately. I, I, I own an Atari 2600. That was my frame of reference. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's another one of these. Just just keep pounding me in, in the penis, sir. I deserve it. And what is it with the music? You're able to have music on the main menu, right? But it's just... It, it's too expensive? The... The game can't run music and sound effects at the same time. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. He looks the same. What the hell? Can we get can we get Billy moving? Oh, he can actually go off the screen. That's that's different for a beat 'em up. Usually, usually the heroes, the pro tags, are confined. But if I can't get Billy moving, I don't know. This might be one of the shortest ones uh, yet. But I no no big loss. Like uh, again, this seems really 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 similar to the Amiga version, I believe. So, woof. So yeah, no no big loss there. That's I I, I it's hard for me to rate that. Uh, one one point seven bimmies, I think. Woof. Okay, so this is a uh, Double Dragon. Uh, the first port of Double Dragon onto the Commodore 64, and that should that should let you know how bad this one is if they needed a redo to to, to do a second one. So this is uh, the conversion was done by Binary Design, whose name we've seen on a couple of ports. Usually, they contract like one particular developer, maybe two, and they have to do like a shitload of ports that nobody cares about. You know? Okay, that don't look too bad. I was about to say it looked too bad. Okay. So I you know, I, I, I like that they decided to be more inclusive in this double dragon and just be, you know, let's have a different interpretation of Billy and or Jimmy. They they probably thought, okay, I have I have a little kick, little baby punches, very stubby. Uh no cutscene with Marion. Oh jeez. 
Boo! Oh, a hard knockdown every time, huh? And I just, I just lying face down in the dirt. Again, uh, no music. I, I guess it's, it was just out of their technical range. And we are all the same sprite. Uh, another great indicator that they, maybe you shouldn't, maybe you shouldn't attempt to port certain arcade games to certain platforms. Maybe they're just, they just can't handle it. Like at least NES Double Dragon had different sprites. You guys okay? So I'm starting to see why they were like, you know, maybe we should do a redo. Maybe we didn't nail it this time, you guys. And a, a lot of the time, these companies, these these small studios of like like you know two or five people, two two five people, we just like make six ports. Uh, we need them on our desk in like a month. Double Dragon's really hot, and it was. There's the, like Double Dragon one. It has the most ports, as as we'll see. Just die, please. Oh my god. I don't even really know who's... I think he he turns to me when he falls down. Yeah, he does. For a favor to. Wait, is he... No, I'm getting points. Alright, he's dead. Who's gonna come out of here? Anybody? Oh, I guess that's Alinda. Has the whip. And... and eh? that, that's, that's how the ladies sound. It... it supposed to be the whip, but I feel it's more like a, a riding crop. Do we have an abobo? Come on. Zero abobos. E even if the Commodore couldn't do like a bigger sprite. Yeah, no, it's just uh, another, I guess, Williams. And I guess another Linda. I'm not sure. So I don't know what those weird little orange doodads there on the bottom of the wall I feel like that was going to be some type of trigger and like the door, the wall would break open and a bobo would uh, do his big appearance but I guess not I don't know if the Commodore could do much better than this I'm going to I'm going to assume that barely no that it couldn't do much better than this at the same time this has the basics of Double Dragon unlike the Atari 2600 version which is not the same game. This is at least no cat, no cat in the garbage bin. Very sad. Oh, there's a big a hole in that wall. Maybe that that's maybe maybe a bubble will appear, appear later. Or, or I I don't know how much more I can play of this. Essentially, I think I have three more lives, but we we might end faster than that. Depending on how this goes, this seems to be the strategy. Walk backwards, take a swing. No, that's that's the code of the dragon. You know, it's humble, never bragging. And and one of those codes says run away when when they are running against you. Turn around really quickly and hit them super hard with with your best uh, sharpest riding crop. Uh, okay, boys. So this is the third wave. I feel like yeah, we don't have an abobo, so just have this huge enemy enemy wave. That, that's, that's just as good as a boss fight, right? Uh, we also have no barrel weapon here either, which is uh, also pretty disappointing. Again, even the NES. That, I'm assuming the NES was more powerful than a Commodore in terms of graphical output. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, dance with me. Later that same evening. All right, we're still going. So they're spawning out of each other. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I, I don't know if it can be done. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. N no. All right. Uh, Double Dragon one on the Commodore. That's like that's like a one point one point two Bimmy, I think. Uh that that's that's this is probably the roughest version so far. Uh, it's, it's not great. All right, so this is the apology game for Commodore 64 players. I believe this is the second port, uh, second attempt. Look at those dragons! So cool. So yeah, I saw Ocean there, so I guess they must have helped out uh, with this port. I think Technos had a little bit more. Uh, involvement in this, and that's very rare. <laughs> it's very rare. Technos actually, <laughs> Marion has been kidnapped by the Black Warriors. Rescue her! Who is that? 
Her sprite doesn't even look like that. So is that the first instance of her having blonde hair? I don't know. Maybe it goes all the way back back to here. That'd be amazing. All right, intro cutscene. That would be a big improvement. Uh, halfway. We're halfway there. So this is our Billy. He's he's wearing elbow pads uh, and a blue onesie. W what? Oh, okay, sure. So we're against Liu Kang. This is the improvement. This is the improvement port. Oh. <laughs> Man, it must, it must have been rough owning a Commodore 64. I, I did not own one. I didn't know anyone that owned one. And I'm not even sure if anyone really owned one. Did they? Are there classic Commodore games that, that everyone is like uh, chomping at the chomping at the bit to, to, to play again? Is there? So same problem as the last port is that there seems to be only one sprite. Um, well, I have a slightly different uh, structure. My my sprites are a bit more detailed than the other two, so I guess there's two sprites technically. Uh, but yeah, all the enemies seem to be one sprite. We'll see if if there's an Abobo. There was a Linda in the first Commodore 64 port. Find that guy! 50k! That That's sweet. It's, he's, it's just a floating head. It looks kind of like a cat or like the Cowardly Lion. He, he's wanted. We gotta get him. What does he have? He didn't look like he had a weapon. But I guess he does. Can I have it? Uh, I I struggle to, to say that this this is an improvement uh, from from the first version. Maybe, maybe. Haven't been able to do any hair pulls yet. Again, sometimes when you go back to these um, old computer systems, I, I maybe I'm I'm missing a button somewhere and I should be getting kicked. Oh the oh no, not allowed. The weapon, the weapon was there, just teasing me, but it was, it was taken away. Oh no, I got it! I did get it. Never mind. Oh, it, you know, at, at a point you start discounting the gameplay altogether when you start getting into this lower level of the iceberg of ports. You're just like that doesn't even matter anymore. You know, it's 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 going to be uh, steaming garbage, right? You know that. So then you start looking for the other things like we've already talked about. Are, is there going to be a Bobo? Where's the cat? What does the cat look like? Oh my god, am I like dead dead? Okay, now I can continue, I guess. Is the cat, is Linda there? What's the music situation? Does it have the cutscene? You know, at least like a, we're, we're looking for port accuracy. Because, you know, nothing's going to play as good as the arcade. Nothing's going to be as authored as the NES version built from the ground up things like that and and these are just the dirtiest quickiest ratchetiest ports you can think of well is it loading in linda <gasps> oh my god that's the coolest of obo ever with the green neon pants and he and and sunglass he looks like taz So yeah, yeah, he is a big haymaker there. I'm not sure if he has his throw. I kind of doubt it. I, I love that his sprite just kind of curse splats onto the wall. I guess at the end of the day, that is the smarter choice, unless she's gonna come out soon. Do we have the cat? Do we? Oh, floating in cat. Neko Chan coming in. Oh, okay. Just, just two jobbers. That's fine. I, I think for me, the gameplay it's just the hard knockdown after like one, one or two hits. Like, it takes forever to get back up after it. At least the other port, it was quick. It looked stupid. It looked worse. But it was quick. You just fell down straight onto your face. You got up relatively quickly. But that knockback and how long. It's This is a different port than, than the first one. Than the first Commodore. It's different. I can't honestly say it's better right now. M maybe it is by, like, a small margin. Just because of a Bobo. Cat? Cat? Boo. No barrel either. Oh. That's fine. I, I guess we'll never know. Uh, there could have been an even cooler, even blacker above. The Shadow Boss is defeated! <laughs> Who's that?
Why is Shinobi here? Okay. Uh, so Commodore 64 port number two. I want to say that's like a 1.4 baby, you know? It, it's just, just, it's a marginal improvement, but man, it must have been rough owning this machine growing up. Alrighty, we're now moving on to a Double Dragon on the mighty MS-DOS. Now, I was a DOS uh, kid back in the day, never saw this once. Oh, no, no, I took the wrong graphics mode here. Unless it's right? This might be right, actually. Ah, there you go, I think. Oh, oh no, hold on. Just give me a second. Oh, he is not giving me a second. Oh, there you go, Jimmy. Jimmy is activated. Jimmy also blonde, so we're not making any distinctions there. So, first things first, no music. Oh, hi, Billy. I see him to have activated you from your slumber. Sleeping Dragon has awoke. Uh, so no music, no cutscene. Already not a great start. Seems to be using the sprites from the Atari SD slash Amiga. So that's great. That is a different sprite though, and holy crap is he moving. He, he is, this is what he's trained for. To take on the legendary Lee brothers. Oh, okay, now it's my turn. It's my turn for the business. All right, all right, wait, what? Oh, I can control Billy's punches too a little bit with another button altogether. I'm not sure if I want to, okay. Maybe, we can get a few shots in. This is, this is fun controlling it this way. Oh, okay, no, now he wants both of us. That's fine. Oh, it's your friend. Oof, okay. Er, yeah, Th those, those are our early PC speaker noises. I had to play like Street Fighter 2, like the port of Street Fighter 2 uh, with, with uh, sound, because I, I did not have a sound blaster, so it just basically bloops uh, the entire way through. Wait, okay, I can move up and down with Billy. Okay, I, th I think Jimmy's full. Jimmy, I need you to move too. We have to move. We have to be in sync. Okay, I can't control both players at the same time. It's impossible, though. It's never been able to do this. Uh, so I am, I am interested to see. Since the sprites are this way, I have to imagine a Bobo and Linda. Will be, maybe not Linda, but I think there was a version of a Bobo. Yeah, it was like the big, bloated a Bobo face, like even more so than than normal. Ow! Whoops! Friendly fire is confirmed on. <laughs> Jimmy's like, why? Why? <laughs> okay, he's out of the way. Can we go, go up the ladder? We can. I'm shocked, actually. Oh, Linda. Linda confirmed. Oh, you did it. You did it, folks. Yeah, so, yeah, it does use similar sprite design to uh, the other two versions. Oh, my God. I am not, I am not getting out of this one. Unless I have a continue. They are giving me the absolute business. I'm gonna have to file for chapter 11 bankruptcy because they are tearing my business apart here. Okay, okay. Bat, bat it, the great equalizer, stop. Ugh, awful, awful noise, but kitty! Yeah, 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 yeah. What a sweet baby, just, they're not helping, but they're not hindering me either, which is nice. I will say this plays quite fast though, which is which is always a a big positive. And the hair pull did seem to be in there, so the moves seem to be mostly intact. I think right now the biggest issue is just how grating the sound is. It's it's very poor, and maybe the other issue is that I cannot pick up that bat one. Ah! I suppose graphically it could do two barrels and you could do the kick to them as well. So that's that's not awful. This this seems kind of middle of the road so far. I mean it's still obviously not very good, but I'm actually kind of impressed on a technical level. Let's see if we can beat a Bobo. Maybe not. Uh, bonus uh, point completion. Oh wow! Oh, that's fast! Yeah, may maybe a little too fast, uh, but yeah, not uh, certainly certainly playable. That guy's that guy's uh, lower quarters are invisible, so that's that's a little odd. 
Um, but yeah, I have no desire to continue playing this because yeah, it's, it's it's a little rough. But um, yeah, I'd say this, given the expectations and DOS and everything, that's a that's two out of five bimmies. I think that's fair. Okay, Game Boy time. You know, oddly, uh, Double Dragon has had pretty decent showing on the the Game of Boy, the Game Boy. Uh, quite frequently. I think there was only three full releases on it. The first three games, obviously. That title is a little off-center. The double doesn't quite... Oh! Wow, they have this. They have the, the, the first cutscene in video games. They, that's included here. That's nice. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're starting up. Oh! 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 Everyone's just kind of sliding all over the place. Wow, that, uh, that, that just, let's just start going, huh? You know, this music, it's a little off, but that sounds pretty good for the Game Boy, on all honesty. Okay, these are supposed to be the Lindas. Man, they look different. They're also faceless nurses from Silent Hill. So that's a bit different. They're nothing like Lindas at all. They don't even have the, uh, whips. I mean, that's, that's their main thing. That's, that's their main gimmick. Ooh, wow. I think I might have played this once and in, in like 1992 or some shit like that. I do remember a friend had, had a Game Boy. And I was like, yeah, oh, geez, okay. We're just going. We're just going. So that's, that's one thing I've noticed about Double Dragon games in general is that if you're trying to hit people and there's a weapon like under your feet, just the animation of picking up, you're going to take some hits. That's the cut and thrust of the of the Lee Brothers world, you know? So yeah, I'm actually kind of shocked that this plays as well as it does. I was actually expecting a little bit worse. Oh, jeez, I feel bad. Sorry, Linda. Oh. I don't even know what type of costume they're wearing, but it looks a little scandalous. Except for the no face thing? Quite hot. Uh, uh, uh. You're going down. Huh. That's different. So yeah, it's modeled a bit more closely after the NES uh, level designs rather than the arcade. I can clearly see that. No conveyor belt, just a big huge pit. We'll take advantage of that. All right, are you ready for box? Can I take box into? Oh, it's just a little abobo room. It's his own special little room. That's cute. His sprite is massive. The 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 threatening aura here, the vibe is totally off. This feels more like a Dark Souls boss room, like I just went through the fog gate. Okay, that's that's all that's in, left in this room, there's nothing. Ooh, his reach. Like, his sprite is the versus mode sprite from the NES version. Like, that's how big it is. Big, big bitch, baby. Oh! That's so slow, and he just he just punishes me as soon as I come down, so maybe, it, maybe it's not the trick to get in him. Ooh, 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 ooh. I do like how this is this is uh, definitely modeled on the NES version, but it has some slight differences already. Just in wow, that was a, that battle made my blood boil. Very nice, very nice music overall. I'm, I'm quite pleased. All right, no face, Linda. You're going down too. Go up a little bit. Just shimmy up there. Shake that money maker, Billy. So the boss of this should be uh, the chin guy that we we deleted. What the? Okay, what was the point of going up? Where are we going? Oh. Oh, I thought it was going to drop off and kill me. I don't know, like, this seems now way different. Oh, Jesus! She's like, uh, we're using whips and bats, and then some dude just brings out a grenade. It's like, that really escalated. That got out of hand super fast. So as long as I'm not against a, a bobo, I think I do fine. So now we're going back up. I don't know why we just couldn't have stayed up, but... Alright. All right, Linda's cool. They were kind of around. Look, look at her walk down the fucking ladder. Looks amazing. Na, 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 na. Addicted music. What? It's like a rooftop. This is super different. 
And I'm guessing I'm not gonna be able to despawn whoever is gonna come out of that door. Come on, come on, who is it? Okay. Two, two Williamses? Can I knock you? Aww. I was really hoping I could knock someone off this building. Maybe even a Bobo. Alright, so it is Chin. Uh, uh, uh. Go away, please. What? Why that whiff? Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, okay, do we just jump kicks? No? Oh, no. Oh. Oh. One life? Wait, no, not one life. I mean, zero continues? Yeah, I forgot I died a bunch against the Bobo. Um, still though, that's quite playable. Uh, yeah, c could definitely use some continues. Certainly don't think that had that two two player co-op. Maybe it is via the GB Link cable. But that I'm I was pretty happy with that. That's three Jimmies out of five Jimmies. Okay, Game Gear. I I don't actually have much of any frame of reference for the Game Gear. I've never held one. I don't even think I've seen one in real life, but this is a very late port of Double Dragon in 1993 for the Game Gear when the original was like 1987. So there's, there's probably a good reason for that. <sighs> Can't wait to see why. What the, what is, uh, what's happening? Who am I? What's, huh? That's not a gut. It's a gut. <laughs> no. What? This game. What? Virgin Games. What? Did you guys understand the assignment? I believe in Europe this has the subtitle of Billy Lee's Revenge because apparently Jimmy's been killed, and we're just getting revenge for like that's the story. There's no two player, but they got they got firearms, so I guess that works out. How amazing! I don't I don't know if it's amazing actually, but this might as well be called any. This might as well be called Gun Boy. Who's that? Oh no, precious gun! I have to rely on my fists. Oh Jesus! So the other thing I'm noticing, which is which is such a trip is the fact that, that Billy here uh, has a headband. Now, in all marketing for Double Dragon 1, uh, on the, like, the arcade marquee itself, the NES game, they're always depicted with headbands. Never in any of the games, ever. Except for this one, I guess. What was that? I did like a crazy dash. This is the only game where they're actually wearing headbands, as far as I know. If there's another one, let me know in the comments, but why did I do a crazy... Like, Super Dash, what is that? This is so crazy. This is why I like doing deep dives into stuff like this, because I, like, I, you know, I assumed in my head, yeah, I bet Double Dragon 1 got a Game Gear port, and, like, Double Dragon 1 got a port on literally everything. Like, it's the doom of beat-em-ups, you know? Sorry, sorry, Chun-Li, I don't know why you're here, but you're, you're getting out of here now. Am I going in here? It's a big open door, but... You know, games in the late 80s, early 90s, is sometimes it's just set decoration. Sometimes it's just part of the background. I can't believe there's this insane dash. I, that's, like, dashing is the only game you could do that is, like, later on in Double Dragon 3. Oh! Hello? Anybody? What is this screen? It's given! It's taken! Okay, there's a scoring system. Not sure why. Mike's Club. Look at that guy. Look, who doesn't care? Yeah, I'm wearing a headband, so what? Oh, it's cool that there's a level in a nightclub. Like you'd think. In all the CD places, Billy and Jimmy need to go to like rough people up so they can talk. Where's Marion? Or do you know where Marion's body is? We don't. Oh my god. Do I have another? Is that is that it? <gasps> no. Okay, there's a continue. All right, all right, that's something. Who is that guy? This is published by Virgin and developed by them. I don't know. I didn't remember if I saw the Trade West logo at the start. Maybe it was there, but all I saw was Virgin. Oh Jesus! Just shake it off. Just shake it off, Billy. Why did we go into Mike's bar again? Does anyone know? 
Okay, that was a whole level. I, I guess we we beat beat up some miscreants inside the bar. The parking lot. <laughs> where all criminals dwell. Okay, it's just the same thing as before. That's that's a new enemy though. That's kind of a cool lady sprite. I don't hate it. Oh my god, what does she got? She has a sword? Oh, okay. Is that it? That might be it. I don't know. Uh, but I think that might be it for me, personally. That's... I don't even know how to rate Double Dragon on the Game Gear, because it's barely a Double Dragon game. The end. That's sad. Like, I want to say 2.2 Bimmies out of 5 Jimmies. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> that is so Genesis. Well, it has more Genesis than the Genesis is. Wow. Take your time, Logo. Take your time. Those dragons in the back look a little... I don't know. It's low saturation. Should be red and blue, maybe. Anyway. Is this the demo? Are we going? Oh, no, we're going. I thought this is... Oh, no, we're not. I <laughs> gotcha. Okay, this time. Yeah. That's the sound. When you put oh god <laughs> so yeah i wasn't kidding when when the genesis turns on it turns on um what i would prefer you know going back to all these old games what i would prefer is if you know for a genesis version they they did the graphical thing like to stay true to the arcade but they implemented some of the nes's features just maybe some of the level designs leveling up system i like that stuff i mean i see a combination of that instead of these weird like sport sound effects whenever i'm getting punched it leads it's not very impactful is it yeah and i'm not sure if we're gonna get that ten thousand dollar reward for that guy that's the most generic man ever who is that dark man liam neeson is dark man is that eye patch wolf who is that it's has barely any distinguishing features. I, I appreciate the energy behind this musical remix, but it's kind of all wrong. And, and who this game is not a pushover either. Wow. I'm not expecting any crazy things from the Abobo coming up. Linda's kind of weird. Eh, that's close enough to the arcade. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw Billy Lee fall flat on his fucking arse. Yeah, yeah, let's dance. Ooh, let's get some synchronized dancing. Synchronized street fighting. All right. Uh, you guys going to wait? What are you going to do? Uh, ooh, that was close. He was about to throw me. Well, like, it's a little scream sound effect in the arcade. It's like, Ugh! And now it's just like like a frog exploding. That's that's the sound effect. All right, all right, Linda. Baseball bat versus whip, let's go. Finally, we will know. Look at that hand. There's the kitty. It looks quite different. That's a cat, definitively. As we go through Double Dragon 1, we still got a few more versions left, right? As we go through it, we're gonna see very different interpretations of that animal. So they kind of mixed up the abobos here. The one that came out of the wall should have been like a more Caucasian skin tone and the one that showed up here, it, this one's correct. But maybe they don't have, maybe they only have one, one abobo. And one abobo is not enough. You need an entire team, a, a squad. He's my rotten soldier, my good time boy. Hmm? So is this going to be mission based or is it going to scroll? Kind of a combination of both. It didn't scroll, but it didn't really have the mission bumpers either. Which is an interesting way to do it. So it seems like it has all the major moves too. Let's see if we can get some uh, uh, deep hole action going. Uh, 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 it's so scratchy. Oh, that one guy in the gray shirt. He's waiting. He's waiting. Uh, I think that's a that's a Roper. We're, we're gonna we're gonna see how Roper really really changed between game to game and s suddenly became a boss. That's gonna be much later. Wow. 
I do appreciate the speed. There's, so far there's been no slowdown. The scrolling is, is quite smooth. In terms of a, a technical acumen here, I'm quite uh, pleased with the Genesis. Like, now, th then again, it shouldn't be hard. What's happening? Okay. It's dangerous. It's dangerous, you see. On either side of, of, of a ladder, the big steep fall, a Linda down below. Damn it, Linda! Why didn't you catch me? <laughs> oh! Single Roper and and a, a Billy Lee clone. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's embarrassing. Can't fall through, through that. Oh my god. He's in my head. Did the other guy just peace out? He just left. It's like, nah, this shit's the worst. I'm out of here. One eternity later. God. Why is this dude so tough? Just stay down. Oh, he's so good. Huh, huh. Dude, how are you surviving so many hair pulls? You have a lot of hair to pull. I would think that just the emotional damage you would have suffered from it. It would have been too much to bear. Oh, Jesus. Whew. All right, let's mess around down here for, for a minute. Uh, since this seems to be a pretty straightforward uh, port of the arcade, obviously there's some differences. I'm not sure if we need to explore every facet of it. Watch, watch people in the comments being like, no, there's a crazy dragon boss at the end of Mission 4. Nah, nah, I don't believe you. Uh, but I am pretty impressed with this on, on a technical level. Music and sound effects are a little lacking, but what you can what can you do? It's it's the Genesis, really. So, so for Double Dragon 1 on the Genesis, I'm thinking like 3.1 bimmies out of 5 gems. What do we have next? Alright, so this is a uh, particularly special game <laughs> for us to take a look at. I, at first, was like, eh, we don't really need to check this out. Double Dragon uh, 1 on the Xbox 360. This is a port that was up there for like two years. Um, and then got delisted once the uh, developer slash publisher that had the rights to Double Dragon uh, out of 5,000 companies. Uh, so they put this one out as an Xbox 360 uh, arcade exclusive. It's probably one of the earlier Xbox arcade uh, titles out there. And there's a particular reason why we're playing this version. Because of those guys. We are... Look at that! We are playing the trial version, so this isn't going to last very long, unfortunately. So, it is essentially the exact same code uh, and, and gameplay logic as Double Dragon 1 Arcade, but they decided to awfully draw over the original art with this HD stuff. And, and it's so weird because the original sprite art is so like pixelated and kind of ill-defined that going back over it's like, what do you even do what do these characters even look like and i don't think they look like this in all honesty but um i believe i had this on my 360 i went back through my 360 purchase history and i was like i'm pretty sure i bought this at one time and going back through my purchase history the sheer amount of games that are like no longer available says content not available content not available is a lot uh, I think this might have had online. I didn't really notice it at first on the main menu. That'd be crazy if it did. Oh, look at that, Linda! What the mom haircut? I don't know about that. They, they kind of look like dolls. Their faces are very doll-like. Technos did not have anything to do with HD Scoop Moto. Oh, the kitty! We're gonna see the kitty, but first take a look at that Abobo. That is that is a bad abobo. I don't I don't know. It makes me uncomfortable. I mean, he's one step less of hideousness over 1994 movie Double Dragon, but not by much. Can we get that? Yeah. Uh, a bobo weak to metal bat. Uh, oh. Okay. Good stuff. All right. So. Look at that, look at that hand! It is, it is more Mickey Mouse than ever. 
That looks like it got the bat stuck in my head. <gasps> Wait, what? That's... That's not a kitty! That's a dog! Is... My entire life been a lie? Look at that! The ears are placed too far on the top of the head, and they stick out too much. And that... that muzzle is not cat-like! Oh god, a bobo! I'm trying to just come to grips with the cat! I, I don't know about that. That, mu that might be an error in the HD art. Because what type of dog is an alley cat? Sure, dogs can hang out in alleys. It can do what they like. Oh my god, I'm gonna ask it. It can't, it can't be. It can't be a dog. Let me know in the comments below. What? Game over? Okay, yeah, we have, we have continues. We'll, we'll play until the trial tells us that we can no longer play. Because uh, I cannot buy the full version. As, as I said, this is delisted. It's got delisted in 2009. I think the publisher just went out of business. It's just kind of funny. I don't know. But that that threw. Oh, like he just ran away. Huh? We'll see if it ends here. It might. It might not. Oh, it ends here. Cannot press uh, X to unlock the full game. Um, but yeah, a fascinating port. It, it existed in such a narrow band of time. I like this to get re-released somehow, but I don't. I don't think it's gonna be possible. Ooh, you know that logo means g good things, huh? Yeah, we'll be looking at another tele tele games uh, double dragon entry a little bit later on. But for now, this is their um, inaugural. Look at that! <laughs> Look at Trogdor! Wow, that's flagrant. That's that's you couldn't be farther away from the logo if you tried, huh? Look at all those consummate V's for the scales. Wow! Nice and zoomed in, like the links would have you. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. Wait, okay. I was about to say there was no music. But this is so zoomed in. Like, I have not used a Link... Wow, he is not going down. I have not used a, a actual Lynx hardware since it was relevant. I want to say in 93, 94, someone on the playground actually had one. I didn't. Is there no... Sound effects? Oh, there is. There's a... Okay, they're just very, very low volume. I, 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 I understand it was a handheld game, but I, I'm, I'm thinking of the technical reason why they need to zoom it in this hard. These sprites are massive. Like they're as big as a Final Fight sprite. I think they're bigger. But it, it, the, the background is not drawn to accommodate that. It's simply zoomed in. Sets. So that's really messed up. We, we, we could have zoomed back out. Again, I don't know if the Lynx had some technical limitations. These sprites look fine, in all honesty. Like, a Bobo should be down here in the Linda. Yeah, they're just hanging around. Uh, not the Linda, though. Oh, there she is. What's up, girl? See my big dumb jump? Yeah, I'm the best. So, yeah, graphically, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. Like, the Lynx was 1989, and it got discontinued in, like, 95? That's the sound of death that comes for us all. The Lynx was pretty powerful if it could do sprites like this, and especially this big. And, and, and again, I, I don't know. I, I might need to get someone who worked on this Lynx port of Double Dragon on the phone and be like, what were you thinking? <laughs> what were they thinking? So there's a few things we still need to find out. Is is Kitty is Kitty in here? Will, will Barrels be in the final encounter of this level? And how does the next level load up? Is it mission-based or is it the... Uh... Oh, that's different. No barrel, but a box. A box doesn't appear until mission two. A little random. Okay, no Kitty though. My, my, my big leaping frog jump resulted in nothing. All right, there's a second Abobo. And like, look at this background. It's like, we're just on gray nothingness. 
we're fighting in the void because it's so z zoomed in. Like, it, that that's kind of terrible when you think about it. If you were to just click on this video and start on this section, you'd be like, what the hell? What's he... Did he disable the background layer? No, I, I did not. I would not... I wouldn't do such a... Level complete. So no boss music. Couldn't even see a Bobo for most of it. Okay. So yeah, this is where the box should appear. It's nice that they... If they couldn't... Do the barrel for some reason. They... Uh, graphically, it's probably the best handheld version we've seen so far of the age. Uh, there's there's at least one more uh, portable double dragon that I'll be looking at later on that's like, you know, far and above. Fall down! Jesus! Okay. Thank you, I wouldn't know where to go! <laughs> Thanks, Mickey Mouse Hand! Again, it's 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 actually a constant issue where you don't need that and point where to go and there's only really one direction and it's so zoomed in, so wow, that's that's that that's the the Williams quad quad quadtuplets. Four at once. Can Billy take on four Williamses? Probably, let's hope so. Low invincibility time when getting back up after losing a life, so you instantly start taking damage as soon as you respawn back in. Which is another big issue. And I have this set on easy. I'm already, you know, am I the best game player in the world? I'd like to think so. But, <laughs> but even I have my faults, you know. You know, anytime I can pick up a controller, I, I can play at a professional level if I want to. Uh, and most of the time, I just don't want to. <laughs> but even me, just taking taking hits as soon as you get back up from losing a life. That's a little jacked up. Alright, hi, Boo Boo. I, I haven't seen anything about continues yet. Like, it didn't, it didn't list them on the options menu or anything. Alright, am I... Am I Damn. Just game over. No, so three lives... No continues, even on the easiest se setting. Thanks, Telegames! Good stuff. I feel very mixed about this, because graphically the sprites are really good. And But those Trogdors, double Trogdor. Um, yeah, like the zoom in is, is a constant issue. The difficulty seems messed up. So that's like really middle down the road. I want to say that's like a... That's like a two. That's like two bimmies. Jeez, Lynx, I was expecting better of you, really. Ooh, I like the MSX. It reminds me of Metal Gear, which is pretty ironic considering Metal Gear first started on the MSX. Uh, so this is Double Dragon on the MSX. I like this. I like this title screen, actually. It's fun. What is this music, Zamina? This doesn't even sound like it's from the game. Probably because it's not. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Look how cute this guy is. This is the cutest Billy I've ever seen. Okay. Wow. This is a different interpretation. It's almost like Kunio style. What with the, the top corner uh, health bar indicator? Like, the, wow. And who are these guys supposed to be? I guess they're Williamses. The animation frames are so- I can't see my face. The animation frame- th that's a roper. So they actually have, kind of have different sprites, but these are- this is, this is quite different from- from the games we've seen thus far. I don't hate it! There's lots of color, which is, a, which is always a plus, but you can see through a lot- you, like every black line you can see through, like you can see through Billy's eyes. And the 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 sprite, the way he's kind of designed, he's got his fist close to his to his belly welly. Ooh, a knife. Um, it reminds me of the NES version a little bit more. So this seems like it was released. This is '89, so this was really at least after the NES version. I'd like to think it's more closely modeled on that rather than the arcade. I do like his boop. It's cute. Boop, 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 boop. That's, that's how I sound when I do jump kicks. <sighs> there are no difficulty selections at the start of this, so... 
I'm assuming. Oh, the knife is gone. Unless unless one of these guys uh, pick, picked it up. I'm not sure if those Williams are supposed to be wearing dark sunglasses. They kind of look like background Simpsons characters a little bit. The Williams is a very yellowy skin. Like the cool kid Bart just attacking me in the streets of whatever city Double Dragon takes place in. Some sometimes it's New York City, other times it's nowhere city, made up a Stan. I'm assuming when we go back to old things, old computer style uh, consoles like the MSX, it's just a crapshoot whether I'm gonna find the right button or not. Try to find a keyboard. So no Kitty, no Abobo, and no Linda. That's not great. So we were able to, we gained Roper, but we lost Linda and Abobo. Always remember what they took from us. And no Kitty. So that's, that's a three-pronged uh, attack on me and my personality, and my brand, and this channel, and Double Dragon in general. <sighs> I'm not sure we'll be playing this version much, in all honesty. I know it's still the early goings, but... Do we, do we not have an Abobo at the end? Is this going to be another wave-based boss? Guys, please give me a break. We also didn't even have the the Marion cutscene, so I have zero. No, no, music's fading out. Wow, three lives, no continues. Beat the entire game on that. Um, sure. And it's really happy. It's a very cheery Double Dragon. So, uh, the MSX interesting port. Um, I think I actually liked it a bit better than some of the other ones, like all the Commodore ones, for example. That's like, that's like 2.1 bimmies. I think two bimmies and like <laughs> just a point one is the right amount for Double Dragon on the MSX. All right, Sega Master System. Red and blue dragons. Very interesting. Usually it's, it's green and yellow. Um, so this was reprogrammed by Sega. Technos did not work on it directly, and it's 1988, so just a year after the arcade game came out. Never actually played this version before. I don't even think I looked it up. Ooh, the cutscene. A little bit different. Color scheme is... Okay, that was just the demo. Whoops. All right, here's the, here's the real one. That was just a practice. So the sprites are there. There's Roper, there's Williams, there's even Machine Gunman. So off, wow, what was that? So off the bat, um, definitely built off Double Dragon NES. You can just tell by the Billy sprite, the way he holds his fists close to his little tummy. Don't seem to have the headbutt right away. I'm not sure if this, this will have the uh, progression system. Uh, the level up system from, from the NES version. If this was reprogrammed by Sega, I kind of doubt it. Background is definitely different. I don't remember this gigantic wall of butts. <laughs> Bricks that are kind of faded. They're, or it's missing the wanted posters at the very least. Yeah. Definitely. Who's that? Who? Mr. BBC. <laughs> that can mean a couple of different things. Oh, is it Linda? Yes, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's definitely a, a NES Linda. Wow. Now a Bobo? Oh! Oh, very nice sprite. Like the I prefer personally the NES a Bobo. I think he looks way cooler than even the arcade original a Bobo. Ooh, sprite flicker. Okay, only only one. Was that? Is he splattered with blood? This roper is just covered in gore. Aw, uh, no kitty, huh? Okay, well there there was no kitty in the NES version, so that makes sense. Now, well, we got boss music and and uh, black abobo. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh uh. You can you can feel the tension in the air. As a Bobo is just we we wandered into his house. Ugh. I'm not sure sometimes why a jump kick uh, knocks down and other times it doesn't. Very pleasant. We, let, let, let's keep going. 
I, I'm interested to see. Nothing drastically different from the NES version so far. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like the progression system uh, for moves in here. We just have the simple health bar, which is fine. I mean, th this is essentially what a lot of Sega Master System ports were like. They were very similar, a lot, a lot of third-party efforts at least. They're very similar to the NES versions, they just looked and sounded a little bit better. And in some rare cases, they would have gameplay differences too. I don't see any off the bat, uh, again, again, except for the lack of the progression system, but I mean, that means I have all the, uh, most of my moves, I assume, uh, from the start. That bat, that look, that just looks like I'm, I'm tossing around a bowling pin. Whoop. Take that. I feel like he died before the, the, the TNT went off. <laughs> You just saw it, just had a heart attack, just just gave up. Okay, this roper giving me some problems. Please stay down. No. He tripped and fell. Okay, good. Whoop. Wow, and that and that that flashing icon does not <laughs> Look at the Sega box! Let's toss around the Sega box! All these unsold copies of Alex Kid in there. So yeah, definitely repro- I mean, it, it was hinted towards Sega reprogramming it, but you never know by the wording, it, it could mean something else, but definitely reprogrammed by Sega then, if they're so cheeky that they have to get their name in the actual game. Alright, you're all down. So it should be a couple of people, no conveyor belt, uh, should be a couple of jobbers coming out, we'll see if a uh, fake green-suited Billy Shows, oops, whoops, watch that step there, it's a doozy. I do like how the Williams is, there he is. Oh, he is the boss, he's so cool looking. He's got a little pink shirt. Little pink hairdo, he's super cool. Well, let's just keep doing this. What you got, what you got? You got not much is what you got, yeah. Yeah, the, the mission bumpers are so far the the only lame bit compared to the NES version. I really like uh, the mission one bumpers, the mission two, and everything. It's a lot of ropers already. Let's see how far we can get, honestly, because I'm just judging by the NES version. It's where the game uh, starts getting a lot harder, a lot quicker. I mean, it looks like I'm headbutting, but it also looks like I'm leaning in for a kiss. And both can cause damage, if you do them hard enough, you know? So, there should be an Abobo pretty soon if the bridge is coming up next. I am worried about it. I don't know how many continues we really get. There are no difficulty options at the start, or I miss them if there were. I do think enemies take more damage than normal, than, than the NES version at least. Oh, okay, no. Huh. Usually this, this section comes after the bridge. I, again, I'm going by the NES version. You know, it makes you really wish, like, you know, what I was saying before, how Sega Master System games are usually slightly or even moderately improved versions of a lot of NES third-party games. It'd be so sick. Just looking at this background, I don't, and, and the fact that we're in the woods, it makes me think of Friday the, the 13th NES, right? I was like, oh, I've been so sick if there was like an improved port of that on the Master System back in the day. Oh, such a shame. All right, here comes the bridge. There's an Abobo. Let's, let's jump that, see what they do. I'm over here. Come and have a go. Oh! Alright, that's, that's fair. But Abobo is actually quite scary because the, he has like little red pupils. Can we scroll him off the screen? Can we despawn Abobo? Yes, we did! We did despawn him! Nice. That seems to be a general trick, despawning in the NES version as we already kind of discussed, so... I'm not surprised that there's at least a, a few of those instances in this port as well. One, th one thing that's that's really come to light playing all these other versions after the arcade is that I've never gotten uh, grabbed in a full Nelson uh, by a bad guy before. Oh my god, this Bobo's back for the revenge of the one I despawned! 
or he came out the other side. But yeah, that one animation of an enemy holding you from behind and um, uh, grabbing you so that people can hit you, it seems like that was only in the arcade. If it's in the other versions, I have not seen it yet. Oh my god, the overhead toss. Oh, what's, what's, okay. We're scrolling down a bit just, just to show the bottom of the screen. All right, rocks. The the boss in this should be the two Bobos that that burst from the wall. They're just, they're just so happy to make their entrance. Like they were locked in the cave. You think about that. What are they like? Cave cave trolls? I really think about this. Like Billy and Jimmy's martial arts style says says plainly in the rules. If you see a giant rock, you can use that throw that. It's it's very impractical, but if you find you have to, please use it. Oh my god, you see how he got out of the way? He knew. I was in his head. Yeah. Alright, bring it over. That I'll take that. We take we take those W's where we can get them. They're so rare. Alright, please don't disappear in my hands. Oh oh that's unexpected. Did he is that the guy that I th oh no, I guess they just don't don't burst from the wall. They just show up. That's fine. I'll again. What am I supposed to say to you? Nice, nice. All right, good damage. Again, I'm throwing the uh, a rock the size of a boulder. Can we take this? Can we? We can't. All right, so that's a little that's a little different. I think usually no, no. The 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 level extends past this, and that's the the second. World boss is just here too, and a green Williams. That's just unbelievable. How am I supposed to like be immersed into the game when something so crazy can happen? Uh, just crushed his skull. Okay, another one. All right, I could I could take two on at once. You know, if that's what I gotta do. Now, could could. Could I have killed these guys quicker if I don't go back and laboriously pick up the rock every time? Maybe. We can't we can't know for sure if it's faster to just beat them with my with my martial arts skills. We we can't know that. Ah, oh, lost the rock. Great. This is my one my one and true only friend in this world. In this world of, of dragons double. I'm not sure if I have infinite continues again. There is no indication how many were being afforded to me. So is that it? Nope. Green Abobo. <sighs> All I know is that green, green just gives him power. He's inching closer though. Fortunately, he's respecting me here. And this is this is better, going better is better than I hoped, you know. All right, nice. Wow. Okay. We're, we're like almost at the end of the game. Damn, that's quick. So, oh, these assholes again. I don't. I can't stand them. Or at least, at least it doesn't have the two cross ones. Wow, a single knife. Uh, Roper, you got me. Okay, I thought I saw a hair grab earlier, but I wasn't 100% sure. I'm glad that they're in there. Whoo, whoo! Alright, he's gonna go for the dynamite. I'd like it to blow up in his hands. No? Okay. Alright, should be two more Bobos here. Or not? Oh, there they are! Yeah! God, I have no weapons to help me, and I still don't know how many continues. I, I even have some sometimes my jump kick actually does two hits of damage it seems like it does like right there at the start and then right before I land but they still knock them down anyway I just oh really oh that oh okay we almost did it though little little bit of a letdown I wish I could have saved Marion but uh, not today I, I've saved her enough already just in this video alone I'll be saving her like 20 times um, that was actually quite pleasant um, it, it could be a little bit better the graphical uh, flickering on the sprites was a little distracting um, 
but yeah, I, I still kind of prefer the NES version. But for this, I'm thinking somewhere three bimmies. I think three bimmies is good. Um, it, it could. I'd love to give it like 3.5, you know, just because the Sega Master System is a very intriguing console to me. But uh, we got plenty more left to go. Ooh, so uh, when you see graphics like this, you know you're playing the uh, the Spectrum. <laughs> it's always always has a certain look. Um, so yeah, we're getting we're getting deep into the uh, home computers. You know, cutscene of, of Marion. So that's already uh, the bad thing. I mean, the bad thing is what we're looking at, honestly. I, I people bought the Spectrum. I think, yeah, that I don't know if any of my audience, any of you watching this video uh, bought it, but this is, this is what the, uh, the graphics are, just colors overlaid on top of each other. It's, it's unique. Okay, it actually has the hair pull. I'm, I'm super shocked about this. I, I don't know if I'm Billy and or Jimmy. I could be one or both. So it, it just has chit, chit, and brown, brown, just robots farting. I, I, I guess I don't know what to expect on, on the home computer system. So it should be a Linda. She made a little squeak like she's a mouse. Scoop Moto. Scoop Moto is just holding it down in Double Dragon games until the end of time. Love it. <laughs> it's Big Black Bully Cock. <laughs> What's he doing here? I mean, Blacktop Bully, of course. He does He does really feel like a circus performer strongman here. This, this is not our Robobo. So clearly, uh, you know, actually modeling the characters after the arcade sprites was not was not uh, a priority here uh, for the dev team. They just, they just redrew what they wanted to redraw, uh, which is fine. That's also a valid choice. I guess this is supposed to be the Mr. T of a Bobo, but, but it's unclear. How's the elbow smash, which I'm also kind of surprised. I'm surprised there's more than like, you know, one punching animation, honestly. Nope. Completed mission one. That was, ooh. That was what, like three minutes? Hit, hit P1 fire. Okay. So we're more in the industrial level. Um, I don't know. Not sure if we need to play this more than we are. There's honestly not much to say. I guess it's playable. You know what I mean? Like it's not like atrociously slow or whatever. Like it is. Uh, but but moves come out. The scrolling is, is somewhat decent. It's not uh, too choppy. So nice. Oh, that was clutch. Remember, kids. That's that's how you defeat them in the Spectrum version of Double Dragon One. Uh, that's like 1.9 uh, bimmies out of 5 jammies. <laughs> and I'm being generous there. William R. Sessions, I'm tired of you pushing your beliefs on us. <laughs> All throughout the 90s. So this is Double Dragon 2 The Revenge. It came out just like a year I made the same year, apparently. No, the, the, the next year after Double Dragon 1. And it was essentially supposed to be I believe just a ROM upgrade of the first one, just to uh, smooth out the uh, all the slowdown and things like that, and just be like an upgrade to the original game. And then like halfway through, let's just make a sequel. So you're gonna see a lot of similar things and maybe some experimental ideas that you know maybe necessarily didn't really work. Now, why is it called the Revenge? You ask. <laughs> That's why they just kill Marion off. And mission one, start. Okay, let's do it, I guess. So the main sort of, I guess, innovation to this game is the left and right uh, attacking style, which I'm gonna be honest, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a massive fan of. It constantly screws with your brain about what attacks where, because it's the opposite of how a lot of other action games worked. Oh my God, I'm getting my ass kicked. It'll be fine. Oh. Jeez. And you can see that the game moves quite a good deal faster. I think there is some slowdown later on in the game, or, or depending on what's happening on screen. But uh, it certainly moves at a faster clip than you'd think when you think of Double Dragon, which is usually, depending on what game you're playing, 
kind of slow. Oh my god. The spinning uh, hurricane kick, I think this is the first time it got introduced. I, Because I, I don't think it was in the first game at all, unless I somehow missed it. Blah, blah. And this stage always mystified me. We got Marion's uh, severed hand up there telling us where to go. Now, there might be a storyline reason for that, but we'll see. This stage, I think, is on a rooftop. That fence back there, you can see clouds, but in some interpretations of the game, they don't they don't think that. And of course, the NES version is, is very, very different. That might be the world's smallest helicopter, I'm not sure. Oh, God. This is like a new enemy type that I think is pretty cool. He's got a, got a mustache and an eye patch. I don't know his name. Who do I know this man? But he's a pretty he's a pretty neat little guy. He's gonna be showing up quite a bunch. Uh, the box is so threatening. Ah! But yeah, you're not you're never prepared for how fast these these enemies come at you. The sprites? Jesus, this Williams might do some shit at the last second. And while this is a new stage, we'll see uh, how much they kind of reused from the first game in a little bit. And really, aside from like those few new moves, I don't think I can headbutt. I can do I can do the um, the uh, yeah the elbow, but I, the, I think the headbutt is gone from the game. And sadly, as we'll see, there's no abobos in Double Dragon Two. Uh, there are abobo types, <laughs> abobo likes, but they're not actually abobo, which is a little sad. He's the most iconic character of the series. Hopefully, one day he'll have a, a big adventure of his own, but we'll see. May maybe one day. So. Our first Abobo like should be coming up here. <laughs> this Arnold Schwarzenegger motherfucker. Put that cookie down now. All right, so he's confused about what to do. I might have, I just might have vanished before his eyes. He has no idea. See if I can cheat this. No, no. Come on, I'm hitting his toes at least. Where did Billy go? Did you hear something? I thought I just heard something. Must have been my imagination. I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if that was stolen from a Schwarzenegger movie. But yeah, this guy's called Abore, I believe, or Abor. Oh, I think generally he's pretty weak to weapon hits or, or something like that. We should also see two Lindas soon. We can go up here. No, we can't. Some versions you can, so that's a little weird. Maybe I can't with uh, with uh, the chain. All right, maybe the Lindas are here. Hey, there they are, yeah. Oh, why did you go fart in the phone booth? So they actually uh, have a different look with the mohawk, which I prefer. This is why that I iconic Double Dragon 2 box art has, has a Linda with a whip with a little cool 80s mohawk. Kind of prefer it to the, the first Linda. It's very m much more Mad Max, which I always appreciate. Why can't I dual chain whips? That'd be so sick! Ugh! Okay, good. Uh, a lot of the time, since they introduced that move and it does a lot of damage, they unfortunately made sure that a lot of the AI will duck it. They'll just they'll just know you're doing it. They'll read your inputs and they'll be like, nope, don't want to get hit by that. And they just stay ducking, which I'm like, I mean, fair enough. You're just, uh, you're just, oh, <laughs> I didn't know about the second salvo. You have to fight for every every second of your life in Double Dragon 2, I find. I, I generally think it's more of a quarter munch than the first arcade game. I love how, how the bad guys can run and dash. You can't. That's not allowed. That's not allowed till Double Dragon 3. All right, let's get the knife for now just because it does a lot of damage. And I think... Oh, Shovel Chan! That's our first introduction to the shovel. Probably the lamest weapon I can think of. Like, yeah, no, I don't want to get hit by a shovel in real life, of course. But in this game, it's just... Why a shovel? That's not like... Are you are you shoveling my lawn? <laughs> are you shoveling my, the snow in my driveway? Why do you have a shovel of all things? Why not, like, I don't know, an axe or the baseball bat? <laughs> That sounded like Takahata. <laughs> so this is Birdov. Uh, you, most most Double Dragon kids know who he is. Again, probably one of the most overt Max, uh, Mad Max, uh, Mad Max representations. Ugh, and he's just got this throw. He just punches me in my belly welly over and over and over again. It's super rough. Ow! Jeez, it's so it's enemies just on wake up they they just cause damage no matter what you're doing sometimes can just punch through your combos i i just find these things are much more prevalent in double dragon 2 versus the first one i think the the general thought process is is that you know we want people to put more quarters into this even over the first one because the first one was such a success so if, if we make this way harder bleh. 
And unlike the NES version, uh, when you fight Burnout for the first time, he, j he just dies on the very first uh, death of his disintegration. So essentially what we're just starting off here is like the second level of the first game. Now this is not a Bobo. This is Bolo. It's very distinct. It's a very different character. It's uh, nice to meet you, Ambolo. So yeah, this is essentially just a level repurpose from Double Dragon 1, the arcade game. Obviously with some new enemies and, and placements and stuff, but primarily it's the same thing. Guys, I just I can't, can't even mess around. You, even uh, Linda can like ruin your day in this. You do have this new like kind of forward kick. Uh, people will also duck it, and there's not much you can do about. Damn it! The steel ball is one of the greatest weapons in Double Dragon history. I really wish I could have showed it to you, but for those that are not familiar with these games at all, especially this one, uh, just 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 to put it forward about how the moves actually work, you basically have a left and right attack. You don't have a punch and kick. When you're turning this way and you press the the right attack, he does a kick backwards. So it's only good if someone's coming up there. Pressing the the uh, left side attack hits to the left, but if you turn around here and you want to pre punch forward, you have to press the left side attack, not the one you pressed previously. So they swap depending where you are. And if you want to do, I don't know, the forward jump kick, you have to press jump and forward and the right attack for this. But that's not. It changes over here. You have to press this and then together, and it really throws you for a loop the first time you're playing. By by the end of this level, I'd like to think I'll be more used to it, but who knows? And I think this this control scheme was first invented for a Kunio game, I believe. And they're just like, oh, let's just put that in a Double Dragon as well. It'll it'll make it seem new, even though I I think it's it's a step back. I'd rather always have a dedicated punch backwards button. To hit anybody that's coming up behind me it's just easier to remember in my brain and unfortunately when i go back to like double dragon 3 after playing all this double dragon 2 it's gonna screw me up again so thanks thanks let's just hide from this linda up here you cannot get me oh my god he's coming Ooh, ooh, precious knife chant oh come on Oh, Jesus. Okay, finally. So, in, in a nice change, when you fall... Oops. <laughs> in a nice change with Double Dragon 1, even if you fall down, you don't look like an idiot and fall straight on your fucking ass. So, like, yeah, even one single punch, you know, someone will be like, No, I, I, I did not feel that punch at all. I will continually combo you through your own attacks. Just quite the opposite of how beat-em-ups would go on to work. Like, Double Dragon just chuck the rules out because there were no rules yet it invented a lot of them and some of them were maybe not the best all right so boss should be coming soon i think uh, that linda just died via conveyor belt so you really do get the feeling oh my god here he comes look at this dapper man about town and the frame rate shit itself i, I don't know what they're thinking with so many terminator Arnold schwarzenegger uh homages this guy is incredible <laughs> abu, abu. Th that's a voice sample you don't hear very often okay i want i want to get them on the conveyor belt it's a thing i will be trying to do for all of these double dragon ports okay okay this is rough <laughs> this is super rough okay get on there you son of a bitch get on there he's like i haven't exercised in a while no! Oh, can I just leave? Oh, those Linda's peace out! They're like, yeah, no, we're not fucking with this dude. So yeah, again, very reminiscent of Double Dragon 1, all this stuff. Uh, I, when I see a group of enemies like this, I just, I just start sweating. I know I have infinite continues, but imagine if you didn't. It's a super cool, different thing. Well, not maybe super cool, but it's a different thing of, you know, not being intimidated by a lot of beat-em-up, you know, later beat-em-up enemies, because they weren't that big of a threat. They are basically, you know, fist sponges for the most part but in double dragon one and two and especially three you're like oh my god am i even gonna get through this one room of like two enemies because they you get damaged so much more quickly than say in final fight or streets of rage double dragon jobber enemies like they're not jobbers <laughs> at all in fact some of them are like a bit more tough to deal with than like the later bosses Son of a bitch, he knew, he knew. So apparently now we're in Yellowstone. 
somehow. I, I thought the games take place in New York City. Some of them say they do. Others don't say shit. Some of them even just say it takes place in Metro City. Which Metro City is that? The one from Final Fight? Who knows? Sometimes we just make up Double Dragon lore depending on the day that we feel. Hey, Metro City. So you basically have to throw out raw spinning hurricane kicks when, when not after someone's been knocked down. They most always duck. You kind of throw one unexpectedly in the middle of nothing. They'll be like, oh, okay, I, I want to get hit by that. Like there. So yeah, we are going to Yellowstone. Maybe it's like one of those fake uh, Western towns. It's one of those ones where you pay your $6.95, please. And then you get to experience a really crappy fake Western town. Maybe that's what it is. That guy's just gonna, his elbows are just gonna crack holding that log up for that long. I think this is the only time a big hunk of wood appears as a weapon. Ugh, just, no, please. Ah, uh, So this is an interesting stage in that it has one big dumb gimmick we're gonna see that it's gonna be interesting if all the other ports do it. I kinda don't think they will but it'll be a technical showpiece at the very least. I'm not sure if I really need a dash, because look how fast Billy is, you know? he's He trains for stamina. There we go. Here comes the death machine. This is such a weird thing that they decided to put in. And here for some reason is Jimmy Lee. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I, I've turned heel, I guess, again. And some of the AI is smart enough to jump when this happens. It gives you so little time. I know that those lights on, on the Thresher uh, flash when it's about to hit. Oh my god, Shovel is back. So, I don't know. Do you think the Commodore or the Specky will have the Thresher? Uh, place your bets in the comments below. Cows. You have to say cows. They don't do anything. It'd be cool if, like, I don't know, they could, like, crash through the fence. Oh, look at these Jimmy bros throwing grenades. That's not a martial art. Like, look, th probably think about how awkward they are walking around with like six or seven grenades stuffed in their pockets. Like, dude, what's with all those bulges? Nothing. So there should be two burn-offs, which is two more than you need, really. <laughs> it's not bad. Ah! Gentlemen, please die. No, they knew. <sighs> Again, who programmed the AI? Like, Ed Boon? They just read everything that that, that I do. E even before I do it. Ugh. Did one of you... Okay, one of you. One of you blahs out of existence. Yeah, 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 that's good. So, weirdly enough, this doesn't go into another mission. It just changes the objective. We just go inside the enemy base and then invade it. It's a nice view, though. I'm just wondering, like... Will this cycle of violence just keep continuing? Marion's dead now, and I do want my revenge, but what if I murder one of these other punks or bosses, and their wives want revenge against me? You know, it really makes you think. Anyway, let's keep punching people in the face. Alright, hi, Bolo. You're just basically in a Bobo sprite with a bunch of hair on it. Just this big Danny Trejo vibe. Okay, hi, Bolos! It's uh, nice to meet nice you, Bolo. Bolo. Generally, I find um, knocking enemies into things to get, get battles over quicker is a less of a thing in Double Dragon 2, the arcade game at least. On the NES game, you can do it a lot. And I kind of prefer it in that, in that sequence. Oh, this dude, this dude, this this guy is unbeatable. Like he has two sticks, so it's already it's like what the fuck, and you can't use these unfortunately. Even if I beat him pretty easily, but why is a bolo still here? Please go away. I just find that this guy like just ignores almost everything you do half the time. And if I recall, this guy has like like a thousand billion points of health. I know that sounds like a lot, but it really feels like it. You move first. Move in the way of my foot, please. No? Ah! Ugh. Finally. It's only gonna get harder from here, unfortunately. Alright, so here's a Bore again. Maybe we can get him down here. He seems confused about where I went. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, alright, alright. That's one small victory for Matthew Lee. <laughs> yeah! Okay, okay. Everything's coming up Bill House here. No! Oh, please! <laughs> Never seen that happen. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, we're doing- This is the best I've ever done, PB, PB! What? 
and it shoots lasers. Get out of fucking town. Oh, I'm learning. I'm learning. It's actually down. I saw a ladder going up and my mind almost froze. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a beginner's trap if I've ever seen one. But wait, there's more. Oh, no. This is such a bad time, burn off. Burn offs. Everyone, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Fortunately, I think this is like the last big battle before the, the final big battle. So there's that, I guess. Every time you do a spinning hurricane kick and like it hits nobody and everyone just kind of watches you spin in the air and come down, you just feel so embarrassed. Like you might as well have shit your pants at the same time as you were doing it. <laughs> I'll take one death. Please don't come back. Please don't make your gross noises. Bleah. No! Say, you see that unfairness right there? When you come back uh, from having lost a life and you have invincibility, you're also, they're invincible too. Your punches, your attacks don't actually connect because you don't have a solid uh, hitbox, I guess. So that's like how unfair that, oh my god! <laughs> Look at this dude! What a fashionista! This sprite is so big, why does it need to be so big? I don't want to I don't want to get scrolled too far into this scene because then the boss shows up or like the 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 final battle kicks off so I kind of have to take care of him here. How? His sprite is so big. How did that not hit him? I think I'm understanding why they decided to put a block parry button in Super Double Dragon. They're like people have had enough of this horse shit. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. No. No, no, no. I trick another people. They're showing up. I just I just need Wampu to Get away from me, please. And what's weird is like there's ab almost no weapons on these on the stage at all. Like I mean, a couple would have helped out a little bit. Just like after the first stage or two, there's like no more whips and 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 knives. Ugh. Thank fucking Christ. Okay. Ah! <laughs> this is why they put the conveyor belt when you fight the first ones. You get the get them the hell off you. Just walks up to me, just raw pimp slap. It's it's so harsh. Oh, oh, you better not throw another one at me. I'll throw my controller. Okay, well that's not great, but I'll take it. Okay, nice. All right, what we got? What we got? What we got? Yeah, another another one. Here he comes. Machine Gun Willy, right? We defeated him in the first game, which was a mistake. When I say it was a mistake, it's because we did not murder him. Uh, because we did not murder him, he just shows back up and he's like, I'm just gonna murder your girlfriend because you, you embarrassed me. You embarrassed me in front of all of my Mad Max goons. So this is our fault. This is our doing, really. It's where the 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 depth of the Billy and Jimmy Lee characters come in because they they realize like they were just as responsible. And what sucks is that it's the exact same boss fight really as as the first one. He doesn't really have any new tricks as far as I know, and he's dead. Oh, but wait, is there one more fight? Is this the the great Majin Buu? So this is kind of their justification for the ending of NES Double Dragon, uh, where you're like, you fight Jimmy. They're like, no, we can't, we can't actually do that. We can't just rewrite the lore saying like, oh, Jimmy's evil. So their, their sort of explanation for that is that that wasn't Jimmy after all. That was an evil split personality after image whatever and that's who you were fighting the the ending of like who's mary gonna go with billy or jimmy like i still think that stands as a, as a canon thing but in the nes version fighting an evil jimmy is like no that's no that's not that's not what happened <laughs> oh no that's super sick now i know where they they got that shit from hisako's command grab the foreboding atmosphere is like something i've never experienced this is Splatterhouse shit right here, you know? Hadouken! And he gets like, a Hadouken, why don't I get that? Just die, please. You are so tough. I respect you. You're a living part of me, but you have to go. I have to kill the toxicity in my soul. Thought, thought, thought he might actually be How much health does this dude have? Is he just drinking kombucha all day? How does he have this big of a life bar? How, like, how did kids have this much money? to defeat this game back in 1988. Ugh. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
go away, toxic traits. I, I don't understand. I think this is just a photo of happy times and her tears splash into the end. Yeah, you just get rewarded with a photo of her and the Jim and the Lee brothers in 1988. And, and that's the end of Double Dragon 2 The Revenge. Not much in the way of story, but we'll see that they'll expand the story way, way more in subsequent ports. So... Um, honestly, it's a little bit disappointing compared to Double Dragon 1. Uh, there's, I, I think some of the things it does is kind of backwards and not as great, and the level reuse is also not ideal. That final battle, despite being really tough and an absolute quarter hog, is still really, really cool in, like, concept and stuff. So, for me, I think this is like a 4.1 Bimmy sort of situation. Uh, it would get much better from here, but it also get much worse from here, uh, specifically with Double Dragon 3. But uh, it's going to be a little bit before we can get to that because you have a lot more ports to go through. All right, an absolute highlight of this video, I think, will always be Double Dragon 2 The Revenge on the mighty Nintendo Entertainment System. So... Don't put it, never put it on practice. Practice, I think, just doesn't even give you the last couple levels. Not that I think I'm going to be good enough to get to them. Violence ruled the streets of New York City after the nuclear war. Even with the crime syndicates growing bigger every year, two young men were brave enough to challenge them. While their names were Billy and Jimmy Lee, that's spelled incorrectly, people called them the Double Dragons. And uh, they, they never bragging. Yet the dragons had one terrible enemy. To fight against him was the destiny and fate of the double dragons. One day, Shadow Warriors attacked the city and Billy's girlfriend, Marion, was killed. No! The double dragons swore to Avenger Dell, let's go double dragons! Really weird for Billy's girlfriend to be like killed and his first thing that he says is, let's go double dragons! All right then. Time. So obviously the the opening cutscene of the arcade version is not put in here. Uh, fortunately, uh, Double Dragon 2 on the NES I think is probably one of the best versions, if not the best version of it. Now is it exactly like the arcade? No, it's very different, but I kind of prefer it that way. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. Because, you know, I try to be. Uh, I have a lot of bias towards <laughs> towards this version, obviously. Uh, I rented, I rented, never bought, but I rented this a ton of times as a kid. Kind of, this is like a big NES highlight for me, right? Sorry, I just want to test out the hurricane kick. This, like as we already talked about in the arcade and uh, arcade version, is that it instituted the different combat mode for kicking to the left and to the right. I think it always takes a little little bit to acclimatize, and and even the sprites of characters. Like th th this is Williams. Williams looks way different, and in my opinion, cooler than the Williams is in the arcade version. If you see characters doing cartwheels, they're Williams is. And like already it's our first big deviation. We start at like, what was it? A, like an airfield that that feels like it's on top of a building. I'm not really sure. But here they institute, I think this is the first game that says after the nuclear war, a Palpatine somehow returned. No, after the nuclear war, New York City. And then th this is at least establishing what the hell city this is happening in? Like, to me, it's the first game that really started to establish some lore. Now, was it directly supervised by the creator of Double Dragon, who made the arcade versions? Maybe not. It was made by Technos, so I'm sure he had some inkling of it, but already we're moving up. We're not just moving to the right and having the, the uh, level scroll that way. And I kind of prefer Double Dragon that in that style. It makes it more of a platforming action game rather than just a straightforward beat-em-up. It's still a beat-em-up. I still beat up. And even brand new weapons. I really like a metal pipe better than the goddamn shovels. You know, there's there's just certain things that I think the NES home versions do right. And we're already at Burnoff here, and I even think Burnoff is handled in a cooler way. His sprite is maybe not as big and not as cool, uh, but they establish his disappearing act uh, off the bat, whereas we saw in the arcade version, it's not there. Oddly enough, well, it is, but it's like the third or fourth burn off that we fight, which is just kind of weird to me. It's going to take me a little while, folks. You're just going to have to bear with it. There's not much I can do about my own incompetency. Were you killed? 
Sadly, yes. But I lived. That scared the shit out of me as a kid. I was like, no, he's back. I can't handle it. Even more so than the arcade version, this established these moves that you can do. Uh, the hyper uppercut, I, I don't think you can do it in the arcade version, but it's, it's and the and the knee. They're escaping into that chopper. You'll never make it. Don't you know you can't make it? Go for broke. And this level itself is like super sick. It's way sicker than anything in the arcade. Um, but yeah, the hyper knee and the hyper uppercut, it's like after that brief pause, after you get up from being knocked down or from a jump, you just press the attack button and and they'll do the associated move. Or right, maybe can you not do the hyper knee in this? Maybe, maybe I'm getting my moves mixed up. I think it's maybe just the, the hyper uppercut. Ow! And already, look how big of a set piece this is. Linda's came prepared with grenades which I don't suggest is a good up close fighting uh, weapon. Not at all. <laughs> I think that's a bad idea. I think this is like the new Roper. Maybe not. I think these guys have a different name. They're not Roper. Roper are the guys with the green shoulder pads because that's a fashion statement. Ow. And you know, I will say the, uh, the hurricane kick uh, certainly doesn't come out consistently in this version. Okay. Because if I fall down there, I lose the life. And and you're, you're playing this, and it's it's such a different cadence and and speed and and just kind of gameplay style from the from the arcade game, which is essentially just a button masher. But here, you I find you always have to be a lot more careful. A because you don't have infinite continues quarters, and this just I I find it it's just a lot more challenging in a better way. The one thing that really mystified me as a kid though was like, wow, these guys are some tough motherfuckers. I didn't say motherfuckers, but uh, because they're not wearing shoes, they're just barefoot. Off your shoes and your socks, then you walk around on the rug barefoot and make fists with your toes. Oh god, these ninjas. Say, so you can't do the hyper knee. Sorry, I'm kind of forgetting my buttons here. Yeah, like, I looked at their feet, I'm like, well, they're not wearing shoes. Everyone else is wearing shoes, but these, these guys don't. And I guess just for whatever reason, they decided like, oh, Billy and Jimmy's boots should be like Caucasian uh, flesh color. Well, why? Why would you choose that? Just put it like a, a few shades different. And I only even realized this was the case until I played like Super Double Dragon, where they have little like beige booties. I'm like, oh, okay. No. Yeah. Oh. I don't so I clearly cannot make this I cannot grab onto that helicopter but hold it you'll never escape from us grasp the chopper escaped into the neon filled light that's so cool so um establishing the the helicopter stage like, this is such a classic double dragon moment to me but it's like only in this version or not there I think there's one other version we'll be taking a look at that has this oh well, at least my assassin got what was coming to him. And it's like such a cool thing that they 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 gave these gimmicks uh, to, to the NAS version, trying to make it more, not more, but like different than the arcade. To like, for kids to be like, oh, I want to play Double Dragon. Well, you're not going to get the exact same thing. You're going to get something with different level layouts and different challenges. It's not, I think they're inherently saying one's better than the other, but kids, if you want the full Double Dragon experience, better buy this version too. Don't want to miss out. All right, I think Bolo. Yeah, here's Bolo. Or, or, or as Ben and uh, Rudis says, Danny Trejo. Uh, come on, come on, get out there, get out there. Yeah, that's what you do. You have to use every, every advantage. So I'm already like a little nervous because I think, I think I don't get any continues. I think it's three lives, that's it. I mean, that's still better. I, I think if you put it on practice, maybe you get continues. I honestly forget. That's why they have that shit in Double Dragon Neon. The chopper is landing on Mysterious Island, Mission 4, Undersea Base. And I even think like mid-mission cutscenes, between mission cutscenes was like also established in, in this version. There's zero cutscenes in the arcade. Again, like we discussed, the arcade version was just basically a ROM update of the first game. And then they're like, at the last second, they're like, oh, well, we can just, we can sell this as a, as a 
like a brand new arcade like sequel even though i think maybe you shouldn't have so to me even if it's maybe not technically accurate the best type of accurate um i still consider this to be like the true sequel to like the first game like it's just different enough that it's like oh this is fresh and new but still similar enough that you're like okay well this is still double dragon no any big sweeping changes oh let's let's go into the out and the thing about this area is that i'm sure you know double dragon uh veterans who are much better than me will know this but of course if uh, those of you have never been exposed to this series especially this game is that you do not want to jump here because those are actual spikes uh above me i think you do take damage but if you're able to do a, an uppercut I, maybe it causes extra damage to them if you knock them into the spikes i don't know for sure on that i'm gonna i'm gonna have to have that checked in post is he actually gonna beat me though of course every good shadow master has the hydraulic claws i think they put these things back into double dragon neon i think they're there i, re I recall them uh okay Landis, I think I can handle. Uh, grenades? I can't. Oh my god. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Williams is maybe? We might be able to do it. Now if he throws a knife in my face! Oh! Oh, zero counts! Zero counts! I forgot! Ah! Oh no! Okay, that was only that was only one pip of Oh, I jumped. It's all falling apart now, folks. You're seeing the unraveling of a man. Okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can't do this. I'm dead. Fuck. Fuck my ass. Yeah. That's 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 how I thought this was gonna go. Double Dragon 2, The Revenge on the NES, still super sick, super dope. Uh, you can play this version if you like on the Kunio Kun Double Dragon uh, Mega Collection that I believe is on PlayStation and Switch. Anyway, this is like an easy 4.5 uh, Bimmies out of five. It's in stores now. <laughs> Alrighty, this is Double Dragon 2 The Revenge. Did you did you see that coming? Uh, for the Genesis. Or I actually should say, clarify, the Mega Drive, because this version never made it out of Japan. Uh, apparently because it's terrible. Okay, I have, I have one one play. Uh, we can do we can do that, I'm assuming. So so yeah, this is one of the earlier, I think maybe the earliest port of, of Double Dragon 2. You'd think on the Jenny it would be the best version, but uh, I don't know exactly what's wrong here. This music, that sounded okay. Let's start it up. Whoa! I might have been even more violent than the <laughs> arcade version. Uh, this is okay so far. Uh, maybe saying things a bit too early, but... Ooh, okay. So yeah, very much an arcade port. I was kind of hoping for a Genesis version of the NES uh, port. Oh, that'd be sick. That'd be super cool. But um, yeah, if this predates the NES port, um, yeah, that, that's probably the reason why. And plus, I think this was made by a completely other third party, uh, Palsoft, something like that, in, in the opening credits. So, Technos made the NES version, so yeah, that's, uh, it's a little bit disappointing, but whatever. This looks alright. Hurricane Kick? Hurricane Kick? No? Is that not in here? Elbow? Elbow be there. So the animation getting a little choppy in the, the walking. Man, I'm walking here! It's kind of random. Oh, there it is. Ooh, yeah, a little... A lot of... Ah! <laughs> Come on, Lindas! Is that them screaming? What is that? Oh, it's the... It's the base. I don't remember three badass Lindas, like, in sequence, in matching clothing, throwing knives at me and whipping the maces. Right! Is that an added encounter? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, so already I think the AI or something is, is jacked up a little bit. This did have difficulty options, so maybe that's part of it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, no! <laughs> Pressed the wrong attack button again. Uh, I thought I'd get used to it by by finishing Double Dragon 2 Arcade, but all right, I, I got some I got some credits. Good. At least that at least that seems manageable. On normal, what was there five? There was five credits there. I have three lives. That's completely manageable. I'm assuming if you put that down on easy, but even on normal, five credits is a lot. And I'm, um, and I'm bad. Always oh, don't, don't discount that fact. Wait, why is there a box there? That's weird. <gasps> oh, give him box advantage right off the bat. I don't know about that. I couldn't afford a present this year. So I got you this box. Amazing. Oh, she's, 
All right, there's there's Shovel Chan. Shovel Chan being established uh, fairly early. So yeah, slightly like unique. Oh, what the hell? That was massive slowdown. That is like Double Dragon One Arcade slowdown. Oh my God, it's the Linda triplets again. Right. Right. I need to divide and conquer here. All right, that wasn't that scary. I was quite scared. The three bad bitches coming at you wearing wearing coordinated clothing that's that's scary that's even scarier than burn off here i think i got him though you can hear the sound effects of the mace slow down is he gonna resurrect though because he doesn't in the arc okay that sounds okay so yeah that was a little rough in terms of speed and i think the controls were delayed slightly like they're kind of uh laggy but that looked okay that sounded all right yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the game cannot handle it. That's that's pretty rough. Uh, not the worst, obviously. We're gonna we have and will play further uh, home computer ports that are way more unplayable than that. But that's not a good sign, especially on the Genesis. Now this is pretty early Genesis. This is what 1989. I think I saw that on the title screen, but it might have been 88. No wait, the Genesis even came out in 89. Wait, when did the Mega Drive come out? That's different. Sega Genesis was born and did incredibly well. I don't know, it doesn't matter. This is an early uh, Genesis game. So I guess we need to cut a little bit of slack, but Palsoft, uh, the studio that made this particular port, I have never heard of them. Jeez, it just, we cannot handle uh, Billy's sprite spinning. It's too much. Genesis can't do it. Where am I going up? That's different. Oh, oh! All right, that's kind of a reduced uh, sprite for Bolo here. Oh, oh, oh! I'm taking that. I deserve that. If you don't think I deserve that, let me know in the comments. But you're wrong. I did. I completely set myself up for failure there. I'm gonna get out of here. It's. Oh, I can't. I really wish they'd let you jump off ladders because I just have to come down here and I'm just gonna get my fucking cock clean. Uh, my my clock. <laughs> my clock cleaned. Ah! Yeah. Got him there. Okay, 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 okay. Now I have your power. Balls, 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 balls. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, vic victory spin. Unfortunately. So that's not even like the lady's hand from the arcade version. They drew like a slightly different hand there to go up. This isn't part of the stage layout. What the hell? What's this highway of conveyor belts? This highway to the danger zone. That's cool that there's different stage layouts. The first one was pretty identical, but I, I don't think this was in the arcade. Fellas, I, either hit me or get hit. Oh, I wasn't sure if those little holes in the ground were actual little holes in the ground that they could fall into. That's a pretty tight space. We're sending our love down the well, that type of thing, if one of these guys falls down there. Am I, oh, oh, oh! No! Uh, uh, yeah, this is this is a different section. Okay, this time. Oh, no! <laughs> this time. Yeah, no! <laughs> Wasted a lot of lives. Damn, that was stretched so th uh, far. So yeah, the conveyor belt is in here. I I actually prefer this. That's It's a little bit of uh, Double Dragon NES uh, versions. Ooh, now, now I'm excited. Where are we gonna go N next? My blood is boiling. Ooh, can I set up something cool? Hell yeah, I can. Oh, no, here it is. Huh. I wonder why they made that change. I, th I, th I think it's a better change. All right, so we'll see if the, the boss is kept, which is the blonde Terminator guy in the suspenders. I always forget his name. Hello? Oh, okay. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> there he is. And two Lindas. Come on. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, come on. Come on here with me. Yes, let's dance this dance of death. Uh, my greatest uh, uh, compatriot in this this adventure is the conveyor belt. All right, mission three. I'm, I'm not sure how far we're honestly going to get. I have what? Three, three credits, two lives. And, then, and this in the arcade really ramps up in difficulty. So we'll see if that remains true here. Oh my god, Linda's, 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 ladies! Again, I'm not sure how advised it is to have a martial arts style where you just whip grenades two feet in front of you. To be fair, they're not taking any damage, just me. Oh my god, my health. 
My hound! Oh, all right, all right, all right. No, no, this time, Jesus. If there was one, it would be fine, but while I'm hitting one, another one's tossing grenades up my, my, my ass. And they're picking up the grenades that they, that they themselves throw. Which, how do you defeat an enemy that does that? That's so fearless. Like, they're like just tossing the grenades around. They're, they're, they're in the back alley playing catch. Oh, I'm excited to see if the Thresher in the field is here. I can't imagine it would be. I don't know, I just have a feeling it'll be... Okay, I have two credits left? I didn't, I didn't really see. You can feel the, the my totally legit uh, Mega Drive hardware just chugging as it tries to render a single spinning kick. All right, log. I'm gonna be using the captain's log. Uh, double Dragon Date 2.536. Is that it? Is that the Thresher? I think that is. That is completely different graphic. Oh, it doesn't do anything. It's just for show. I, it really looks like it's gonna do. There you go. Oh, whoop! The oh, there you go. Okay, so I have to time it and like constantly do a hurricane kick. Oh, Jesus! All right, so they're able to avoid it sometimes, but they get hit by others. So at least it's like fair to both of us. How did that hit me? I'm not even in the way of it. Oh, barely. I guess it's clipping my toes. Oh god, okay, this nightmare is over. Now I have to go slowly. I mean, the game's doing it slowly enough uh, as it is, but I kind of find with how the scrolling works to get too close to the right side of the screen and then someone just, bam, cold cocks me. So two burn offs, yep. Stay away, please. I have a shovel, Chan, and I know how to use it. <laughs> ah! oh. All right, I'm on zero lives. I don't know how much that really is. Uh, how many credits there are left? Oh, Jesus. Just gotta get away. Oh, yeah, just ignore my combo. That's dope. I like that. Burn off number one down. Burn off number two. Okay, you're, you're, you're done. Please don't come back. No! Well, all right, all right, you know, fair. Every burn off is allowed a chance. And it's like, he disintegrates. There's just clothes left, and he somehow materializes. Okay, we have enough credits to invade the enemy's base. Let's do it. Oh, that's a little different. There's no cliff unless I can scroll the screen. No, I can't. So yeah, a couple of arbitrary changes thrown in. I'm not sure due to technical reasons or, or whatever it is, but it's always nice to see unique things. I just wish the I just wish the controls and the slowdown were less. Like it sucks because everything else is like pretty good. Everything else is solid and i read some stuff that like this port was so bad that's why no one wanted to release it uh, uh outside japan like no one wanted to bother oh it's so low quality what the hell are you talking about are you high half of all of the ports are like unplayable but someone looked at this and were like oh no that's that's shit but you released double dragon 5 you released the genesis version of like double dragon 3 which will which will unfortunately see later i'm fucked by the way i'm not winning this i could barely beat this guy in the arcade and i have infinite continues there this is gonna this battle will not make your blood boil it's gonna make your blood like i just room temperature i don't know i guess i'm making it harder on myself by like overlapping sprites and neither of us can hit each other but i'm doing this because i assume if i get into his range like he'll just bop my shit all right that's pretty sweet too we got to keep up this momentum i can't actually believe it very pleased with that performance this sucks because we're gonna get we're gonna get pretty far well we might not get past this like one screen actually depending on who comes out fuck <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all right. Oh, devastating once again. Oh my God, I'm, I'm down to half health. And this is my last life too, so. Yeah, I, I, I don't see myself beating both these these Arnold de Bores. <laughs> Just take me. Uh, death, please place me to your shriveled bosom. Yeah, no, that's, that wasn't gonna go anywhere else but south. But that's completely doable. Uh, you know, on, on easy difficulty or, or even normal. I'm not sure about hard. And I think you could uh, switch out your lives to the, the life amount, and, which I didn't touch. That probably could have helped. But uh, yeah, that's kind of a mixed bag. I'm actually, I was expecting like something, yeah, that was like like Spectrum or, or Commodore unplayable. But no, that, that was okay. It's a little disappointing. It's not better. 
um, in terms of gameplay and speed and stuff. But no, I'd give that like 2.3 bimmies. Yeah. Why? Wait, why is Jimmy wearing white again? Why do they keep making that mistake? When is he ever wearing that? In any promotional material? Anyway, why do I even bother with double dragging inconsistencies? But yeah, I think this being one of the rarest uh, and most desirable double dragging games to collect, I think it's a neat little specimen. I like the uh, changes in the, um, the level layouts as well. But uh, we have a lot more revenging to do with all the other parts, so let's get to it. All right, so I was pretty impressed with Double Dragon 1 on the Game Boy. That's a weird title screen. Where are these people? I mean, it's Double Dragon music, kinda. It's a nice remix, actually. I guess Billy and Jimmy, actually, now I see them. They're in the the, the very bottom. Uh, all right, one player start is more on normal. I'm just nice and normal. After the Black Warriors were gone, it was very calm in the streets of New York. Okay, we're New York confirmed. They joined a training hall called Scorpions. The boss, Gordon, has made the Scorpions a good name. But there was a guy that didn't like this. His name was Anderson. Who? Bring Billy here. Guess Howard? Okay, boss. What? What's happening? What am I playing? This is not Double Dragon 2 The Revenge, even though that it said that on the tin. I mean, that's pretty much the hyper uppercut. It, it looks a little different, but, but there's someone named Anderson. So this, this has very little to do w w with anything. I have part of a plan and this is like weird kicking and and striking animations that i've never seen anywhere else this is neat though at the end of the day finding weird bizarre versions but i guess this is why it's called the revenge because they they shot jimmy they either killed or shot him that went by way too fast why am i fighting freddy over here that's weird isn't it ow the range again have to respect that I, I get I get a need to, to look things up or something. I, I need to understand what what the hell this this game is by by the end of this video. We'll figure it out. Oh, I have a little shove. Now you can get punched in the face. You can you can get your hair pulled. These are all bad things, but there's nothing worse than a shove. A shove has an air of like disrespect of like you're not you're not even worth it, kid. I'm I'm glad I found another game that actually says that they live in New York City. I mean, I always think that's cool, but a real life thing. And they're like, oh, they, they're in River City. I'm like, that's not a real place. It can't be. Oh my God, you see that stomp? That is like a Double Dragon 3 or like a Kunio thing almost. Why the music change? Are these bosses? No, they're not. Okay. You, you stay down? Is, were those bosses? I have no idea. I also just noticed the hearts. They have a heart system. So who is this? Kangaroo Jack? Why would he put boxing gloves on? It's You don't need to. We're in like this no holds barred world of martial artists and, and abobos. You, you don't need to, to put on the kid gloves, sir. You literally don't. Oh God, maybe the hearts are lives. I'm not sure because I just lost one. So I didn't gain rank or anything. Oh my God, look at this dude. All right, just, just keep doing the uppercuts. Oh, is that it? Oh, we're in the subway now, I guess. So, that's cool that we're in a subway. It happens very, very rarely. And when I say rarely, I mean zero times ever in Double Dragon. And and like the subway is where the criminals dwell. It's like they're cool to just chill and vibe spot. You'd think we'd go to subways way more in Double Dragon, especially since like a number of the games take place in New York. Again, I think. I honestly believe it's only really Double Dragon 2 home ports that even make reference to it. Specifically the NES version, but I guess since this is on the Nintendo family of consoles, they, they would mention it, why not? Now the really weird thing about this game is when I just quickly Googled it, it's box art is the box art for Double Dragon 3. So it's box art is the box art of its sequel, which which I, I don't know, it just it throws me for a loop. I'm, I'm just dizzy thinking about it. But they took out the 3 and the Rosetta or Sacred Stones moniker and just put Double Dragon 2. How late was this port that it just used the, oh my God, that it just used art from Double Dragon 3. That's like, Street Fighter 3 using box art from Street Fighter 4, you know what I mean? Okay, everyone, everyone dead? Everyone good? You can move on? Oh my god! 
It's a man in a subway with a knife. That's not great. That stomp is cool. I'm glad that's in here. Oh, wow. It does great damage, too, that combo. Like, sound effects are authentic, but this music, again, is not Double Dragon music. Ooh, cool. This is neat, actually. Just everything about this feels off. Like, I thought I saw Technos is the only name I saw on the, on the title screen. So I'm just wondering, and it feels like it was, was made by Technos, so... Yeah, search me. This is our first weapon that we've seen that I don't know if we can pick it up, but no, we can. Like, the Freddy's had... Wait, is the stage over? Okay. All right, well, you guys next. We're on the subway platform. The one thing I have to say is that the punch combos are... Oh, Jesus! Whoa! What? Three lives, no continues again. I, I gotta look this game up. So, as it turns out, quick Google search, this was actually a Kunio game that Activision had Technos reskin and just change up some sprites. That's why the story's so different and the combat system is. And in Europe, it's called Billy's Revenge. So the more you know, I guess. Still, really cool entry, if not, like, barely a Double Dragon game. What a weird one. Um... 2.3 uh bimmies i guess really literally bimmies because that's barely billy lee or jimmy lee god rest his soul all right i'm really looking forward to this this is double dragon to the revenge on the mighty pc engine or the turbo graphic cd this is you know essentially not a port this is a full-on remake of the game all i really know about this is that there's cutscenes. <laughs> And yeah, that's, you know, when they put in, put in cutscenes on, in the early nineties on other systems, you know, you're going to, you're in for a treat. Shit. Okay. We're, we're getting started up. All forms of war have become a thing of the past since the world's superpowers have resolved all of their conflicts. Fears of fear of global annihilation is at an end. However, on July 13th, 1998. A U.S. military base is suddenly placed on high alert. During tense negotiations, they launch an ICBM. They then doom the Earth to chaos. And nobody knows the true reason as to why. This is already uh, Oscar material. Two years later, somehow New York City has begun to recover and life has resumed. The circle of life. However, a crime now rages out of control, as it would. Billy and Jimmy, twin martial arts masters, open a dojo in order to teach others how to defend themselves. <laughs> That's a building. A mysterious and sinister group has suddenly appeared in New York City. The city's residents are being murdered in the streets, with the kingpin behind it finally exposed. What, did he write some bad tweets? Like in 2010? Or... 1992 please no stop it amazing this is what i'm talking about this is what double dragon needed like at the very start i'm from the shadow warriors don't bother resisting the shadow warriors some stupid silly shit is about to go down yeah yeah! He's so Kenshiro! <laughs> yeah! This is the best! Double Dragon! Spare no expense. Can't actually show them fighting or nothing. Just have a hit sparks and people go down. They burst through two different holes and two different walls. Amazing. What what ultra chads. Sorry, we're late. We should hurry back. I'm worried about Marion, though. <laughs> That's it. Bye. Now you're going to say anything to those people they just saved. Furious typing. Ah, Kian. Look, up there! What's going on? Marion! Marion! Who did this to you? Bimmy. 
the Shadow Warriors. Shadow Warriors. Marion, cheer up! Don't die. Victory. <laughs> Oh, what an intro, man. Damn. Did Studio Ghibli work on, on these animated sequences? I think they did. Running. Running again, but in red. Your yeah, clothes are red. Wow. Please, do it again. Oh, shit. They're probably, like, staking the hideout. Oh, yeah. This is their hideout. Running once more. <laughs> Let's party! <laughs> so how's the actual game, mission one? Wow, okay. It's so nice to actually get all the context in there. So you can see this is completely different visual style. Uh, everything's sort of remade. Like that was, all right. Marion didn't get gunned down. It's unclear how she died. So that's definitely different. It's not a bad thing, because then it's not a, something that has to get censored, like a lot of the other ports we've seen. Maybe not censored, but like wasn't included. The weird thing is that this doesn't look anything like the Billy that we just saw. He doesn't have the same boots, doesn't have the gloves, doesn't have the Mad Max shoulder pad. Nothing like that, so that's kind of lame. Actually... Looking at this level, it's a lot more like Double Dragon 2 on NES because it's not the airfield with the helicopters. It's like the outside city street. So I'm assuming right off the bat, and the fact that it takes place in New York City, that this is modeled a bit more closely after the NES version, which is a good thing, in all honesty. This soundtrack, though, with Marion screams, nice touch. Every time this track will play, Billy and Jimmy's heart will break even further. Gameplay, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but, you know, a bit disappointingly, seems to be about the same. Like, i not figuring out any new moves. It'd be cool if there was, like, one new thing, but maybe there'll be new weapons or something like that, so. Yo, DJ Lethal on the turntables. I like that. But weirdly enough, all the HUD at the bottom of the screen is like the arcade version, so that's random. Oh shit. Oh, this is so embarrassing. You guys are coming down, and I went up, and unfortunately, I, I can't get down. Oh, this is a, this is a deadly gamer. Oh. But that story sequence was so stupendous. Like, that made me really want to watch an actual Double Dragon anime. Not the cartoon, but like, all right, a really cheesy, like, 1992 um ova like that'd be so sick like and that 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 is something that's like literally never gonna happen there's no way arxis who who own double dragon now by the way for those that don't remember um there's no way they would spend that amount of money and get that commission there's no way double dragon is even popular enough anymore to even get that like we missed out on that we got the shitty cartoon and the shitty live action movie, but a super violent, like, 40 minute OVA. Oh, God. Oh, I wish I was living in that timeline right now. It's just a weird thing. This whole Fist of the North Star look that we saw in that intro, like, that started in Double Dragon 3 box art. And this is a remake of Double Dragon 2 that came out after Double Dragon 3 was out. That's how, that's how popular Double Dragon 2 was for a time and and how uh, many units it sold like how many arcade cabinets it sold and like video games god Shovel Chan is back here too I can't believe it ooh I got the hyper knee and everything that's sick wait what we're going to the left I don't like that the other weird thing with the shovels is that they kind of look like signs they're, they're like they're protesters you know can I hit this guy off that's what I like in my Double Dragon B, only hit dudes off into things. Dude, you're not letting me- yeah, yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah, go to the left and beat up two guys there. Oh, shit! Look at that burn-off sprite, that looks incredible! It sucks that he doesn't get boss music, though, that's kind of lame. Always, always like Double Dragon boss music. Yeah, backwards kick, backwards kick! His mask looks even more Robocop-like than ever. 
Like that's actually flagrant Robocop copy there, just with like a, a red wig coming out the back. In fact, I think this remake might have came out at the same time as like Super Double Dragon, which is what this sprite reminds me more of. The that was a horrible sound. Is he coming back? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is definitely 100% modeled after NES Double Dragon 2. So the other thing is that I think I saw screenshots of this of this remake, I don't know, like five or six years ago for the first time, just even realizing it exists. Oh, am I gonna get him? Yo, that's sick. Ooh, maybe time for another cutscene. I can't wait. Running! Uh, again! Running, but Jimmy style. Okay, so it does have the shit on the roof, the helicopters and such. Who's that? Doesn't look like anybody. They're escaping in that helicopter. After them? Running! Running intensifies! Mission two. Wow, that was fast. Okay. What was the what's the soundtrack? I've heard that before. Oh god! I've heard that one, one, two, three in some YouTube video. Oh my god, I already lost two lives by standing too close to the edge. That's the thing with me. I always live life there. Wow, look at that, Linda. That's incredible. Ooh, what a crazy different design, but still keeping in with the uh, Linda aesthetics. Okay, that's good. Ooh, finally, our first weapon. Oh, Jesus. All right, ladies, just hold on. Just give me your... Give me your weapons, please. Thank you. No! I did Double Dragon 2 control scheme! Uh, just for those that don't, that probably haven't realized, to do all these videos of all these games, I've had to do them in certain orders and such, and take breaks. So it has been a little while since I've, I've played the Double Dragon 2 control scheme. Oh my god, go left again? So this is not, this, while it could be modeled closely after the NES version, it's also not. Because this is a completely different level layout from what you do in the NES game. You're at you're on rooftops at night. I guess we're on rooftops technically, but there's certainly a different vibe going on here. Step up, boys. Please don't hit me. Please do not bully me. I'll cry. My only real criticism now is that, you know, even though I'd like new gameplay mechanics and like moves and stuff. It's a remake. I, I don't ex exactly expect it, but I don't like the the differences between the cutscene Billy and Jimmy, who look super cool, and then their in-game sprites don't reflect that. Like that's a little bit disappointing. Knife. Okay, uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. That was satisfying enough. I like that background, but yeah, down we go. Next to the bl bl blood pipes. Uh, oh no! No no! Usually when I play these for the first time, oh my god, it has the uh, backwards grabs. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, when I play these for the first time, uh, very fresh, and I'm just like, okay, I, I really want to knock people off, and I'm like, I'm not nearly good enough to do that uh, whenever I want. I have to know the level layouts to know what's coming up and where I need to be. So I'm still going to try. I'm still going to waste lives. Ooh, you can kick the steel ball. This is looking like a big steel ball run going on here. Lindas are dressed up like ultimate warriors or renegades at the very least. I like I like the face paint. Helicopter. Okay, this is a bit like Double Dragon 2 NES. We're kind of fighting on a helipad in that, so that's cool. Hurricane Kick comes out pretty reliably. Maybe not 100%, but it's close. And thankfully, I haven't seen enemies duck it shitloads of times. Which I can't stand. Never mind what I just said. We gotta keep that in. We gotta keep it in the fact that enemies will duck your best move. Moon cutscene, cutscene, please. Yeah. No! Don't go! Quick, grab on! Running? Fucking Tom Cruise directed this. Grasp! <laughs> Oh, look how cute that is. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Double Dragon Battletoads games where there's always that little scene of them jumping off a helicopter. Wait, what? S sorry? That's new. Are we gonna actually have inside the helicopter fight? Wow, they really turned it up a notch here. I didn't know we are gonna go into like a battle cruiser. So, so was that mission two? I didn't even really fight a boss. 
Uh, that was mission three. Flash on the screen real fast. Oh my god. Yeah, they have the door opening thing. The gimmick. Does the door open again? Oh, okay. It, it just takes a while. Wow, this is a much bigger room. Which kind of sucks in a way because it, it de defeats the purpose of the gimmick of getting sucked out if you can just scroll past it. Oh well. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, okay. You can at least kind of do it. You just can choose to fight near it, I suppose, which is at least giving you the option. Oh shit! Is it supposed to be Bolo? I don't know who that's supposed to be. It's Okay, well, he has the overhead throw, so I'm assuming it's the Bolo, Ababo, like, role that he's playing. Oh, sh did you see that big slap? Jesus. And it's a pretty good big guy sprite for, for Double Dragon. It's just, it's just really fun seeing new sprite work in general. It's not the best, but it's pretty good for the time, and I, I don't really offhand know the graphical sprite pushing prowess of the PC engine slash turbo graphics, but this is this is pretty solid, I have to say. In some instances, when the, when my character is punching, he really looks like Billy's sprite from um, Super Double Dragon. Speaking of which, we have to talk about it. Now we've gone back to, I think, Billy is wearing blue and, and has brown hair. Whereas Jimmy has, like, blonde hair, wears red, and has kind of got the flat top going on, which is a super double dragon thing. I wish, like, you know, it would be a massive amount of, like, almost impenetrable wall of research to talk to the original Japanese devs that, that made these games. But I just, like, stick a microphone in their face and, what, what the hell were you thinking? With, with the branding and the visual design of all these characters, and... I, if I haven't said it before, I'll say it here. It's like Technos just didn't care. It, like there was no such thing as like brand managers or like producers of a whole series. It wasn't really a thing, especially not in Technos. So there was no overall control in terms of like marketing and how characters and, and events and stories are depicted. It was just like, yeah, whatever. Just get the project done. Just do whatever you want, and we've seen a lot of that so far, and we're only in the Double Dragon 2 section of this video. Oh, what sights I still have to show you. Man, this helicopter scene is, uh, it's going on. It's relentless. Are we done? Okay, good. Oh, shit. Am I gonna have to beat up the controls? No, okay, just this guy. There's a third door? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another guy! I don't like that these guys have vests, too. That's our thing. You should be shirtless. I repeat, shirtless. So it's weird because the ship that we were flying in and the cutscene was massive, but now, now it's too small, I think. It's like underselling the magnitude of this, this warship. Ah, oh, Jesus. Were you guys just, like, hiding in the rafters? Why isn't anyone piloting the ship, by the way? Should we be more concerned about that than, than fighting the Lee brothers? Okay, good? Oh yeah, good, okay. What the? Ghost pilot! Okay. What is going on? Oh, it's on autopilot! Where the hell is it taking us? The course is locked in. I can, he can just tell by by just looking at a at a console. Oh no! Lightning damage! <laughs> oh my god! We're going to an island. It doesn't really show it in Double Dragon Two NES. It's just like you're in the helicopter, and then bam, mission uh, mission three just starts. What the? And that's the end of my story. Like, they're dead. We're gonna see their charred corpses. Sorry, Marion, we tried. What? <laughs> We're in Danger World? <laughs> Where are we? So usually it's like this... It's not a jungle or, or like a, a lush tropical island or anything, this mission. It should be like, uh, like a base. 
with metallic hallways and stuff, so I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, I killed him. I guess this is just a brand new exclusive level. That's cool. Can't hate that. Oh my god. Yeah. Go up? Are you crazy? Alright. Let's go up. That's so strange. It's almost trying to do the forest level of Double Dragon 1. That's like mission 3? Maybe that's what they're going for. Because I believe that did have a fence. And, and trees in the background that kind of look like that. Weird. There's a 101 jungle sound effects going on in the music. I like it. Just every, every animal we could get to record some lines. We got them. What the? What's with the skipping stones on the... On the ray? What is that? No! I... And he got saved while he fell in anyway, but... This is crazy what we're seeing. This is like exclusive double dragon content. That's sick. Oh, that's less sick. Okay, well, why can't we go here? Why are we gonna go to the left? Let me go here. Nice. Oh shit. Never mind. Not gonna do that. Oh my god, it's just gonna have me fight these two guys and then just go back to the to the right side of the screen, isn't it? Ugh. Where'd he go? Okay, <laughs> never mind. Now we go to the right. Ooh. Oh. Oh, the pattern on the water is fucking up my eyes. I mean, I'm not gonna hate on this level. It's like pretty cool so far, and it's uh it it at least thematically plays into being on an island. Like first you would start on the outskirts, forest, whatever. And then maybe after that we'll get to the base. I don't know. I'm excited to see though. When you play like 17 identical ports in a row, when you play something that's like similar, but like at the same time very, very different, it's super exciting. The adrenaline coursing through my veins right now is I can feel it. Okay, well, I'm gonna get my shit rocked if I go that close. Oh, God. Oh, I screwed myself over there. Never mind. I was super cool for a second. This level is crazy. You're going up, down, all around. So everyone can run but me again. It is not It is not a technique that so Setsu Ken has uh, taught Billy and Jamelia. They, they do not, they haven't studied those scrolls. Oh my god. So it really sucks that this game never came out in English at all. Uh, n not on the uh, Turbo Graphics or the Turbo Graphics CD. Did the Turbo Graphics CD come out in, in outside of Japan? I want to say no, but it could be wrong there, but... The fact that it didn't get this is a real shame, but it's so weird. That's like... That's like Resident Evil 3 just came out. Like, let's say in 1999, Resident Evil 3 just came out, but right then they remade Resident Evil 2. Because Double Dragon 3 was out, and like, let's remake Double Dragon 2. Okay? You know what? You know what it really reminds me of? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Big brain energy here. Ah, no! Less than big brain, little brain, small dick energy, and all of the small bits. Yeah! See, you got a first try. Ooh, cutscene time. The arcade version is not a factor here. It doesn't have the whole for the uh, the farm stage, yellow st <laughs> You dumbasses. What are you guys gonna do? What is that? Get ready! What are you guys, what, what's the plan? How? How is that possible? So I noticed their their inner shirts, aside from their vests, are both red and blue, but they're white in the, the sprites for some reason. So this is where the helicopter was headed? Seems like it. We gotta keep going, bro! Get the double dragon! Okay, wow. Yeah, this is it. This is the level I was talking about. This should be mission... Uh, mission 4 from Double Dragon 2 NES. It's like in front of the water. Yeah, remember this. What is this love-making saxophone? That's super dope. Um, yeah, but let's take the shovel from Double Dragon 2 Arcade. Let's keep that sick weapon. Why can't we get nunchucks? If they added like brand new weapons to this, I'd be like... So, so the, the main issue with this is just add more stuff. Like what you have here is like super good and super solid. 
But it's like, ooh, if you just went the extra mile, you went the extra mile for fucking voiced cutscenes, but not for like brand new weapons or moves. So there's two things we need to know about this island, is that it's filled with out and danger. So I wanna be careful of that. It's a shovel. You give me anything else. Like just, a, I'd rather swing a lead pipe than this protest sign. No more Shadow Boss! No more- Aw. Uh, yeah, this is exactly like the, the level from the NES version. It's so cool. Like, fuck the arcade version. Let's just take the best version of that and, and just remake that. That's like, again, that's just was so weird to me. That's like, let me remake Resident Evil 1, but I don't want to make remake Resident Evil 1 on the PlayStation. I want to do a remake of the GameCube remake from 2002. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's something akin to that. All right, uh, out. So we should go down in an elevator. Oh, there's a whole elevator section. That's new. But uh, it's fantastic they included this. But by the time this came out, like, um, uh, Final Fight 1 had been out for years and Streets of Rage 1 at, at the very least. In Streets of Rage 2 is around the same time, maybe a tiny bit later. So they learn, like, we ha we, ha we, we, got we gotta, we have to have an elevator section. They're like, why? They're just, just, just listen, we have to. And they made sure to have one in Super Double Dragon, which we'll get to eventually. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for Super Double Dragon. I don't know how long this elevator ride will be. In the NES version, it's literally like six seconds. And there's, and there's no enemies, it's just a cutscene, essentially, so here... That, that, that's that's the, the hallmark of a good remake. It's like, look at what the first one did and see where you can add a little bit to it. Like, oh, there's an elevator! While well, we make the- oh my god, the spiked hallway. I can't believe that's in here. So we should be fighting... if- if their big guy sprite is here... HOLY SHIT! Look at this Cadillac of men! This is like a remake of of the level two boss from Double Dragon 2 Arcade, the guy with the suspenders. I think that's who it's supposed to be. Oh shit. These dumb uh, robotic grabby hands. I mean, I knew this is where this level was kind of going, but in the back of my head, it's like they won't bring these stupid things back. There's no way. I'm not sure if they're actually taking damage by the spikes. I'm not jumping to find out if they do damage to me. I've wasted so many lives already just by falling off shit. Oh, Jesus, that was close. So there should be a bolo fight here. No, I guess not. That's fine. Oh, shit. I know why conveyor belts have such a lineage with double dragon. Show alarm. Show alarm. <laughs> what? What's that? Oh, no! That makes sense. There's the ocean outside, so... I mean, it doesn't really make sense. No, are we gonna die in here? <laughs> like, what do you, what are you, what are you fellows gonna do? Damn! If this keeps up, we're finished. And they're dead. What? How? <laughs> what? These dudes have gone through like stuff that would kill anybody and they just they just survive without explanation how did they survive the helicopter crash how did they survive falling down like a hundred feet into some spikes and how did they survive that drowning seems like we have no choice but to go forward yeah very ominous menacing even going to the left again okay okay this this stuff is in the nes game this music's weird, I like it. Oh! Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. We have to get our, our, our sea legs back. That cuts you through me for a loop, because I can't understand how Billy and Jimmy Lee... Maybe it's just like the love... Oh, sorry. Uh, wanting to get revengeance for Marion's apparent death. I'm still not sure why. It's just it's just pushing them through. We're, we're like, don't let facts or, or, or logic get in the way of that, you know? This is such a fascinating version so far. Like, I'm really sad this is not available. Like, I'm really sad there's no definitive Double Dragon collection. Oh my God! It's the badasses with the sticks! But yeah, I'm, I'm really sad. Like, all we have is the Double Dragon trilogy, I think on Steam, and that's a terrible collection. 
I was I was gonna use it for some of this video and I was like, no, it's it's just too janky and I and I don't like it. Um and that's just Double Dragon Arcade 1, 2, and 3. The Kunio and Double Dragon collection is is good in the sense that it's got a lot of games, but it only has a couple of Double Dragon games, like three of them. Double Dragon 1, 2, and 3 on NES. But if there's something like something like you, you, Konami is doing good collections nowadays. Ooh, let me shut up now. What's gonna happen next? I'm so excited. Wait, that door. Explosion! Shit! <laughs> How did I come? Oh, so this is their welcome party. So we're gonna go for it. Hello, Billy Jimmy. Careful! What is that, Marion? Did you just hear your voice, bro? Yeah, that was Marion's voice. But I think it was inside my head. Someone is messing with us. Yeah, whatever. Let's go! Never mind that! But yeah, I was gonna say the recent Konami collections, like the Contra, Castlevania one, the, the TMNT Cowabunga collection, if you could give this to like digital clips, just like every version you can legally get the rights to, to put on, oh, that'd be so cool. And like, I don't mean like all the awful ports that we've been playing. Like, you don't, you don't need a Commodore port. I, I think with the, those memories are best left in the past. But stuff like this, Double Dragon Advance. What else? Maybe some Sega Genesis Master System stuff. Get the arcade version of Double Dragon 3, just for comparison's sake. You know, give some a quality of life improvement tweaks to Double Dragon 3 NES. Which, which you'll see why, if you're not familiar with it. Oh my god, is the floor giving away? Yo, that's cool. What cool gimmicks and traps. I think that might be in the, in the later stages of Double Dragon 2 NES, but I'm not sure. Get the Game Boy games. The Game Boy games have, surprisingly, up until Double Dragon 3, been pretty solid. But Arc System Works owns everything. Like, I need to talk to Arc System Works. I really doubt it, but if anyone out there has any contacts at anyone uh, that works at, works there at our system works, uh, let me know. I want to be like, hey, well, why can't we just have a, a really solid Double Dragon only co collection? I get bundling Kunio and Double Dragon together makes sense, but now that those two franchises have been like mixed together so much with River City Girls and such, I don't think there'll be any brand confusion. Just, just a standalone Double Dragon collection of a bunch of games. Like, there's more than enough. Uh, you can get Super on there. You can get uh, the Neo Geo game. The Fighter. Hell, you can get Rage of the Dragons. Rage of the Dragons is coming back. But like I said in the start of this video, sorry. Even though it's an incredible fighting game, it is an officially not a Double Dragon game. You know, I, I had to limit certain things. I mentioned it enough. I'm going to be covering it later when its remaster comes out, so please look forward to that. But you, you could make an amazing collection. I would even say you need to get every game. You don't. You just need to get like the ones that are interesting or good. Maybe get a stinker in there like every so often. Like one per game. And you can't put Super Double Dragon on there. No, you have to put Return of the Double Dragon. You have to put the Japanese version because it's, it's significantly better. Wow, that was fun. That was very synchronized martial arts, wasn't it? That guy's sprite is awesome. Like, his sprite in, in the arcade version was, was good and everything. Like, it was high quality. But that one's really sick. It, it would be right at home in Double Dragon Advance. Even though this music is high quality, I have to say, a lot of it's more upbeat than you'd think. Like, our girlfriend got killed. And we're on this, like, blood quest to just, just revenge her. It's like, din -din -din -din. oh my god. He's back. I cannot handle him. His sheer girth, you know? Hi, I'm Duke Nukem. Coming to kill the rest of you alien Lee brothers. Now, this is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me more cutscenes. More, more, I say. Yeah, okay. What do we... Looks like that's the only way out. There's just like a door? 
Oh my god, they're just climbing up a sheer wall. Heavy grunting. Ow! I thought they were gonna do the thing where you're back to back, pressed up against against another person, and then you're walking up the wall. That'd make more sense than that. Are they Spider-Men? They seriously don't have an elevator in this place? <laughs> Man, those mission things flash by really fast. I'm not sure why. Okay, so this should be... Unless they give me an extra super special stage, it should be the last one. What a ride it's been. We've learned we've learned so much. Don't like those laughing faces, though. I'll tell you that. I'm not sure if those are going to be traps, shooting darts, or stinky gas. I'm nervous. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, nice combo. I'm glad I got that in there. Please, please don't have the the stones jutting out of the walls and the stupid gargoyles with, with the spikes. Anything. You can have new traps. That's fine. But those traps are always like the most annoying, and I'm just I'm just not having it. Don't spoil my good mood, Double Dragon Two, for the PC Engine. Oh, down here. Didn't see that at first. I was just so stumped. What the? That's it? Oh. I could do this all day. Do nuke him again. Ugh. Oh no, I did not want to do that. That was that was a that was a strategy error. Ah, oh, nice. Ah, just replace him with another guy. Why not? This is one last whatever he is. Mini Abobo. Tiny Abor. Get out of here. Oh my god, it's the final room. Why is the Double Dragon logo? Here's Machine Gun Willy! Out of nowhere! Can I even do this? Hopefully. I'm on, like, I have another credit after this, but ooh. Again, it's kind of like Fist of the North Star, where someone has, like, water or electricity. They're, like, seen as a god. So someone that has a gun, everyone's like, oh my god, he must be, like, Satan. Like, the personification of the devil, because he's got this crazy machine no one's ever seen. Ah, uh, nice, nice. Doing the damage, doing the damage. Uh, yo. I think I got him, though. I guess we're going to be fighting Jimmy or, like, Shadow. Yeah, there he is! Oh! Oh, he instantly went into his weird grab thing. Aw, uh, for a second I thought he had, like, kind of a unique sprite. His face, like, when he was gooping down, it looked kind of, like, kind of evil. But, like, then it just defaults into, like, normal. I wonder if there'll be a cutscene explaining this a bit more. That'd be sick. Like, say what the hell this actually is. Just the manifestation of the evil within Billy's soul. Just uh, someone summon this this shadow Billy. Just to fight him, assuming he would win? There's so many things you could do. Who's the booker of this game, you know? Now what? Okay. Oh, so we're not talking about Shadow Billy at all. That's weird. What? No. Billy. Please, Billy. This castle is dangerous. Get out. Please, if you care about me, save yourselves. He's strong. Too strong. I love dangerous places. But I understand, Marion. Thanks, thanks for telling me. I'm not going to, like, listen to you, though. I'm just going to do whatever I want. Who the hell is this? And, uh... Where are we fight? Where are we fighting? I feel like I'm playing Metamorphic Force again. As far as I remember, there's just the end boss of this of Double Dragon 2 is uh, the home versions. It's so like Double Dragon 2 NES specifically. There's just this brand new bad guy called the Shadow Master. Not the Shadow Boss, but Shadow Master, and he's just a mysterious dude. I don't know who was pulling the strings here. Why did we kill Marion? I thought we we killed Marion because Machine Gun Willie was like super salty. That's all I thought. 
Oh, let's go! Wait, wait, he's just dead? Wait, what? The, the fight starts again? Where is he? Oh! What the hell was that? Where are we? Huh? It's this guy. He wasn't even wearing that when I fought him. And now a millennium of Shadow Warrior history has come to an end. What? Finally. Our prophecy, which is as old as the sun, I kind of doubt that, can now be shared. Billy's like, that's bullshit. Huff and puff. Once our power has spread, the demon lord will be resurrected. Okay. And when two dragons rise to the heavens, an angel will, will appear. What kind of prophecy is that exactly? Dies. <laughs> I'm just a skeleton, baby. I'm bones from Double Dragon 5. What are you on about? What the hell are you saying, bro? So they just laid her down on a bed. They didn't bury her or nothing. And she's okay, folks. Billy! Billy! All right. So wait, what? How'd they get home? They swim home? Huh? Nani? Marian. Marian. You're alive somehow. Billy! I'm happy you're okay. Can anyone explain anything? But how I was... Uh, you were freed from the curse of the Shadow Warriors. Right, they cursed her with death. I love you. I'll always be with you. Except when I go out on big dangerous adventures and I'm not by your side at all. Is that the end? And I think this game has like di uh, different endings based on the difficulty level. So I think this is a good end, obviously. Unless she turns into like Shadow Marion. <laughs> Awkward pause. There we go. And fade to black. Wow, what an incredible journey. Uh, who would think that of all things the PC Engine, not to say it's bad or anything, or like, I don't know. Yeah, that would have like the coolest version of Double Dragon 2, or up there at least. Man, like, I, I, going into this, I was like, yeah, it has a different visual style, and I think there's, like, cutscenes and stuff. But I thought the cutscenes were more, like, animatics. Like, it's just one or two slides, and that's it. I didn't actually see this in motion until now. And, woof, was I not prepared. So, if you're wondering, those, like, translations, uh, the subs, basically, uh, there's uh, a video I'll link to in the description that they originally translated this, and I kind of, as you probably saw, like, uh, put in my own little... Little nods and little references throughout, uh, just just tweaking it ever so slightly. I couldn't resist. What a cool story! Um, I, I I have to be super generous. Here. I want to say this is like another 4.5. I can't say it's like better than Double Dragon 2 NES, just because that was like groundbreaking at the time. This could have been even better if they had added in more moves and and more tweaks and stuff. Like this could have been like the best version of the early 90s by far. But yeah, this is a 4.5 Bimmies easily out of 5. But we still have plenty of other Double Dragon 2 left to go. Oh, I hear some shuddering loading sounds of a personal computer. Uh, so we are moving on to the Amiga uh, for Double Dragon 2. Actually, kind of dig this. Little synthy. Kind of creepy, actually. Alright, binary design, just calm down, okay? It's, you don't need you don't need all this this big pomp and circumstance going on. Just just let's get to the game. Five years ago, Mary and the friend of our heroes, Billy and Jamie Lee, were attacked and abducted by the evil shadow boss and his henchmen. The brothers discovered that she was tied up in the boss's lair deep in the heart of the mountains and, and bravely set out after her the long and bloody struggle against the minions of their evil renegade that burst into his dream after successfully negotiating vicious cunning traps. The heart of the installation, madman's best fire is kicked out, fighting with the fence to just finally the boss himself first in the struggle with lethal machine gun. He's badly wounded our friends with a final blow. Billy defeated him for life. Just was are happy that our criminal was really his work created in cities underground oriental black magic. Jesus Christ. Finally, he struck. Marion was gunned down in cold blood. Billy and Jimmy know who will pay for this. This time, there's no stopping them. This time, they will finish the job. That was a little rough. Okay. 
So this looks all right. Ooh, let me let me find my buttons. No music again. I don't know what it is with with personal computers of this day and age that they're just like no 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 music. Um, it's nice that there was a story recap. It certainly has aged certain things in there. It's still very strange to me. I, I guess they didn't want to actually include the um, cutscene of Marion, you know, obviously getting gunned down. Uh, so I guess they were like, well, this is good. Let's just have a crap load of tax that goes way too fast. And in the future, bad skeletons on the YouTubes will not be able to keep up with our super fast text. So far, this looks actually very pleasing. Uh, smooth scrolling. Those are pretty accurate sprites. Aside from the lack of music, I'm actually pretty pleased. Certainly better than the first Amiga version for Double Dragon 1. You okay down there? All right, you're, you're coming up? Okay, I'll wait for you. I don't believe uh, bigger sprites ever got a um, climbing animation, so I'll, I'll come to you. Let's go. Oh, ow. Okay. Mm, they he sounds a little bit like a ghost. Blah. All right, so we've got to gotta load. Load the next screen or reloading the loading? Whenever you're ready. Oh, yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. All right, thank you. Ow. So that's that's a bit of a bummer. I know the Amiga had, had its limits, but the fact it's gotta preload just a bit more of the screen. I, I, I would be interested to see if the entire game is, is being loaded in as we play, and it's not like kind of mission-based. <laughs> Hi, Burnoff, you're here. That's fantastic. Okay. So I'm just going to do this until he dies. That's my... Oh, or I'm just going to get raw grabbed. You raise me up. That was an amazing sound effect. I loved every second of that. Mission 1 complete. I got a $3,000 bonus because they did such a good job. Yep. Take your time, Amiga. We're not we're not going anywhere. None of us have any anywhere important to be. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! You can't just throw a bolo at me like that! Jeez, no chill. Ugh, I gotta get out of here. It just loaded into me getting hit. Wow. Like that I'm docking some points just for that. I'm docking a cu a couple of bimmies. Danger! Okay. I thought I was smart. Um, I don't know why I think this. I thought I was going to despawn all of them. I, I'm not quite sure Double Dragon 2 Arcade works like that. Especially when they're, you know, pretty straight arcade ports. So, I really hope I don't have to fight that Bolo down there. I might, I might gotta have to. Ow. Ugh. Oh. Oh, that's just, you know what? Since, since this is a pretty exact arcade port, I'm not sure if there's, uh, Ooh, we're getting fancy. Graphic design is my passion. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if we need to go through all of that just because it didn't seem like a... You know, that's only going to take way longer than the arcade version just because of the load times. Um, aside from the load times and the fact that it loaded me into getting my shit brocked, um, I, I'm actually pretty pleased with this on a technical level. So, so I'm going to say 2.3 bimmies. You did, you did pretty good, Amiga. There's more beeps and boops. That means we are playing the Amstrad now. I, uh, I'm not looking forward to this because <laughs> the the very small amount of the library of this of this computer I played have not it's not impressed me. So my my hopes are are far from high. But uh, you know, you never know. Somet sometimes you get a gem interspersed throughout all of these. All right, Code, Richard, Applin. I really hope, Dicker, that you kind of gave it your all here. Come on, and Strad. You can do it. Oh, damn it. All right, well, <laughs> Jimmy's here too. He's helping, I guess. Okay, so we're punching at the same time, which is nice. We're like, we're not the double dragons. We're the double... Punchers. Is, it, is this better or worse than the first Amstrad debacle? I remember it was being bad, but I recorded that like weeks ago now. <laughs> just to just to pull the curtain back a little bit, everybody. But um, I, I'm assuming this console's capabilities are meager at best. But like, why even attempt it? This is one of those things where maybe, maybe pair your graphics down 
to better suit the console and not try to replicate the arcade's graphics because you clearly can't. I like how synchronized we are though, that's a cool feature. So we have the shovel right away, it looks like I have a walking stick or like I'm detecting metal <laughs> underneath the floor. <coughs> Give me a second, oh no Jimmy, oh mon frere. Ow! Oh, betrayal! Betrayal! So I don't really have a choice here. I'm controlling uh, both both dragons simultaneously. So we're just gonna we're just gonna have to grin and bear with it. Oh, big wombos in this combo. She's down for the count. Okay, Williams. Williams just like that's his thing. It wasn't really you know double dragon two. It's where he established that he's like I can do the cartwheel. So I I'm gonna do it. You can't not make me do the cartwheel. So unfortunately, when you're the the couple of console ports that uh, PC ports in in general that we've tried, where I'm controlling both dragons at the same time, uh, scrolling. Well, when I say controlling both of me, I can just control his punches. I can't actually make a move. I have to like move around, uh, pressing the other controls. Try try to fight. Oh, whoops! Try to find the right button combo to actually get this asshole to move. Or if I can't find that uh, backup plan, I just kill him. If you be fair, we both have the same amount of lives and the same amount of health. So this is gonna be a war of attrition. Simple, we uh, kill the Batman. <laughs> Good, okay. Now we move on. Prize, motherfucker. Okay, so pressing uh, anything on my on my control pad brings them back. This is, this is the video. This is what the Amstrad deserves, really. Also, if your eye is drawn to the top, uh, the, the red text that you see for the time, it is being very generous with 400 se 431 seconds. Now, I have to get rid of all of his credits, I think. This is the, this is the only way. Three hours later. All right, game over. I'm just, I just can't press that one button that, uh, that, that, that brings him back. I don't know which button I actually pressed. Maybe just come back, comes back on his own. Uh, what did I press? Oh wait, so okay, it's loading the next. So here's here's a boar, a a boar, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Take your pick. They're all valid. I think I have a knife or like a toothbrush. It's hard to tell on the Amstrad. Ugh. Whoops. Like <laughs> it could it could have been a toothbrush. To be fair. Okay, we need we need to defeat him to move on. We need to we need to get this chapter of our lives over. The chapter of playing Double Dragon 2 on the Amstrad. Oh, we got him, man. We got him by the ass. That's fucking teamwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not really hitting him. Okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. All right. Okay, no, come here. Damn it. Oh shit. Okay, well no. Then we have to defeat this Williams first. This is this is a, a massive mess. This is more of a mess than I assumed it was gonna be. Williams, please stay down. I can't I can't play this game that we go through every time. You come in, you do your flips, I knock you down, you knock me down. Okay, good, 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 good. So this is a deadly game I'm playing. Deadly game! Because if I miss time this one punch, he's gonna kill me. And I don't want that. Oh no, he got me. Oh, wait, no, you know, now I'm just controlling Jimbo. I can't move. I can just punch. Man, that's a fate worse than death. I must punch, but I can't move. Uh, so that's an easy 1.2, uh, Bimmies. That's, I think this is the worst we've played so far. We might have a new champion here, folks. Alrighty, next up, uh, we have Double Dragon 2 The Revenge, shockingly enough. Uh, this time for the Atari ST, which I still don't really understand what it is. Oh, that's a little loud. Okay, I guess I guess it's loading. There you go. Whoa. All right. Okay. So it's another one of these musicless uh, arcade ports, and no introductory cinema, no um, no story sequence. I guess I suppose you might need uh, the instruction manual for this game uh, to read that type of stuff if it isn't included in the actual main game. Wow, <laughs> just no one, everyone just shrugged that off. Oh, he spent a while on the floor too. L little rough, little rough. There's, there's a, obviously the speed's a bit of an issue. Um, sc scrolling didn't seem too bad. We're gonna try to scroll to the next screen though, at least. 
take care of all these guys first. That was kind of depressing the way that that the how slow that death was. Okay, good. So we might have a boar, a bore, Arnold Schwarzenegger showing up. Hello? Yep. Okay. Oh, cheap shot. Didn't see that coming. That that's that's usually a problem with some ports where you can get way too close to the screen and it scrolls and someone just uh cold cocks ya. My fist breaking your teeth, that's the accident. It's gonna come through the door. Actually that door is way too I was about to say too small. But no, it's okay. He was, he was able to fit through it. All right, Linda. I, I don't really have a lot of patience to deal with you. I will take this this chain mace. and he, the, the, You will blink out of existence. We can go up here. It, it's kind of impressive te on a technical level. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't actually expect to be able to pick that up. So I guess we'll see if, if Burnov is here. I'm, ass I'm assuming he is. If a boar, a boar, a slash a bore, the artist formerly known as a bore, uh, is here. I would like to think, uh, so will, will Burnov, but he's not in every version. Damn it, Williams. So you never know. This is, this is again, uh, the surprises you find in certain ports. Oh my God. Thought, thought I pressed a button. It just keeps dropping my inputs due to the online net code. Uh. Will I even make it to burn off? I don't know. I, we'll see if I, I'd like to think zero counts again. There's been a port or two where it didn't. So you should be here. Hello. There he is. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I'd like to think zero counts. Okay. We'll give it a, we'll give it the old college try here. If I can get him caught up in my rhythm, stay down, sir. Do your little animation. We're all waiting for you to do it. Wow, not even a sound clip that time. Little strange. Why does the music sound like they recorded it off like like a, like a CD player in the room? Not a CD player, probably like a boombox. And then they just played it back like as a clip. Okay, Bolo, Bolo, Bolo's here, but um, yeah, I'm I'm not so sure we need to to play more of this. It, it's a weird thing where you can get pretty close to the arcade, but you're you're still stinky in many many areas. It's actually like worse. I'd rather play a worse version and and experience that rather than like you know a four or a five out of ten. We're not. I'm not talking about my Bimmy system. Uh, that's totally not getting too old. I guess it doesn't really matter because I I realize I, I just well. I could continue, but I'm not gonna. Uh, Double Dragon 2, the revenge for the, the Atari ST. That's like a 1.7 bimmies. And I'm being generous here. Oh yeah, all those all those flashing lights. Well, they're not flashing lights, they're little they're little blips. Uh, means the Commodore is in play. Uh, that is next on the Double Dragon 2 journey. I I Again, don't have high hopes here. I'm not sure if, if hopes, high or low, uh, should be rested on uh, Billy and Jimmy pursue the killers of Billy's girlfriend, Marion, with black hair for some reason. Who is that supposed to be with the gun? I don't know who that's supposed to be. Let me know in the comments if you know which character that's supposed to be depicted. <laughs> okay, at least this is like a different thing. So I got a black vested red pants Billy with brown hair. Williams is just flipping out all over the place. I need to find my actual attack button. Don't don't know where it is. We have a kick. We have kicks confirmed, folks. Uh, or or just attack because because the way Double Dragon 2 works. Look at that jump. What a hero. So I do appreciate the music. It's trying to emulate the, the theme that plays here and it's not terrible. But by any stretch, it's not great. Is that supposed to be Linda? She's fallen upon hard times. Don't you make noises at me, you judge a row. Ow. Okay, just give me a second. Oh, that actually connected. That looked half decent, actually. Yeah, it's, it kind of has some charm to music, at least. Um, I, I don't know if it comes across in the video, but this control is like absolute cat shit. I, I, I don't even, I'm like beyond explaining how, how these old computers control, like, it can't even... What is that supposed to even be? Oh, it's the box. I thought it was like a giant pack of cigarettes. Smoke if you got them. Just 
Just, you know, Billy and Jimmy's so said to Ken Master being like, remember, if you see a box, you chuck that bitch at them. That that forms the basis of our entire martial arts uh, style ideology. Use the box. I guess you could say they had boxing lessons. Ha 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 ha. I think throwing a box at a person is like the lowest form of combat. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I maybe pushing someone, just, just, you know, the double dragons just specialize in pushing. Alright, so it should be an Abore. Uh, so, some guy dropped, I think that was a knife. <laughs> so, no Abore, I guess, or Abore, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I, how does he pronounce his name? Uh, nobody knows. So, I don't know, depending, depending on how the rest of this plays out. I think I'm, I'm on my last life? No. No, I died. Yeah, I think that about sums it up, right? Yeah, no, that's good. That's like 1.5. I, I I give it. I'm giving it some marks for the music, and the fact that it uh, did the graphics differently to at least look somewhat decent on the Commodore. So that's a step up from the Amstrad, I think. Yeah, 1.5 did. All right, uh, moving on to DOS. This is from our good friends at Binary Design, who made a lot of the good ports, a lot of awful ones. Billy and Jimmy pursue the killers of Marion. We what? Who are these guys? Why is there two Billies? Could you not have put one one dude's hair is brown? How hard is that? And he's just wandering around as he feels. I think both players are activated, so he's not doing anything. Billy, and why am I wearing white? Why why am I standing over the the green fence at the bottom of the screen? It's going to be a rough one. You can you can just tell when it plays it plays sludgy obviously just by the video and you, you can imagine how bad of a time I'm already having. At least that Billy will keep them distracted and see how far I can actually get. Oh, these beeps and boops. It's so DOS and it's so slow. It looks better than Double Dragon 1 on DOS. It looks more arcade accurate at at the very least. But man, it, it still shocks me that both the first two, and I think the third game too, well, I'll see when I look at the list again, uh, that they all came out on DOS, and to me, it's like that completely passed me by. Uh, yes, weird lady hand, lady thing. Okay, go away. I can't actually do anything because Billy's not following me. Oh, okay, we can do it, we can do it. It's letting me now. Stop. Jesus. Yeah, when I actually come to think about it, I think I only started really playing hardcore DOS games like in 1992 as a baby child. So, yeah, I probably missed out on this, uh, the first one and the second one. And I think by the time Double Dragon 3 came out, I'm like, really? They're still making them things? No, I'd, I'd be playing Super Double Dragon on, on the SNES by that time. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be fucking around with ports. DOS ports of Double Dragon 1 and 2? Get out of here. Okay, just give me a second to punch you. It's just... Jesus. Uh, yeah, head detection seems really janked up as well. When it when it plays this this slowly, I'm not really surprised. And, and, it, and it's like both... The, the first DOS port was bad. I kind of expected better for this. Uh, gameplay is just... Uh, just pretty atrocious i'd ra i'd rather honestly if if you're playing something as simple as double dragon one and two right i'd rather the graphics be way worse but the game be much more playable obviously gameplay trumps things but when it's already something that's simple it's like well at least at least i want the game to move at a decent clip and i want things to connect and i don't want the scrolling to be super choppy oh my god i'm almost dead i don't know if there's continues not that i feel like i want to continue yeah yeah you gotta respect a man where holding a box big it is good he can he can hold over a hundred pounds over his head <laughs> that was a disaster oh my god I took everyone out, including me, and it looks so stupid. Oh. So Arnold here is pro probably going to kill me, which is fine. I deserve it, all, all honesty. And he probably could wear a shirt. He just chooses not to. So that's Double Dragon 2 on uh, on DOS. Not not great. Like, uh, that's, that's one point. That's 1.5 bimmies. Get out of here, DOS. Man. All right, Specky. Give me give me some Spectrum Double Dragon 2. I'm I I I will take it. I will take those hits. <laughs> what are we looking at? 
it. Why? Why has it got to be like this? It just started up too. I I like the representation with the with the rainbow uh, power. Billy's power is that he he draws from every spectrum. I like that. <laughs> oh my god! I thought I was jumping for a second. Why? Pe let me know in the comments. Why does the spectrum be able to show a lot of colors, but also not show any colors? What? Why? Why is that? Could it just not handle it? Oh my god! It's burn off already. He's, he's, he's the boss of this level. He's here now performing for us. <laughs> Just his, his, his ladder animation. Look at it. Oh my God. Still, you know, this is great though. It, despite it looking so stupid, it looks like a thing. It looks like its own dumb thing. And that's fine. And honestly, in terms of game speed, this is weird, but it's not terrible. Oh, I, I do wish there was music, obviously. That's always, that's always, oh God, Box Chan out of nowhere. Fucking Randy Orton, Box Chan, just knocking my ass down. Like, like, I'm, I'm not even good for, oh, there's music. It, it show up when it do. Why? I don't know. Wait, what? what? And we're just on level two. We're just going. Okay, no, no, uh, Bolo. Uh, coming out of the wall. Nope. No, nope, not at all. Okay. The big uh, cement uh, ball. <laughs> pinball. That's all here. That's kind of impressive. But man, that level was truncated. That was just basically like two screens stitched together. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll throw it up there. I might, I might need it for later. Yeah. No, just keep, just keep pushing, pushing that ball up the hill. It's like doing the fucking dishes. It never ends. Sisyphus's punishment was a straightforward task. Rolling a massive boulder up a hill. Ooh, it actually has the hurricane kick. Lo looks, looks sillier. I'm not going to tell you to what. Where'd it go? Gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, spoil everything. I'm probably gonna give this, give this port a uh, high praise. This is just amazing. Just keep running up that hill. Let's just keep. How far can we push this? Oh, that's gonna roll off. I'm not gonna be able to throw it up on the box. Damn it! Whatever. This is a dumb experiment. I, I need to move on with my life. Oh, look at these cool Lindas. They make slightly more high pitched uh, boops and beeps. Oh. Okay, and he's appearing way earlier than he should. There should be at least a, a few more, like, a screen or two. Then we get to the conveyor belt, but he'd be here now. Look how worried. Look how worried Billy is when he takes a hit. He's just like, oh, no. My master's gonna kill me. Wait, did I just kill him? Guess. The boss just came way, way earlier than he should have. Hello? Oh. Music has decided it's time for music once again. Oh. Oh god, that moves so fast. So now we're already on level three, I guess, technically. I think. Oh, there's the shovel. Our old friend. It's like not the Moonlight Greatsword. It's like the Moonlight Shovel in Double Dragon 2. I don't know what they're thinking. Oh, he looks so angry. He goes, I'm going to shovel some shit. Oh, I forget what my Jimmy Stewart impression looks like. Is it going to have the, the thresher in the, in the field? Is that supposed to be it? We're good. Oh my God, is it gonna have it? No, no background elements are gonna move. Holy crap. Ah, and it's instantaneous. Your ass is grass and I'm gonna mow it. Okay, I think I kind of dodged it there. Uh, uh, all right, all right. We, we got past that part. That's usually much harder. The arcade version it was, it was, it was dog shit, really. I, I'm just nervous about score in life. I feel like this is actually, this is actually somewhat enjoyable. So I, I feel like it's gonna screw it all up by by having like one oh two two burn offs for the price of one, thank you. Oh my god, they just No, that we're we're finished. We're all in like the last level. <laughs> I am like roughly seven to five to seven minutes in. Meow. Meow. Yeah, it's the sound of uh uh Lady Tough gang members. Lady tough. That's a special type of tough. No, it's just, it's just done. Now, now we're in the like palace. <laughs> Man, ga games could could use could learn a lot by being this brief. You know, I'll, uh, some games that like kind of drag on and on would be less painful if it took lessons from Double Dragon Two 
on the on the specky. Oh, can I do this? I don't think I've got through a single one of these games without getting hit by these things. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Well, to be fair, there's only one. Hello? Yeah. All right, let's fight. I guess. Yeah. One hurricane kick. That's all it take, huh? Is this the final room? I think it is, because those two burn-offs usually appear before the final room. Hello? Yeah, hi. Doing your little waddle. That's like my waddle when I get a... There, there's Mr. Machine Gun. I'm gonna just beast on him, aren't I? That's just gonna be like one hit. And he's just gonna get knocked out. Is this how it's gonna go? Oh, oh. No, no, I gotta, I gotta take him out. I couldn't have come this far to save Marion, who is not in this room. I, wait, I can't save her if she's dead. To be fair, this port did not say that she's dead. How do I beat you, sir? Oh, there you go. I beat you. <laughs> Who are these guys? At least they're red and blue. But look, what's a girl, your makeup. Come on. Look at some tutorials on YouTube or something. I... I guess that's the end. Uh, double, double Dragon 2 The Revenge on the Spectrum. An absolute triumph. Put that as the quote on the box art, please. I give that a lot of points for just sheer gumption and charm. That's like a 2.5. A strong 2.5 bimmies. You earned it, buddy. All right, here we go. A Billy and Jimmy heard that uh, they finished their, up their martial arts. And one day a fortune teller came up and was like, yo, you guys want to mess someone up? I know where you need to go. You need to collect the three stones. Uh, what? Yeah, and then you'll never return. Double Dragon 3. This is Double the infamous Dragon. chapter. The Rosetta Stone. The Rosetta Stone is the, 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 I think the most infamous chapter of the Double Dragon Saga. Uh, for a whole lot of reasons. Let's put in some quarters though. So this is, as you notice, the Japanese version of Double Dragon 3 because it is the improved version. Mission 1, America. How are they improved? They took out the store, because uh, the store, which we'll see in a bunch of other versions, is where you literally, it, it literally started microtransactions. I know that's weird to say, but it did. And then they got such bad feedback from that in the Japanese version. They're like, let's take it out and let's just give everyone all the moves right from the start. And let's give all the playable characters right from the start. So uh, the thing with Double Dragon 3, uh, the arcade versions, is it was not made by the Double Dragon team, or certainly not most of them. Uh, they were busy making the Combata tribes. And uh, meanwhile, uh, Technos was just like, we need a Double Dragon 3, boys! Like, we're busy. We're, we're making the other game. They're like, all right. Well, let's just have someone that doesn't know what they're doing make Double Dragon 3. And hence, Double Dragon 3. It is so much more button mashy. There, there's a few little things you can do. You, you can do a weird little, like, leaping dash. You can do a downward strike like that. There's stuff to the combat. The problem is none of it feels very good, actually. So, so yeah, it's bad. You almost never see these nunchucks anywhere else in the game. So what? what's the deal with Double Dragon 3 on the NES? Well, another team, another uh, Technos team, or maybe the um, some of the people that worked on Combative Tribes, when they were, like, ready and, and, and free, they made Double Dragon 3 for the NES. It's almost a concurrent development. So it shares a lot with this game and, and its story and uh, the selectable characters. Um, there's just many differences. And for my money, we're going to be playing the NES version in a bit, but for my money, this is, this is the far worse game. It's everything feels so bad. Okay, that cutscene. We're going to have to remember if that happens, because I don't think it does in very many of the home ports at all. So yeah, you have this dash, that's a big deal. You could dash in, in, in the, the Taxico Leatherman. I guess that's this guy, Raven, from WCW. Quote Raven. What a mark. Just everything just about the combat is just, it feels so... You have less control, you can't do hair grabs. There's no hyper uppercuts. There's, there's no hyper knees. I, I th you can do, I'm pretty sure you can do the, the spinning hurricane kick. I'm not having it show up all of a sudden oh you can do the german suplex and i do like that i believe she says you need to go to china 
That's where the first stone Three, is. Two, China. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, so yeah, the first stone is in China. So why didn't we just go to China right away? Why did I have to fight all of America? You know? Uh, so so many other things bother me about this. Like, why? Like, wh why is the HUD like this? Who makes a beat-em-up and says oh, it needs to be numbers? That makes sense. You just look at the numbers, you know how much health you have left. That means nothing! It means nothing to me! I don't know what 120 is in relation to anything else. That's like one of the more bizarre changes. I think, if I recall from the, a few of the other Double Dragon 3 versions I played, that suplex is almost in none of them. Or it could be in all of them. Maybe we should take somebody else. Masao. So this guy, uh, Saim, is... is uh, Chin from Double Dragon 3 NES is this little Sammo Hung dude. He's alright, I guess. The weird thing is that there's like no context for any uh, any of these people joining uh, Billy and, and Jimmy in the arcade versions, at least. There's at least context in the NES version. But here they're just. <laughs> I just have the flying whoopsie! That's amazing. That's the fattest way you can you can do to beat up with someone. That's what I would do. Overall, and we'll, we're gonna be talking about this in a bunch of the other versions. Overall, he still does a suplex. Worldwide. Anybody. It doesn't matter if you're Chinese, doesn't matter if you're Japanese, uh, from if you're English. Everyone understands the suplex and how awesome it is. So we're gonna be coming up on, on the boss already. Here's the thing with Double Dragon Thief. It's like, strangely, it's very short, but also way too long. I don't know who this guy's modeled after. He doesn't look familiar at all. Yeah, he's just like, you'll never, you'll never get the stone. And like, yeah, no, I will get the stone. I'll get it super easily, actually. Yeah, sit on him. Just a lot of Yokozuna moves here. Double Dragon 3 in general. What do I like? I like that it goes around the world. Going on a worldwide stage, that's cool. It leads to a lot of environmental diversity. You know, Jesus Christ. So, so yeah, I like that bit. Graphically, it's quite colorful, I'll give it that, and it, you know, it's more detailed graphic-wise. I, I don't think it's necessarily better. It's kind of more generic in a way, just the art style. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Yeah, and that's it. No, no, that's... Uh, the fact that there's multiple playable characters, that's kind of cool, but it all, almost gives... It also de-emphasizes Billy and Jimmy a little too much. I know, I have to finish off this boss, boss with uh, Chin here. Yeah! Yeah, you couldn't take a good sit. Uh, so he, the second stone is in... Mission Japan. Alright, so they have swords. I'm woefully outnumbered here and outgunned. Outsworded? You know, I, I do like that the that the enemies... Oh, that's another thing. I do like how in America it was all punks and bikers. That's what America has. Uh, in, in China, there were martial artists. And in Japan here, there's dudes with samurai swords just running around. Just chopping at whoever shows up. The thing with having a more mysterious story where Marion's not involved, except for one version, which we'll talk about, but... You know, actually, we might as well talk about it here. In the NES version... Because <laughs> I really want to talk about what I'm playing now. In the NES version, in the North American version of Double Dragon 3 uh, NES only, they say Marion has been kidnapped. You have to go. You have to go get her. Uh, no, that's not true. That's a lie. Um, in the original Japanese version, they don't. Marion's not involved at all. Probably because she's fucking dead. She didn't come back to life. Except wait, no. In one version, she did come back to life. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I, th I think Double Dragon 2 NES. She came back to life. Uh, sadly, we, we didn't finish that though. But yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, angel, angel voice, angel voice brings down the angel from heaven if the double dragons, I don't know, their tears mixed together, I forget what it is. Yeah, double dragon 2 NES, she comes back, right? They j did that just for that game, and I don't think it's supposed to be a canon ending, I'm not sure. But for whatever reason, double dragon 3 NES, they're like, oh yeah, you have to save Marion, she got kidnapped. You're like, what? Why? By who? Let's take Masao. And this is this is different because it's it's the ninja Razu in, in the NES version. The suplex. Gotta respect it. So this is kind of an exclusive character just for the arcade versions. It's sort of weird. 
I mean, a ninja is cooler than just the guy dressed in a regular old gi, but... So, in every other version of Double Dragon 3, no one mentions Marion at all. She's not involved. And even in the NS version, they didn't make a sprite for her because it was just a localization change. She doesn't actually show up in the game at all. They were just like, oh, Marion was here. What? What is going on with this series? Oh, I know. You made so many damn changes, so many damn stupid ones. You're ruining everything. Ah! <laughs> okay, then. Nah, I stick with Masao until, until the end of this. Oh, Christ. If I recall from the last time I ever played this, there's a ninja boss in here, and he's awful. It's not fun, this ninja boss, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Even though it says Double Dragon on the tin, yeah, this ninja boss, you would think he, he's Razu, and you, you get him to join your party, but you don't. You just don't. So yeah, even though it says Double Dragon 3 on the 10, like, it still doesn't feel like it. There's just something off. I mean, because it's the really jerky animation that people just jut around. Like, I, it's so off-putting looking. It's not smooth at all. So, I mean, one thing you can say about the other games, when they were good ports or versions, like, it's relatively fine feeling. Oh, shit. That's pretty sick. It's kind of like the flipping move you get in the NES version. Uh, so why is this ninja boss a problem? Well, he's probably he's probably going to show you in, in a few seconds. Uh, do this dance of death with me. Come on. Ow. Oh. Why did I say something cool and then immediately get die? Just die, please. What am I talking about? Of course he's not going to do that. Can I dunk do the stomp as him? I don't know. Was it coming out? Here we go. Oh. So of course the clones probably take less damage to kill, but still I don't want to do this fight. I'm already like I'm essentially just against three bosses at once, and they're really good at covering all their bases. Ah! And given the context of the story, it doesn't even make much sense why these people are joining Billy and Jimmy. You know what I mean? A fortune teller goes up to Billy and Jimmy and they just say, Hey, you want to fight the guy with real ultimate power? You got to get the three Rosetta Stones. And that's it. Why do you need other guys to do help? And in the NES version, it makes more sense because they actually getting more dudes on your team meant like, you know, usable extra lives, essentially. But here, it doesn't really matter. Ugh. Please, please. Mr. Ninjas, just leave the video game. I need to get past this part. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah! Whew. The second stone is in uh, uh, Italy, I believe. What type of enemies are we going to fight in Italy, I wonder? No, 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 no. You will have your chance, Guido. You will have your chance. Of course! <laughs> Those Italians with their bows and arrows! Anytime there's any tourists, the, the Italians just whip out their ancient armaments. Uh, alright. Oh my god! <laughs> he had the spinning hurricane kick all along! Oh my god. Like, does this really fit? If, if the fortune teller said you need to go back in time into certain uh, places in history, I would accept that. That'd be sick, actually. The turtles did it. Why can't the double dragons? Oh shit! Knights of the Round? How am I gonna beat all these luscious men? They're so big and oily. Do I really need Masao for this? Uh, let, let's keep going. There's, there's still a, at least one more character to take. This is going so, so poorly. And here's the thing, this is the end of the game essentially. No, sorry, this is the end of this mission. I, th I think I just need to beat the guy on the horse and that's it. Like, you made all these assets for like, like, like two screens worth of gameplay. That's insane to me. Just, just do the running headbutt, I guess. You, get off the horse! My name is Kyobu Masataka Oniwa! Can I even knock him off? Oh, okay, no, just go. Yeah, there he is! He's got so many weapons! How am I supposed to beat this? Ow! So yeah, this is, this is the end of the mission right here. They're, they're, again, they're not very long. I think the longest stage is the last one. Which kind of is typical for Double Dragon when I think about it. Uh, Roni. So, I don't really understand this. There's, this guy's supposed to be called Sunny. Like, that's, the, he's supposed to be the third Double Dragon. Uh, but he's not wearing this at all. 
Uh, Sunny, I, I think if you, the second player wants to take Roni, he becomes Sunny. It's so messed up. I, I don't even feel like really talking about it. Or he was called Roni in the Japanese version, which I'm playing, but in the American version, they renamed him Sunny. It's so messed up. You can, you can see where the series started to like, get really weird. Like We don't even know what to do at this point. How am I supposed to beat this? <laughs> That looks awesome. The only people that can't do the spinning uh, hurricane kick is uh, Billy or Jimmy. I couldn't seem to get it to work with them at least. And Sunny was completely taken out of the NES version altogether. So essentially it's like you can take Billy, Jimmy, Razu, and Chin. And in this one, it's Billy, Jimmy, Chin, Masao, and Roni. What the hell are with these names and characters? Fine. Eat it. Okay, yeah, Egypt Egypt is our final destination. It's pretty crazy. I don't know how these Americans got here. These good dudes followed me from America on their motorbikes. They drove them over the oceans. I just love the idea of people taking random motorcycles. I can't believe that didn't fucking hit him. Okay, that one did. And just on the sand dunes. I don't think, oh no! Yeah, now we're in the underground uh, lagoon beneath the pyramids, fighting these headless terracotta warriors, I guess. Double Dragon 3, ladies and gentlemen. And we're not even close to, to being done with, with all the surprises and terrors uh, this mission has for us. You've never seen this game, like, it's, it's, we're not even at the stupid shit yet. Ooh, ooh. They turn into trees, because why wouldn't they? I just want to leave! Just let me leave, let me leave. I can barely fit through the door. My ass is so big. Uh, thanks. She's like, get in there. How'd you get here? So, yeah, let, let's get some Indiana Jones in here. Why not? Whoa! Oh, yeah, okay. Some, some Razor Air Flying Roombas. I'm not sure. Hey, what's a Roman Gladiator doing here? My best, Matthew. I'm doing my best. Eh, uh, you know, never mind that. A Roman could have been buried here. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. I barely beat the last dude that was like this. Oh, Jesus. And he's teaming up with this stupid flying fr death frisbee. What is this? What am I playing? Might have to go back to Billy at some point. Just, just for, I don't know, variety's sake. Oh my god. Yeah, I think, I think it's something like that. I have to get in front of, in front or right below his sprite. And he'll walk into my punches. Because I, I can barely fight him at a distance. And I can't fight him up close either. Can he even hurt that thing? I'd like to think if I punched it, it'd slice up my hand real good. Just leave the game, Death Frisbee. Alright, let's go back to Billy, I guess. So, I just realized, aside from two spots that had nunchucks, were there any other weapons? I don't remember any. Like, my mind is, like, now racing. I guess I think in Japan they dropped the sword once? It's just- it's just so bizarre how inconsistent the game is. Like, we'll give you a nunchuck twice and that's the rest of the game. Unless you have to stick as your character, then they'll get appropriate weapons that they can use. Like, maybe it just spawns nunchucks if I'm Billy. I have no clue. All right, just just chin again. Maybe because my flying whoopsie was good. Oh my god! It's like something I'm missing. Like, am I supposed to hit the death frisbee and that'll ping pong and 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 hit this dude? Romy, can you do any better? I mean, Masao. Sorry. No. Nope. Seems like you can't. And these other guys at the Lee Brothers have like contracted. They're just like, hey, you didn't tell me about any of this shit. You, you didn't. This wasn't part of the job description. Flying the death thing balls from from Phantasm, gladiators in Egypt, and weird tree monsters. And what is this? This is just to fight some cool guy. That, that, that's that's all. I guess Billy and Jimmy really had nothing else going on. They're just at home. There's, there's nothing to do. And then a fortune teller is just like, you want to go fight somebody cool? Oh my god. Alright, so let's see what happens when you do this wrong. Yeah, this is Double Dragon 3, baby. So we got to spell Rosetta. The problem is that the jumping controls in this are not great. And we kind of have to be precise. If we don't spell Rosetta, then we're going to go down a floor. Or this is just going to go on and ah. Uh... Okay, bro. Nope. Yeah. Oh, you missed me, weird baby monster. Rosette. Set. Ta. What? Okay. 
just didn't work for some reason. So you take damage each and every time. So I guess that's that's whatever it is. I don't even know what that means. Okay, yeah, maybe I just need to get the jump. But better, there you go. Yeah, you didn't think puzzles, huh? You didn't think puzzles. Yeah, just a bunch of juggernauts. Sick. That shoot their own fists. That's what I was expecting. Oh, Jesus, boys. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I thought for a second. I thought for a second, and I already screwed up by thinking and and going, oh, wow, they're really weak. No. They just teleport away. Maybe these are supposed to be, like, homages to Burnov and his, like, disappearing, disintegrating tricks. At some point, Billy and Jimmy have to be like, I don't know. Maybe we should turn back home. I'm not sure if this is really... Like, because it's such a weird story contrivance. Go fight some guy. Like, what, did he do anything? Not that, like, every tale has to be revenge, but there wasn't even, like, a plot for world domination. Okay, I'm in the middle of fighting, Haruko! Oh, wait, I forgot she turns heel here. Yeah. She's like, haha. I fooled you, idiots. You just have to fight this old granny. She can shoot Hadoukens, why not? Hadouken! I'm not sure, I think in like other versions, possibly the NES version, this doesn't even happen. Uh, she turns out to be evil, shocking, but it's more of like a cutscene thing. Like she runs into like a chamber and she's like, ha ha, I will get the Rosetta Sacred Stones. And then she gets her shit bopped. And then that's it. I don't remember if you have to fight her. I, I, I want to say there's at least one version that doesn't happen. I think it's the NES one. Might be wrong on that. I am wrong an awful lot. Yeah. And it's like this trained martial artist just smacks her really hard in the kisser. And she's, she shrugs it off. Oh, I got her on the ropes. How many times must I teach you this lesson, old woman? Ah, oh, yeah. She's having a heart attack. That's sick. Oh, I wish I could suplex her. That'd be so sick. It's not gonna let me, is it? It's not gonna let me. No, it won't let me. Ah, she ran. <laughs> okay, she is running into the chamber. All right. Okay, what's in there? A little boy named Presley found a secret out this year that he was once a pharaoh when Egyptians ruled the world and now a sorcerer named Scarab that tries to get him day and night. But Presley has forgotten lines to protect his very life. They are the mummies! So yeah, we have to fight a giant mummy here. And uh, if memory serves, this is going to take a long ass time because this mummy can take a shitload of abuse. I mean, it is a mummy, I guess. Has anyone ever eat, uh, actually eaten yummy mummy? And no, that's not some type of like thing you 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 watch on certain websites. Uh, Yummy Mummy the cereal, right? I've never seen it in stores, not once. I'm pretty sure it's like an Amer. What? I'm pretty sure it's an America only cereal. But every time I've ever gone to the states, I've never seen it. I've seen Count Chocula. I've, I've seen uh, uh, Frankenberry. There's like a werewolf one too. Ooh, I'm surprised there are no werewolves in this stupid ass game. But, but now, yeah, I'm just getting smacked her. She's manhandling me like a child. Like, and I'm the biggest character here. I'm almost the size of this mummy. If Roni can't do it, who can? This is, this is like, I... Any fun I previously had is getting sucked away. And like, now that fun didn't happen. It's being deleted by, by the anti-fun equation that I'm having now. Oh my god, why, why? The RNG here is crazy nuts. Why can't we get this mummy on the damn team? We could have been in the game by now if we had Mummy Chan. I don't know if they're 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 a Chan. They might not have been actually. Ooh, it has the same voice as everyone else. What? Oh no! Cleopatra, and we're in space. So yeah, even in the NES version, you fight her. I believe in in the arcade version, she's just she's just called like straight up Cleopatra. I think she has a more unique name, like a like a OC do not steal name in the NES version. But yeah, folks, this is our uh, this is our final boss. Just tossing me around like I can't do anything against all her force pushing. Stop. I feel like I'm fighting silver here. Can't can't even get close closer enough to attack her. I am absolutely befuddled there. Yeah, I'll run in headbutt you in the in the belly. That's how you defeat uh, eight foot tall Cleopatra here. <laughs> oh, got it. Oh, oh, no, no. Any momentum I had, 
Yeah, yeah, wait, no. Please die, no. I don't know what's with the floaty ghost dress. She's wearing the ghost of a dress she really, really loved. I don't quite know what they're going for there. She ignores so many attacks. Whoa! The battle has ended. In English, all of a sudden. You get, like, a respectable amount of treasure. That's so, like, not even Scrooge McDuck. Uh, so yeah, I assume here it's like, the Billy and Jimmy left. They were like, this was a waste of everyone's time. What? Who are these characters? Why does Jimmy look like that in the back? Why does he have orange hair? So yeah, Double Dragon 3, a relentless piece of horse shit. Like, I, I really do think this damaged Double Dragon 3 as a franchise. Like, the NES version obviously didn't help. Uh, as we'll see, it is a great deal different and I, I, I think better. But man, everything with the, the microtransactions with the store. Uh, I know we didn't get to see that in this video, but we're going to see it a hell of a lot more. Ugh. I don't know, this, like, I really hate this, um, aggressively, um, I'm gonna give this, like, 1 1. 1.6 bimmies out of 5, 5 jimmies. Alrighty. Oh, I gotta shut up for this bit. That's awesome! That's better than every other version of Double Dragon 3 so far. So yeah, this is the infamous uh, NES version, the Rosetta Stone. Uh, that's, that's kind of funny. Do you think that's funny? Because it's called the Sacred Stones uh, for the NES version because we're playing the Famicom one. I believe Bimmy is spelt correctly here. Uh, so the reason why I'm playing the Fami version of this game is because it's actually slightly easier than the NES version. I think you just take slightly less damage, that type of thing, and I need it because Double Dragon 3 is hard. I've not played it in literal decades, and the story is different too. Here, uh, Haruka is telling you that Marion's involved and we gotta solve Marion in the USA version, but in this, it's not. She's just like, yeah, you gotta go fight. That's it. Like, the story is actually more in line with the arcade version. So this was just an Activision localization thing. All right, Brett's over there, but let me just try out some moves. So you should be able to do a, a wall run. Not wall run. Oh, that'd be so sick. No, a, a wall jump. It's not coming out, though. Maybe you can't do it on that wall. Do my cool flippy whippy shit, though. That move's sick. Another, like, brand new thing in this version of the game. I guess you could say it works slightly like the um, the weird head pump or whatever that move was in the arcade version, but whatever, I'm saying it's a new one. And you got this sick ass dash. All right, Brett, what do you got? Brett's probably like, you need to beat up. I guess Brett Hart here, he wasn't the best there was, the best there is, and the best there ever will be. So I am still nervous about this because guess what? The game is still brutally hard. You have one life. Zero continues for like the first two full missions of the game. It's only until we start adding adding the boys into our roster. Daddy's home. Where we're gonna we're actually gonna have some extra lives, kind of. But even then, the the harsh rule of Double Dragon Three is very harsh. You'll be seeing lots of spamming of of the uh, spinning kick because that's how you survive. It does the most damage of anything you can do by like a wide margin. And here's the thing already playing this, is like I'm having a fantastic time. I'm nervous as I'm playing, but these sprites, they're way cooler than anything in Double Dragon 3 Arcade for for Bimmy and, and the uh, Shadow Warriors, I guess. It's not really Shadow Warriors. They're just like, these are just assholes that all hate you. The real plot of the game, of, of this version at least, is no one's kidnapped Marion at all. Marion doesn't even appear in the whole, in, in the NES version of this. It's just, it's just weird. It's just weird changes. You know, it's pretty standard MO for Double Dragon at this point, right? There you go. That's look. I I just traveled like 500 miles. That's the massive horizontal distance on that. Okay, this part's can be a little tricky. I can kind of make it easier on me if I actually hit everyone. Okay, that's pretty good. I think something that would that would make this game easier overall, more uh, palatable 
to to the very very casual gamer that anyone that's like hey i remember double dragon 3 a little bit let me play it is some type of defensive move a block or or you know some retroactively putting the parry from uh, Super Double Dragon into this, because that I think might balance things out. I don't know, ultimately, you should have continues and multiple lives. Uh, you know, just just a normal mode and a hard mode. Maybe hard mode should be what this game is. Let's try this. Huh? Yo, yo, we do it. That worked out pretty well. As a kid, I don't even think I got this far. <laughs> I, I think. Uh, that was beyond my skill set, and hopefully I can get farther than this. As cool as that move is, um, I don't think it does a whole lot of damage. I, I think it does okay. Uh, I am going to want to switch to nunchucks. This is the other cool thing. Being able to switch to weapons for your individual fighters when you get them, and Billy and Jimmy having nunchucks, that's sick. Ah, uh, Now, I think this guy is supposed to be the brother of Mr. Machine Gun Willie. I forget this dude's name, but I think that he's he looks like Nick Offerman a little bit. You have one more shot with the nunchucks. Fortunately, that's enough to kill him. You take your time, Haruko. Haruko? I forget what your name is. You need to go to China. Go to China. Just spend your money on plane tickets, I guess. That's what she's saying. Mission two, China. So that is similar to the how the arcade version does it. And this does feel like a little bit like the map but again brand new sprites new backgrounds and stuff look at that sick ass attack that dude's got i'm doing pretty good on health fortunately it does get replenished what sucks is if you lose lose a character if one of them dies as long as you have one person left on your team then you can continue on but even if you lose a character during a stage they're perma dead like they're not coming back. Even if you finish the stage and go to the next one, they don't get replenished, which is, again, probably way harsher than it needs to be. Like, I'm all for a game changing up its formula, but, like, it shouldn't be harder than the previous games. It should, either, it should just be the same. Or just have multiple difficulties to, to make it harder or easier. Like, it's insane. If this was a brand new, this... Uh, this code, th these graphics, and it was just called Fight Guys, or, or like World Fighting D Adventure, Th then it's super hard, that's fine. But like when you're like the third entry in like a, a well-established franchise, you can't just be like, okay, well, this is gonna be the hardest version yet. And I'm assuming they made it such just because so people wouldn't rent it, you gotta buy it. And this game is so hard that you can't uh, finish it in one weekend. I think. I mean, think that was the mentality for some game releases back then. Music's really nice too. Oh my god, yeah, I don't, I don't even remember this shit, so I don't think this is as far as I've ever got. No oh shit! Alright, alright, uh, And bro, weapons are also like... What random weapons that you can find have also taken a step back. There's a beer bottle, uh, a knife, and I think maybe one more. But other than that, all the other weapons are delegated to the fighters. So for uh, Bimmy and Jimmy, you get um, the nunchucks, obviously. I think there's a sigh. This is what I'm thinking of. It's kind of like a just a better knife. Yeah, it's a sigh. And I think Chin, who is the boss of this uh, level. I'm not sure I'm gonna get to him, but uh, I think he gets like the Iron Claw and then the Ninja Razu gets a uh, sword, I think. I'm like, they're all slashy, slashy, washy weapons. Maybe like a staff. Oh, that's sick. I forgot that that uh, enemies can do that. Like tag team, ping pong you, or get ping pong. They do a fastball special, essentially. And if you're two double dragons, you can do like a double hurricane kick. That shit's sick as fuck. Like, that's super cool. That's why it's like this version of Double Dragon 3 is, I think, like, really, really good and underrated. It's just too damn hard. Like, that. that's that's all it comes down to it. Like, I, I think these sprites are a bit better. I think the added moves are sick. And it has just, like, the world uh, globe-trotting plot from the arcade. All right, is this Chen? Okay. I think he's pissed that I killed his brother. I think there was another enemy type called Chin in Double Dragon 1 or 2. So I gotta defeat him. Hopefully I can take out the nunchucks and get a few hits in. I don't think all the nunchucks kill him though. There you go. Okay. Oh, a fellow chucker, eh? All right. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck Double Dragon 3. Why you gotta make me hate you this way? Maybe there's a ROM hack out there that, uh, that lessens difficulty. I just want to tweak it a little bit. I want to be challenged. 
I want to complete that love. Uh, it is what it is, though. I think in my head it's it's a tough one. I want to say it like I give this like a three, a three point one, because there's all this stuff that's that's sick about it. But yeah, again, it's hampered by the difficulty. So three point one, uh, truly three point one bimmies out of five. Oh man, that's that's Jenny as shit. That's uh, that's Jenny as shit. That's Mega Drive as crap. That music's. Whew. So this is the, um, in my head, the much improved version of Double Dragon 3, the Rosetta Stone. Uh, this is marketed as the arcade game for the Genesis uh, to make it quite distinct. Um, it, it's, it's not, we can, we can fool around with coins and start men. Same Masao Nunio Roni. There's a lot of mistakes here. All right, Billy and Jimmy went on a journey to complete their martial arts. Uh, on their return home two years later, they met a fortune teller. And that's the story. That's the end of Double Dragon 3 for the Genesis. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh. Uh, find the three Rosetta Stones. I was, find the three Rosetta Stones and go to Egypt 5 for 15. Then you will find the world's strongest enemy. But be aware, no one has come back alive. So that's it, huh? You know, out of all versions, they're just like... Well, the arcade version too, but just like, there's a strong enemy, uh, risk everything to kill them. Well, when you put it like that, I guess I don't have any other choice. Off the bat, uh, much better animation, not nearly as choppy. That's good. The store is there, can't wait for that. The, the, the animation is better, right? But there's like a certain lack of animation, like it doesn't feel, again, just like the arcade version, doesn't feel like the same developers made this at all and like we discussed they did not uh, i need to look up in more detail who actually developed this because the initial my initial findings gave me nothing um extra guys tricks it's like you're not even told what you're buying here it, what exactly like extra guys is just a weird way to even put it extra continues or something i know what extra guys means oh did you see how lame that was it was great so <laughs> No, no, you can't. You can't tell me that's that's their version of of his dash. Cause he can sort of dash, but he can't do it in this version. But he can just do like this leaping dumbass strike. That looks so stupid. It looks like he uh someone just put in ragdoll mode. Oh, it's so it's so bizarre. Okay, yeah, you know, in all honesty, if I'm gonna play like a more a theoretically polished version of Double Dragon 3, if I had the instruction manual that like laid out all the moves and what tr buying tricks unlocks, you know, and have, have some time, but that's not the point of this. So the, the, the point is to just show you like how all these games differ off the bat and how such a simple concept as Double Dragon 1 or 2 got progressively more and more messed up as time went on. What? All right, these guys. Okay. I, I do have to say, despite not having that dash, uh, and that's kind of a, a kind of a bummer, and and maybe some other moves are missing too. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. The animation is improved enough where it's like it's not causing me to like retch, which is good. That's an improvement. Why can't I hit this fucker? There you go. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, here comes the second salvo. And these dudes, before I got here, were these guys just driving back and forth all day? Okay, I took Roni. This is strange to me. There's Sunny, who is supposed to be the third playable character. I think this is a gladiator character from the Roman stage. But they put him in there and renamed him Roni. But it should be Sunny? Because I think in some other version we'll be playing the 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 other playable character is called Sunny. An all new Sunny with a chance is coming up next. It's just a weird thing. And then Double Dragon Three on the NES is not. <laughs> oh my God! I feel like they took a random frame. Oh, here comes Raven again. I feel like they took a random frame from everyone's uh, animation set and just said, "That's good. That looks like he's kind of leaping, right?" No, it doesn't. It really, it really don't. So I, I, I'm constantly thinking in my head, what was the, what was the real downfall of Double Dragon uh, as a franchise? And, it, and I have to think it absolutely was three. Like that's 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 not the nail in the coffin, but the first stone is in China. The battle is waiting for you, Double Dragon. I, I have to think, it, yeah, it wasn't the nail in the coffin, but it but it was the 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 thing that put the person in the coffin, it was the put the franchise in the coffin, put both Lee brothers inside that wooden box. 
Because it's just, it's such a, aside from graphics, and even then, like, the graphics aren't much better. I mean, th they are, but it's just, like, aside from the graphics being improved, like, everything is worse. Like, worse, worse music, uh, worse gameplay, worse, like, HUD, UI, worse story. The, the only thing... I genuinely like about the big changes they made, and this is across every version. And we'll talk about this a bit more when I uh, when I play the NES one. Is uh, traveling around the world? That's cool for the reasons of there's a strong fellow fight him. That's lame. They're traveling around the world to get environmental diversity. That's good. That's fine. Having multiple characters, eh, I think that could be have handled better but i still like it as an idea and in this version it's worse like the nes version does way better with that where you get those characters by defeating them as bosses you don't get this guy he doesn't come on the on the the party bus oh my god am i dead all right i have to continue oh yay um i have lots of continues actually i just realized how many coins uh this genesis game let me put inside uh its cartridge slot but i, I don't think i'm gonna be playing i already I already finished the arcade version for y'all wow that's the impact of his of his stomp that was so lame I, I, in general the sound effects are so muted like they're not as good as, as the arcade one, so it's like even less impact when you're hitting things. You got save me, lady. I want to play Double Dragon 3 no more. I'll just give you all, give it all to me. I don't care. Okay, at least I got the sword. No, I don't. No, I don't. I do not have the sword. And it's just so weird, like, you know, growing up, you're just like, when you played it, and this is way before AVGN's video, but when you're playing Double Dragon 3 on the NES, you're like, this is the worst. It can't get worse than this. And it's like, no, it was actually the best. We don't know what we had. You know, compared to, to this version of the game. Anyway, this is maybe a slight improvement over the arcade version. I really can't tell. That's like a 1.9, you know, in, in terms of everything. It's a 1.9 Bimmy. And God, we have so many other versions left to do of this particular game. Hopefully, there'll be a real winner. All right, I can't imagine this will be good. I, it, it, it just can't. But it can. It possibly could. I have never played Double Dragon 3 on the Game Boy. The only thing I really know about it is that its box art is wild. It's two other completely different versions of Bimmy and Jimmy. Billy and Jimmy went on a journey to complete the martial arts. Okay, same thing we've seen before. On the return home two years later, they met a fortune teller. Find the three Rosetta Stones, they will take you to Egypt. There you will find the world's strongest enemy. Okay, so the really weird thing is that they marketed the Genesis and Game Boy versions as, oh, this is the arcade version. It's not like that awful NES version. How wrong they were. Well, how crazy that is now. Okay. This, why do I look like that? Why do I have black hair where my portrait does not? The weapon shop is here. Can I actually go in? I'd be surprised. J Jesus, already. Why is, this isn't very good off the bat. I just, like, compared to the other two Double Dragon Game Boy games, which are actually, like, kind of decent, I, ju I just assumed this would... Well, I thought it was 50-50, in all, in all honesty. Can I dash? Cannot. I can actually go in. Life power-up weapon. Okay. That's at least better than extra guys and tricks. That's a slight improvement. That jump, though. That's, look, that's how I jump. I jump like I'm Toad from X-Men, <laughs> you know? Straight up in the air, just just curl up my legs and just blah. <laughs> yes. So that's how martial artists do it as well. I don't understand the HUD. I'm actually looking up there. There's like eight little figures. I don't know what those are supposed to be, and I guess that's the health bar. I don't. I don't know. M maybe it's my coinage. I'm not sure. I don't know why Power Records is such a prevalent thing. They really wanted to get that into every version. We gotta have the Power Records sign. It's it's like having crazy taxi ports with no with no um, KFC or the other one. Wait, wasn't that Tower Records too? What was it? I don't know. What, wherever the, you bought stuff in Crazy Taxi. I need to find other things to talk about. Because <laughs> there's not much to talk about here. The sound effects can barely be heard. Oh, let me shut up for a second. Yeah, they're really lame. I know it's like the Game Boy is like one of its strong suits is not really, you know, punchy sound. You can do better than that. 
Oh, you have the- I have a headbutt? What was that? Yeah, it was something. So, if tricks weren't a thing in the store, does that mean that the that the, you you can't upgrade yourself with extra moves? Like I know it's the Game Boy and like things are a little bit little more limited, but I mean the last game had some had some last Game Boy game had some like uh, a move or two, but that was kind of a Kunio game that that Double Dragon two ports. So okay, more dude. You know I was I was like fantastic. This has more enemies than the other ports, I think. It's like after playing so many versions of Double Dragon 1 and 2 already, and you go to 3 and you see all these weird sprites you've never seen before. I, you know, personally to me, looking at them, the ones I've seen so far, they're not very interesting compared to... Not everyone in Double Dragon 1 or 2, but they're certainly more distinct looking. Like, there's no Linda, there's no... Definitely no Abobo. I, a, a Bobo's been a no-show for a while now, unfortunately. Oh my god, am I even gonna get, like, into that... I'd like to at least see the boss just die. Oh god. Let me... Get, please... Oh, thank god. Okay. Alright, danger, do not move, keep out high voltage, the unforgettable sound. Oh, this is gonna be rough. This is hard in a lot of the versions. Ah. Oh. Damn, you little Game Boy motorcyclist enthusiast. I, I, I actually am not even sure how to do a jump kick, because I'm pressing... <laughs> Because I have to hold down to do a jump kick. I know that seems weird, but you see how I, I flung downwards as I went? Because I, I don't know, I just pressed the, the controls, uh, control pad down and pressed attack and jump. And then he kind of did the jump kick. Was that it? For all you uh, world record holders of Double Dragon 3 on Game Boy, you're probably all tearing your ha hair out right now. I don't blame you. I got to test it out. Oh my god, it's so inconsistent. No. No. No! Alright, this time. This time. Oh. Yeah! No! Alright, this is my last life, I think. I hope. But man, why didn't the AVGN play this version? He should do, like, a gigantic, uh, Double Dragon thing. That doesn't have to- there, finally. Doesn't have to be as long and as stupid as this one that you're watching. Oh, no! Oh, that's it. Game over, man. Game over. Oh, okay. Got him that time. But yeah, there's way more bad Double Dragon games to even get to. All right, there's the boss. I can't even tell where his face is. That doesn't even make any sense. I don't even understand where his where his face is supposed to be. I was going to let the conveyor... T okay, they're not coming down. All right, I'm done. That's fine. That's more than fine. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that result. That was pretty bad. Um, I, you always have to be a little more lenient on some of the, the lesser consoles and platforms, but the Game Boy could be, could do better. The first two games were better than this, so that's like, oh, that's like a 1.4 Bimmies out of, out of five. That's, I, I'm shockingly disappointed in that, you know. Fortunately, much later down the line, there will be, a, a probably the best version of Double Dragon is on a handheld from the Game Boy line, so... Uh, just hold out hope until we get there, folks. Alright, something's loading, something's thinking. Possibly the Dreamcast. Alright, so this is... What is this? Double Dragon 3 on... What? What is this? Okay, the, the Atari ST. Again, so search me about what the Atari ST was. Uh, Billy and Jane went to martial arts two years later, made a fortune, yada yada yada. Uh, Haruko, find the... yeah, find the things. Do it. Do it, nerds. Uh, there you'll find the world's strongest enemy. Uh, no one's ever beat this guy. So you're, you guys are not going to beat him either. Steve Snake! Ned Langman! Something about the Doomsday Machine? Mission 1. America. It's thinking. Give the Atari ST... Give him some thinking room. Let him cook. Oh no, put him back in. He's not done yet. Uh, another... Pretty accurate arcade port. Uh, thankfully, the main thing you, you're looking for when you when you go on this weird journey of, hey, I want to play every Double Dragon game ever made, is uh, especially when you're looking at Double Dragon Three, is is the animation really choppy? It's not here, so that's good. Check out the story real quick while it thinks and loads it. Ooh, the weapon store theme. Hmm. Uh. 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 Yeah. Okay. Ow. Fuck. Okay, can I even do the dash? So that's the thing. Uh, th this is mapped to like what would essentially have been like an old ass keyboard. No, I don't know. Why is it telling me to go there? Who cares about going there? I'm being this guy up here. 
What's over here? No, okay, go back there. Make up your mind. <laughs> Why did I say mine like that? Well, it's just four of the same enemy in one shot. Like, holy crap. It's like when when whatever group studio other team that made this game because you know I'm, I probably mentioned it before uh, the core uh, the regular double dragging team or staff members that worked primarily on one and two made the combata tribes they were doing that so the team that saddled with this has never more in history not understood the assignment every time I play one of these I'm like. It's supposed to be an advanced, more advanced game, and it has more advanced options and things, the multiple characters, a bunch of new moves, but it's like, it's, it feels older to me. Is that weird? Please, no more, mo no motorcycle guys. I'm just kicking air like this. Nope. Oh, we're going to have to hear this, this, this thumping computer noise, aren't we? Why did that go through him? How is that missing? And he goes so much faster than the other versions. Ah, folks, have you been injured in an accident caused by a motorcycle? Call 1-800-TECHNOS and Techno should give refunds to anyone that bought any of these arcade versions. Do you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do. I don't think, I don't think you can, you can make that claim on the NES version, perhaps. But all the arcade ones, you certainly can. Yeah. Why? How is I not? directly on him there. So I don't know when he's gonna come. I could have said that better. I don't know when he's will be arriving. There you go. Ugh. Ugh. Loading? Uh, thinking? Just thinking about loading. And what are you loading exactly? Just the rest of the room? The boss sprite? It's very strange. Alright, hi Raven. What a mark. Ah. Like, I say Raven, but I also think probably even more, it's just like Toe Cutter from Mad Max. I think that's what they're going for. I mean, so much of Double Dragon is Mad Max anyway, so I wouldn't really... Ow! <laughs> you guys, leave me alone! Please, everyone, stop bullying me! So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can punch out this boss, and once he is fully punched out, I'll, I'm gonna call it quits here already. Um, and, and like, Matt, why don't you play the whole thing? All like, as I stated, there's, it, when it's a, a pretty arcade accurate, just bad, I already played the arcade version. I don't need to play a worse version. Uh, that's just worse, but it's the same game, like the same graphics and stuff. It just takes extra long to load and think and have no music. Yeah. Like, no, thanks. All right. It actually beat him. Okay. Well, we'll wait for Haruko to show up. Come on. Move it! The first stone is in China. The battles, so get the, like. What was the point of this stage, really? When the first stone is just like, yeah, everyone, everyone just wants to kill you here in in, in Mission One USA. How come Haruko is just not telling us where to go right away? She knows. I'm not beating up these bosses to find more information so they can tell us where the next. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm thinking about thinking about this hard about Double Dragon Three. <sighs> all right, so all these baby Hueys are are probably going to rock my shit. Uh, and I'm not even going to fight the boss here at the end. Uh, there's no satisfaction to be had in that. To be honest, though, aside from the lack of music, I guess this is fine, you know, uh, generally. But again, it's Double Dragon 3, so what am I supposed to say? I don't know. A 1.7 1. bimmies. Man, I hate Double Dragon 3. All right, Storm Sales Curve. What have you what have you cooked up on the magic that is MS DOS and Technos? I guess you must have helped. You probably took a glance at this port. Kind of vibing with this music though, I'm gonna be honest. Right. Yeah. Morton Kare Ned. <laughs> Billy and Jimmy went on a journey to complete their martial arts on their return home two years later, blah blah blah. Then there's this withered old crone. Uh yeah. But be aware, no one has come back alive. Hey, go over here. That's the story of Double Dragon 3. Oh, wow. This is arcade perfect because the animation's choppy as shit. That's the sound effects, huh? Why can't I kick that guy? Jesus. All right, just screw this already. What would you like? You only need one extra guy's tricks, power-ups, energy ups. Yeah, I'll take it all, lady. You don't gotta tell, you don't gotta upsell me on this shit. We'll take the lot. Wait, how do I actually, okay, there, that, that's, I was like, how is the, what is the button to actually select something? Okay. All right, let's fight. 
<laughs> G one punch. It just knocks me down every time. Are you serious? Is that how this game works? Like this port? I oh, okay. You know, graphically, it's obviously missing a few colors. It looks like it was on the Sega CD or something. But I don't know. It looks all right. But damn. Ah. Oh my god. Now it's not funny. Ugh. Jesus. Okay. A spinning bird kick. Does that kill the spinning bird kick? No, it doesn't. Let's see how many it takes if I can actually pull pull it off again. All right, it takes two spinning bird kicks. Jesus. Okay, these two big these two big biker guys and this dude from West Side Story. Oh man, I I. I oof. All right. Okay, now I'm Sunny. Uh, so he spelled his name is Roni, which is not a name, but I guess it fits in with Bimmy, you know. So this is Sunny, who's supposedly the four, the third double dragon, the triple dragon um, that was added for the arcade version. But I think he was only added in if a second player opted in and didn't want to take Bimmy. I don't know. I, f I honestly forget. But he looks, he's supposed to look exactly like Billy and Jimmy, just wears yellow. I'm like, that's, that's, you can't just say, oh yeah, Billy and Jimmy's long lost brother, Sonny. Just, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. Uh, Technos obviously wasn't even part of this conversation. They're like, that's fine. Oh my God. You see that kick? This is the kick of the century. That was the millennium kick. Oh, please don't have the, uh, motorcycle guy. Fuck. I mean, damn it. Oh, so lame. Ah, and I lose. I'm gonna lose all my life here, aren't I? I'm gonna lose it all. There's not. There's. There's nothing a gigantic Terminator-looking dude like this can do against two bikers. Is the boss gonna be up on top? Okay, he looks reasonable. <laughs> Sand like a brick wall there. All right, back to Sunny. An all new Sunny with a chance is coming up next. What are these sound effects? I'm not sure if it's like I needed a sound blaster for this. I don't know if you could properly emulate that, but this is the technique I'm doing from now on, and these are the, the sounds we're gonna have to listen to from now on. Ooh, it sounds like an old PC turning off. Like, is, are those supposed to be screams? Boom, boom. Whoa, look at that guy bat out of hell. I killed the boss though. So got he's he's the new boss. All right, dude, this is the part where you're supposed to fall down. Oh my God. <laughs> Beat her next. The first stone is in China. Your battle is waiting for you, double dragon. He's not even technically a double, I don't know. Mission two, China. Uh, okay, it's the exact same uh, map from, from the China level of the arcade version. So I I don't know this this I I can't rate this lower or much higher than the arcade version. It's pretty except for the lack of like music and sound. Um I guess which is a big component. Um it's pretty close to the arcade version in all honesty. So I can't rate it much much better than that. Um like like a, like a 1.7 uh, Bimmies. I don't think I don't think the rating system means that much anymore. When when you get to Double Dragon Three, it's like every version's a stinker. Well, I mean the NES version, there's that that's up for debate, but every version is bad, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. We 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 need to start moving on to to the next couple of games. I think. Ooh, what is what is with this? This feeling. This calming feeling. Oh wait, I can't be too calm because I'm playing Double Dragon 3 again. Uh, so this is the Amiga version, which I'd like to think by 92 or whatever, 91. No, wait, Double Dragon, yeah, 91. Uh, it should be all right, right? Billy and Jimmy went on a journey to complete their martial arts and return home. There are three Rosetta Stones, go to Egypt. There you will find an unbeatable man with a sexy aura. Oh, it cut out the last a um, little bit of text there. Mission one, America. So, so yeah, the the Atari ST is basically the Amiga, or the Amigas. That this is very, very similar. Yeah, is incredibly similar. Okay, <laughs> really, you couldn't you couldn't have given Jimmy uh, a different colored hair. You just had them both be blonde. That's probably one of the laziest things I've ever seen. 
Honestly, what the hell? Okay, when I when I kick, he kicks. When I move, he moves. Well, not move, actually, he just kicks. At least the sound effects are kind of punchy. Let's go into the store real quick. While it loads and thinks about the store. Extra life. Little tricks. Powerful energy. Just give it, give me all, give me everything. It's still so weird. You're buying these things and you're not exactly being told what they do or anything. Extra guys does give me the extra guys. It's not actually lives. It's, it's the extra characters in the game. And it's like you buy them. They're just figures in a store. You know, it's not like the NES version where you earn them through fighting them, which is so much cooler. That's a lot of kicks to the bars that all Jimbo is getting there. Oh, he's back. Uh, yeah, so scrolling, good. Animation, not uh, choppy and the sound effects all right i still don't understand why we can't have music i keep asking this no one has any answers uh and if they if they will there'll be answers way 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 past the, the point of already probably probably researched it i guess and controls don't seem too bad either in all honesty i i'm surprised at the lack of color for the atari sd and the amiga I mean, the arcade the original is colorful as all hell Maybe some would say too colorful. I mean, I don't really think they can stop that technique of me just doing the spinning kick. The spinning kick has never looked worse. It's so- why is he so rigid? Why is he so erect as he does it? I love peace being written on a wall in a world where there is never peace. It is only fight. Come on, Jimbo. Ugh. Okay, I figured out up. This might be a short video if I can't get Jimbo over there. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Never mind. All right, please, no motorcycle, guys. Please, for the love of God. No, Sturges. The, at least the sound effects are very authentic. So it also lacks the cutscene of of uh, two characters getting on them at once, which is a nice little bit to keep in. I'm I'm kind of. A little let down it doesn't have it in all honesty. I mean, I hate this gameplay sequence in general, but nope. That somehow missed once again. I have to take a random guess. Ugh. How about no? No. Whoops! Didn't realize that was a hole. And Jimmy isn't here to distract them. Ah, got him. Please not have a second one. Please no 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 no. Oh. Okay, at least that worked out. Okay, so is it gonna need to load again? Yeah, it, hell yeah, it will. Oh, there he is. Okay, and and the West Side Story boys. When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way. So, again, we're just gonna, yeah, hi Jimmy, hi, thanks, thanks for coming to help. Uh, we're gonna beat this boss and his seven identical friends, and we'll get into the next mission, and then I'll quit. Uh, because again, there's not much to say about these these ports. It's it's nice that the uh, that the uh, sound is a little bit better, but it's going to be e exactly the same game, just just worse. And uh, yeah, I've, I've no I have no interest in that. In all honesty, oh my god, I'm stuck on this conveyor belt. Why has it got to be such a tiny tiny conveyor belt? And and all of the AI is too smart to get on it. You need to be dumb like me. Ugh. What well, fuck it? Eh, eh. What are you, what are you gonna say? All right, load load that game over screen or the main menu, I guess. Thinking, take take a big think. I know why this music's so soothing. It sounds like I'm at a faux restaurant. Anyway, uh, Double Dragon Three on the Amiga, not terrible or anything. Uh, not very good either. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Well, one one point three bimmies out of out of five jimmies i guess uh, there's so many double dragon three ports well actually the, it goes down as we go through the series as it gets less and less popular so I, it's a mercy that there's not as many as double dragon one i yeah i can at least be happy about that i don't know which of these old computers i hate worse the m strad certainly has to be up there I can't imagine what what Double Dragon 3 on the Amstrad uh, will entail. Select the controls or define the keys. Can I define them correctly? I'm not sure. Mission 1, USA. Uh. Oh. 
this can't like this has to be I might not have the right hardware. It can't run this slowly. Oh my god. Oh get up. Oh. <laughs> so let's let's just talk about it a little bit. Uh I like if if the Amstrad's uh color palette powers uh were limited. I think it's nice that they chose two opposing colors. Orange stands out on blue quite well. So I think if they were somewhat limited, I can barely finish this. If I think if they're limited by color choice, they made the best possible thing. If these were still blue, like some of the older consoles we've looked at uh, already, I'd be like, I, I, I would have turned the game off by now. In all honesty, I have no time for this horse shit. The fact that it, they did this small mercy is that's nice i guess um other than that this is this is bottom of the barrel right here I'm looking at frame rates up to one frames per second come on hit him jesus schedule i just want to hit him in the beat him up game where are you guys going at, at least attack me all right let's let's just go into the weapon shop i guess is, is it okay what would you like you need yeah yeah okay yeah it just weapon like it's a weapon shop weapons aren't available you realize that right weapons are never actually there <laughs> in fact i think in every home part i think we might have played i don't remember weapons at all there are nunchucks and maybe like a samurai sword but in all of the, the home parts, I never saw nunchucks uh, even once. And they were all over the place in the in the first stage. A decent selection of weapons in, in DD3 NES, but other than that, oh my god. I would say that I think we'd fight the boss, but I don't think I'm going to be even be able to walk over to the final boss before my patience runs out with this. I can tell you that for free. Just dial you Bam Bam Bigelows. Bam Bam Bigelows and these West Side Gigolos. These are the two enemy types here. Deuce Bigelow was a professional fish tank cleaner. Like there's no dash, there's no run. I can't figure any other moves. I, the, the, the other moves. What the? It's a scary ass noise. I don't like that. Of course, here comes Power Records again. So powerful. I don't even know why I'm jumping. It's not even any faster. I think it's slower. I'm not sure. All right, this is this is the wall of of Kim. Hi, Kim. What's up? Are you serious? Are you serious? N no, no. So this is Double Dragon Three on the uh, was it the the Amiga? I think this might be the worst thing yet. This is this is like yeah, this is like another. I think this might be a zero. I don't know. I don't know why I, I, someone paid for this somewhere in the world, and I feel bad for them. This is a yeah. This is a zero Bimmy out of Jimmy. I can't, I can't imagine that this is going to be any fun. So this is Double Dragon Three on the Commodore sixty four. Yeah, show me those patterns. Ooh, sexy. That's what the Commodore is really good at, you know? All right, so we went from that title screen to go into the other title screen. Now we have to load again. Thanks, Commodore! All right, just straight into Mission 1 America. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Okay, what is... What is move? I... Uh, actually, I was kind of expecting worse. Wait, no, hold on. No, this is bad. Yeah, yeah, no, a and I can't figure out how to move. So this might be um, this might be a short little 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 short one, uh, shorter than 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 most, because <laughs> I am getting my clock cleaned. It's funny that Billy's on this side of the screen, like his like where his uh, health is. You think Jimmy would be over there, but I guess not. Okay then, almost dead. Unfortunately, I have ten coins put into the machine to put to put into my. Totally legit Commodore 64. I made that joke enough, I think. Okay. So this time moving. Nope. Okay. I killed a dude. That's something. Just killed a man. 
You can't take that away from me at the very least. I did defeat one enemy in Double Dragon 3 for the goddamn Commodore 64. I'm wondering if Jimmy is the one wearing blue, because I do kind of actually like the uh, Billy having this orange tone. If you took Jimmy, maybe he's blue, and, you know, that kind of helps out. Just identify who the... But everyone's earth tones so we're just all wearing earth tones people and that's a little rough i can't believe i've actually defeated enemies all right i should at least figure out how to move around before i can consider this video complete <sighs> oh, i don't know if it's gonna happen today folks we're getting into the depths of despair now playing commodore 64 ports of like 35 year old games I'm not sure if I was meant for this, meant for this life, you know, playing these ports, just, just, just trying to make, uh, content. So that's Double Dragon 3 on the Commodore 64, that's 1.2 Jimmy's. I think graphically it's okay, there's, n there's no music, there's barely any sound, and it's on the Commodore. 64 and that's that's usually i usually take a few points off for for the for that in general so uh a little rough um is it gonna be the worst double dragon three port i'll be playing today i guess we'll just have to wait and see all right keyboard or joystick which which fabulous controller will i use to control what i'm sure will be this fabulous game the Spectrum version of Double Dragon 3. I, I don't even know why it matters at this point. Just five, six, seven. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what it matters. It's like every version is going to be... Is going gonna, is gonna to make me sound like this. Depressed. As I play. Uh, but I got to get through them. That that is, that is the challenge I set for myself. Mission 1, USA. Let's, let's do it, I guess. Okay. Uh, I got Jimmy on screen. We're doing it, slow as ass. It's real bad. There's no sound effects. There's no color. Again, what is with these old systems? I know I asked this before. Anyway, you need one coin to purchase. Give me the extra guys, just give me anything. Good, give me power up, energy, I don't even. Oh wait, no, I have to figure out the controls for, for, for Jimbo. What, tricks, okay, tricks, give me the tricks. Let's turn in some tricks, you give me the tricks. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids! Silly Jimmy! Tricks are for Billy! I'll let the time run out, who cares? Okay, back to all the high-octane action. Uh, again, if you had these systems growing up, like, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I apologize for a lot uh, for your life there. <laughs> Cause, cause you, you could get what you're stuck with. Yeah, I shouldn't even talk. I had an Atari 2600 until like 91. Like really I did. I, that's what that, my parents were like, here you go. And I'm like, thanks. Actually, I didn't know much better. I was like, cool, I think. And then I knew better later. What, did the game just crash? Did it? No, damn it. Yeah, so I had to make do with that for a while and convince myself that these games are sick. <laughs> And then I would go, they would go home, uh, sorry, go to my friend's house. His name was also Matthew, uh, strangely enough. Matsya, actually. And um, I was like, yeah, your NES is really cool. And he's like, it sure is. You know what's not cool, though? In, in like 30 years, you're going to be playing fucking <laughs> Double Dragon 3 on the Spectrum. Like, what? Anyway, this is unplayable. I think I think it might be the worst. And uh, that we overlaid music on top of this just so you y'all have something to listen to. That's like a 1.1. I can't give it a zero, but it's like a 1.1, I guess. Uh, Bimmies. I'm so done with Double Dragon 3. All right, now this is, you know, you could say Technos at their zenith because this is Double Dragon 4. No, it's Return of Double Dragon. Sleeping Dragon has awoke. Oh, don't wake him up, kids. Uh, don't wake the dragon. So we start up with this really great story sequence. Wait, there's zero story sequences in Double Dragon 4 or Return of Double Dragon. So I'm playing the Japanese version. There's a good reason for that, is that they're almost indistinguishable, except for a few key reasons that just makes this, this version better. And there's just really no reason for me to play Double Dragon 4 compared to this, because it... So, I think the the standard differences are that this is a little bit easier. It has a bit more options. Uh, you can change continues and lives and all that. Uh, secondly, and most importantly, we're going to be doing it in a second. I have to pump up my meter, but let me take out these jobbers first. 
Um, there's some uh, extra few rooms in the last stage, so it makes the game a little bit longer. And music has been mixed around to different stages, which is neither here nor there. Not not that big of a difference, really. Blech. So, as you can probably tell, this is a very different game compared to. Oh shit! I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to reacclimatize. So this is a very different game compared to all the Double Dragons before it. I think a new person took over for the franchise uh, uh, from from the last couple. I think the Double Dragon creator uh, left Technos at this time. So a new dude sort of stepped up and he would go on to do a few more things with the franchise after this. Hey everybody, I'm James Gunn. I'm the co-CEO of Double Dragon. So the fighting system is very different. You essentially have punch, kick, uh, gar uh, block slash parry, Ouch, Jesus. Who throws a boomerang? Honestly. Oh, Just get rid of you, boomer. So yeah, the, the essentially what you have here is a completely revamped uh, fight system. God damn, I lost my nunchucks. I, I prefer it, actually. The whole block uh, parry counter mechanic is super, super cool. It's very, like, martial arts driven. It's like stuff you would see in, in movies of the late 80s and early 90s. You still have hair grabs and all that too, obviously. Kicks are super potent. I want to pump up my meter a little bit here. There you go. That being the key difference between this and, and the American Western version of Double Dragon 4. Your hurricane kick only knocks down once and does, you know, a decent chunk of damage. And that's about it. In this, it strikes one enemy multiple times, which essentially can kill them, depending on the enemy and how many times uh, you've you've hit them, essentially. Um, and it just makes the game way more satisfying to play, I think, overall. Um, it just makes it a much more potent move. You can also jump off the walls, so it retains a little bit of something from of, uh, Double Dragon 3, I should say. I would rent this all the time I, I never bought this i could afford very very few super nintendo games at the time but i would routinely get this from my uh local mom and pop shop or i think blockbuster later on there's just so many things about this this particular game that stick out to me the the parry grab mechanic like blew my mind when i first saw it music is also a really really key difference like every track is an absolute certified slapper banger whatever you want to call it like, probably some of the best music in the entire franchise. Look, that guy's dead. It, that would just knock him down in uh, Double Dragon 4, uh, American version, I should always clarify. And as, aside from those two things, there's almost no... I don't think there's any other differences, really. This version has no cutscenes, uh, no big ending cinema, no extra boss fights, nothing like that. And we'll talk about that in, in a little bit more detail, because there's definitely something to say. The, the tragedy of Double Dragon 4, really. So we have Business Suit Man. He's so evil, because he got Business Suit. Where are you? Come out here! So essentially what you're doing here a lot of the time, well, now he took all those hits, is that you're you're holding L and R to pump up that, uh, that power gauge. And if you fill it all the way, all the way before the top, then you get the hurricane kick. We fill it all the way to the top. You get this like enraged face. Billy looks pretty stupid here. Uh, every every hit knocks down. So it's not great because it takes so long for people to actually get up. Where's businessman? There he is. The bad guy is capitalism. So I just want to hit him with everything. Okay, yeah. So that was that was just one one raw knockdown. Want to get more than that. So there's a lot of walking back and forth and and kind of avoiding enemies so you can pump up that meter because if you get hit or especially knocked down, it just drains away. Oh, nice. Even the little, yeah, it's such a good sound effect. It's just so classic sounding to me. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, that's got to kill. Yeah. And he's essentially the first boss. It's one of those uh, things about this game that, you know, actually always throws me off is that levels aren't really constructed with uh, some of them. So some are, some not with any type of climax. Now, that is true to a lot of the other Double Dragon games we played before. But now this was like 92, this release, like late 92. Um, and you think they would have been informed by you kind of want something a bit grander for the end of your levels. This is especially good music track as well. And it's another weird thing about this universe. There's an airport. 
There, there's ladies behind the counter. So is this is this nuclear fallout world that we're living in? Is it the Mad Max world? I don't think so. So it's again slightly rebooted. Uh, I'm not really sure. It's called Return of Double Dragon though. And what is the context here? Why are the Double Dragons returning? We don't know. We have no idea because there's no story sequences at all. I don't even think the instruction manual says anything. All right, well, I threw a boomerang now, so I guess I'm the problem. It's me. Oh, this fucking section. Just have to go down these stupid stairs, several of them. My old enemy. Stairs. So, so yeah, no story sequences. The director of this game uh, went on like a Japanese blog in like 2004 and basically laid out uh, what really went, went down with this, which is essentially ran out of time, ran out of big time. Uh, he wanted full cutscenes. Uh, explaining everything. The story was supposed to be about how martial artists are disappearing all over the world for some mysterious reason. And Billy and Jimmy just are trying to figure out why. Uh, th that's, I think, all that he really said about it. And there was going to be uh, conversations with bosses uh, in between level cutscenes. And there's going to be a secondary final boss. The final boss of this game is Duke. There's really no context as to what his part of the story was going to be, but that's essentially it. Oh, Jesus, that was that was rough. Don't look. Don't look, don't look at that. So I think there's supposed to be more weapons, more enemies, more everything else as well. Uh, it wasn't just story sequences, but that was like the main thing that I believe got cut from that version. Um, so they just ship what they had, which is just a basic series of levels with, you know, you're fighting a bunch of them, but you're not doing much else after that. There's barely any platforming in this, any real pitfalls per se. There's a few little things here and there, but it's really toned down compared to like Double Dragon 2, for example. Oh, I love this part of the stage though. And just the sprite work in general is also, oh, let me clear it, thank God. The, the sprite work in general is also very nostalgic to me. I think these are amazing sprites. Um, it was nice seeing Double Dragon finally having like this very clear visual identity. Probably a actually off the back of, of Double Dragon 3, the NES version at least. Billy wears blue and has the brown hair. And Jimmy has like kind of the, the blonde spiked top and, and wears red. Um, we kind of saw that in the remake of, of Double Dragon 2 on the PC Engine was also there as well. So I think it was around there where they started flipping it around. I'd love to pick the brains of everyone that worked on this franchise and just be like, do you know why this happened? I I would love to do like a full, you know, but maybe by the time this video is out and God knows I've been working on this for months now, uh, maybe I'll have a what happened in the works for Double Dragon in general because it's one of those thousand cut stories where not one thing I think destroyed the franchise, a bunch of things. I wouldn't say destroy the franchise, that's, that's, that's very dramatic to say, but I think really devalued it. That's good. It really devalued it. Like, I think almost every entry, mainline entry, had some type of curse put upon it. Like the first one on the NES, you though know, was a, a success, had the two-player co-op taken away. Uh, the second one on the NES, you know, nothing too bad there. The third one, obviously some issues. Uh, this one, you know, no cutscenes, no story. You're kind of an underbaked game that doesn't really live up to its full potential. Um, Double Dragon 5, obviously, had some problems. Lots and lots of stuff, you know? So I would love to get that video going and kind of do a whole Double Dragon weekend where I have this video out and what happened. You'll know if if I actually pull this all together. Uh, you know, just, just be on Matt and the Muscles or the Flophouse. And, and, may, and maybe this two-pronged attack of a plan will, will have come together. So this dude, as a kid, I just thought this was Eddie Brock. I was like, oh my God, Eddie's here. He doesn't want me to get on the plane. I don't know why, but he's here. We are there. So he's kind of the boss, but not really. The, the bosses are not given much gravitas in, in this game. There's no special boss theme like in, in prior Double Dragon games. Um, they don't have their own life bars. They don't really do anything too special. Did I actually catch that plane? Yeah, I guess, because now we're in, in, in China. 
Chinatown, it, it, you know, that's one thing I miss from Double Dragon 3. Is just a thing saying where the fuck we are. Nunchucks, super good in this game. It's one of the few weapons you really get. You get this, uh, a knife, sticks. Uh, I think there's a stick, yeah. Um, and I love the fact that they have dedicated poses. So this is one of the few interactable things in the environment. I really wish there were more. It's just one of those things that I just help I just think helps all brawlers, all beat em ups, just interact with things in the stage. That's a super sick kick that you can do when you're holding someone by the hair. That's awesome. I'm gonna attempt something here where I kind of herd everyone down here and I and knock them down this stairwell. It doesn't actually do anything. I just think it's neat. Oh, am I gonna fall in? Oh, I almost did. Okay, okay. Oh, sword guy. Here, here, here. I'll try it here. It, okay, it's it's not working. But let's just forget that. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might try to hit the heavy bag there. I, I haven't hit a heavy bag in, in quite a while. When I say quite a while, I mean, I think never. I don't even know what it what it's for. I guess it's supposed to let you punch it. It sucks because it can't even defend itself. Bleh. Bleh. All right, so yeah, th this is kind of your stereotypical martial arts masters. Like the five, three or four or five of them that we fought in previous games. The, a lot of people kind of assume this was just a remake. Because the, the the North American version was just called Double Dragon 4. It wasn't even called Super Double Dragon 4, or was it? Or was it just called Super Double Dragon? Now I don't even remember. But yeah, it was kind of like a, a Castlevania 4 situation. Like, oh, it's such a new generation of consoles that let's just do a remake. So I thought for the longest time, like, yeah, it was just a remake, but... Or, or something along those lines. But then again, I thought, well, Marion's not in it. There's no story sequences whatsoever. Whoa! Oh, okay. I thought Billy was like, it's it's pointless. I, I'll never win. Just everyone just gives a good blue every single time. These guys, I don't even really want to deal with them. So hurricane kick. I think we fight a boss down here. Oh, the truck, right? All right. So let's 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 give them all big hurricanes. Yeah, what was that, like five hits? It's insane. This version did come out after the North American one, so I guess they were like, why don't we make the hurricane kick not suck? Oh my god, I should be dead. What the hell? Why'd he do that? Ah! There's the rest of the bosses. Guy with the ponytail is Duke, the final boss. Spoilers, I guess. See, now we're against uh, Clown from Spawn. He's, he's just here. I think he, yeah, he, he just fucks off. That's pretty much the only real cutscene that you get. I'm not sure what it was implying there that all the bosses were driving this this semi-truck? You know, I don't know. I don't know. You know, in every Double Dragon game, one thing's for sure, there's always going to be a clone of Billy and or Jimmy. And uh, our green student friend is definitely him. If you saw before, sometimes you'll grab him by the hair and he'll just fight his way out of it. He'll be like, oh, 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 I'm fucking not letting you do that. Fortunately, Barrel Chan will help us. Here's the music, though. This this is actually the, the real theme. It's such a sick version of the song. And you have this like little like chant there, the this little synth chant. It sounds so sick. So the weird thing I got really excited about, but then I, I stopped, is when I heard that this game was getting re-released, like a new version, and I got so psyched. I was like, oh shit, what the fuck is happening? And then I look it up, and it was basically re-released. This version, the Japanese version, was re-released on cartridge. And supposedly PS4, but then it never actually came out on PS4, I don't think. It was just a re-release of Return of Double Dragon, Sleeping Dragon is Woke. Yeah, I looked that up, and then it turns out it's the exact same version. With no improvements, nothing, nothing whatsoever. And the cart version apparently started overheating, and it's a shitty version, and you shouldn't buy it, and people should stay away, and then nothing really happened. I don't know why Arxis allowed that. It seemed really pointless, like not a remake or anything. Um, so I was really, really sad about that. I was just like, oh man, like this, it had the chance to like, I don't know, bring this back to prominence and, and maybe improve some things, but no, you know, uh, enjoy Double Dragon 4, actual Double Dragon 4. Then I started looking things up and people have made fan hacks of this uh, with some improvements, speed up the gameplay, some nice, some nice stuff. I wanted to play a more authentic version, like I said, to start of the video, uh, no fan games. But I have to give a special shout out to 
Now it is a confusing release. Ultimate Double Dragon or Legend of Double Dragon? Anyway, a uh, very talented modder has been trying to remake this game essentially for the past decade, I wanna say. Did some startling, some massive gameplay changes. Uh, expanded the moveset a, a thousand times fold. Uh, I can't even explain everything that went into it. But the most impressive part to me is that he actually found and contacted the original sprite designer from this, this original release in Japan and was able to talk to him and say, would you want to remake this game with me? Redo, do new sprites. Uh, one thing this game is very much lacking is no Abobo, no female characters at all. No Linda. Yeah, and the, the stage just ends there. A little weird, huh? Mission six, the forest where all martial artists, artists dwell. Back on Ultimate Double Dragon, the, the sprite artist said, yeah, cool. Let's do it. Uh, and then started to do it. I don't think the, the latest of the time of this video, at least of when I'm recording it today, it might be another month or two before any of you all see this. But as of the time of this recording, uh, the newest version is not out yet uh, for people to try that has a Bobo and Linda and all this new, like, art, uh, which I'd be very... What the fuck happened there? Uh, what? Why, Rock Chan? Why? Am I hitting the tree? The rock is the basis of all martial arts. What? Come and fight me over here. Ugh. Okay, yeah, the tree or an invisible wall is blocking the way. What crap? Oh, here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Come on, come on, come on. Blech. Okay, bridge. This is one of the very few platforming things I believe you ever have to do in this game. Unfortunately, it's not it's not too tough, but you know the the shaky ones. You got you got to be careful of them. I do think we fight another boss here. Maybe maybe I'm thinking of this guy. Anyway, yeah, the uh, the fan modder for Ultimate Double Dragon like got in contact with him, started making sprites, and I believe I read somewhere that they actually contacted, got into contact with Arc System Works and said, "Hey, can we make this official?" Can we remake Super Double Dragon 4 in this way? And Arxis declined and said, no. It like, but but then they released Double Dragon 4 or Return of Double Dragon, Sleepy Dragon has awoke. Then they returned that piece of crap. Oh, here, here's that boss. I was just this 80s synth man. Maybe he's supposed to be like a Terminator. He's, he's dressed a little bit like Terminator in Terminator 1. I don't know. So yeah, really pissed me off that, that reading about that. You know, Arxis has all the Kunio, all the Double Dragon games under their banner, and they just, aside from River City Girls, they don't do all that much with them. They release a Kunio every so often, but I just don't think they're being used to their fullest extent. You know, a collection here and there and a Kunio, and it's just like, yeah, that's the, that's kind of it. You can build an entire universe, and they and they let Way Forward do that, Bannon holding it down as always. And again, if if you told me years and years ago that Matthew, and I'll be like, don't say that, say Matt, Matthew, uh, you're actually gonna be the voice of a character in an official. Uh, River City Ransom slash Kunio slash Double Dragon game. I'd say fuck you, man. Don't, don't, you can't say this to me. I don't believe you, future Matthew. Anyway, this is Mission 7. I believe it's the last mission, but it's the longest one. As you can see, it's very much like every other final stage in every Double Dragon game we played before. It's just Golden Martial Arts Palace. Yeah, spinning. Just do a pirouette and then just spin your fist. Around. I used to do that as a kid. Yeah, the spinning fist. It actually does dizzy if you can connect with it. It's It has some utility to it, but what a ridiculous move. See, I believe this is one of the new rooms that were... I might be incorrect, but I think this is a new room that was added for the Japanese version. It wasn't in uh, the American release of this. I might, I might be wrong because it has been several decades. And it's a real shame that this wasn't even included, this or the American version wasn't even included on the uh, Double Dragon uh, Kunio collection. You'd think it would be. It was an official Japanese developed Double Dragon game. It, it would have been nice and straightforward. One, two, three, and four. But yeah, Arx is just, nah, man. Buy this fucking cartridge. This, this Super Famicom cartridge, like ridiculous. 
Ah, you know, one, th one, one, one of my weaknesses is knife in the butt, and he knew. Stevie King, this is my new vision. It's about a skeleton now. that stabs butt. And even though the expanded combat options here are appreciated, I still... I'm still missing a few moves. It would still be nice if you could like stomp on enemies uh, like in Double Dragon 3 or do the midair flip. I think, you know, two or three more big moves added to the repertoire of the official version here would be uh, a godsend. And again, an ultimate Double Dragon, there, there might be too many moves, actually. Uh, all of them are exquisitely animated, but... Um, you know, it's almost mind-boggling to, to the point. I, and, and he doesn't even throw like a boomerang. He throws like a nerf boomerang. That's like, br ow. That's like brightly colored and everything. It doesn't even look that deadly. Of course, you gotta throw doink bra at me again. Making double dragons cry, bra. Please die. Nice. All right, let's move it on up. Two suited guys. Get the fuck out. What are you gonna do? Cause inflation? So yeah, as, as, as nice as this final stage looks aesthetically, I just noticed there's a big W on that door uh, door in the background there. There's a W coiled around the, the dragon. So I'm not sure if it's trying to do a machine gun willy send up thing. So as I stated before, what, what was in the original plans for this game was a, a true final boss. Now, would that have been Machine Gun Willy again? And Duke is just like the front man? Yeah, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but it's certainly possible. Again, this, this boss lair is very, very similar to ones that uh, Mr. Machine Gun had, so... Uh, your guess is as good as mine. And you sadly don't have any moves in co-op either. Like, you don't have the uh, double hurricane kick. Ah, uh, there's invisible walls. You can't knock people into things in this game at all, almost. Maybe on the bridge, but it's a little disappointing. But yeah, no double hurricane kick with uh, Bimmy and Jimmy, so it's a bit of a letdown. I don't even know where I left my pair of nunchucks that I bought in Los Angeles. Where the fuck did I put them? All right, so music change. Yeah, there's a big W! And this is exactly like the end of every other double tracking game. <laughs> almost everyone. And uh, we bring the theme back in, of course. They're gonna be fighting every boss all over again, which is always fun. All right, here we go. This is Schwarzenegger, red suited, red jacket synth man. I don't know. And also, I also don't know whether these spikes are actually a hazard, whether you can, you know, take, take damage from them. Oh, what? It, it hit me? What the shit? Did he actually deflect that knife back at me? That's... I I don't hate it. I gotta respect it. But yeah, this W, right? It, do, it does make you think that Willy would be the final boss. I mean, it's in his stage. Duke would just be like the, the front man that sets things off. And then Willy would be like, Ah, it's me, Austin. It was me. You know, like... I, I can now imagine that now now seeing the, the logo on the ground which would have been it's just you know something we've all talked about in these videos or I've talked about <laughs> in these videos is the inconsistencies with double dragon villains about what what they wanted to do to have one consistent villain like you know like your shredder or exchange them per game because since it's uh, its lineage is so messed up and all over the place okay where is he I'm, I'm charging on my hurricane kick, waiting. There he is. And this looks like a decent villain. He looks okay. Is he final boss villain? I don't know about that. Okay, the sword guy, I'm fine with. So I sailed into the spikes, did not take damage. I'm assuming they're there for decoration, just for intimidation factor. Anyway, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. And unless you play this on like Grandmaster mode, which, which I am not, I think there's like this is all it is like there's not a second phase like in a weird other dimension as these games sometimes do oh wow spinning punch i think it's not so much that it hurts or makes someone dizzy i think they're just so flabbergasted oh my god what was that attack it's crazy shit he's pulling out of his ass but yeah, I still have a, a few more continues, so this shouldn't really be a problem. Unless, I don't think I've actually ever beaten this version of the game. So maybe there is there is another phase, I don't know. We're waiting for that... Ugh. Or a slow motion hit. I'll take that too. And then I believe we just cut to credits. Yep. 
Yes, uh, E.B. Numa. Uh, I believe that was the guy I was I was talking about. Direct advisor is Yoshihisa Kishimoto, who was the Double Dragon creator. He's under an advisor, so maybe yeah, he didn't direct this, but obviously gave some advice. Um, but I'm pretty sure he left the company uh, in or, or or a little bit after this. Then maybe um, I have to look that up again. But uh, yeah, you can see that how much potential this game really had. Like it has the core gameplay down, and that's great. But it's just like all the stuff around it, just more cutscenes, more weapons, just a few things like that. Like it could have been easily the greatest Double Dragon game, and now it's like it's it's one of the best, certainly, right? So. Um, you know, I'm thinking this is high up there. But I want to say like this is like a 4.3 bimmies out of five. Like it, I, I I'm gonna be really looking and waiting for Ultimate Double Dragon. See if that that final version of that can blow me away. I don't know when that'll be happening, but I'm gonna take a look at that sometime in the future, whenever it releases. Alrighty, we are entering a new saga, a lengthy saga of Double Dragon history, uh, with Rare leading the charge, which, uh, judging by some of my research, they were not super fond of actually doing. Uh, Rare probably still well into the Battletoads at this time. I think the arcade game was uh, going to be the next year after this. But uh, I remember reading some things where they were like, well, we weren't really happy that we had to shoehorn Double Dragon in there. We have, we have nothing to really do or say about that franchise. And you can kind of see it in this final product. I have to give it up for these awesome uh, sprite profiles of all the characters. Um, guess what? The, the, the Battletoads look awesome. <laughs> Billy and Jimmy and, and, and the Double Dragon villains, uh, maybe a little bit less. And the dragons, they're okay, you know. It, okay, that's fair. Some weird uh, Rob Liefeld shit going on with his chest. He has a twisting typhoon kick, and this is such an awkward pose. What is this? It's like he's being caught with his hand in the cookie jar. And I see some really weird stuff with, with how all the characters are depicted, specifically the double dragon characters. So this is a Bobo, he is just, he is just Ahmed Johnson, I guess. That's it. Uh, I don't really remember this character from, from, um, Battletoads that much. He's pretty fine. I, well, I mean, he's okay. Um, here's their first big mistake. That's not Roper. That's Machine Gun Willie, because he's wearing yellow, and he's literally the only Double Dragon character with a gun. So they, they misnamed him off the bat. Like, Roper's just a jobber bad guy like Williams. And, and then here's Shadow Boss, which I, I think this is a pretty sick design. It looks like he belongs in, like, rock and roll racing or something. And, of course, the battle the Battletoads, Big Baddie, Booty Mama, the Dark Queen. Did this chicken guy ever come back? I don't even know his name. Was he in the Battletoads reboot? I don't even know. Look at this nerd tapping on his computer, making content for his YouTube channel. That's lame. So this is an emergency. The Queen's rat ship is on its way to Earth. I'm gonna stop them now. It's our only hope. It's really weird because it's not like the, the Toads just like go into another dimension or the past or whatever, and, and they meet up with the Double Dragons. They're just co-shared universes. Which only really would have been possible because Trade West bought, got the publishing rights to Double Dragon for several years. So I guess J Billy and Jimmy are just enveloped in darkness. They're just in a dark room. <laughs> Tell the Toads to pick us up at City Hall. The Battlecopter suits lower City Hall. And look, both Billy and Jimmy have like blonde uh, flat tops. Amazing. And thus the adventure begins. So because this is a Double Dragon focused video, we can't in good conscience take a fucking toad. We gotta take Bimbo or Jimbo. Dun dun dun. Uh, Bobo not like intruders. I'm gonna beat you up. That's, that's, that's the extent. So every level from all these versions uh, start on this battleship. Um, from my uh, cursory research and all these other versions, they seem to be pretty identical. 
uh, in a lot of respects. Now, oh god, my, my issues with this game is that it's really not a Double Dragon and Battletoads crossover game. It's, it's a Battletoads game that has an afterthought of, of Double Dragon in there. The combat is incredibly different. Um, a lot of things are just weird. Uh, the first thing is that we're using uh, Battletoads HUD and the weird tooths that they have to represent lives. I never really understood that. And whenever I'd rent this as a kid, I'd always kind of be disappointed because it, you know, it just, I played Double Dragon games more, much more as a child uh, than, than, than as uh, Battletoads games. Because back then, there was only one Battletoads game and no one was any good. Oh my God. No one was any good at it, especially not me. Okay, I need these points now. Has been a while, like, Probably a decade or more since I've ever played this and I just remember there being something really unsatisfying about the core experience I, I'd imagine in, in two-player. This is a, a bit more fun But as like a whole single-player thing like my favorite Battletoads game like I'm not trying to dump on Battletoads But my favorite game is the arcade game because it's just a straightforward beat-em-up and it's awesome It's like graphically super impressive and is mega mega violent and it's just kind of what I would like Battletoads to have always kind of been. Um, so when you, when I would ever I'd rent this, I, I really didn't have that much of a frame of reference for Battletoads. I rented Battletoads on the NES once, ever, uh, and then I just didn't ever play any again. I didn't play uh, Battle Maniacs, I didn't play the Game Boy version of Battletoads or whatever. So by the time this came around, I probably rented this in like 94. 95 because I only got a Super Nintendo around then um, I was just like what this is oh this isn't what I thought it was gonna be at all yeah so yeah <laughs> game over already you call yourselves the ultimate team we didn't we the box called us that we didn't call ourselves that give me a break okay so yeah we're gonna probably be fighting the the big dumb perverted clown hand that comes out of a vent. Was this in a later Battletoads game and I don't remember it? Oh, jeez. Yeah, you're supposed to elbow drop it and it starts pulsating. It's all swollen. It's just... I don't know. There's something about this I just don't like. I don't know why, like, it... Why, why didn't it trigger there? That's a little weird. Um, yeah, and it spurts out balls. I'm scared of every enemy in this because I just think they're all they all have the power to kill me very very quickly So yeah, as far as I remember reading like this was a contractual Obligation that trade West might have put on rare. This was not rare's idea uh, To do this. I think they're just trying to squeeze everything they could out of, out of Battletoads Essentially all right, so here's the first boss fight. I don't know how I feel about the Billy and the, the Billy the Billy Brothers. The Billy Brothers having the exaggerated cartoon shit uh, from Battletoads. Here's here's your um your strategy to defeat the first boss, by the way. And there you go. I mean, it's not a great first impression of the game. Even I could beat a Bobo. Well done, but look out for big bad blag. Big black bully cock. Alright, coming to my lair, Big Black's gonna stomp and chomp ya. I li- okay, I like the- the bad guys taunting you and stuff. I think that's a fine thing, so... The interesting thing that I do like about this game is that animations and- and such kind of change, depending on what enemies you're fighting. So, for example, we have this more double dragon-y moveset with, uh, grabbing the hair, and it only happens with human enemies. So at least they brought in that element of Double Dragon games, but, but it's still overwhelmingly all all toads all over the place. Just all the to toads, zits and boils and rashes and gonorrheas are all over the rest of the game. So this is a, a small conceit to uh, have some form of uh, Double Dragon combat here. So I do have to give uh, big ups to Rare for actually making decent designs. Now, even though I took Jimmy, who has brown hair in this, he clearly looks like he has blonde hair. Maybe when you take Billy, it's more blonde. Um, 
so yeah they have the steel boots the white shirts and like some gauntlets and like that's cool it looks better than like they had been uh characterized up to that point up to this point well except for maybe super double dragon they they're going back to more of the double dragon arcade or, or even the nes looks here and the thing with these staffs which i always remember you know very well is that these animations sure are fun like the the first second time you see them but after a while it's just like get on with it it takes a little too long to kill them with these staffs with this elaborate going through the hole going through the hole going through the floor animation this weird dynamite bro that just loves dying oh no <laughs> my technology has turned against me it's you stick of dynamite I am definitely not getting through the majority of any of these versions of the games unless they're dramatically easier like the Game Boy one is or, or whatever. So I've never seen like the ending of this game. This has like never been something I look up on YouTube to be like, I wonder what happens. I, I don't I don't really care. I would like to see the, the final fight with uh, Shadow Boss just to see what that looks like. Because one thing I another thing I will give this is that that Shadow Boss design is is I think unique. Out of every other version we played, I don't think there's any version of him that, that, that looks like that. Even in Double Dragon 2, I believe he's called the Shadow... He's just called the Shadow Warrior. Um, and in Double Dragon 5, the Shadow Falls, he's just called the Shadow Master. So the Shadow Boss is just, I think, a moniker that might have been used once or twice in just passing like it was just he was just known as the shadow boss and he could be someone else and it is revealed to be like jimmy or or whatever it is but the character just straight up being called the shadow boss i'm sure rare had a real hell of a time going wait who's the villain of double fucking dragon oh i was like stun locked what the hell i guess that guy just like you know i'll try this again it worked really well the first okay it didn't it wasn't perfectly Okay, it wasn't a perfect plan when I was throwing the dynamite, but this time, all right, everyone's favorite part of <laughs> of a Battletoads game, the turbo tunnel or, or cyber cycle or whatever. We're not really in a tunnel here. I will say that uh, have, leaning into that Battletoads thing of levels having variety is certainly a good thing. Uh, I, I don't mind that. At the same time, again, it, it makes the whole game lean much towards the Battletoads. And it's Rare's baby. W would I do the same if I was in their position? Well, we're just going to push more Battletoad shit than Double Dragon because we have no stake in that at all. Oh, Jesus. My ass. I I I'd love to talk to any specific people uh, that were formerly at Rare that worked on this. Just, just to get a little more insight into the design philosophy and what their feelings were on this project i've only gleaned a little bit from uh, past interviews but it's like while they're making this game like there there is another team making donkey kong country i would think uh donkey kong country released at the end of 94 like october november i think and this came out in 93 so i'd like to think at least uh work had started on donkey kong country and i could just imagine that team just being like super super psyched and the Battletoads and Double Dragon team uh, contractual obligations for Trade West are kind of deemed as uh, not as important of a project. <laughs> Holy shit, that's one big bitch, baby. Oh, there's no boss music? That's disappointing. Ow. Okay. Listen, baby ratty, you got some girth that you're throwing around. Not much I can do about it. Uh, the the jumping like dash kick that i do it's a handy move i will say that and it's pretty abusable you should just keep doing this on that guy oh that was easy okay uh flag isn't so big and bad now oh i got him but be careful i hear roper's got some tricks up his sleeve yeah like a bit like an m60 fist versus bullets i'm gonna use your butts for target practice and that looks like Ben and Rudis. So here are some Lindas. It's nice that they're in there. Thank you, Rare, for, for putting them in. So if my... Wow. <laughs> That's the Battletoads way. If you're going to die, die at the start. Oh, my God. The, the way this level from my memory goes is that uh, most of the enemies at the start are all... Um, ow. Uh, 
double dragon style enemies like these Lindas, but the back half of this entire level is just the stupid bass jumping bungee cords or whatever from Battletoads, which I honestly hate way more than Turbo Tunnel sections. They just control so awkwardly. <laughs> now, I'm probably missing something, but don't jump down. Okay, game over, nice. I don't know what I was thinking where I was like, I'm gonna talk while playing a rare Battletoads game. I'm gonna try to talk and, and play well <laughs> while doing this. Okay, what is it? I'm not gonna jump down. No, not that. Oh, you just walk over it. Don't jump. Just walk to the very edge. Okay. All right, here come more Lindas. I, I will say I like their design. It's it's very top heavy, I would say. And not for the reasons you might think. I just mean her their hair is so luxurious. It's got a lot of heft to it. Oh, okay. Is it just is it just go the other side? That's perfect. That's all I wanted. Okay, yeah, we're doing it. We're we're I think I'm on my last continue though. Uh I, I'd like to think as I play the other Oh my god, those juggle you! Yeah, just just do that. The the dashing kick does seem really, really good. Alright, going down again. This is gonna be a disaster down here. This is gonna be real bad. Uh, oh shit! Oh shit! No! <laughs> Dead! Oh, uh, do I have the skeletal structure of the battle toads? I do. I have web foot and web feet! Oh, rare! Um, obviously this is a game you have to get good at, uh, to maybe appreciate, but it's, it's definitely not my favorite chapter of, of Double Dragon. It's more of a disappointing thing for me. I would have loved to have seen this, like, fleshed out even further. Maybe made an arcade version of it. That, that would have been sick as well. Uh, in the style of the Battletoads arcade game. I would have really loved that. As it stands, uh, I want to give this, like, maybe, like, a 2.3... Uh, Bimmies out of Jimmies. Uh, you know, again, it's a very personal preference. I've seen some people say, I love Battletoads Double Dragon. I'm happy for you. That's that's great. Uh, it's it's definitely on more on the disappointing side for me. But we still have three other versions of this to play, so let's check them out. All right, so we are continuing this Battletoads cross Double Dragon journey with the Genesis version. Already, I mean, that's a similar logo, but I don't remember the star background. Okay, yeah, that's gross stuff in the background. What's that supposed to be of? I'm the crazy one and I'm super cool. My smash hits will leave them cold. So, already some, some presentation differences. Sprites don't look quite as nice, but it's a minor thing. This is Pimple. I don't know. I don't know about Pimple. Rash is the only battle toad I really like. And the dragons. Can't wait to see these. What is it with that koi haircut? Why do they do that? <laughs> what what they do to him? Why'd that happen? Alright, versus the bosses. I don't know why they're nuclear powered. Yeah, that's the same. Why did they change Billy and Jimmy's haircuts the same sprite? That's so weird. Uh, I'm excited now. I'm excited to see if there's any other weird shit like that. What's with the weird fisty logos? <laughs> it's so strange. Uh, Robo Manus. I never got far enough in this game to even see this thing. I have. It's weird. I don't like it. Alright, so Double Dragon villains have weird fisting logos. And, and the Balto ones. I guess they're all nuclear powered? I'm not sure. They just got the Duke Nukem logo back there. That's what it is now. She's bruising for a rematch, Toads. That's also different. She ain't taking any chances. Not with the Shadow Boss for backup. See, the Double Dragon characters are just backup. Don't get in a flap, Prof. We may, we'll make it even. We're teaming up with these humans. <laughs> I pick us up at City Hall. We intercept the rat ship before it reaches Earth. So, so yeah, this is different because he's, uh, the prof was looking at a computer screen before. Wow! 
Different camera angles, same, same hair color. Could you not have changed their goddamn hair color? But the ultimate team assembled the copter heads into space to make a preemptive strike against the dark forces. So these are big enough differences that I'm assuming it was like another team. You know, uh, unless there's some technical reasons. There was definitely some sprite scaling in the Super Nintendo version when... What the... <laughs> Who are those guys? Why did it just use the sprites from before? Oh, Bobo, not like intruders. I'm gonna beat you up. Okay. Well, 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 I'll try to facilitate being up. Okay, so, so, different sound effects. Not as impactful when hitting, but that's not really what I care about. All right, so maybe it's because I got acclimatized a little bit. Oh, you can stomp them on this side. I didn't know that. Uh, that I got acclimatized a little bit from uh, playing the Super Nintendo version, but this doesn't seem as... I, I don't know, annoying to fight the enemies? Like, they were draining my health so quickly before. I also noticed that the HUD is different. It doesn't have the weird teeth. But it's still, like, unclear about whose health bar is, is first when you when you get all mixed up and you're playing in co-op or something. But yeah, I'm, I, the... Oh, oh, we don't have multicolored balls. We just have uh, pink and brown. That's a weird random change. Could the Genesis not handle like multiple colors? <laughs> Ow. So yeah, definitely when, when you have a Genesis Super Nintendo version, sound effects are, are definitely gonna be different. Uh, and this does sound very, very Jenny-like. Uh, but so far playability seems to be maybe slightly better. I'm not sure what it is. Come on, you son of a bitch, just die, please. I, I just feel like I'm fighting like a like a weird creepy boss enemy from Balls 3D. This is not a compliment. So the 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 Dark Queen's just like yeah, I have to have my battle cruiser have weird clown hands come out of the vents. That that's my security system. That's different. Hey, that actually looks like a Bobo now. He's got the weird mustache. That's better. Does the same strategy apply? Oh. And he falls in the background other than forward, because I don't think the Genesis could easily do that. That graphical effect of, uh, of scaling up a sprite. A Bobo, even I could beat you. Useless, lumbering halfwits don't scare us. Holy shit! Come here and say that, scrawny buzzard. No matter, because Black's next. That's cool. So let's see how this goes. This is uh, this opening section, huh? A lot of a lot of dick kicks in there, and not the hair grab, unless I'm doing it wrong. Because before it was, a, it was a hair grab, and 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 now it's I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a different interpretation of it. He's kind of grabbing his, his head a little bit, and the the bottom of the stage is is pushed up a bit more, so you can see more of the real estate down there, so when a guy is crawling on it, okay, let's see how this goes. Ow. Is it as annoying as the Super Nintendo version? Seems a bit quicker, actually. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Yeah, maybe a slight speed increase there. I mean, it's welcome. Wait, what? I can just hold it? That's weird. Cool, but weird. All right, this guy's slightly different color palette. No, no, I don't want to touch that. Yes, as soon as you get near the fence, he just automatically grabs on it, which is, I guess, not optimal for this battle situation. I think he took less hits to kill, too. Huh. I, I keep thinking about those Billy and Jimmy portraits at the start. I think, now that, he, that, now that I'm recalling what they look like, I think it's modeled after a particular image from like Double Dragon 3 on the Game Boy, it's cover art. It's got this really specific, like, very painterly rendering of what lo like looks like an actual model. Like a guy dressed up as Billy Lee and then the artist uh, drew interpretation of what, of what he looks like. Like it's a very realistic painting look. I think it might be modeled after that. It looked so vaguely familiar. So there's definitely some some differences in presentation and a little bit of gameplay, and I'm kind of preferring this. 
I'm just wondering what what the the ow Jesus those explode a little bit faster than I'm used to. Jesus, the cycle design is different. Yeah, it's more I don't know futuristic in the Super Nintendo version. It felt a bit more like Battle Toads to me. Yeah, just Billy just slamming his general penis area over and over into the sea. He doesn't even need to do it. I guess it's just what he likes to do. As a okay, now now we're kicking it up a notch again. Ow, ow, wow! Holy shit, he hit me twice! Uh, 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 uh. Everyone, please leave. Because if, if he gets a single punch on you, I just I just seem to get calm. But why'd I get knocked off? Is I low on health? I couldn't really see. Oh, that's a definite different sprite. Background, too. I don't remember it saying fight there anyway, but he's way smaller and goofier looking. All right, let's 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 just dash kick the entire time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Okay, round two. I also have very few lives, but we, we can do it this time. It just gotta be better in every way. Okay, yeah, I think we found the pattern. Just lure him out, does his little cute hop. This is a pretty cute character. Blag looked kind of gross in his portrait, but now I like him. He's just a ratty baby doing what he's supposed to do. So, yeah, that was easy. Now, now we can see he's really beat up version. You don't look so big now, Black. I never pick on those smaller than you. Oh, I feel bad. I wasn't feeling my best. It wasn't a fair fight, you feathery freak. You didn't win! See, I like these because, yeah, they should have an opening statement, then a finishing statement. Alright, these are the same kind of Linda's. Different color palette, though. Jesus, that's brutal. Like, he hoist her up. Hoist her up by her hair, like... Picks her off the ground, then continues to, to punch in the stomach. That's rough. So wasn't this that would kill me? It was that buzzsaw level because the controls change depending on whether there's going to be combat in here or you're just uh, avoiding stuff. So now, now I get my second chance. Redemption. Oh, Jesus. These turrets are also a much bigger problem in this version for whatever reason. Oh, Jesus Christ! We, we, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it for sure. Oh, no. I've already screwed up. I already screwed up! <laughs> do we have the right uh, skeletal structure, though? And not have weird web toe feet? Huh? Oh, I want that! I want that! Whatever it is! Yeah. Okay, no, we know how to deal with them by now. Oh, yep. No, I guess I guess we don't know how to deal with them now. See, I did a jump kick on them, but I guess green Lindas are uh, are tougher because now they take two. I think. No, they take three now. Ah. Oh. oh. Okay. 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 This time. This time. This time. This seems to be the only real way to deal with them, because if you get any, any, because you get any short distance away, they they just bop you with the whips. Oh Jesus! Oh no! Oh oh oh! Perfect. Yep. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, great more. Cool, cool, cool. I think this is the farthest I've ever actually gotten in any version of, of this game. Nice, nice, nice. I like that. So I'm trying to create tension, you see, folks, for YouTube views. That's how you do it. If you get a run that's perfect, that's boring. You know, there's no tension there. I, I love that these, these turrets are supposed to be hanging from a ceiling, and they're just like, ah, just put them anywhere. That's fine. Yeah, there you go. That one's, that one's a proper turret. Right, the crows are now teaming up with the turrets to create some type of avian turret retribution. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, don't want these little laser donuts scorching my asshole. <laughs> okay, okay. Can I fall on these? 
Is this background or is this? We don't know. Okay, they are back. Three, three. Are we even gonna see Roper? Probably not. I, I, I don't envision Roper being achievable if we're already starting three, three. Unless he's right down there in this weird tunnel, oh crows. No, go away! Stop bullying me! Ah, no! <laughs> ah! Yeah, I think it is the skeletal structure of the toads. They just reuse the sprite, which is, what am I supposed to say? Oh, yeah! Love this! Conveyor belts, I guess, I guess this is the double dragon way! The code, you might say! Oh, I'm stuck in a loop. I'm stuck. Oh, yeah. One continue though. We could we could make an attempt. Wait, wait, no, it says no continues. No. We're dead. I I I read it too fast. So I weirdly enough, I think I preferred this version compared to the Super Nintendo one. The sound effects are not in, as impactful or as or as satisfying to hear. But other than that, I kind of preferred the little changes there. Strange. Um, I would give this, I'd say, 2.5 uh, bimmies out of five. I, I I kind of enjoyed that a bit more. I, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, we have one more. No, we have two more versions uh, left. And um, Game Boy, I can probably you know, imagine what that's like. The NES version, which is very weird, a very late era NES title. I'm most intrigued by that because there's no way it could be nearly as playable, right? All right, another rare production. This is rare indeed because uh, it is Battletoads featuring Double Dragon uh, for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, rare by 93 probably were very familiar with, with Nintendo's 8-bit powerhouse by this time. They, they must have been since they were busy making um, the Nightmare on Elm Street game on NES and Beetlejuice. All their classics. So, I, I've never even seen this game running on NES. I've, by this time, when these games were out, I had my Super Nintendo and I never really looked back, so... <laughs> Who's that?! Who are those guys? So no story sequence at all. All right. That's a weird Bobo. Not like intruders. I'm going to beat you up. All right. That's pretty. Who the hell am I? Why am I Aquaman? Why? <laughs> I can see green and orange. That is absolutely bizarre. That's like that's that's like the NES team that were working on this were just what do Billy and Jimmy look like? I don't know. And they accidentally looked up Aquaman on like Alta Vista like intranet in 93. Jesus, that's so weird. I will say off the bat that this uh, music sounds very fun. Sounds very okay, I just died again. Uh, so yeah, maybe not all that much fun is being had right now. No, uh, it sounds really fun in the classic, uh, Battletoads way that, you know, out of all the things Battletoads on the NES did correctly was some super rocking tunes. So I'm glad that's retained here and I'm glad that this guy's back. Actually pretty impressive, uh, that this ball's boss, ow. Um, is actually even technically possible on the NES. It, it, it looks actually pretty sweet. So, I just kind of noticed this in my head. Maybe one of the things I don't like about this game is that even on the Super Nintendo, or if you're playing the Genesis version on a six-button pad, it only really uses two face buttons. Punch and attack. Everything's done off them, so... Yeah, they designed the gameplay so it'd be compatible on every single system. Because the NES, ah, oh, Jesus. The NES only has the two buttons, and so does the Game Boy. So that's actually really, really limiting. Like, it limited what the Genesis and the Super Nintendo version could do in terms of a moveset, or like available actions, I guess, if you want to say it that way. So good on them that they realized, well, we can have version parity 
uh, between all of them if we make a really, really simple control scheme. Uh, but Boo Boo could chew on them for, for you know, kind of handi handicapping the better console versions. That's pretty sick. That's, that's... He looks a bit more like the Genesis uh, Abobo Sprite, a tiny bit. Man, the Super Nintendo version one had the least accurate out of them all. He kind of looks like Hellboy. Jesus. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I just... It's so distracting. Even I could beat you, useless slumbering halfway with stone scare us. Huh. So this is modeled after the Genesis port more than the Super Nintendo. Weird! Okay, he's all purple. That's different. Maybe, maybe the they did have a limited color palette. Because now I'm just noticing these bad guys are the same color as me. Could they not put in red? I know technically, yeah, the NES did not have as many colors as, you know, was possible on 16-bit consoles, but they could do primaries. <laughs> like RGB, it's the first one in RGB. Red, come on. Oh wow, the line scrolling on the floor, though. That's super sick on the NES. Gotta give him big ups for that. But still, does that line scrolling, is it coming at the cost of the color red? It's kind of red, the cable's up there at the top of the screen, but it's more orangey, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, that, that insane, like, line scrolling... Uh, you know, a sprite scrolling effect or whatever when you're in the turbo tunnel uh, with the pylons and the floor. That can't be in, the, in this, right? There's no way. Those have to be stationary sprites that don't uh, scroll with the perspective. I, I, I will not I will not believe that that's possible. It's still, still kind of sucky that there's no story sequences at all. Maybe, maybe there was one on the main menu if I stayed there for a long time, but I don't I don't think so. Yeah, you need context for all this fight. I need context to know why uh, Jimmy is decked out in orange and, and green. That's that's what I want to know. But now that this is my third go around, we should be able to at least get get to Roper. Right? This is this is the run. This will be the magic run. My 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 PB. Yeah, no, that's the one, that's the one. That's the one, that's... That's the one with your name on it! Yeah... No, oh, okay, more. More punishment. I can take another dynamite stick. No problem. Alright, one for good measure. <laughs> Double tap. Alright, the, the the floor does does do it. These are, these are fine. Yeah, and again... Now Billy just looks... Now Jimmy... Now Jimmy just looks like he's a torso. He's just a torso on the bike because it's hard to discern his legs from the rest of the green bike. It does! The pylons do do it! Again, I'm not sure if it's worth the limited colors, but... Oh, Jesus. One punch in the ass. That's all it takes to put me down. Later that same evening... So yeah, it wasn't too bad, actually. I only have two two teeth left. Oh, he's cute. So my eyeballs were green? Did you see that? They couldn't get white eyeballs. And he does that. It's very King K. Rule uh, boss pattern, isn't it? Oh! What the... <laughs> There you go. That doesn't even look like- he has a shirt on! The character in the other... Um... Well, it wasn't in here. But the Roper in the other stage uh, versions of the game, like, he had no, he was shirtless. Dun, 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 never mind that, never mind all these logistical continuity errors. Just listen to these jamming tunes. Okay, I like these Lindas, though, with the black tops and, like, the blue pants. Blue! What a cool color! Now, you know, I, when I took Jimmy on the main menu, 
it did really seem like he had on green in it and and Billy was wearing blue so I, I guess I only have myself to blame for this incredibly distracting main character okay good the bullets juggle just like the Genesis version sick they probably could only use green because they're like well that, we were using that for the toads so just use them for these guys what are their names Billy B Bammy and Jammy I don't know what their names are okay we got through that relatively unscathed oh god now I'm fucked just turn into my Tasmanian devil mode I don't even know what it is hold the button nice and you know the floor is right there the floor is like two feet past the bottom of the screen so I'm not sure if that death should have counted Look, look, should I have died there? Let me know in the comments if I should have died there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's just, just do that Jimmy and shaking. All right, all right. Ooh, a different, everything turned orange for some reason. Cool, man, it's garish what I'm looking at now. All right, should be some more Lindas here. Hello, ladies. Ouch. God damn it. A whole life. Three hits. Oh, Jesus. Stay down. Alright. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Oh wow, I did, actually. <laughs> I just I just kind of feel it, you know. That's why I'm so good at this. See, I felt that. I felt it. Mmm. Felt so good. Yeah! I've got like one extra life after this and that's it. This is, I am not getting to Roper on the, on this. I, I, I think I have a couple continues left, so that's something. But still. Oh. It's like, punch her in the titties? It's terrible, Billy. Jimby. Jibby! Yeah, that's his name now! <laughs> that's the worst. Okay, we have a million more holes to, to bungee cord down. There's that hole with all the lasers, then there's a, a whole other one with a shitload of murder of crows. Remember that one episode of Game Center CX where he played Battle Toads? This shit was nuts. Okay, if I can get to the next uh, level, like section, whatever, 3 3, 3 2, I don't even know what I'm on anymore. I, all I see is a pink and orange haze. Like, what is this? Like, a SpaghettiOs factory? I guess there's supposed to be, a, like, bits of electricity, but... Oh, great. I'll, I'll just take it. Ooh, ooh. Okay. That's just one of these weird switches. Just get away. Please stop. All right. Now, blue zone. So I should just kill myself here, I think. Yeah, yeah. Just peck my, peck my butt out. Thank you. One more, come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the pain. Okay. Nice, nice, see? I'm, and now I'm thinking with monogamy here. I don't usually. Okay, we did it, nice. All right, let go of the, yeah, thank you. Conveyor belts time, all right. Uh, oh. Ooh, yo, yo. Oh, give me strength. What? That's how that works? But I'm not in front of these objects. Or I am? What? Oh, falling debris. Great. I bet at least it's better than debris. Is it the boss yet? No. Okay, this shit can help me. And what's that whooping? Fight. Here comes fight. Yeah, who is that supposed to be? So he's wearing a tank top, has a gun, they called him Roper. Jesus. Jesus, Rare. Okay, we'll, ju we'll just do what we've been doing. He can't shoot me if I'm busy kicking him. Or, or he can, actually. Ow. Yeah! Oh, I thought he was dead! Oh, I'm dead. Okay, where is that gonna put me? It's gotta put me at the start of the... Yeah, okay. <sighs> we have we have one more shot, folks. One more shot. Uh. Oh, please stop. 
Stop. Stop bullying me. Oh. So we're, we're literally back where we started. I did, I did not do any better there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Roper, round two. Ro Roper, machine gun, Mr. Machine Gun, who also has the exact same color design as me. Now, am I trying to brute force this? Am I trying to learn any sort of patterns at all? Yes, that is what's happening. But, like, go for broke now. I'm on my last life, last, last continue. So I'll play the way I want. That's so unfair! <laughs> no get to be slow. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to make anybody laugh here. I'm just, I'm just I'm trying to make everyone cry because I'm in the middle of crying right now. Um, so this is exactly very, very similar to the Genesis version, but worse in, in every sort of way. So I, I actually, out of all of them, this is the worst so far. So yeah, like maybe maybe two bimmies out of Jimmy's, I think. Uh, we have one more left to go though, and it's in black and white. All right, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're almost like I I want to say uh, maybe 15 minutes. Give this one, give or take. Uh, I don't I don't think we need to see much more of Battle Toads and Double Dragon. I'm I've kind of had my fill, but I am. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of interested to see what they could possibly do with this. Like, will it be exactly the same as the other versions? What is with Billy and Jimmy's hair? Oof. A bobo not like intruders? Okay, it's the same thing as, as all the others, okay. So here's the thing with a lot of Game Boy stuff is like, obviously because the first level, as we know, takes place in space, but having a really dark background against, you know, not dark uh, background elements and Having a really dark background against, you know, lighter uh, stage elements and uh, characters, like, really helps the Game Boy game look better. Compared to all the Game Boy games I play recently, like a lot of Spider-Man stuff and, and what have you, um, yeah, it just looks a little bit nicer. And the sprites are, like, pretty big. Uh, obviously on the Game Boy screen, everything is look a bit bigger, but I'm just glad they didn't scale it down. I was really hoping, because as a kid, right, I... Wow, that was weird. I was really hoping that when I went back to these these games, like I'd only ever played the uh, SNES version growing up, right? What the? I'm just pushing him off the screen. <laughs> that I thought like, oh, they'd be all vastly different. Like, you know, they would have they would have there been Genesis exclusive levels, stuff like that. So, um, going into a Game Boy version, I was like, uh. uh but uh, I'm at least happy to see this has some level differences. It feels a little bit different. What is that? What is this? Oh my god. Rare. Come on. But like, Rare was always like godlike on the Game Boy. You know, there's only so much you can do in terms of uh, gameplay and stuff. But graphics and sound especially, they were always able to squeeze some stuff, like, think about all the Donkey Kong uh, games that they made, like Donkey Kong Land 1, 2, and 3, and then there were like all those ports on the GBA, and of course KI on, on the Game Boy, like, it's, it's amazing looking for, for its day, and the technical limitations, yes, weird grabby clown sex hand. Like, what is this, really? This is this is the ship's big defense system. Perverted clown hands coming out of vents. It's so weird. Yeah, just just knee these little robots in the butt. They didn't do nothing to me. Wait, what? Oh, that's weird, huh? Why even have that there? Like, there's one more screen after this, and we're we're fighting a Bobo. So I don't know, no. Okay, how's a Bobo gonna look coming out of here? This is right outside. He's got some weird, like, goiters in his forehead. I guess they really trying to do the Bobo Sprite justice. Just get away. Yeah. Well, that's, that's stage one of Battletoads Double Dragon. So yeah, modeled after the Genesis again. I'm gonna lay our big bye. Okay. 
this kind of different? I'm not sure. I was gonna say, like, I, I don't think of all the sections of the game, this is kind of like the most monotonous one. And it's weird because it's the most double dragon-y version of it. Like, the combat slightly changes. Because like, you can't do any of this stuff to the robots that you're fighting. So it is cool that, like, overall, in, in this series of games, that they actually have different combat animations, I guess? Uh, for specific enemies, like you can't do the same thing to each one. I just wish some of these moves wouldn't take so long to do. Like maybe two hits, maybe three at the most, but no, like you know, five or six. It's the combination of oh Jesus, it's the combination of having to do this grenade guy, um, and and the uh, pogo stick things. It just it just takes so long. And I, I, I understand, I totally recognize that because I'm playing all four versions back to back to back to back. So, yeah, I, I can't really fault it there. It's like if I play this Double Dragon, you know, Battletoads Double Dragon once, I wouldn't have that feeling. It's just weird, like, going to this too. Double Dragon has been surprisingly solid on the Game Boy. And you would never really think that. There's been so many bad versions that we've played of uh, on, on everything. On, on systems that are more powerful than the Game Boy. But the Game Boy, all three. Like, Double Dragon 3 on the Game Boy, I guess, I guess it was the roughest one. But, you know, even then, I would have loved to have seen, like, a like a Super Double Dragon port on the Game Boy. Or at least on the Game Boy Pocket or something. Sorry, Game Boy Color is Game Boy Pocket like the GBA micro. It's not a thing. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> oh, I think it, yeah, I think it's because that, uh, the, the silver egg was so close there, so it was triggering the, uh, elbow animation. Alright, let's, let's, let's just do this thing. When are you gonna learn this lesson, old man? Let's just leave, let's just leave. Now, it can't have all the, the, the sprite scaling, and the speed cannot be... It has to be slower and shittier on the Game Boy. Alright, that's fine. Not really an issue. Let's buy, like, we're, we, we're gonna have to kick it up a notch on this, on this turbo tunnel. Oh, let's see. No, oops. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, this is, this is like a lazy Sunday drive <laughs> compared to the console versions. Even the NES. Oh, 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 no, no, no! Ah. It's so weird that the the enemy stuff is the hardest stuff. Like I know we know the technique now, but okay, no, we we don't know the technique. If I'm not in the perfect position, I cannot execute. Forgive me, I am playing this one slightly a couple of days after having played all the other versions. Well, inside baseball, folks, but I did not play 50 games in one day <laughs> to record them. All right, let's get let's get Blar Blargo out of here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, but yeah, I don't I don't know about the base jumping shit. You don't look so big now. Okay. Uh, fist versus bullets, yeah. I don't even think I want to even get to it, in all honesty. Why are they little girls? Why are they children? Why is Billy so big? <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> Rare! Someone get someone <laughs> from Rare on the phone! I don't think I don't think we're gonna top that honestly. Uh, you know what? Technically, this is pretty impressive on the Game Boy. I think I would actually even say it's more impressive than the other versions in, in, in that aspect. Um, I want to say that's like a 2.2 bimmies out, out of out of five. I'm I, I'm fairly happy with that. You know what? Now let's let's kick it up a notch. Let's give that like 2.7. I'm feeling generous.
But with that, that concludes Battletoads and Double Dragon. Um, again, my thoughts are uh, pretty decent uh, Battletoads games. They're not very good Double Dragon games. There's, the, the Rare's heart wasn't in this on the Double Dragon side, I think, which is fair. It wasn't really their creation. Uh, we still have another big saga to go. It's either going to be Double Dragon 5, The Shadow Falls, or Super Double Dragon, because I don't remember which one goes in which order. Oh, God. Wait, I just remembered. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's... All right. So we were going to get to this eventually, unfortunately, finally. Um, despite this admittedly very moody opening cutscene, the fact that the shadow falls literally falls down, it's like, mm, mwah. A little on the nose there, Leland Corporation, but uh, I have to give, give you some amount of props. So yeah, so, so yeah, I did a I did a worst fighting game. By the time you, you've seen this video, I probably would have done the worst fighting game episode of, of this by now. This is a fighting game, obviously, that somehow found itself saddled with the Double Dragon Five moniker, which probably confused so many children as a kid. This is a, this is a jam, though. Look at Billy and Jimmy's big slop, uh, Jawbreaker, Icebreak, Bones, Dominique. Shadow Master, S Master, Seika, Countdown, Trigger Happy, Blade, Sickle. This is the most generic people I, I could think of. Blade and Seika are really, really. Blade is actually just a jobber enemy from the cartoon series that doesn't even get a name. So we'll stick with Jimmy, I think. He's fire based. So, like, you know, Ken Ryu. Uh, Ken has fire elements to his special moves. Like, it's basically like that. Match one, fight. Mm. Yeah, mu music is not is not a bad part of this game. I think almost everything else kind of is. Jesus, look at that. Countdown, I, he's a cyborg, I think, and he just turns into missiles and does spin kicks. Like, what a... What's a bunch of adjectives we could throw at the wall? Oh, it's coming down to the wire. Can Jimmy close it out? Oh, shit, actually. No! No, he cannot. Whatever you say, sir. No idea. I have no idea what that sound clip was supposed to be. Which which button actually is? There it is. That's the one. Do this, get him dizzy, and you might see this ad nauseum. If I can do a dragon win, dragon spin. Yeah, if you didn't know that there was a Double Dragon cartoon in like 1994, 1995, you'd probably be like, what the hell is this? I certainly was. Just, it's, wow. That was what, three hits? I was, I was so confused as a kid. I was like, who the hell are all these weirdos? These, these groupmeisters. Like, I've never seen, you know, like, as far as I recall, a Bobo and I think a Bobo and Machine Gun Willie sh are in the very, very first episode of the Double Dragon cartoon, but they literally get shoved out the door or in a portal or some shit. You never see them again. I get wanting to inject new characters. Oh my god, here's a gift certificate for lessons at our Dragon Dojo, bud. The countdown looks really sad there. I don't like that. So yeah, I get them wanting to say, hey, we for this new cartoon, let's put a bunch of new characters. That's fine. You should keep a few from the f fucking games. Billy, Jimmy, and Marion. That's really it. And they have this weird, like, master, but, like, I'm, uh, 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 so Setsu Ken Master has been, like, maybe referenced once or twice. Anyway, a Trigger Happy, he's just that dude from X-Men. God, what's that guy who can turn his... No, no, no. He's either random from X-Men, who is just this, like, mercenary, who actually has a similar color scheme to Trigger Happy. Oh, my God. Uh, and his, his, his skin can morph into, like, guns. And it's weird. Like, I, I don't know why I remember the Toy Biz action figure of him so, so well. I think a friend of mine had, had him at the time. Uh, or... It reminds me of Bushwhacker from Punisher, 
who's got the exact same power as as random but he's like bushwhacker implies i set traps and i hide for you and i bushwhack you but then bushwhacker is just he's just some asshole with guns like he doesn't have any sort of stealth or subterfuge or, or like anything like that anyway there's not much to talk about in double dragon Five, honestly oh my god why isn't the dragon spin coming out um there's not much to talk about in terms of mechanics and stuff. I'm probably not even gonna be able to do the overkills because there's specific buttons for the characters that you're fighting against and I don't remember them. The code of the dragon says, uh, I forget. Amazing! Good job, Jimmy. Jesus, these characters. Just, they, they, they wear this generic armor and they have two little, like, I don't know, plastic talons attached to the, the and like everyone has this everyone has some type of pokey weapon like why would it have been so bad to just base it on double dragon like just have a double dragon uh five fighting game but why does that have to be based on the cartoon was the cartoon that hot i don't think it was nice okay two hits i, I need to get i need to get closer but there's such startup for that move though it's that's crazy uh, you're pretty good for as bad as you are. What? A and I do have to say, the the stages are pretty decent. Oh, the little kitty is swatting at a mouse. That's like the coolest thing I've seen so far. It's like, I remember the cartoon, they're basically trying to say this Metro City is basically like martial arts world. Like, it's just battle world. Where there's like nothing going on in this town but martial arts and fighting. Like, all the time. I like that lady table dancing in the background, though. She's she's getting hyped for Double Dragon 5, the Shadow Falls. Stuff like that. Oh my god, that just sounded like a bear roar coming out of Jawbreaker. As a kid, I thought like, oh, Jawbreaker's supposed to be a Bobo. Like, I did think that. I just wasn't 100% sure. I was like, I, I guess. Or right, a generic thing. Here's a gift certificate. Okay. I'm not sure if the Lee brothers would take on the Shadow Warriors, like, even if they give them a gift certificate. They're not even making money off them at that point. All right, what's next? The Shadow Dungeon. Nice. There's just a bunch of skeletons in here, but for some reason, I'm fighting Billy. I, I don't know why he's in the Shadow Dungeon. I guess B Billy was captured. I love the two purple guys. They're like, please get us out of Double Dragon 5. I, I guess I guess the Shadow Warrior, Shadow Master, whoever, is just like, I, I need people in my dungeons at all times. Like, and this is like a major metro, metro, Politan city. How does he get the zoning permits for that? Build, build me a dungeon. Who's he getting to make that? Mike Holmes, the Property Brothers? Any of these generic ass uh, home decoration people? This is the type of dumbass stuff you start thinking of when you're playing a not very good video game. And not even, like, yeah, it has to be like a four or five. You know? God, why does Billy look like that? It has to be a four out of five game. Because anything lower than that is, is like, then it's so bad it's hilarious. I think, I think this is Sickle. Sickle is just, holy shit, this guy. He's just like a buzzsaw man. And he doesn't even have sickles. I don't even know what those are supposed to be. And I believe this stage is like a th something for the quest mode. But this is where the shadow drugs are being made. Because like the Shadow Master, I remember that being a cartoon thing a lot. Like a lot of episodes had to be do had to do with the Shadow Master having this gigantic drug factory that said drug factory on the front. Oh nice. Yeah, yeah. That's like almost that's like 55% health right there. Here's a gift. Okay. Alright. Let's move on. Sewer system. Uh yeah, Blade, he's in there. So, instead of Seiko, who has two little, um, pieces of plastic, he's got, like, these two red spikes. Like, they're not even... It's so nerf. It's so Super Soka-era 90s character design, right? This is, like, a guy I would draw in, like, 95. I had, like, these binders of video game characters I would draw. Like, mostly fighting game characters. And when I was designing my Magnum Opus, um, Savage Streets was the fighting game of my own creation. So like everyone was like a tough gang member, 
They're all wearing a, lo a lot of Adidas, like, track pants. They had guns and, and different weapons and shit. I had, who, I have talked about this in a previous video. I'll talk about it fucking again. I had Raven McKay. I had, like, this guy named Sean Coyote. I don't know what the hell I was on. But Sean Coyote had, like, uh, two pistols. And Raven had, like, a, like a spiked staff. It was, it was just the worst. And it had a dude named Adam Hunter. A chick with, like, a piano wire as her weapon. Jesse, Jesse something. And it was Jesse, like... I like the name Jesse for for a lady. Uh, who else did I have? This is this is the most Double Dragon Five thing. It has nothing to do with it. But it's still the same. God, who else? Th those are the ones I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, oh, this is gonna be Bones. He's hanging out in the Man, Bones on. shop. So there are all these guys working on cars, lying to people about how much it costs. Oh, Jesus, Bones. So, you know, I have to say, the neat thing about Bones is that he's a character made just for this game. There's n there's not a single episode of the cartoon show that has him. And he's very on-brand for me. I think he's the only character I'll give some slack on. I really wish he was in the show, though. I would love to have seen him in his prime, you know? I love this dude with the uh, welder who's just, like, never stops trying to melt down this muffler. <laughs> You're pretty good for it. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Man, I really messed him up though. God, I'm gonna be fighting Jimmy then, aren't I? Shadow That's Jimmy. I will say it is kind of neat that they tried to implement a Jimmy is the Shadow Boss sort of storyline in the first episode, where they're like, "Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy was raised by the Shadow Boss like since he was a child, and then you you magically meet up with him." But he like throws the shadow boss, uh, shadow master under the bus like I instantaneously. I don't remember if magic was used or he was like brainwashed, but I don't think he was. I think he just raised him. And they like convince him in like one episode, less like 30, 22 minutes. Oh, join me. Okay, I'll throw every uh, away everything I've ever known. I think it would have been more interesting to keep them like separate like one evil for a while and then by the end of the first season he convinces jimmy wouldn't that have been more better i i should have written this show probably would have probably would have been probably would have been worse honestly when i think about it <laughs> considering i'm the dude that made savage uh, streets with fucking dumbass sean coyote maybe i shouldn't talk about about this stuff you're pretty good for as bad as you are. It's an insult to you. Why does Jimmy's mouth look like that? Ugh. I think Ice Pick was like completely new for this game too. And he's actually, you know, pardon, pardon this. He's actually cool. Um, I don't know if that freezes me. I can't remember. I'll try not to get hit by it. But yeah, Ice Pick and he's made out of ice. Get it? Get it? Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna let him let him hit us with that. I will not show you content in, the, in this game. I literally throws his ice pick. I love the motorcycle chick though. She's she's just throwing everything to the wind there. She's just out. She just loves she just loves life in Metro City. Watching ice men and dudes in red pajamas fight each other. If I was to interconnect these worlds, I would like to think this is the grill. This is the grill uh, diner outside of Raphael's stage in TMNT Tournament Fighters Super Nintendo. You, you fight inside the diner there, but this is outside. So there's battles raging all over. He doesn't even, he doesn't even know the code of the dragon. It's so sad. Here's, here's Dominique. I'm surprised they got this character in there. So we're outside the inner sanctum. We're gonna go in eventually. Dominique, I don't think, appears in the show at all, surprising very few people. I said Saturday morning cartoon uh, once or twice, I think. But it's actually, I think I saw someone say, like, uh, to me once, that it was, um, it wasn't even on Saturday mornings. Like, it, like, it wasn't good enough to get that, that coveted spot. I'm like, oof, that's rough. All right, just a lot of damage in the chestal region. Oh, can I actually get a perfect? No, I can't. Just that that instant overhead throw 
You gotta be careful. Dragon fire. Oh, Jesus. She almost got me towards the end there. <sighs> Stick with me, folks. We got what? We got one more character. Think. I think. I hope. Oh my gosh, she looks amazing. Why she's so small in the portrait, though? So Shadow Master, I think he was at least an intimidating presence in in the cartoon show. Like uh, everyone doing break dancing on those uh, sketched uh, embossed images on the stone there. They're either they're either break dancing, they're playing like uh, they're playing Twister. But yeah, I remember him having a cool voice, but I do think there's a bit of shredder in him where he was a little inept sometimes. Or said like some stupid shit when plans went awry. It wasn't like a hundred percent intimidating uh, villain in my memory. Uh, if people would like me to talk more about the cartoon, you need you need to talk to uh, one Henry and one Bob uh, of the What a Cartoon podcast because I've been bugging them for like three or four years. I want to talk about Double Dragon cartoon. They're like, yeah, absolutely. They say that every time, and it never happens. Because <laughs> I think they take a look at a clip, and they're like, no. Like, they had me talk about Street Sharks. Street Sharks! I was like, oh, I want to talk about Double Dragon. And they're like, nope. Sorry, can't can't fit into our schedule. I'm like, that's fair. Dragon Spin. Final Dragon Spin. Dragon win. It's a big Dragon Spin to win. Here's a gift certificate. Yeah, yeah, bring the Shadow Master into the dojo. Smart move, idiot. God. Dun, 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 dun. Jimmy finished eliminating the Shadow from Metro City and still had the time to go on his date. And Shadow Master just shaking his fist. is like, I hope your service will be terrible. Speaking of terrible, that is, that is the conclusion of Double Dragon 5, The Shadow Falls. Uh, I, you know, uh, maybe, maybe a two, two, j two bimmies out of, out of five. I, again, it's not like absolutely god awful. It's just, it's just really, really, really mediocre. Too awful. It's around that neighborhood. So yeah, the other versions, there's two other versions. Thank God there's no Game Boy version or anything for like weird, like, old British computers or anything, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, uh, I still have to take like a cursory glance at those two other versions and see what delights are in store for me there. All right, so this is uh, The Shadow Falls on the Sega Genesis. I can't imagine this will be much better, but there is blood, so that'll be much better to all you gore hounds out there. It will not be much better to those that like snappy fights that move along. Because as we discussed in the Double Dragon 5, The Shadow Falls, the worst fighting game, the blood actually slows down the game. Let us look at the quest mode and see how different that is. <laughs> Farting robots! There it is. Alright. Uh, the oldest dragon, I call upon you, Metro City, I can't believe it's called Metro City, has more of the double, needs the double dragon's help once more. The Shadow Master has created a deadly virus he calls the Shadow Plague. He is constantly pouring green ooze from one vial into another. He plans to threaten the world, starting with Metro City. So what is the end game here? We have this drug. What does the drug do? Okay, the Shadow Warriors have been sent to different locations in the city. We must stop them before they can open up their canisters of Shadow Plague. Are they under threat from the Shadow Plague? Do they get more under the Shadow Master's spell? We don't know. By the power of the dragon, you must not fail. Watch, call the FBI. The Shadow Master. The FBI is like, oh shit, the Shadow Master. All right. I don't know why they're so close together. Ice Pick has been discovered at Cody's Neutron Grill before his freezing breath, blah, blah, blah. Man, so th one, fight. So th that's the quest mode. Uh, that, that's the only difference. It's like more context for, for fighting certain characters. Like, I don't mind that, but 
it almost seems like this sh this really should have been just the main arcade mode. It's just so weird to me that a child's cartoon for childs has blood in the video game version. Wait for it. Wait. There you go. So I'm dead. Is it weird that this takes place in, in Metro City and we're at Cody's Neutron Grill? There you go. That's what we want. That's what we want. So much damage. Just do it again. Why, why not do it? Wait for it. I don't know. Whenever you look up, like, the comparison videos between the Super Nintendo and the Genesis version, like, the Genesis version is, like, seven seconds behind the Super Nintendo just because it takes... And a lot of people in the Worst Fighting Game episode theorize, like, the blood... Like, the game thinks the blood is a character on the screen until they disappear, and it thinks that, like, the match isn't over yet. It's something like that, I'm, I'm sure. It's still so bizarre, though. Drew and spin! God, it's like seven hits! Oh, I read Dizzy him! Is this an infinite? Yeah, it is! Wait. Yeah. Dragon win! That was a big dragon win. I'm not very happy with that. The Metro City sewer system is gonna be great in there. Uh, Trigger Happy waits to pour the Shadow Plague into the city's drainage system. Fight him in the sewers before he completes his plan. What is your network of information? How do you know all this shit? Match one, fight. I love all these, these weird bums that just live here. Like, there's this, like, penguin, phantom of the opera, Hugo Strange dude. God, I thought that, that graffiti right behind us on the wall there said DSP. I was like, no way! God, that's such a good button. Like, it, like it's universal on the Super Nintendo or or the Jenny. Just press that, press that hard hard punch button. There's no reason not to. Oh shit! All right, good. The code of the dragon prevents me from enjoying this too much. The code of the dragon says, "Don't fucking enjoy yourself. Don't get your dick wet." What? Shadow Master has sent a clone of your brother to the Dragon Dojo. You must destroy this creation before he can take your brother's place. What do you mean before he can take your brother's place? If you know he's there, then that's on you. Oh, Billy, Jimmy's acting weird. Let's say Billy. Jimmy's acting weird. Like what? That's your fault now. Idiot. So now that we're going with Billy, it's the fact that his his projectile special move is opening up his shirt to expose his bare nipply chest and his tattoo invokes a spell which shoots an electric dragon face is just stupendous so i didn't get to talk about this but the the fucking dragon punch motion for billy or jimmy's uppercut uh sword hit is is literally a war crime you have to hold Forward, I repeat, ow. Forward for two seconds, then roll your thumb up and press attack. What madman was like, that's good. Kids are gonna love pressing that. What special move would ask you to press forward? I don't know if we need to play much more. It's it's fundamentally the same game. It just looks a little worse, sounds a little worse, and it has blood. And that's basically it, really. And quest mode, eh, it's kind of neat. You know, I, I don't really know. So I, I have to give this maybe slightly worse than the Super Nintendo version, but not by much. I'd say like 1.9 Bimmies out of five. And, and unfortunately we have the worst version of this game to play next. All right, so as stated, this is the Jag version of Double Dragon 5. different music I mean it's the same track but it's diff I don't know if it's better it's different though but I don't really know what to expect here on, on, on all honesty 
I've seen some screenshots. I've not, I've, 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 as of the time of this recording, I've not yet made the worst fighting game episode of this. So this is a bit of a peek behind the scenes here, folks. Let's just, let's just go to tournament, I guess, because we looked at quest mode and there is no quest mode here. Here are, here's the reduced roster with the ugly paint overs on the characters. It's pretty subtle on some of them. But Billy, Jimmy is, but Jim, Billy's bad, but Jimmy's especially bad. I, I don't know which one to take, honestly. I, maybe I should take a bad guy. I don't know. Use the useless point system. Four for special. There's less stages, too! Because there's less characters, of course. Everything is, wor everything is worse. I mean, it's not a great stage to begin with. But the blood looks worse than the Genesis. It has this dithering effect. And also the slashes, too. Could the Jaguar not do transparency? Or not even transparency. At least it's fast. Oh my god. What was that? She's about to fall through the ground. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not using a Jaguar controller right now. I, I refuse. To, I refuse. You would have to you would have to go into my Patreon and just like just give me extra money <laughs> to use a Jaguar controller when I don't have to. Sorry, that's just the way it'd be. There's no way. You know how many videos I've recorded of myself holding the Jaguar controller and just being like so icky? I, I handed the controller to, to Liam not too long ago and he was like, this is okay. I'm like, you are so fucking positive, I hate you. He's like, yeah, no, it's really bad. I'm like, okay, good, thank you. Just say that. Just be honest. You're not offending anybody that designed the Jaguar. They'll probably be like, yeah, I'd be tougher on it. I, I think this is still the exact same game. It just looks worse. I don't know what is it. What, what is it with the sprites that looks worse? It just, it just does. This seems harder. Can I win this? No, I can't. I can't. I can't win it. Oh my god! Don't get up. You might hurt yourself. I I need to get up eventually. That looks so bad, Jimmy Sprite. Yeah, it, it's it's really really embarrassing if a company was be like okay we'll make a game for a jaguar system and it looks worse than the 16-bit system like a lot of ports kind of look the same maybe slightly better on the genesis i'm thinking of like primal rage in my head you know but like the fact that this looks worse is just is amazing actually like it deserves some type of accolade for there being less time spent on this and why? Why? Like, could... It, the, the, the same processor that was in the Genesis was in the, the Jaguar. There shouldn't be such a disparity in, in graphics. So the sound could be another, another thing, another issue altogether. But here... Oh my god. This, this, this is the only way I'm going to be able to win. The AI seems jacked up in this version. I'm... Okay, wait, there's no push block now. He's just locked down. I could have... I could... Once I get to a certain point, I don't get pushed anymore. That's sick. Yeah, time out. Who won that? I don't know why Countdown's presenting. Who won? I, I guess no one? Was it, a, was it a draw? What happened? Because we don't have round counters. So I think that was a draw. Oh my god, I'm not going to be playing this long. Not much longer. I think Countdown is supposed to be a... a cyborg but he's just a guy that shoots guns or rockets and there's there's trigger happy there's a guy that likes guns and rockets do you have enough oh my god it doesn't do the multiple hits or it characters react differently to it there's two hits there little block sparks i'm not sure if this is the exact same game Isn't it like the genesis super nintendo are identical in terms of its coding oh my god i lost that I don't, I don't even care. Um, but, but this, like, the AI seems to react differently to things. Oh, oh, Dragon Spin. Okay, yeah, it did. I woke up too early. He, he caught me snoozing. Am I even going to lose this to if, like, 40 seconds left of this shite? The, the fact that this got called Double Dragon 5 is, like, like, such an insult. Not only was it bad at the time, 
and probably confused young childs, but it messed up the lineage of the franchise forever. Because I remember when Arc System Works announced, oh shit, Arc System Works announced Double Dragon 4, everyone was like, what? But I thought there was a Double Dragon 4, yeah, they didn't count. Isn't modern technology wonderful? Not the Jaguar! Not at all, fuck. So yeah, we, we are now putting this dark chapter of the Double Dragon Saga um, over. Uh, we, we, are, we are moving on. No more Double Dragon 5. Fortunately, we have a much, much better fighting game coming up next. Urban Plant, the, your, your new logo. Haven't seen you guys yet. Imperial Entertainment. Wait, didn't they do the Double Dragon movie? That's right. Uh, but even though this is loosely associated, very loosely associated with the 1994 Double Dragon film motion picture, which I really should watch again. It's been, it's been a little while, right? Um, it's really bad, but it's also really kind of good. And to be fair, at least they established motivations and villains and things. You know, from all the Double Dragon games we've played uh, so far, that, that doesn't really happen. But yeah, look at this intro. Like, that, that's supposed to be him, I, I guess. Scott Wolf doesn't even have blonde hair, so I don't know. Oh. I, I just got reminded of a Bobo. You can try that damn Alyssa Milano in, in this film. I, l less so their gangs, though. Like, really? That's what... I feel like they did whatever. They designed whatever characters they wanted, and then they were like, the movie license came into an existence. This guy doesn't even have... These don't even have movie people. Oh my god! Uh, there's only a couple characters that have any sort of movie counterpart to them. Uh, unless they're gonna skip them. Yeah, Burnoff wasn't even in the film. Neither was he. Neither was her. There was no ninja. The movie really could have used a ninja. Man, it's big uh, Ninja Turtle, the first Ninja Turtle movie energy here. Here's Shuko. He's in the game, as far as I recall. Or or they're not going to show him. But uh, this is essentially the apology game from Double Dragon 5. This was Technos. This was developed by Technos. This is them going, we're really sorry that that happened. We had nothing to do with it. That was Trade West. Uh, but but, the, but the, we're sorry. Here, have this actual good fighting game. And it's just called Double Dragon, which is weird. Um, <laughs> should you have called it anything else? So we got normal mode, tiny 3D mode. Uh, I don't know what overdrive mode is. I don't know what any of this stuff is. But uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's just go into the regular arcade mode. We have so many other games left to play, delights to have, so I, I can't fuck around all the other modes. Maybe I will in a future video if you guys really like this, but yeah. I'm on, I guess he's like um, Razu from Double Dragon 3. That's kind of cool. I, I really wish they could return to this concept, like, like another Double Dragon fighting game. Like we are getting, I mentioned it before, but we are getting that remaster of Rage of the Dragons. Okay. So it's been years since I play this. This game is hype, though. It's individual intros for every character. Sprite works sick. Backgrounds are sick. Those, those uh, words that are flashing on the screen, they're probably a little big. They don't need to be that big, but... So the main thing about this game, at least when you're Billy and Jimmy, is that I got killed as soon as I transformed. It's the first round, everyone. Give me, give me a second to get my double dragon legs. So yeah, they're they're basically Ken and Ryu, which makes total sense. I would never begrudge them for that choice. Oh, nice. So you have a hurricane kick. You have some type of uh, DP, and all those moves get enhanced once you transform. And Billy and Jimmy are the only ones that can do this. Get this cool little double dragon esque theme music. When you transform, that's kind of sick. I don't mind the idea that they transform. It was, I think it was first put into the cartoon, because the cartoon predates the movie by like a year, I think. And the movie obviously does it. And I think that's fine. It gives them a little something, you know? 
Now, not that they need some weird medallions. That's kind of like, eh, you know. But I still think it's 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 a cool idea. But basically, once you transform, you can do that. But you can also do a super before you transform. I have no idea what he's saying. You can do a super, like a super attack before you transform, and after you transform, you can do another super attack. That's, I think it's very similar. It's just more powered up. Oh, yeah. oh look at a bubble crashing through the wall as he should. It's a nice little send up. It's a minor thing, but I really wish this had nothing to do with the movie at all, and that they could have made designs that are a bit more uh, specific to the classic Double Dragon games and get like actual Lobobo, not weird movie Lobobo. He does transform into the big, like the thing. Oh god. He does transform in that for some some of his supers, I think. Oh, that was my super, but he just, he just kind of ignored it. So I'm gonna try to not let him do that to me, so he might not even see it, but it is what it is. Also, I know this is this is might might be a weird specific shout out, but shout out to this fucking HUD. It's super sick, all golden. You can see that. now. Now there being three colors on the life bars is a little. They they meet in the middle and then they become the supercharge. It's a little weird at first, but I love those golden dragons on the side. So yeah, you get an actual long distance fireball, and all your moves do like multiple hits. Basically, like, everything you do is like an EX. Uh, and the sprite work still really holds up. Like, this being Technos' first actual fighting game, throughout the 90s and most of the 2000s, probably, I was like, oh yeah, Nia, like, SNK made this game. But then again, I think every back, back in the day, I thought everything SNK, every game on the Neo Geo was made by SNK. I didn't think any other third party supported it. Here he comes! Big balloon energy coming off burn off here. And these stages are super sick. Like, they're so dramatic and have so much animation. And look, we're burn off, so of course we, we there's there's fire everywhere, I guess. I guess that's what they're going for. Oh my god! Flying power bomb. Nice! But once I use that super, then I can transform. So there's definitely this risk reward system. I got it back. It actually reminds me of uh, Bloody Roar a little bit. I kind of think this game is underplayed even in poverty circles. Like, no one talks about this very often. I think the people that do are like, yeah, no, this game's pretty sick. And it's got issues, of course, but like, it's actually like the first internet video, probably the only internet video I've really seen about it was on like Team Best from Now when they talked about it. You'll never defeat the power of the double dragons. I'm assuming that's what he says. So no real problems so far. Oh shit. I'm losing this. I'm against violent Billy. Where are the stupid car? Driving their demo. I hate that car. It's so lame. It is cool that he comes in. I just wish the car looked like any amount cooler. I know there's like one other system. I feel like this game has one other thing you can do that's like new to it. Oh, it's cool. He gets a nice color there. Oh, wait, what? He took a hit or did he air block? What was that? It's just so staggering when I just got finished playing Double Dragon 5 and it's just so terrible. So terrible that I did a worse fighting game on it. I'll check it out. Um, that's it. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, computer. It's the first time the computer did it. You can actually do a stomp move. Which is rare in 2D games. You can do it in, in certain ones, for sure, but uh, this game makes it a prominent thing. And it does fit in with Double Dragon games. Alright, so we'll switch it up to Jimmy. See see if, see if uh, Jimbo can be Bimbo. <laughs> so, yeah, their differences are not huge uh, pre-transformation. I think uh, once either of them transforms, their moves get uh, different properties and stuff. Uh, going okay, there. Let's try this. Yeah, yeah. That that's that's a very different uppercut. It's got flames on it. Dun, 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 dun. Cool dragon faces. Let's put them on projectile lockdown. See if that helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the coward's way. It's how I do it. Yeah. Ooh, this, this, that was a hard read on my part. Usually I'm the one that has hard read. 
That movie's strange. It's it turns into the, that's the movie that turns into the fireball. There's just like this full screen body projectile, so it is kind of risky. Oh, damn! It's a good throw on his part. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It, it doesn't it doesn't say Billy won. It says Jimmy lose. It's very depressing. It doesn't make me feel great about my chances here. It's a shutdown. Nice. You know, I'm going to switch it back to Billy. Forget what I said before. So Eddie, I don't know what he's even supposed to be. Like, w what Double Dragon character is he supposed to be from, like, the original games or the movies? He's not from the movie at all. Let's try this. I'm already doing really badly. Oh, Jesus. Look at this stage. It's so distracting, though. Ah. <sighs> Okay, whatever. Whatever. Like, I guess he's just supposed to be a generic Shadow Warrior foot soldier, I guess? There's not much to his design. Like, his moves are decent, but... Like, I'm sad there's no Linda. There's not even a Linda... Ooh, there you go! That's what we were looking for. There's not even a Linda equivalent. Like, why isn't it, like, Linda, Williams, and, like, Roper? Alright, let's just... Yeah, this is, this is, this is my ninja way. This is what Sosetsu Ken teaches us. The spam projectiles. Either that or timeouts. Like, this background doesn't even appear anywhere in the movies. Or any Double Dragon game, now that I think about it. Maybe somewhere way in the in the backgrounds of the backgrounds? Oh, Christ. Ooh. I was about to get hit by that. I'm not sure if, uh, if changing there helped, but I'd like to think it did. Whoa. Oh shit! Yeah, let's go. Well timed. We're sticking back with Billy. I learned too much. So there's Alyssa Milano. That doesn't look like her. <laughs> it doesn't even look like like video game Marians. I, I don't know what they're thinking really. Okay, we're in the Technos Arcade. Very dangerous. Looks like there's a Virtual Fighter going on in the backgrounds. And guess what? She's just got a bunch of crazy kicking moves. It's very much a mix of like Chun-Li and like Cammy, which is not does not surprise me. Jesus, that's that's dangerous. So it takes it takes a bit for that music to kick in. It'd be better if it kind of hit on the beat of transforming, but it is what it is. All right, all right, good, good, good. Sorry, Marion. Okay, I I need to I need to tell Gary that there's another butt move in fighting games. Damn it, girl, get closer to my damaging transformation. Ugh. Okay, there we go. So I believe this game came out in English arcades, like North American and and European arcades. But this is the PlayStation version that we're uh, playing that never got. Uh, brought to any other places outside Japan. So now I'm actually against Jimmy. It's not going well. Oh my god. I need to get that going. That, that, that'd be really good to cause extra damage with. There's always that brief pause before transforming. Music, please. Thank you. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, okay. Did I actually get him? I, did, I got him. So it seems like Billy's powers are more electricity based, whereas Jimmy's are fire based, I, I guess. Actually, that's like the, that's actually like Double Dragon 5. Billy went Dragon Shock and it shot like a dragon shit. Shot a dragon uh, electricity projectile, whereas Jimmy went Dragon Fire and it, it was fire based. So that's crazy. Oh my God, what's crazy is I was not paying attention. Very nice background, by the way. Like I said, they're, they're all quite nice, but especially good one. I guess we're in the Double Dragon Dojo, which I don't even know if he even appears in the movie. I want to say no. Oh my god, good throw. I, I actually don't know how to throw. Stop throwing me! Okay, he took that. Actually, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Ooh, see? Yeah, my fireball is two hits. His is not. I will use this to my advantage. Yeah. Who next? Amon? Amon. Okay. 
Amon. Sorry. Oh yeah, this stage. He comes in on his ninja kite. Weird pose, weird, weird idle animation. I don't know who this guy is driving the plane, but whatever. Look at this fucking Neo Geo game, or PlayStation game, rather. Okay, just transform. When it, whenever I freak out, nice throw again. Whenever I freak out, I just transform. Oh, shit, 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 yeah. Wait, what? I thought he was dazed. I thought I saw little, little dazed stars around him. Maybe it was just the electricity. Everything is so different, and, and character designs are, you know, again, pretty foreign to anyone that uh, would be familiar with Double Dragon. You could have called this literally, you could have called this Rage of the Dragons, and that's it. And just call these guys, like, Billy and Jimmy Lewis. No one probably would have bat an eyelash, especially in the 90s. They wouldn't have thought anything of it. Obviously, you have to get rid of all the movie footage, but you know what I'm saying. Cheng Fu, I don't, I don't think he's very easy. Does that giant ship in the background say Double Dragon on it? I don't remember the Billy, uh, the Billy Brothers. I've been saying that a little often lately. The Lee Brothers having the gigantic battle cruiser. So Cheng is drunken kung fu, I believe. Okay, there you go. Good. I'm happy with that. And again, just because the intro basically told you this character is not in the movie, so we just kind of made him. But there is characters that kind of look like Cheng, like you know, uh, fodder enemies in previous Double Dragon games a little bit. I want to say in Double Dragon 2 specifically, but there's still it's still not the same name. Shit! Oh! Yo! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh! That was so close. I would have uh, turned off the game with a rage crit with it right there. I was, I was, I was so close to nailing him. All right, Robert, I forget this dude's name, Dalton. <laughs> He's like a trucker or some shit. <laughs> no, I guess he's like a member of Wave Race and he just set that building on fire. I don't know what the hell's happening. Whoa, what was that? The neck breaker. I think a Bobo is the only like uh, wrestling grappling character, but maybe Dalton's got some shit too. Everything he's done to me has been like throws and grabs, so I'm very nervous. It's called Justin Wong syndrome, where you're just scared of grapplers all the time. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't too bad. Dude, just take it. Take all the moves, please. There's like two bosses we need to get to. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be good enough to beat them. Projectile lockdown. Got too fancy. No. Oh! That was also really, really too close. All right, so I think one of the Duke. So Duke is supposed to be the end boss of Super Double Dragon. He's the guy in the orange. He doesn't really look like this. Duke is a weird name for a, a character that's wearing like a traditional martial arts outfit, I guess. I don't think I've ever played this game far enough to even like really fight the bosses. So I don't, I don't know how this goes. That did not go amazingly well this time. See, that was a practice round to feel out Duke. Put my feelers out on him, and I feel like he's he's not the he's not the end boss either. He's the sub boss. I think Shuko. I think uh, the T1000. Oh yes. Oh, I probably should have done the stomp. There's no real reason to to do the transformation when he was already on the ground, but whatever. I won the round. But yeah, we're fighting T1000 Robert Patrick at the end of the game. I hate to see this guy's supers. I, I don't even know what they look like, so I'm I I am a little scared. Oh, similar moves to me, actually. Ooh, we can do it. We can do it. No. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Damn. All right, all right. Fine, fine. All I can do is try again. Dust myself off and try again. No, 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 no. What the hell? That was sick! Ah, crap, damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! With that throw! I gotta bait him into stuff? I'm not sure. Uh, 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 yeah! Stomp? Nice. Okay, okay, okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. 
Took a couple of matches, but we got it. Okay, Shuko. That he doesn't look like that. Oh god, I think this TV plays clips. Wait, what? Where to go? I think I pressed a button and I skipped it. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. God, he's got teleports, and I got air throws though. Uh -uh. Stop. Wait, what? Yo, nice, nice. She didn't get, get anything off. That was crazy. Do we have endings? I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, I did it. I ate his corpse and took his power. I think. Yeah, it tasted great. <laughs> wow, that's it. Yeah, that's 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 the staff. They thank you, Imperial Entertainment, for making a uh, shitty movie. But thank you, Technos, for making us. <laughs> oh, jeez, Scott Wolf, where are you now? Yo, super cute. Oh yeah, remember when they, that happened in the game when they jumped over that Oldsmobile? There was an explosion, and there's a disgusting a Bobo that I hate. Yeah. Like, they looked at a Bobo's design, they're like, oh, he's all bulbous and weird. That, like, we literally have to translate that to the movie, huh? So, yeah, Iron Chef as, as, as Jimmy or Billy. I don't even know which one they're supposed to be. So, yeah, um, Double Dragon, uh, Neo Geo Double Dragon Fighter. It's, it's super sick. I think there's just something missing about it where it's like, it could be in that area of, of Breakers or even, uh, the Power Instinct series. It's just, it's just missing one other element I want to say maybe it's because the care a lot of the characters are kind of forgettable I don't know what it is but uh, you know I wish it had a, a bigger scene around it a community if you would um, it's it's hard to place this in all the double dragon games you played obviously because it's a fighting game but it's a pretty decent fighting game so I'm gonna give it something like 3.9 bimmies out of 5. It's just those things I talked about before that are holding it back. It just needs some other type of sauce to, to really keep it in the annals of fighting game poverty. But as such, it, it kind of is underplayed and underappreciated in my opinion. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the best Double Dragon fighting game by far. So uh, if you've never seen this one before, uh, do seek it out because it's worth the play. There's still uh, plenty of games left for me to go through, though. And here we are, Double Dragon Advance. A lot of people say the best Double Dragon game ever made. And there's a case. There's absolutely a case to make for that. Is it my favorite Double Dragon game? We shall see. Five years ago, much of the world was destroyed in a nuclear war. Peace erupted. <laughs> the setting is New York City in the aftermath of said war. Twin brothers live on the outskirts of town. Look at those mega chads. Their names are Bimmy and Jammy Lee. It's legendary heroes. They manage a small kung fu gym where they train their students to survive in the hostile city. That's what we're talking about. One day, the Lee brothers receive a letter. If you want Marion back, bring us the secret book of Susetsu Ken, the Shadow Warriors. The Shadow Warriors? Oh. What are we gonna do, bro? They are the dominant criminal organization in New York City. Their leader is a man named Willie. Uh, the time has finally come to put the skills we've learned from our master to the test. We'll surely come home safely, surely. Don't call me Shirley. Forgive us for disobeying your teachings, which is to never intentionally harm another. He spoke to their late master silently in their hearts as they faced his portrait. The battle has now begun. This is this is the Double Dragon story to me. I I personally love. It. I want it to be after a nuclear war. Oh my God! There's so many modes. This is mission one. So you notice Marion has blonde hair there. It's a smart choice. Here we go. So this was released in 2003 on the GBA. When I first heard about it, you know, in my IGN days, this is just fiddling with the controls. I was like, oh, that's lame. This is probably a port of Double Dragon. And then when I finally looked into it, I would probably say a good amount of time after it had released, I'm like, wait, whoa, whoa, what? It's like a full-on, like, remake. I thought it was just a port, like how 
Final Fight 1 was mostly just a port on the GBA. Uh, obviously, it added uh, a bunch of like extra bonus things and stuff. But I thought that's what it would be. And when I finally got my like Nintendo DS, I got Double Dragon Advance, and I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. At first, because then I was like, man, this is really, really hard. But it is the type of thing you need to need to get good at, because even though you have a lot of expanded combat options, you have a lot of moves from all different Double Dragon games, essentially, uh, the game is still no pushover. And what it essentially is, is a remake of Double Dragon 1 with some additions, some things. The levels are mostly the same as, as the arcade version. It's not based on, you know, the, the NES home version and stuff. But Billy and Jimmy are the ones, and Story uh, has been like the, the big major additions. As you can see, they have all new sprites, they have a ton of new moves. But all the all the old favorites are still here. I think that's a slightly redrawn Abobo sprite. I think he's got more musculature. The back is is very impressive. And I think the the music is is redone as well. I'm not entirely sure about that, but it sounds like it to me. But yeah, you got, you have blocks. Uh, you have some Double Dragon two mechanics. Um, you have a lot of moves in Double Dragon 1, and I think you have some moves from even Double Dragon 3, the arcade version, thrown, oh, thrown in there. Proportions are still very uh, Johnny Bravo-esque with the gigantic triangle chest and tiny little baby legs. A Bobo, every, d every day is just upper torso day. And dashing, probably the biggest uh, there's kitty kitty's here looks a little rough but clearly a kitty you know i really do think double dragon 2 hd lied to us uh, uh. so there's a bobo and we have the stomp really cool that a stomp is there a uh, little little bit of double dragon 3 arcade in there so yeah this a bobo does not have the mr t maybe they're like yeah maybe better not to have that Maybe Mr. T will find out and sue us. Blech. Funnily enough, like this being published by Atlas is just such a weird, narrow band of time. Published by Atlas and developed by a company named Million? I, I don't know. I, I, I've long since stopped counting all the developers that have touched Double Dragon at one point or another. Come on, Abobo, let's talk this out or, or punch this out. Ooh, there you, there you have a hurricane kick. I'm glad it's in there. It's nicely animated too, it looks somewhat realistic. Now, as far as my knowledge goes, uh, the main director of like um, double, uh, Super Double Dragon, Return of Double Dragon, uh, is actually the one that got his hands on this. And, and I think directed this as well. So it's a lot of the concepts that he wasn't able to put in there. Where is your boss, the head of the Shadow Warriors? <laughs> I only work for him, I, I don't know where he is. Oh. There's a monster wearing a mask in the factory up ahead. Ask him. Find the monster wearing a mask in the rundown factory. So I love how they, they have that little bit from the NES games. Just the proper mission bumpers. And monster in a mask means that we're not going to get the uh, green suited Billy clone. Well, yeah, and spoilers, we're going to get burn off just, just from Double Dragon 2. So it, it's really, again, a, a best of sort of thing. Again, mostly based on Double Dragon 1, obviously, but uh, with some of the, the best bits of, of previous games sprinkled in. And it's kind of it's kind of sad that like one of the later games that we we'll taken a look at didn't quite achieve that same sort of premise. Uh, but you know, to me, this this marks a gold standard uh, of the Double Dragon series in general. Like, I really wish this had gotten more ports or they had continued on with this sort of thing. It's probably the best remake, I'd say. Uh, reboot reimaginings is different. Uh, we have we have one more remake we'll be looking at a little ah! An another remake we'll be looking at a little bit later, which which I am always dreading when when I finally have to sit down and record and play that. Hey, what's up bro? Okay okay. Whoa, did you see that cool Abobo sprite? Yo, look at him! Look at him down there! I love I love that Abobos are just like, we need to divi diversify. We need to try new shit. We need, we need different haircuts. So I'm just gonna keep spinning in the air like this. 
And if you get hit, it's your own fault. This is the hallmark. This is one of the tenets of Sosetsu Ken. Just be a coward and just keep spinning. Your enemies will walk into you and then you can just knock them over. All right, so suited guys, that's new. They're kind of from uh, Return of Double Dragon slash Super. It's cool. So th I don't think suited guys really appear in the rest of the series except for Super, but they're intimidating. If a guy comes to a fight wearing a suit, you're like, eh, I'm feeling unsure about this. I think Hyperneem maybe does a bit more damage. I don't know the damage outputs for this game in particular. I'm not that deep into its meta. Three business suits. That's so... The, can you imagine the cleaning bill on these? Ugh. All right. Okay. N another suited guy, but quite different. You take your time. Come up to me. I'm waiting here. This is my double dragon way. This is the code of the dragon. Humble never brag. Oh, boss fight against a Linda. No, it's a giant burn off. He's basically a combination of every Mad Max boss. <laughs> all of them, all at once. Wait, he's got three Lindas? Lindai? Oh, that's such a cool jump kick. Blech. Did I get him? No. Oh, oh, gyrating. Clothes are still there. There he is. Oh, can I just lame it out with the whip? I think. I'm gonna whip these boys into shape is what I'm gonna do. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, dude, just get a little bit closer. There you go. That should be it. Wow. Na 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 <laughs> I admit, you've got some believable skills. Now it's getting interesting. You should go to Willie's Martial Arts Gym in Chinatown. It's not far from here. But I won't say anymore. Blech. You talk too much. You never <laughs> shut up. The sun is set in Chinatown, the dangerous area also known as the Town of Two Tigers. I hope we're not going to fight two martial artists. The name the Two Tigers. Okay, dudes with sticks. Uh, very dangerous, but I have sticks too now. A brand new weapon and like really really should have been in a couple of others I would think in general I think weapons are something that I think the Double Dragon series could have really expanded upon like depends on the game some of them They certainly did Double Dragon 3 NES for sure, right? Ooh, no, I'm just I gotta get rid of those. I need the nunchucks Nunchuck animation in this in this particular game looks sick Okay, well that was that wasn't the best way to show it off. Just because of Double Dragon 3 NES, I always envisioned the nunchucks being the Lee Brothers signature weapon. It's what it's what they've focused their entire careers around. They're basically motherfucking Steve Blackman, you know? These bubbles have no chance. It's like you feel a certain level of power with these nunchucks. So there's a knife, I don't need it. Your sticks mean nothing to me. They even have the Steve Blackman sticks! Ugh, that looks sick. That was also super sick. Oh, oh no, no! Ah, Linda's. Like, of all the games to hd a file, like, they did not do an HD port of this onto Xbox 360. No, it's just... It's just regular, raw, vanilla Double Dragon 2 arcade from, like, 1988. Okay, jump kicks... Not, not working that well. Oh, it's the two tigers! And just one other guy with sticks. He's here too. It's like, I'm here too! The two tigers are cool, don't get me wrong, but... I think I can do it. Oh, that was actually really easy. The Twin Masters of So Setsu Ken. You're stronger than I thought. Well, why would you think that? Uh, you may even be able to defeat the five emperors using your powerful martial arts style. So, they're the ones pulling the strings in this town in New York. Those heartless scumbags, we gotta teach those villains the power of so Setsu Ken, and also say Marion, I guess. We'll chase them to the edge of the earth. Shocker! Lee Brothers hitch a ride on the Shadow Warriors truck, headed to an unknown location. So again, a lot of uh, Super Double Dragon influence here. Oh, okay. The harsh rule of, of the Double Dragon games that just 
falling into a thing doesn't just knock a little bit of health off it's just instant death like should we really be using dynamite on top of the moving truck i mean maybe it's not dynamite really maybe it's like a really annoying firecracker and it just kind of discombobulates you maybe gives you like i don't know second degree burns because it's insane that someone just like comes up to your face and just like dynamite you know I don't, I don't believe in that. That's not a good martial arts style. Ow, Jesus. Oh, man, I took a pound in. Okay, now I got it. Now I got it. Just keep spin kicking. Oh, wait, who's the boss here? Oh, the five emperors, I guess. Or, sorry, the th the four emperors. Swords, that's kind of cheating, guys, I have to say. Not really feeling this. Okay, extra life. That's good. I'll take that. We take we take those those wins every day. Na -na 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 -na. Uh, Kikicho, how can my sword fail me? This fight is my last. <laughs> I've heard that there is a hidden fortress beyond the for forest. Continue if you dare, but remember, a dark, menacing path awaits the Lee brothers. So now we're going back back to the forest and an axe not lame shovels actual medieval axes okay so it's really weird that it said forest i'm sure the level will will evolve into a forest setting there's some greenery but uh i like that it starts off in here oh that barrel's in play everyone needs to be careful of that barrel oh no no please abobo you're crazy you have so much to live for don't use the barrel Oh, 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 yeah! You really don't want to be in the middle. You don't. You do not want to be the Billy meat of the sandwich. Oh, spooky forest! Some sticks, maybe. I do like the the, the combo potential of them a little bit more. The animation school. Here's that guy that's just shitting in a hole. So we're still gonna have a problem with the bridge and possibly an abobo. It's always an issue, isn't it? Ugh. Oh, he fell in. Okay. Okay. I wish the screen would scroll. Damn it. Oh my god. Alright, run then. No! Oh! Oh! Oh, that was real bad. That was real bad! Get in there! Why don't you fall in? Oh my god. I can't... Ah. Uh, uh. I should have done that from the start, but oh, take this roper. Thank you for the nunchucks. That'll give me that'll give me the boost that I need. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go over here because I need you to go into the hole. This this hole is your home. Yeah, I was considering putting this this game in the grouping of Double Dragon One games, because yeah, it is a remake, but I also felt like it's it's better to place it, you know, mostly in a chronological order. Because it, you know, added so many things from previous Double Dragon games, especially like, you know, Super Double Dragon. I, I, I think it's, it's more interesting to see, you know, it, when it's so far away from the original, like 1987 to 2003, you know, and seeing how much it evolved after like that course of time rather than just grouping this together with all the other ports like this doesn't belong in the same conversation as like a commodore version damn they redrew that rock it's huge it looks like a pokemon it looks like a part of onyx <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. oh my god just two golden burn offs sure just throw that at me oh that was a hard read. Okay, may maybe I should. Did I drop a weapon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a hull. There's a hull big. Okay, do bo do okay, mid boss burn offs do not resurrect. Good to know. No, wait, no, they do! Apparently they do. Seriously, they need to remake this remake. Like, I you know, or 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 port it again. I I'm not sure if this came out on anything else like uh, Wii U or Wii Virtual Console, like a GBA, a GBA game. I can't remember that. I want to say no, because I, I would have bought it, you know? Okay, I'm nervous. All right. Hey, we didn't fall down like a jackass like in all the previous games. We actually look somewhat cool doing it. Sorry, Linda, but you are, you are in the way. I want to show off how cool Sosetsu Ken is. There's bad guys and they have done bad things. And it's in the post-apocalypse. 
and there's a cool martial art. Like essentially, this is really, really comes down to it. Uh, Double Dragon is basically, what if there were two Kenshiro's? That's essentially it. Maybe there's not people exploding. But the music in this game is also very good. There's that. So that, that has that also in common with uh, Okuno no Ken. Oh, someone's gonna have to go off there. We're gonna we're gonna have to do some stuff there. Oh my God, we also have wall jumps again. Little bits from uh, Double Dragon Three and Return of Double Dragon. Ooh, extra life that hopefully make up for all the ones I lost on the damn bridge. Oh shit! All right, two two. What are these? These are two mahogany burnovs now. Mahogany. I think I did lose my chucks though. Oh, knife. I'll, t I'll take it. Linda. Linda, that was meant for, for their hearts, not yours. Can we go back to the other part of the area? Scroll back there. These dudes are not making it easy. Real death? Yeah. All right, cool. No, it's fine. Okay, we we take those W's. Oh no, no. Okay, good. Can't take damage when you're on the ground, which is which is good. Ah, oh, that has to be devastating. Hello. Hello there. Green and Bobo. So nice to see you again, my friend. All right, let's go over here. Let's 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 try to get some shit going. Or this will be a huge mistake on my part. Oh my god, he's in my head! I have to get on this side. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good horizontal distance. Yeah, 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 we do it! Na 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 hey, You'll die of the laid a finger on Willy. <laughs> Me Bobo. Uh, this is the, the very distinct uh, Bobo. You want to know why? Because you'll have to get past the master of the Fist of Assassination. The Fist of Assassination? Could it be? The giant door leads to a vast cave. The air is thick with danger. Among among other things, like a Bobo's. Mission 6. Alright, so cave. Very dangerous. Because A, water. And... So Setsu can, right? Don't get me wrong. Very powerful martial art, but they never learned, unfortunately, to swim. Oh my god. Now, I'm not gonna tell you, you, all you jobbers, how to fight, but maybe throwing dynamite sticks inside a cave system, probably not the best idea. So I'm nervous. Billy's nervous. He's looking around, doesn't know what to do. How am I gonna cross this? Okay, I think it's right there. Running jump. Amazing. Ready, jump. Okay, cool. Please don't knock me into the water. Oh, that guy did the backwards jump! Tactical retreat! Uh, uh. Yeah, when, you, when you're committed to pressing that combo, uh, you're kind of stuck doing it for like an extra second or two. Oh! They have a cave bobo. Nice. Uh, 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 uh. No, no. He's just getting out of the range of the final hit. There you go. Oh, very satisfying. But yeah, I said it before, if your bad guy organization is like, our our no homers club is inside the caves. It's not great. Look, I, I think it does lead to the fortress or whatever, but you have to access it via caves. But man, the money, the money to set up this elaborate clubhouse to get a bunch of workers, contractors come and look at a cave system be like, all right, Mr. Machine Gun Willie. You say you want to put like a golden fortress inside this game. That's gonna, oh man, just just the permits alone. Like there's no ancient temple that that was just been there for hundreds of years. This was made. This was contract, and there was probably a TLC show about it. Making some progress here. Samurais, five emperors. What are you guys doing here? I thought I killed y'all. Okay. No. Hmm. No! It's real bad. It's real bad out there. It's real tough. It's a bigger danger than it's ever been. Oh lord. Just just stay just stay in the safe areas. I wanna get fancy. Like kill dudes by throwing them in cool stage hazards. But I have to remember I'm not great. 
So I will fall in, in said stage hazards. There's three Abobos at one time. I only have so many hands. You gotta give me a break. The 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 spirit is willing, but my flesh is weak. Yeah. Oh, seven more Abobos. One has bloodshot eyes. That's kind of creepy. And one has a ridiculous looking afro. All right, this time. Okay, no. Oh, I, I really wanted those. I really need those. Get out of the way, please. Ugh. Okay, good, 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 good. Line them all up. Maybe go down here. This should be safe. No. Just, just all die, please. Go to the water. Yeah! Hush! A golden abobo! Yeah! Okay, this is the way. More. After all those abobos, the next boss is a bobo. Oh shit, it's just out of the range of the final combo hit. There you go. Nice. Raymond, we are the five emperors of Gensetsu Kens, the assassination fest. We wish to challenge your martial arts style with our own. Come to the Grand Hall. So it was the Gensetsu Ken all along, after all. I guess there's no other way. We accept your challenge. Raymond, you know, the, that well-known double dragon boss. Like I've said in previous uh, bits already, oh, that's a new trap. Uh, that, like, we don't know who we want the final boss to be of, of Double Dragon. It, it, it is, like, seven other characters. You know, every couple of games change the villain every so often because it gets a little boring. But at the same time, it was, like, more, like the least inconsistent thing. You know, for, first it was Machine Gun Willie, then it was Jimmy. Then it was just the Shadow Warrior. Then it was the Shadow Master. Then the Shadow Boss. Then Duke. Princess Queen Cleopatra. I think the NES version. She was called something else. This is a, just pick like two villains and just rotate them. How about that? Oh, there's no, there's no more intimidating. And I mean this legit. No more intimidating uh, Burnoff than Pink Burnoff. Okay, nunchucks back in my hand. They feel so good. And Fire putting in some work over there. Thank you. All right, that's good stuff. That was a good encounter. Oh, that was a straight up trap. Can I just jump? I can just, I can just walk over it. Great. Oh, I want to get out of there. That's gonna. Okay, it doesn't explode. I guess one of them picked it up. I'm nervous. Yeah, there it is. Uh. All right, well, that, okay. The explosion of these probably distracted one of them. Okay, a golden abobo. All right, that, that, that gray abobo seems stuck behind that column. We'll, we'll leave him to it, unless he just died. Okay, no, he's good. So we're in the grand hall, and I think these are, like, just a shitload of rows, each with a different era style. These are, these are the actual five emperors I... I misnamed the, uh, the samurai dudes from earlier. Okay, can I not, can I not stomp them? Well, that's, that's a sick move you got, bro. The assassination fist? You just, you just do a pirouette, huh? Uh, okay, I guess it is a sick move. I think you get hit by it. Again, we're here to show the superiority of one martial- Oh, big butt stomp. That's where you keep all your brains. Ugh. Okay, did a little death growl. Who else? Who else? Will just give me more. Give me more. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's way too many. <laughs> Damn it. I have to assume some of them are weaker than like the real the real guy, but uh if they all train in the same martial arts style, the assassination fest, why don't all of them do that? Then there'd be like 50 guys in here. What who the hell is that? What what is that? Scary shadow. Oh, that guy. Okay, so he just has, like, shadow magic. That makes sense. No! No, don't do it again! Alright, well, I earned an extra life, so that's something. Okay, th there's five. I'm assuming I'm assuming the actual boss counts as an emperor. So this would be four. Huh. Alright. Raymond? Oh. But then there's still there's still Machine Gun Willie, right? It should it should be him after this. I like this music though. 
It seems to be indicating final bossish stuff. Yeah. Ooh, good stuff, good stuff. Oh, that was sick. But where's Marion? What great skill, so Setsu can. Yeah, that's that's what it's called. You know, I I would like to have met under different circumstances. Willie and the girl are both behind that door. We shall meet again only next time. Oh, Rosebud. Well, <laughs> the Lee brothers trembled with rage. Prepare yourself, Willie. Okay, no, no, we got it, we got it, we got it. Here's Willie now. Marion in the balance. We gotta get this. We gotta get this win. You too. Uh, is that it? Is that there's a death girl? No. I think it was the burnout behind me. Uh, uh, I like the updated uh, machine gun Willie sprite. It, it's it's slightly different, I think. A little bit more detail. It's good. A final boss deserves that. Come on. Yeah! He's dead as shit. Aw, yeah. Marion should go kick him in the kick him in the balls super hard in the bars. He's right there. He's still alive, by the way. Just a little longer, and the secrets in that book would have been mine. There aren't any secrets in that book. It's all in our blood. We are the secret! So it was, it was really, it was really the friends we made along the way. Willie lay still from exhaustion. The Shadow Warriors have been decimated by two brave young men. Peace reigned once again. Lee brothers were the talk of the town, but the twins and Marion were already long gone. Uh, where could they have gone? No one knew for certain. Probably having segs. The courage of the Lee brothers grew into a legend. I mean, they're already pretty legendary. People called them the Double Dragon. We learned a whole lot about the the value of teamwork. Uh, you know, how cool martial arts is. And how I don't care how good your machine gun is, I'll just do a hyper knee. Like, grab your hair and you're just gonna crap your pants and you're just gonna lose. Notably, they didn't seem to have killed Mr. Machine Gun. They just kind of were like, we're, we're, we're good good stuff. Tom Hewlett worked on this! That's nuts. Uh, so Double Dragon Advance. I'm still not 100% sure if it's my favorite one. If you could combine this with the art style... Oh, look at that great screen. With the art style of, like, Super Double Dragon, like, you know, mix and match the speed and stuff, that would be, like, the ultimate game. But as it is, like, this is as, as strong as it can be. 4.5 bimmies out of 5. Now, full disclosure, there is one game out of, like, 60 that I wasn't able to include in this video. Simply titled Double Dragon, this was released on mobile phones in July 2004 and strangely was developed and published by Bandai, the only time the mega corporation got their hands on the franchise. I can't even find a single piece of video footage of this thing on the internet. Not on YouTube, Dailymotion, Vimeo, just nothing. And the only screenshots I could find come via the Double Dragon Dojo, which as you can see, aren't too hot either. If you squint hard enough, you might notice that this is more or less a remake of the 1987 original, with what seems like mostly new assets. The graphics do have this pretty neat retro look which was fairly novel for 2004 as this predated Mega Man 9's nostalgia bait by a good few years, but unfortunately these screens don't really get across how the game was played. And considering it was designed for 2004 cellular telephones though, I can't imagine it was any good. The Double Dragon Dojo entry on it also seems to confirm this. I really, really wanted to include this one in a more playable fashion and looked long and hard for a solution on how to do so, but it just doesn't seem to exist. Unless, of course, you know, I, I had a time machine. But if I had a time machine and used it to go back to 2004 just to play an obscure Double Dragon port, well, that would be a pretty good use of one, I have to say. So I do apologize for the not 100% accurate every Double Dragon game ever thumbnail, but hey, at least I'm giving it a shout out here. 
So I obviously couldn't go hands-on with this one, so I can't slap it with a rating, but rest assured it would probably be in the lower spectrum. So with all that said, let's just move on. Never mind what I said two minutes ago, turns out there are two Double Dragon games I wasn't able to go directly hands-on with for this video. Damn you early 2000s era mobile gaming! This is Double Dragon EX, which came out in 2005 and developed by Eolith, the same team behind, oh shit, Double Dragon Advance, as you can probably tell from this incredibly blurry footage. This is basically a truncated version of Advance, with some altered and cut stages. In fact, I think there's only like three in total, which I guess is fine for a cell phone game, which is always meant to be played in short bursts. Now with that in mind, let's talk about the controls, which are done exclusively through the numerical pad and not touch, as that used to be how the world was. A bunch of moves from Advance are here though, the uppercuts, the knees, etc, but a lot of them have their own dedicated numerical button to pull them off with and things change when you're jumping so it's not exactly ideal. What's also not ideal is the game's audio, which has to be either music or sound effects. You are given the choice of which one you want to hear, so I guess your standard Verizon flips of the day just couldn't handle both. There are some nice additions though. There's a combo counter, boss life bars, and going by the reviews of the day, it seems the overall package was better than the last cell phone attempt. IGN seem particularly fond of it, so I guess there's that. But maybe we shouldn't trust IGN on this one. I, I, I don't know. So yeah, not much else to say, but that is Double Dragon EX in a nutshell. Nothing too mind-blowing, but neat nonetheless. And while I can't give it any direct bimmies, from everything I've researched so far, it seems above average for a 2005 cell phone game. So, on to the next! So, I assume some of you know the crazy story of the Zebo, and if you don't, why not check out Grunkle Derek's video on it? Just for now, know that it was an obscure console aimed at the Latin American market, and along with some wild ports of stuff like Quake, Tekken, and Resident Evil 4, it got its own exclusive Double Dragon adventure, in the form of Double Dragon for the Zebo. While Derek had the console in his possession, which was also provided by Rockman KD, we did experience it together about a year ago back on my main channel. Considering the console's rarity, high price point, and the fact it's never been properly emulated, I felt including the highlights of our play session here would be understandable. Really stinks that all the cool expanded combat options and new sprites are locked to this almost unobtainable version, but hey, that's a pretty backwards ass thing that this franchise typically does. So without further ado, let's check it out. Check it out! Welcome back to the Mammoth Muscles Flop House. Lots of chill gaming today. And there's nothing more chill than the Zebo. And I'm over at my friend Derek's house. He let me over. School is out, and we're gonna play a Zebo. Derek, how do you like your yeah, Zebo? Yeah, my mom said you can stay over until uh, four thirty, uh, but you, you know you can call your mom. Maybe you can stay a little later. Sorry, um, mom, I'm playing Zebo <laughs> with Derek. And she, no, I don't said... want that Derek influencing <laughs> you with his with his exotic Brazilian video game systems. Well, thank you for cutting through the tree hole there. This is for people who don't know, and that's okay. That's okay to not know what the Zebo is. The Zebo was a very short-lived and very uh, ill-fated uh, console that originated in Brazil. The idea with the Zebo, and it's kind of a, a clever idea, is uh, they wanted to bring like legit gaming to uh, places where typically it's the bootleg market, the gray market, as it is called. It did not work at all. <laughs> at all. It didn't Zero percent. take. It, it, it did just, they're like, okay, what do you got? Well, we got a bad version of RE4. Exactly. We got a bad <laughs> version of Quake. I have that though. You know, actually, that version of Quake is like fine. But yo, it's 2009. It's bad. Could, it's, it's Quake. I've played Quake 13 years ago. Oh, Pac-Mania? Oh boy. The 1980s arcade game? Not, is it, and, uh, by the way, there is Pac-Man on this device. Only Pac-Mania, you know, the best one. Mm -hmm. And also, like, this is Resident Evil 4. It's based on the cell phone version. Nice. And, you know, at the time, like, yeah, you they had access to the real thing. But the, of all the games, of the uh, the several games, not many were really exclusive or kind of that 
super interesting. However, this here double dragon, uh, this punching, kicking Bimmy or Jimmy here, uh, this is kind of an exclusive uh, BMO, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> Zebo game. Sorry. Exclusively, exclusively to the Adventure Time BMO. My bad. Sorry, I was I I was distracted by Bammy or Jammy's uncoordinated drunken dancing. <laughs> That's him uh, standing on hot coals. I've long since lusted after this because I once saw a gameplay video and I was like, "What? You can do this?" And there's juggles, and it's like a completely different game. Yes. And I asked my friend Two Snacks, who lives in Brazil, like, "Is there any way you can get me a Zebo?" Any he tried lord knows he tried but he's like nah man no one's selling them so that's why i'm over at derek's house today yeah, checking they, out double dragon zebo and i gotta give a shout out to uh, our hookup rockman kb uh he's mm. he gave us this fully stocked zebo here and that's why we've been i've been making a handful of videos over on my channel on stop skeletons of fighting by the way i'm uncle derek from stop skeletons <laughs> of fighting i forget if i i actually introduced myself proper but i'm over here and uh, I've done some Zebo videos. Emulation for Zebo does not exist as of right now. I tried, believe me. Yeah. I, first um, of all, I love the farty trumpets. Like yeah, when I yeah, think of, yeah. I think of Double Dragon. I think of farty eight bit. Well, not eight bit, but like fourteen bit style music here. This was trying to compete with like the PS2 and the 360, and also like cheap plug and play Mega Drive. Master System stuff. Like, it, there was hmm. just no world where uh, this was going to work. It's also based off of Brew as opposed to, like, Symbian or some other OS. Like, Brew is not a thing really made for games. <laughs> However, <laughs> this is one of the few, like, two player uh, Zebo games. Apparently, really? getting, getting two controllers working on the Brew. It was a big thing. Is a it was a huge problem, and uh, they managed to make it work. So this is, I feel like this is like kind of based on the arcade version, maybe a little bit more based yeah, on like the, uh, the, the, the the GBA version. Look yeah, I, I think it's similar. Marion just got a little, little punch to the belly welly there. All right, I got punch. I got kick, kickos. Um, I got jumpos. So already the animation is like stupid nice for like, you know, yeah. when you think of classic double dragon, oh. it's like two frames of animation. So all these sprites redone. And there's a duck, which I can kind of... If I hit duck here, duck by itself, or duck and forward is headbutt. Duck and then uppercut. I got duck and kick. This is again kind of original. Kind of has a little bit of the arcade version and the and the and the uh, GBA version. But like fans of the NES game will kind of recognize uh, this level a little bit. Yeah. We are actually about to fight the boss here already. Wow. Wow, that is way too well animated of a yeah. whip. That's that's like Simon Belmont like levels. Yeah. Holy crap, because the whip usually sucks in Double Dragon. It's like really short range. Oh, come on, Grunkle. Oh, jeez. You can do it. I got five credits here. I'm going to use probably most of them. Yeah, I'm five actually creditos. I am playing on easy. Uh, and you know what? Hate in the comments if you want. You ain't there, played this game. It's dummy hard. I don't dummy think hard. there's many gatekeepers for the Zebo. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, are you really going to use, like, Ashes of War and Summons here <laughs> on Double Dragon Zebo? There we go. All right. So this looks like the second level kind of from, you know, the, uh, the NES it game. The, the music is there from the NES game, right? I think most people are most familiar with the NES game. But that's why Double Dragon Zebo is so weird because it's like this one remixed, remaked, remade game that never quite found its way outside of the Zebo. Yeah. Uh, so, because Double Dragon 1 has been remade, so I only found out about a Sega Master System version that has completely different sprites from the NES and the arcade and the whatevers, like, or, or maybe it's Turbo Graphics. I don't even remember. There's so many. I've been even wanting to do, but it's too daunting to do like a complete Double oh, Dragon yeah. retrospective, but just part one, like just based on Double Dragon 1, it would be like an hour long just for that one game because there's so many versions. Now, can anyone tell me what foreshadowing is? Okay, right. so if you ever saw a guy just holding a complete oil drum, above your head what is one's reaction to that oh, the opposite direction of whichever way i was going and i'm i'm yeah. turning around immediately i'm not sure if this is coming across in the video but i'm going to take a guess when you move in this does does like your character move way more than you sh than you think he should or is it yeah. like precise control it's not well it's it's hard to say <laughs> if, the con if the control is bad or the controller is bad <laughs> 
<laughs> right. There's two schools of thought, and both are wrong. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's puking on a pile of shit. I believe as as <laughs> it's been described as. Your dash is so fast. It's like I've never oh. I've never seen a man sprint with such urgency. But then look at these dudes with these, wow. these insane combos. Oh, and they just nothing. Uh, from here on out, we are. It's it's all different. I believe levels three, four, and five are just straight up completely brand new. All new, all different double dragon experience. Yeah. This isn't this isn't your your dad's double dragon. This is Zebo's double dragon. Derek, you got fifty thousand in double dragon? <laughs> in just two minutes? I gotta take advantage of your skills in the Nintendo World Championships. <laughs> Classic, he gets up and he disappears. And he is gonna reappear naked somewhere. Nice. Somewhere uh, a large a large man is just gonna be naked. Someone's like, ah! All right. A, Va a Vader, a Vader esque man <laughs> yeah. of considerable carriage. Uh, but yeah, a highway here we are. level is very different. You're right. It's also like a broken highway, too. So, are we like. We're just trying to get Marion back. What's, what's with this, the apocalypse situation going on here? Can we know. not afford a car? Is a car off the table? We're just like in a building with, with like a lot of cameras. A lot. I, I, I don't <laughs> know many. if there's a. I don't know if there's really much of a story here. So here's the thing. I was about to say, like, especially Double Dragon 1, the story is so weird versus the home ports and the arcade ports where in some versions they're like, oh, it was your brother Jimmy. He yeah. was jealous of you and Marion's relationship. And, and other times it's like, no, he had nothing to do with it. It was some guy with a machine gun named, like, Machine Gun Willie or something. <laughs> And it just depends on what version you're playing. They're like, oh, is Jimmy? Jimmy was behind it all, and and well, Marion's at Ted's house. I thought in the NES version they made uh, Billy or whoever it was the bad guy because yeah. they had to they had to explain away why a game called Double Dragon was right. only one player. Three doesn't have a weird microtransaction store. Holy shit! Yes. What? Are you fucking? Yes, I know, right? She has a cool area of effect, I like. Wings I come thought out. you were lying. I'm not kidding, man. That's so. You can she tell could be that's a such Gear a brand X2. new asset. Yeah. Cool chick with white hair and a fucking katana. Yeah. What Don't does katana mean anyway? <laughs> it means big sword. <laughs> it's Japanese <laughs> big sword. Uh, the boss here is also kind of cool. Again, uh, okay. the, you know, the last this stage and all the stage like two stages before this all original um but i do believe that like these these suited uh guys are from super double dragon 4 there's definitely a suited guy in, in double dragon 4 i'm not sure if okay. it's the exact same sprite but it must be like an homage to that sprite I, I do believe there are like a handful of double dragon 3 references uh kind of sprinkled throughout um it's a very strange game oh cool nunchucks we can't watch this in Canada right now. No, that's that's the UK. Is it the UK? Oh, okay. Yeah, damn. yeah, the UK. Ah, I, that, I got a Razzle on Canada. That's why they're the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles in the UK. <laughs> I, I think I I've, I've, may have talked about this in like a previous video or two, but like the main reason why that is so is because the creator of Double Dragon stated how like Tecmo, uh, Technos like had no quality control over... No, they would not institute quality control over anyone they would hire to license out the Double Dragon IP, mm. and they would not care about the port's quality. They would not care about like the artwork or the box art or the logos. They would just say, do whatever you want. So like, there's so many ports and different versions that like mess with the story or did this. There's no like no consistency. So unlike you know a Street Fighter, holy shit, look at this guy. Yeah, we're gonna see. He he does some damage here. Oh god, this is not good. Yeah, okay. Well, that's actually kind of sh shocking to hear because the NES ports were the first. The first two NES ports were really good, man. Like yeah, those games like, were every, legendary. Every, every subsequent one like was like weirder ah. or worse, and the arcade. What the? Okay, then he bad. Oh god. Oh damn. Ugh. It's fine. Anyone anyone could have fallen into those spikes. Yeah. Actually, the entire second level. Uh, it spikes. You could. It, it wasn't spikes, but you're like on the edge of a building. You can technically walk off of. Final fight. Totally stole this. Stole which? Which? Yeah. The, the, yeah. the, the last boss being a guy with a gun. Well, I mean, it was a crossbow that shot little bolts. But your point remains. Oh well, I, I thought it, it was a gun, but it, uh, it's a little crossbow because you can punch the bolts out of the sky. Believe me, I'm a big nerd when it comes to uh, this. Yes. No, I, I absolutely believe you. 
Okay. I, I had you in. I, I mean, I was legally obligated to have you in my Final Fight video. That's true. Like, I don't know that I could ever like look you in the face again. Hey, Derek, how was that Final Fight video? Like, oh yeah, I would sorry. forbid looking at the face. Yeah. At that. Holy crap! He actually used it. Actually, the he's been man. using it, but he's been shooting his own uh, enemies, his own, his own uh, people with it, so... How do you defeat an enemy that does that? He's willing to take out his own guys and put himself at a disadvantage. Yeah! Yeah. So that was Double Dragon. However, uh, this is barely even, like, what this game... Here's the reason... Uh, if you're a hardcore Double Dragon fan, you probably know where I'm going with this. Mm. But yo, there's some extras that you get unlocked bonus stuff and it willy, is willy that's all it says <laughs> willy uh we went to the restaurant where we had a necessary <laughs> nova liquor <laughs> and we could not continue to divide our success uh a trifling success so we had a revolution yeah of a so go re go rest our heroes <laughs> billy and jimmy you know what you have B better yeah. translation than the american third game there you go. True. Oh, what a oh. great screen. Hey. Hey, baby. Man, she's tall. So Matthew. Yes. Yes. What about what what, what about what you, what you know about <laughs> what you know about replay value? I I know a thing or two. I know that you want to have it. So does this have it? Let's replay the game. As Holy like Holy shit. Every single enemy in the game you can unlock eventually and play. Like I beat this with the Bobo and it took me like 20 seconds because he's so strong Th this is something they did in double dragon 4 which was released only a couple years ago where you would beat the game oh. and you would lock a character for like versus play or you could uh go through the single player as them i believe but really? that's very reminiscent of this so did it start here maybe can i how do i shoot yeah you should how do you do your your teleport I, I, I don't think I can. Also, Derek, Matt, did you know that the Zebo is now on sale? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that wanted poster should have a Zebo in it because I want it. <laughs> I need it. As, as long as you have a time machine, folks, you can go back to 2009 and get <laughs> Zebo on sale. Yeah, Zebo in in uh, Brazil was uh, available for just over two years, and when they shut it down, okay. like it was all digital only. They shut it all down, so you couldn't even download games after a certain point. This so yeah, when when I was looking for one, and you can't just look <laughs> for a naked Zebo, you because it was all digital games, as you say. So you needed a uh, one that at least had pre-installed games because you couldn't <laughs> hook it up and like try to get more. Like it was it was all or nope. nothing. It was done. They they pulled the plug on that completely. Hmm. I also cannot stop laughing at his the walk animation for this. Hey man, he's trying his best. Derek, thank you so much for showing us this Zebo and this Zebo of Double Dragon today. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, and I hope, I hope that uh, people watch this video and enjoyed it, but also that perhaps that emulation will be a possibility. I hate to Hopefully. be all like, hey, look with this game that I got. You guys can't play. I'm borrowing this from a fan. I have to give it back to them. I'm not even gonna be able to play this. This is one of the few games that absolutely should be available. I'm hoping that uh, the nerds out there. The real heroes, super fans, can get this, get get the emulation going, cause it's it's pretty fucking rad, man. So yeah, while the backgrounds are kind of basic and the art style might not be for everyone, the expanded combo system and the unlockable characters more than makes up for that. I think I'm gonna give it 4.2 bimmies out of five. We still have one more obscure phone port to brawl through, though, so let's move on. All right, so here it is. Uh, one of the forbidden versions of Double Dragon called Double Dragon. But for iOS this time, uh, a big massive thanks goes out to Rockman, uh, link to his channel in the description box below uh, for, for setting this up so I could check this out with him today. But because his the setup to get this working with, with, with controllers and on Parsec, uh, we were just able to play a little bit in co-op because the latency was just, just too much to me. So this is kind of post-commentary. Uh, he's playing Jimmy right now. I am Billy. And it's incredible to, like, be able to experience this in such a way. And he sort of broke down the insane moves that you can do. This is pr pretty standard stuff right there. We got the uppercut, roundhouse kick, stomp. 
a lariat, dash kick, a sobot, uh, jumping kick, uh, while clenching, moves off the clench, clench breaker, um, some special moves. This one game has more moves than the entire series put together. This is where my controller started started working, and it's just, it's just such a trip. It is such a trip after, I don't know, 13 years, finally seeing this game like running in front of me. I, I've watched a few YouTube clips before, but I never sat down and, and investigated a ton. And what it is, is essentially a upgraded port version, whatever, of um, Double Dragon for the Zebo. It's kind of got the same sort of basic uh, sprite silhouette, but they're sort of redone Billy and Jimmy to look even more SNK-ish. Um, tons of new art in the, the cutscenes and such. The first thing is that you're just kind of overwhelmed by a Double Dragon game where everything is fast as fuck, boy. It's too... It's... It, okay, I, you can't say it's too fast because it's not. It's just the perfect amount. Like, this is as modern to me as Double Dragon has ever felt. Just to reiterate, uh, again, this is kind of post-commentary because just all the technical foibles going on, uh, getting two audio files synced up and everything was just was just going to be a little much. So, so actually being able to experience this game, I, I do have one sort of comment about it, is that you know I really love these new sprites for, for everybody, right? And there's a grittier sense of reality to them. Again, SNK is a good is a good mark point there. It's just that some of the background elements are a little too dated. Like, they've redone some textures here and there, uh, redrawn a few things, but not everything. So I do find that the sprites stick out a bit. These these backgrounds are way, way better than what was in the Zebo. The Zebo ones were a little, little, little rough for the most part, but, um, and, and this is an upgrade in general. And some of these characters, I don't even know who they're supposed to represent, which is kind of a good... It's mostly a, a good thing. Uh, not really bad. Like, this this one dude, uh, that Rockman's beating up there, and then beating me up, thanks. I'm not sure who that, that's even supposed to be. It's because so many enemies got, like, a huge makeover, and this, this is going to be one of them in, in a sec. This is a neat thing about certain types of remakes is that you can do something similar to what you did in the past, but different! There's a bobo! Essentially here, we're, we're trying out the co-op, and what uh, is a big uh, negative to me is that there are no cutscenes at all, no dialogue. Uh, st story in general is just gone. Oh my god, a limit break. <laughs> it's all gone from co-op. It's all in the single player, so you have to play as lone dragon mode loser dragon mode <laughs> no 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 brothers to help you so you can only get the story stuff in there so we kind of made the decision uh, and noticing the latency uh for me on the controller that uh we, we switch over to, to single player uh, and unfortunately that's something that uh that only rockman could control e easily so he kind of shows me the game and i kind of experience it that way but look at this! This this fresh new Obobo design. Actually, maybe not even SNK. Maybe it's like Fallen Angels art style, if anyone knows that reference. So here's level two. Famous factory level two. Uh, and we're just fighting Cody's! Straight out of Metro City Prison. It, it, it's crazy to see that. I don't think... These are brand new enemies. Uh, for this version of the game, at least. Maybe they were in the Zebo. Now I don't remember. It, that's too many oil drums. Stop it with oil drum advantage. Uh, can't go wrong with the classics. Remix them a little bit. That's all you got to do, really. Ah. Okay, that was pretty embarrassing of me. Good thing nobody was watching at the time. Ah, oh, Rockman was watching now. Now all of you are great. Like, I don't even tell... I can't even describe how complicated his setup was. Like, mad genius. He's able to Frankenstein this all together to get this a touch-only game. This didn't have, like, controller compatibility back in 2010. So he was able to run it through, like, six different programs and different controllers. So, because no one... Apparently, this played really terribly touchscreen. If you look back at old videos from 2010 and some reviews nowadays... Uh, no, no one's a fan of them. Uh, so to be able to actually get 
at good controls is, is a godsend. It's, it's the only way it should be experienced. So we're going to have to switch back to uh, single player so we can see all the story stuff. That's why we're here for, you know, the Tolkien-esque flavor of Double Dragon story. Limit Break's so sick, though. So let's see what Abobo has to say this time. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! Welcome to the gun show, boy. It's time for you to die. Might as well forget about Willy. You ain't even going to live to meet him. Dear sweet Moses, you're huge. And the gun show? What are you, 13? That's awesome. All right, Beefcake, let's see what you've got. What? And it's something we're going to see later on. The, the localization is is all over the place. All over the place into good places. I've never quite seen a... a like, it's even sillier than I'd say Double Dragon Neon in a way. Showing off some sick combo skills there. Um, another crazy thing uh, Rockman let me know is that this game actually levels up your specials as you play. Looks like the show's over. Maybe it won if there wasn't so much of you to punch, fatty. What are you talking about? We're body shaming now? You called him a nice beefcake before. Anyway, now where the hell is Willie? He's due for a pounding that'll make what you just got look like a gentle caress. That's amazing. I don't know where Willie's hiding, but uh, there's someone who does. Yes? Who, who are they? Let's, let's get down let's get the show on with uh, you're gonna have to go to the the factory <laughs> meanwhile all right so as we're waiting for a second boss I believe Burnoff should be showing up here um, just just to remind everyone usually you would have gigantic touch screen pad down at the bottom of the screen my oh my what a stunning example of the male form a shame then that I must. Then again, about a fiscus will allow me to examine your mm, physique. Whoa, hands off the merchandise, pal. You gotta pay to ride this roller coaster. Jimmy's such a himbo, I love it. And the kind of currency you got ain't accepted here. So I don't know. I, I It's fine, actually. I like it. Burnoff looks like he's just from Elden Ring now. <laughs> big, big bang of Elden Ring off this, this helmet design. Um, I always appreciate boss dialogue. I, lo I loved it in Double Dragon Advance. I wish there's. I really wish the uh, the franchise had put more into it. Like even the PC Engine version should add some. But yeah, for a point I was talking about before, um, as you play this game, you level up your characters, and their special moves get uh, bonuses and, and differences. They become better as as you go on, which is, I think, yeah, something unique to, to this version of the game. Like everything else you get um, in previous games, even ones where you could level up and get moves like you know NES Double Dragon, they were just additional things. Um, but Rockman was telling me stuff like gets like more pop-up properties, things get more juggle opportunities, do more hits, like sick stuff. All right, burn off, Bernie. <laughs> There's his real mask. I like that. Fiddlesticks, how could you have bested me in a contest of martial skill? Only the worst villains say say shit like fiddlesticks. Just just putting it out there. Ah, but such exquisite pain. I say, I think I am altogether spent. Why are you wearing a welding mask under... You, you know what? <laughs> I, I think I'm better off not knowing. You pr Probably, Jimbo. Probably. Just tell us where Willie is and we'll leave this uncomfortable. This hooligans have appropriated a former institution of learning for use as their center of operations. So, so the bad guy base is what you're trying to say. Their head man should be able to point you in Willie's direction. Just every guy knows another guy that knows that knows a guy will that that will squeal. Uh, but yeah, that's that's Mr. Burnoff done. That 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 dialogue was too smart. That was too smart for Double Dragon. Being crushed by a Burnoff looks like it hurt. Thank you. So this is cool. Bonus stages. I don't think any Double Dragon game had this before, and I don't think any of them had them had this after. A neat little thing, only only 10 seconds though. Will Rockman be able to do it? Find out in 10 seconds. Can he do it? Five, four. Those are long seconds. 
Oh, hey, he, did, he did it perfectly, actually. Stage clear. Fuck them barrels. I've got a hold of Linda, but I'm not feeling it. <laughs> what is that? So stage three is cool, even though this is essentially a remake. It's got a bunch of brand new stages, so... I don't know, maybe it's more of a reimagining, really. Ooh. Good stuff. Yeah, please, put the stomp in there. If, you have, if you're going to take... Oh, we have to take one thing from Double Dragon 3. Take the stomp, take the stomp! Just that. That's fine. That's it. Don't take the mummies. Don't take the gladiators. Don't take the microtransactions. Just take the stomp. And what should we take from Final Fantasy VII? Limit breaks! Oh, shit. That's super cool kick. I love how the dumb Mickey Mouse hand is still there. Like, completely the same. Well, what evil hoodie men come in at, like, were they nerds? And they were locked up in those lockers? What's the deal there? What's their lore? Yeah, that big, that big butt stomp. That's what you want. You know, that's, that's really the area that the most damage, just, at, at least morally, emotionally, it just stops the Shadow Warriors from ever wanting to fight again. But yeah, at, at around 2010 when this was released, uh, that type of combo scoring system, you know, not exactly standard. And beat-ups nowadays, you see them more and more. Uh, so it being about 13 years ago is, is pretty impressive. You gotta break your limits, kids. Sometimes you, you, sometimes you have to. You're not given much of a choice. Oh, shit. What? You're telling me this chick's the boss? That's a cool design. All right, fine. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I was getting tired of the sausage fest anyway. What a way to put it. I see you had some fun with my men. A little too much fun, though. You're going to have to take... Responsibility. How'd you like to work under me in their place? That's a... Why don't more bosses say that? They'd be like, yeah, no, that's a great idea. All my dudes are jobbers. You get them easily. J join me. It's a really good deal. Oh my gosh, she's almost already dead. So when you have like combo system, like the the, the difficulty of this is set on uh, normal right now. But once you start really getting good at combo systems that let you link a lot of shit, uh, that's when you 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 usually want to test the higher difficulties as well. But uh, for this video, to see everything with no stress. No, 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 what do you have to say? You, I don't even think she can... <laughs> All right, I submit, it's yours. Honestly, what a brute. Hey, lady, you mess with a bull, you get... You get the, 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 the tail, the... Oh, the horns! Put those things away before you hurt yourself. Where the hell was she keeping them? Now spill it, where's Willie? Huh, fine, I'll tell you. But only because I want to. <laughs> So she is actually Machine Gun Willie's niece, and she'll only tell you things that she wants to, as opposed to what? That's an amazing uh, boss image, though. Just them being like, oh, all right. The woods. So yeah, if you, if you weren't sure that this was a Double Dragon 1 remake, reimagined, whatever, the woods always lets you know. And of course, it goes in that whole cave waterfall area. Nice remix here. Ooh, some new enemies. Uh, Alright, should be the boss. Chin! Man, next to those other guys, you're almost normal. <laughs> Jimmy Lee of the Sosetsu Ken. It is time we met in battle. Should you win, I will tell you all that I know. Yeah, every boss says that. Alright, bro. Let's dance. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> And when your dash is that good, too, it's also easy to keep combos going. Oh! Chin's like, oh god, okay, alright! You're you're pretty good, kid! Okay, well, the, the limits have been broken. Oh my god, Chin, that was the best you could do? Damn. He looks like Sendo from Bukiri 1. Ugh, uh, have I lost? How can this be? I've heard the rumors of your skill, but to think... Whoa, that was radical! What a rush! This game predated Double Dragon Neon with that dialogue. So how about you spill that info you promised, bro? 
Well, very well. I'm a man of my word. This should set you on the path. And he just runs away. Gave us something. Oh, a credit card. Nice. When next we meet, I will be victorious. Look at this dude. How cool is he? It's unclear what we even got, though. A new awakening awaits you as you taste the lashes of the whip. Oh, it was a nightclub card. So, I can't believe we actually circled back around to a nightclub. You know, it's been quite a while since Game Gear Double Dragon, where I was like, a nightclub is a great locale. I wish it was done a little bit more. I think it's in uh, a later Double Dragon game that we'll be covering. But uh, this is pretty sick. It got a, got a real Streets of Rage vibe to it. Definitely some brand new songs here. I guess there's... I guess they're like, if we're going to have a nightclub, we have to have some uh, Yuzo Koshiro shit. Oh, she's a cool character. That's definitely new. Big um, big Lucia vibes uh, from Final Fight 3 there. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought that was going to be a way for us to, to go in there, but no, I guess not. Jesus. All right, everyone. We're just having a dance-off. Are we going to... All... Jimmy can dance. He can do that too. There's no reason to assume he can't. You know, it's a weird thing. Uh, in all the games we've played, like, background characters just never really appear. It's a thing you constantly see in Final Fight and, uh, to a lesser extent, Streets of Rage. But in Double Dragon, it happens very, very rarely. If at all. There's, there's very few instances where there's just people just going, Oh, just Double Dragon! And just uh, getting hype. So it's nice, it gives the world a little bit of life, you know? I guess it's just ladies night in this bar. Uh, both the, uh, 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 an eclectic mix of businessmen and cool martial arts chicks. It, uh, again, like, uh, th this character reminds me a lot of Mackie, again, from Final Fight 2, which is weird. Hey kids, it's me, old Jimbo, I'm here to teach you guys a lesson. Don't join up with the with the Shadow Warriors, please. Oh, that is that is the boss actually sitting in the middle of the couch. That's a, that's a pretty cool detail. There they are. Yo, look at this chick. Ah, you beat everybody. Another bit. <laughs> I may, I may not approve of their business practices in general, but it's good to see the Shadow Warriors strive for gender equality in the workplace. I don't, I don't really care for their Marian kidnapping policies, but I do agree with this one. Uh, you're pretty extreme, man, but don't ever think you can handle this hotness. Who's saying this, Jimmy? You get very few one-on-one -on -one fights with bosses in Double Dragon, don't you? There's always ads all over the place. I mean, it's fine for one or two bosses to, like, you know, damned in Final Fight makes that his gimmick. Which is cool. Well, a lot of them do, actually, when I think about it. But yeah, maybe it's usually reserved for, like, the final boss of the game, where it's just one-on-one. -on -one, but even then... And I do like that these bosses are given gravitas, all of them. There's so many forgettable boss encounters in Double Dragon. Oh man, this blows! D p p pull up your pants, girl! What are you, Lita in like 2001? I guess I still got a lot to learn. You weren't so bad yourself, babe! What do you say we do this again sometime? <laughs> Jimmy! I'm gonna practice, just wait and see. Your ass is going down! Anyway, Uncle Willie's just over there, but be careful, he's pretty hardcore. Why, how many nieces does he, does w Machine Gun Willie have? Oh, cool. A million dollars! Wait, what? Oh, yeah. This, there's a little bit of a mess up here. And uh, Rockman was telling me this is an incredibly hard bonus stage. Because any of that stuff knocks you off and it's hard to see what, what plane it's on. So, we could have won a million dollars there. That's, that's sad. And finally, stage six, the hideout. We've, we've all seen this before. Nice remix, though. Stop it with your pokey sticks. Uh, I see these statues in the middle. Rockman was telling me this is very interesting detail. Uh, one of these guys, um, I believe the statue on the on the right is a representation of Machine Gun Willie. 
And on the left is a representation of his brother, who we talked about way back in Double Dragon 3 NES. But yeah, uh, Machine Gun Willie and, and his brother are just kind of... It looks like they think they're the Double Dragons, or they want to be. I guess that's why they, they kidnapped Marion to get the uh, scroll, the Sosetsu's Ken scroll, and learn all of the brothers' secrets so they can become the older Double Dragons. So you can see more of those statues up above there, and there's like that glowing Double Dragon logo. So Machine Gun Will Willy, or William, it's another name for Bill or Billy. And then there's Jim. Jim, his brother. So the two bad guys in this scenario are Bill and Jim. And, and we're Billy and Jimmy. I never really caught on to that. Thanks to Rockman again for pointing that out. I was like, yeah, that has to be intentional, right? My theory is that they're just Billy and Jimmy from the future. <laughs> they want to kill their past. But I guess it's just the bad guys going, hey, we have similar names. We can be cool, powerful heroes, right? I, I guess that must be it. I, I don't think there's much story justification for it other than that. There he is. Nice. Thanks for joining us. Where's Marion? She better be all right. I'll dramatically lower her. The skirt's getting hiked the hell up. She has nothing to say. <laughs> Marion, Willie, you sick bastard. Yeah, quit your bitching. This girl's having a little nap is all just upside down and hanging from a rope. Now I reckon I'll be having them sacred scrolls now. You then take them, jerk. Yeah, I just throw him the scroll. Here you go. Finally, the power of the sacred scrolls is mine. Gra. Now nah, I'd love to grind y'all into chicken feed, but there's a couple of folks who want to jaw with you first. Old bosses that I guess did not die. How positively delightful. I dare say you shan't have such an easy time. You ready, boy? I've been blasting my delts double time. My bigness is perfection. Welcome to Chumpville, population you. A little warm up before the big event? Sure thing, dorks. Let's dance. That's all he's got, Jimmy, huh? Let's dance. Oh my god, he's, he's, I've been, I mean, in the, the last couple of stages while you've been fighting, I've been working out. I have big advantage now. I do really like that they gave bosses uh, an extra justification to come back. They, they want their revenge. Like in every other version of Double Dragon 1, the bosses just repopulate the area and there's, they're, they're, they're just there. You know, just accept it. But it's really cool, they gave some context for them showing up. They don't have the health bars, though, so they may not be true bosses. Oh, here's Chin again. The brothers of the Sosetsu Ken? You shall fall before me as leaves before a gale. Look, bro, I don't know what your beef is, but I ain't exactly in the mood. <laughs> That's so 90s. You want a tango? I'm going to break my foot off in your ass. Who taught you to tango? That's more of like the penetrada. Here, I would defeat you. And that's literal senzu beans. I'll tolerate no excuses for your defeat. Let us begin. All right, so I guess we have, uh, we have full health now. Limit break. All right, uh, as, as far as my memory goes, it's not going to get you. Oh, that was a super sick move, though. Oh, that's all it took. <laughs> Here comes Mr. Machine Gun. Reckon they didn't have the chops to take down the lack of you. Yeah, the, I know that you know that. I beat them before. Why would you? Anyway. Guess it's like my pop always said. You want a job done right, you do it yourself. But then here's some of my friends to help. <laughs> uh, my pop said something. If you can't get something done right, then ask a bunch of guys low lives to help you and also get a machine gun. And more dudes filtering in too. But there you go. As long as you group them all together. They all take the stomp. That's incredible. Like every single one of their bodies took that damage. 
Jesus, business combo. Hey, business combo. Yeah, I guess that's all it took. Hoo -ah, hoo -ah, hoo -ah. Well, ain't that something? <laughs> no point pulling my punches, huh? Let's get this show on the road then, what? Yeah. Figure it's about time you, uh, you kick the bucket. So yeah, uh, Rock Band was really, really uh, hyping me up for this. Saying, do you know who the final boss is? And I was like, actually, no, I don't. I haven't seen enough gameplay. So the fact that it's just Shadow Will Willy is... Mwah, that's great. Instead of always having like another villain show up and be like, that last villain was lame. So then neither of them get like their time to shine. You know what I mean? It's like split between the two. But now that he, uh, Willy is just Omega Rugal... That's the best. That's the best. And the fact that Willie has like a whole new move set. He can he can dash. He has this intimidating walk. A uh, ton of new attacks. Oh! I think that might be it though. There you go. There's there's nothing more devastating and more appropriate than crunching your the balls of your feet into to someone's ass. You know. Again, devastating. Damn, old man, you're serious business. <laughs> Look at his face. God dang it, how a tarnation did I lose? I all the so Sitsukin scrolls. How about him in the Harbinger? Please hand over Marion. Or don't. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> the damn double dragons. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, how scary. You've always been my hero. Thank you, Jimmy. I hate Billy. It's all about Jimmy now. Aw. Tearing up. Look at this. Amazing. They have they have new clothes on, all three, because they're they're now they're relaxing, you know? A, a job well done, getting a vacation. But yeah, they're Going down Double Dragon Expressway with all their logos on the billboards. So, you know, overall, I, th I think everyone can see a very short but very sweet uh, version of Double Dragon. It's it's probably the best one up to this point, uh, honestly. In terms of gameplay, at the very least, this also has the same thing as the Zebo version, or even Double Dragon 4 later on, where you collect all the bad guys in the game and you can play as any of them um most of them don't have like you know really big move sets but if you do a uh, rockman let me know like chin for example has, has has a ton of moves and stuff so that's super sick again a lot of replay value there i wish there was an actual versus mode um there is not but you know what more you know what more than that i kind of wish this was available anywhere else literally anything the fact that you basically need the old uh, iPhone or iPad hardware that can even run this and it needs to be preloaded, it's, it's so complicated. Again, I tried looking up how to do this and the only person I could find uh, on YouTube that was like, you know, running this game was Rockman. So, so I had a great time playing this and experiencing it uh, with him, him teaching me about the game. It just... Ugh. It just burns my shit that, you know, it's not something people can easily get their hands on. Real shame. Oh, who's that? Uh, I think that might have been uh, Jim. The young dragons made mincemeat of their arch enemy, Willie. Is, is there anything like that's that's 4.8. Jimmy's out of five right there. Fantastic. <laughs> A really sick version of the game, um, and we have a few more left to go. <laughs> well, we're still on 346 consecutive hours. Ugh. Whoa. I've been dreading this. I think you've all been dreading this, really. This is Double Dragon 2 Wander of the Dragons. This is a Xbox 360 era remake. Another remake of Double Dragon 2. You can definitely see that Double Dragon 2 was the one. There's already been two remakes of it and stuff, so... This might not be the worst game, but it also might be the worst game. You know, if any of you are not familiar with this, you probably don't know what I'm referring to here, but... Um, 
This is definitely this is definitely the worst one of the worst remakes, if not the worst remake of anything of all time. Let's look at history though. Uh, you have taught us to never use our skills on personal purpose, but Marion is gone. The Black Warriors have gunned down my girl Marion, Master. Master, where's those dreams that I've been after? We'll avenge for her death no matter what. It gives her disobeying your teachings. They spoke to the late Master silently. Blah, blah, blah. Double Dragon. You master yes. That you can. That's us. Basic is best way. Master of your skill. <laughs> so in a twist... We play the tutorial as Marion, wearing Virtue purple biker ice, shorts and yellow. And yes, press the X button to attack. Um, so, this is a very, very different game made by very, very different people. I think this is made by a group called Baronson. I think they're in South Korea. And three, four, six other companies all, all came together to make this happen. I don't know if this came out on PS3. It certainly came out on the 360, and it's still up now. This is, despite the fact that this should be delisted, it is not for some reason, even though this, like, literally hurt the franchise. You know, no, take the cool iOS game away. Never port the Zebo version, but you gotta make sure Wanderer of the Dragons is here. So, I think it comes across you know, fine, uh, just my character walking around, but this controls so terribly, and I can't even explain it. It it, it just feels like a janky, like, 3D interpretation of a beat-em-up. Like, you don't lock your, your, your direction quite where you want to be. As we can see, there's some type of invisible wall that's kind of stopping me from really hitting this dude. Fucking hell, man. There's these guys. I don't know. You do have a perfect guard, so that's something kind of neat. That guy's just walking into nothing. S sick. And the camera zooms so far out. And it's hard to even really... Oh my god, I forgot about the AI in this, huh? What? Oh yeah. Girl! She had so much time to avoid that! Not to victim blame, I'm sorry, Marion, but Jesus, you you walked away, then turned your back towards them. Oh yeah, this gave us cutscenes. Actually, if, if I remember, the cutscenes are like one of the highlights. Yeah, with the tears. That was a thing that was in the other games. So, you were scared, weren't you, Marion? So yeah, this is like when the, the Lee brothers were busy doing something, this was happening. So, they, they kind of just find her body. But then... Oh, oh, oh. oh god, they look like... You know what they look like? They're from Ride to Hell Retribution. Hey, it's me, Billy Lee, with my wallet chain. I miss my wallet chain. Everyone bullied me until I got rid of it. They bullied me into getting rid of it. I, was like, I should bring it back. I'm going to bring it back one day. You all see. So, as you can see, this actually is the first level of Double Dragon 2, like in the airfield. Now, like I said in previous videos, um, I felt like the airfield wasn't an airfield. I felt like it was on top of a building. So yeah, there's punch, there's kick, there's block, and then there's like a super button. But we pick up supers as we as we go along. They're in statues. We haven't seen those yet, but we're, we're gonna get them. And unfortunately, like, here's the thing. That's it. There's no combos really to do. I mean, th there is, but th there is in the sense that just keep your combo going. Like, there's no real combos. With, like, you know, things link into other things or, or juggles. It's just that long-standing, like, oh, uh, just keep your combo going until whatever. Now, I just picked up a health pickup, which is a completely foreign concept to the Lee Brothers. Like, what? Health? Except in like maybe Double Dragon Neon, 
but even then, like, this is the, f I think this is the first, because this predated uh, Neon by a few years, I think. Actually, I don't know. Anyway, um, this is the first Double Dragon game with actual health pickups. The Look at that! Uh, uh. Just the instant you pick this up, the instant you're like, this is bad. This is, just, it just feels so off and wrong and shit to just attack enemies and that's just like there's no point in continuing because you know when to beat them up that's all you're going to be doing 90 percent of the time all right here we go i will get you in one second so now i have like this specific move that i can do and once the higher the combo it, it is then you get meter it, it's so fucking weird and i don't even really want to talk about it I don't even know what some of these characters are supposed to be. I guess that's Williams? I don't know this dude with the eye patches. Maybe it's those red haired guys that I think they had an eye patch? I don't know. Okay, yeah, Billy, you won. I can't I can't overemphasize how awful that everything I just played was. And this isn't a short double dragon game, by the way, folks. This is like a few hours, unfortunately. Uh, thanks to all my, uh, very helpful, uh, editing friends, though. Um, we're, we're gonna cut this down significantly, because I would not, I would not, uh, want to subject you all to, a, like, a, an unedited Let's Play of this, because it's such a slog. I don't think, you know what? This will be an adventure for me, too. Do you know why? Because I don't think I've ever actually beaten this. I got maybe halfway through, I want to say Mission... Three, four, I don't fucking care. I, I got at some point on my uh, 360 and then I just I just quit, you know? Okay, so that's that's your hurricane kick. It's alright. Um and again you need energy to even do it, uh, that you have to get by doing the combos. So again, very different fighting system. I don't think it's a particularly good one. Uh, let's just leave. Let's just get it over with. Yeah, that's no boss. Just that's the end of the stage, I suppose. I guess if it's a remake, what are they supposed to do? It's just baffling. Every choice here is baffling. I almost feel, and we're just back to the airfield again. And you don't have to be exact to to the the original game but at the same time you're you're also being exact what is this oh my god is this supposed to be yeah, it's supposed to burn off that's a terrible design regular burn off looks so much cooler like regular bur burn off looks like what a Mad Max character right and this just looks like some generic Joe Blow Schlamoni from like every sci-fi game a cheap sci-fi game in the 360 PS3 era. At least there's boss music. I'll give it that. Um, tr trying to find the positives here, folks. He gets a cool demon skeleton thing to indicate that he is he is a boss on his life bar. I get the cool dragon. That's that's that showing the d dichotomy of good versus evil. I and just like, here's the thing, it, it makes it feel like, oh my god, I actually died. REVENGE! <laughs> that's good. Okay, that's fine. What is this? I don't remember this. Oh, it's like a little momento. Uh. Oh, I think it's like Marion's Locket. Oh, that's sweet. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Can't zoom in on that. I mean, it didn't even happen like that. She wasn't on the ground, but okay. Cutscenes are awesome in this. 
Every day, I'm I'm thankful that I forget Rufus was ever a character in Street Fighter, but then something reminds me. He's back! Because that's the thing that Burnoff do. What the? Is this another moment? <laughs> what? Why? Why has it got to be like that? So I do like little cutscenes fleshing out, you know, a relationship. A very basic uh, form of, of romance. Uh, you know, did George Lucas write this? But at least it's something. You know, you know I don't mind that too much. Because usually, what is it in Vietnam? It's always talking to the boss. Well, why'd you kill Marion? And and where is the next boss that I need to fight? What the hell? What just... The levels are all messed up. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, we're grabbing onto the, the helicopter. That's a bit like um, NES Double Dragon 2. It's kind of neat. So I do like cutscenes that put a focus on 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 Billy and Marion. It's kind of interesting. So as far as I remember, those coins up at the top is like I have as many of uh, those coins as I have continues. So whenever I die, I have to pay with coins if I want to continue. So they're basically like lives. Oh my god, why am I getting my ass kicked so hard? I can't move past this fucking. Okay. Like, what did IGN give this? You know, IGN uh, famously gave Double Dragon Neon a review that hurt the game. You know, it, it, it hurt it, like their God Hand review, you know? Um, what did they give this? I don't actually know. I'd be surprised if they... they if they ra rated this higher than Double Dragon Neon, then that is... that is... Test what am I... what's happening? <laughs> what was I supposed to do there? Oh my god! That was a QTE! Um, but yeah, I'd be, I'd be curious. Like, this got, this got really, really bad reviews from just gen generally. I don't, I don't know any exact ones offhand. Um, I do, I do appreciate that, just looking at this now, that the camera angle is so zoomed in. I'd rather it be that size the entire way through. Alright, what was I supposed to do here? This is, th this helicopter is just going upside down and sideways. We're not sure why. Is it supposed to tap? I couldn't even tell it was happening so fucking dark. What, what, what was that weird creature? Was that a slime? So I, I do like that they, they decided to put this level in here, but man, this is already so janky. And the thing with, we don't have Jimmy on screen, unfortunately, but Jimmy, like, it's so lazy. It's the exact same character, the exact same hair. Just slightly different color and obviously wearing dark red because this is a 7th gen game so everything has to be as desaturated and dark as possible. This uh, was the style at the time. What? What? No! Why? Why is... Who's driving this? It's going away completely out of the... Oh! There's like a weird mascot like plush doll that's falling down. I have no idea what that is. So here's the thing, the, the airfield level, right? It was it was quite boring to watch, I'm sure. But at least there's stuff happening. Like, at least there's set pieces. And, and I don't know if that continues. I did get farther than this uh, as a child. <laughs> as, like, a 26-year-old child. But, um... Yeah, like, I, I, I don't know where this goes. Like, I, like, vaguely in my head, oh, this is what happens in Double Dragon 2. But I don't know what they're going to do in this remake. They can do whatever the hell they want. I don't, I don't know. I'm I'm excited to see if anything gets stupider. Like, more QTEs. That's what I want. Ooh, like right here. What are we gonna do? <laughs> what? Why? Why is it crashing, though? I didn't even, like, hurt anybody in the cockpit. Oh, we crash into the farm. So that's interesting, though. That kind of bridges the gap between the NES version and the arcade versions, because the NES version doesn't really have the countryside farm level, which is a weird thing to say when you really think about it. I know we've seen a couple of farm levels in Double Dragon 2 already, but just the fact that there's a farm level. Oh, or, or not, we're in like a generic warehouse. Cool. I so rarely get to use these fucking special moves. That guy's stuck on the background again. Alright, so it's a horizontal uh, hurricane kick. 
Why? Why put a health pack right at the start of the level? I only fought one dude. Okay, cool. And there's another one over there. It's very generous with the health pickups. Hmm? That's the exit? <gasps> Linda! Hey, girl! Oh, okay. She got me. Linda, why we gotta fight? There's no reason to. Just planks of wood so far, huh? We don't have the shovels, we don't have a knife. I, I didn't see a knife at least. Just planks of wood. That's really desperate when you're fighting. Oh, now I can climb, cool. What? What's happening? Okay. I didn't even stop that! Get out of here. So another coin, basically, yeah. Another extra life, so that's something. Man, that's the same rusty metal. <laughs> Billy's falling right now, and he's like, yeah, level clear, nailing it. Marion be so proud, Marion's ghost. Okay, so I just fell in stage six. So, so yeah, I thought stage four, but I, I don't know. Not, now I'm kind of losing track. Oh, I don't remember green slime. Oh, what is this contraption? This is gonna, what is this gonna be now? Yeah, I, I, I guess I didn't get this far. This is as far as I got. Like, I'm glad I own this. Like, I'm pissed off that it's still available. Like, I wish I had this, but it wasn't available anymore because then it would make it more like exclusive. Who the- oh my god, that's supposed to be the, uh, Terminator-looking dude that we always fight near a conveyor belt in Double Dragon 2? Oh my god, Steam. You know, a as powerful as martial arts can be, can't stop Steam! Oh, please let this end. Oh, Jesus, what was that? Ugh, fine, I'll get revenge! That- that's what- so, cutscenes... A few in-game, like, little cut cutscene, like, silliness going on, and the the continue screen that says revenge. Oh, are we good? We out? Yeah. Didn't have to fight that boss, but that's alright. I will say the music is alright. I wish it was better. It's not atrocious, like, compared to some- what the- Can I- oh. So Billy can't take water, can he? Good, no? Alright, 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 alright. Yeah. Gonna have to jump! <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. These are all practices, you know? Okay. Alright. Yeah, no, back it up, back it up. Back that ass. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! Wow, physics! Oh! Oh! If you hadn't already get, uh, gotten killed here, I would have let myself die right there. Can't knock these motherfuckers into into the water though. More more bits of wood. Like anytime I find something new, it's like no, don't you can't have fun with that. The weapons the weapons are lame too. Oh! No no boss music though. For whatever reason there there was with Burnov, but not here I guess. Ow. Damn, that does a chunk of damage. Just getting up from getting a life taken away? I should die more. And like that character looks so lame. Translated to 3D, this boss. Oh my god. Christ. Um I mean he didn't have a fantastic design, the original Double Dragon 2, but that's just like way lamer. Like the he did not make the transition to 3D very well at all. Jesus, stop hitting me, stupid eye patch boy! It was a little rough. It was a little rough. What? How? He had tons of health. Oh, he's just leaving. Okay, cool. <laughs> that, looked, that looked amazing. What? What'd he throw? Like a photo? What is that? <laughs> oh, it's like an old 2000s phone. Oh, momento. Why do the bosses keep throwing me momentos? What is happening? Okay, they're in the water. 
What is Billy and Jimmy's relationship with Marion together? It's 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 interesting, right? I love the way River City Girls 2 handled that. Alright, this is mission 18. What are we on? It feels like a mission 18. Mission 8. Okay. I was pretty close, to be fair. God, we we're just we're just in a Terry Bogard stage, which normally I'd be hyped for, but ow oh, jeez, not this. So yeah, you can't you can't attack guys when they're too close to the screen, even if you can see them. That's one thing about 2D beat em ups, you can still hit guys that are off screen, just as they're just a little bit off. That's all it takes. But this, no. 3D says no. There was a bunch of shit on that truck. Oh, I don't like the looks of that. This frame rate though. I'm playing this on original 360 hardware and it uh, it is struggling to run this sometimes, which is uh, very sad. Okay, he's hidden barrels. That's something. That's a tactic grenades. Oh god, those explosions. Those are sick. Can I throw these back at him? I don't know if I want to try. So what is this? There's an orange bar, and I think I have to deplete that, and then he takes damage on the red bar. I can if he does these weird, awkward backhands. Revenge! When I get all all that down in one go, then he takes red damage. Weird, weird system. And I kind of have it too, but I thought it was more of a stamina meter. Not stamina meter, but like special me. I don't know. You know, I've I've long stopped caring about how anything works here. I just want to see more dumb cutscenes. Please give me more dumb cutscenes. All right, perfect guard. I really don't know what. Maybe. Uh, Maybe I get more points for doing it. It didn't really seem to affect the boss. Uh, maybe it did a bit more damage, but I you know. It doesn't strike me as a move that I really, ha really have to do. Please go away, all of you. Perfect guard. I pressed. Oh! <laughs> Still have to d defeat a jobber, though. Ooh, cutscene! Never gonna skip those. So we crashed into uh, the town, a town, a west. Yeah, the the it's a western uh, looking town in, in the original game. Maybe not this western, but it's close. Like I think that Yellowstone sign was there in the more wood. I'm getting wood all the time. I can't stop it. I have to whack. Oh my god, just bring enemies in. What? What? Why with the 2x4s? Well, we're all fans of Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Haha! -ha! Jim Duggan doesn't have fans. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the, the health. Oh my, look at those dudes running from the back. Oh my god, just give us a minute. Oh, the, there's a shovel. Shovel Chin is finally here! I can't pick it up! Christ. Ooh, I like that. I like these signs. G gigantic Bruce Lee poster? In this abandoned western town? I don't know what they're going for here. Okay, we good? We good. Feel like we're good. Wait, what? Go that way? Not here? Not this door of the tribal tattoo? What the... Oh, Duo Poe is in front of the sign. Pay homage to Bruce Lee. Okay, that's fine. Who puts a hit ratio in a beat em up? I threw 170 punches, but only 13 land? What, what are you saying? And that, that, that seems off. The math seems off there. So, what? Why did I go in here? What is happening in there? Oh, an exciting scene happened inside, but we didn't see it. <laughs> just, just struggling, struggling to get through the fighting bits, especially when they're that close to the screen. It just drags it out even further. What the? What is that tree back there? Does that say Jimmy and Bimmy <laughs> plus Marion? Why is it highlighted so much? What is this tree? Why is Jimmy scratched out? What is this? Who's that? 
<laughs> what's the story behind? What's the drama? Okay, that's Billy. And that's Jimmy. Who the fuck's More that? Friends. Not anymore, huh? What? This is like my K-dramas! What the f- who the fuck is this guy? I mean, I kinda dig it, whatever they're going for here, but you- Can you not have a name? Even a subtitle about who's talking? That's so weird. Why is Jimmy scratched out? Like, who scratched that out? Was it Billy? Was it whoever the fuck this dude be? Oh my god, he has like double dragon moves. Maybe it's supposed to be like Sunny or some shit? I don't know. A perfect guard didn't do anything, but I, I mean, I did it. Yeah, he just he just blocked the, the follow-up, so what's the point in doing perfect guard? Unless there's a specific button I should be- I'm, I, I'm just pressing the regular punch. It should be enough. Are you dead? Who was that mysterious man? Oh, I just... Shit! What? <laughs> it just rolls over you. It doesn't give a fuck. What was I supposed to do? That was a death? I thought it was like a cutscene. Because I don't have control over... Okay, I have control here. No. Maybe, maybe run to the to the right. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Let's see it a third time. The third strike is what counts. Let's go. Oh yeah, just go over to the right. Aha, loser. That's kind of neat. That'll just roll over the place, and you can at least see it coming and avoid it. Hopefully. Oh Jesus. Get the extra life. Ah. Oh. Sucks that there's no blood. That would that would help the scene a little bit. The drama. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, please have a dumb QT! Oh! Aha! Amazing! Oh my god, he just jumped a gorge! <laughs> what? Oh yeah, the cows! Oh, they're okay, folks. The Moo Moo's are okay. Alright, so now we're just... Oh, okay. We're down that gorge. I guess I didn't make it. Unclear. Look at all that shit. Two health packs side by side. But I'm starting the stage off. Why would I? Oh, okay, maybe I'm gonna get hit by these bozos. Wait, how did I jump from a gorge that was on the farm, but then I'm up in the sky on a mountaintop? Whatever. It, it, it doesn't matter. Why do I keep asking stupid fucking things? That's such a bad helicopter noise, like it barely sounds like one. Oh my god, oh god, I, was, I thought I was gonna have to fight the helicopter. Oh, it's the tough dude with the sticks. Yeah, 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 before you go into like the golden martial arts palace in the last mission, remember we had such a tough time with this guy and the arcade version of Double Dragon 2, he just, he just beat my ass to oblivion. So, oh my god, there's a knife there. I did not see that. This is our first, first glimpse of a non uh, bit of wood weapon and I can't get to it jeez they, they don't want me to have it they know they know I'm I'm jonesing for anything that's not wood in my hands damn it oh wait I killed him never mind he was less tough than I thought I think it also counts kills too. It's, it's not wasn't a knockout or enemy defeated. It was I killed them, crushed their larynxes. Oh please let this be the final mission. <laughs> please, this is what mission eighteen. Was. The shit is that stage twelve. Oh, uh, do you think you have enough stages, assholes? I have to get home for craft work. That's the, that's the type of music. I don't know what the music choices 
again, they've been really hit or miss. I've heard some Double Dragon theme music here and there. Oh, there's ladies. Hello, ladies. They're, they're... I wonder if I'm gonna have to fight them, ladies. Anything? No, they're just, they're just there. So it's a nice restaurant that's up in the mountains. I mean, I guess that, that could be an... There's the little guys! The little dumpling mascot on the table on the bottom right. Oh, there's a new enemy too. I don't know who all this is supposed to be again. You know, they've, they've reinterpreted a lot of costumes and stuff, so I don't know who they're going for anymore. Oh shit, he blocks a lot. Christ. Cool. Oh shit! Black pink in your area! Oh, just one of them though. Oh no, there's... Oh wait, there, there they all are. You're missing, you're missing one member of, of BP. Okay, th that that one seems really scared. She doesn't want to come out and fight, which is fine. I'm 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 fine with that. All right, die, please. I hope that kills him. Oh, is that? Oh, I thought it was a bat or anything. No, it's a bit of wood. Oh, just another one of the stick dudes. Can you at least drop your stick, sir, so I can use them? No. Ugh, revenge. Where the hell are we? What is this? Oh, there we are. Yeah, I got... L let's bring this part back from Double Dragon. Everyone loves this part. And it's, like, way dumber looking th uh, uh, here than it is. It's, like, gigantic statues. And it's, like, only their arms move, like, a little bit. They just kind of jut the spears. So it, looked, it felt more mechanical and realistic. And these are just, like, alive statues. I'll just... Thankfully, in three dimensions, I can just kind of stay away. What's this guy? Look at him with the sticks! Am I gonna be fighting one? What?! Th the ones on the pedestals, I'll be like, okay, they're automatons or they're statues. They're, they're mechanical, they're, they're plugged into the walls, and they just take swipes at whoever all day. But you can't just throw one that's, like, alive. Or unless this is just a dude that just spray-painted himself tan. Die, please go away. I don't want to find, okay, blink out of reality. What the hell is that? What the hell is this? What is this? What is, no. You can't, you can't do this. This is, that's like Final, it's like a Final Fantasy now. What? All right, fine. I deserve that. That is fine. I'll just keep jumping around until I make it. They, they can't take all of my 12 live coins. Well, maybe they can, actually. I don't I don't know how, how tougher the, the rest of the game is going to be. Oh, this, this is the gameplay you all came to see. You're like, oh, I want to I see Mad Beast on the Bad Double Dragon 2 remake on the fucking Xbox 3. On the XBLA. All right, what? Now what? Oh, that's going to be a trap for sure. But I don't care. Yeah. Again, the Billy, the Billy Brothers, <laughs> the Billy Brothers' greatest weakness is just trap, trap doors. How many games? At least like three by my count, and I think there's going to be another one later on that we're going to that we're going to play where there's like a trap door comes comes in. Who the hell? Why am I in the game? What the hell is that? A syringe? Are you serious? Oh my God! Look at the AI. How, how how much you want to bet I'm gonna have to fight a shitload of those big generic bruiser enemies? Oh, there's like a whole stage of this, huh? There's probably a whole a whole giant room just for this. It's just it's just Burnov again. It's just his exact model, just without the mask. Maybe Burnovs are like manufactured? I don't know what they're going for. I don't even know why we need to expand upon this. A shortcut, but I guess not. Oh, hi, Lindas. At least the Lindas are cute. Yeah, or... Oh, a knife! A knife! Get the knife! Get the knife! Maybe the knife will help. Get out of the way. Oh, Jesus. Die. No? Does this hurt him? It hurts. Alright, knife, knife, knife. 
That, that barely hurt him again. Oh my god, a knife went flying. Linda's, please. Oh, two. Great. Yeah, that's what that's what we all wanted. You're like, you're like probably at home, like all like uh, laughing and snickering, just going. I hope Matt has to fight too. Well, you got your wish. Okay. Oh, that's better kill. Yeah, one maybe. Yeah, one. Oh. Please, Lord, give me strength. Oh, wait, a stupid... Oh, that hits while I'm on the ground. Amazing. At least it killed him. At least my assassin got what was coming to him. No, 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 no! I couldn't move. Oh, I couldn't move. I'm dead again. That explosion kills you at full health. Lord, how much more. This, this, this is... This is requiring a lot out of me, my mind, body, and soul here. What the? Why would you place the camera like that? I can barely see anything. My wallet chain looks so cool. I have five coins left, people. At least this will pump it up a little bit. We, we might not make it. Don't you know I can't make it? I'll never make it. All right, but this is like maybe the final room. Yeah, it could be. It's kind of set up like the final rooms we've seen in, in, in previous games. Okay, big damage there. Good, 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 good. Uh, what's that? That's one uh, health. Oh, he's, it's pretty cool. Like in the previous games, like the boss is always kind of hidden or he's up in the rafters and then he would show up. It's nice that he's there the entire time. Uh, watch me take care of all of his hired goons. But this is like looking at one okay thing per hour of <laughs> playing this. This video is cut up, but, but I'm I'm like on I'm two hours in, like approaching three. Like I'm not saying I'm gonna rage quit this game, but I, it's it, it's not off the table either. Like if I die. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, if all eight coins go away, what actually happens? Well, nine. The gonna well now back to eight since I can pick up that that one up. But if I die and it says, "Well, I'll redo this stage again," nah, I think I'm good. You know. So I would like to beat this in in the one go that I have. You know the the, the patience for. All right, everyone's dead. Oh my god. Alright, caught him in some type of loop there, I don't know. Oh my god, he hit me out of the super. Just die. The sooner you die, the sooner I can stop playing. Uh. Oh, we got to fight all the ladies! <laughs> Look at them jump! <laughs> Amazing! Alright, there, here's Mr. Machine Gun. Are you hitting anybody? What's... Uh, it's cool that you have to fight them. That's something, you know? That's... That's content. Oh, already... Or, oh, there he is! And he's just shooting at everybody. He doesn't care. He doesn't care! Shoots out grenades. Okay. That took a huge chunk of damage off me. So yeah, we have we have eight coins. I think we can do it. We have eight coins to defeat him. Okay, invincible on that at least, so not too worried. Even he's he's at sixty percent health. I th I think unless something really stupid happens, or there's like a second form, or there's like a sh a shadow Jimmy or some shit, it could. If it's a remake, it very well could have a, sh a shadow Jimbo. But depending on how Shadow Jimbo goes, if that's a thing. But it stands to reason. Yo! That looks sick, though. For real. Oh, wait, no, that's the boss? Yeah, no, that's supposed to be a, 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 a Lee brother. I, I love how it turned the uh, brightness down a lot so I can barely see what I'm doing. I like that. Don't need to see what I'm doing. So yeah, he definitely has the dragon moves too. Who the fuck was that guy I fought at the tree? 
So, so I do really like that visual, the cutscene showing off. However, this this shadow guy came came into being. I don't know if that shot out of the boss or or what the deal is. It's really not explaining. But okay, down down another continue. Again, not too hard. He's at fifty percent. What what was that? Why did I do a random flip? I never see that before. At least isn't as annoying as that other the arcade one where he like uh, melts into the ground. I I I might quit there if he starts doing that. Or I might just die naturally. Perfect guard and then just nothing. Hey bro. Why are we fighting, man? Yeah, I think. Yeah? Violent Jimmy. A violenter Jimmy. Oh my god. Oh, that's kind of cool. That was a cool pose. Doesn't even question it. He's just like, whatever. I, I killed the shadow version of my brother. What? They're both Do dead? Do not use fatal skills in battle or lead to a tragic fate. Wait, was that like a bad end? Like, did I use like illegal moves? That was I not supposed to kill him? What was that? Oh, if there's another ending, screw it. Um, editor, Glyscore, Brunty, um, Ultima, whoever might be editing this, because I don't know yet. If there's another ending, look it up. Maybe we should we should put it in here just so we can see it. Cause I wasn't very happy. Right? That seemed like bad ends. I don't know. You know, I don't, no, screw that, I don't care. If people want to look it up, they can look it up. I don't want to give this game any more attention than I already have. I already beat it. That's enough, so. This is, this is a hard one because it's like I was entertained um, during certain bits, but it's still so terrible. Like, for an Xbox 360 era remake, this should have been like a slam dunk. Easy. Like the the um, PC Engine one was uh, was was way sicker than this. So uh, just because of how atrocious the gameplay, the graphics, the performance, uh, all the character designs, um, I have I, I like this is like you know like a, uh, but, but I, I'm only gonna give it like a few uh, d a couple of decimal points just because of the entertaining bits like the QTEs, the cutscene stuff. So. I, I don't think I can give this higher than like a two. I know I've given maybe worse games slightly higher than that, but this is like a two. I mean, it could have easily been like a three or even a four if they had just made a good game. I looked at the development of this; it went textbook. Like there's no what happened here. They just made, they just tried their best, and this is as good as they came up with. So. Uh, Double Dragon 2, Wanderer Dragon, that, that's, that's, that's two bimmies out of, out of five. Um, yeah. M maybe a 1.9, maybe a 2.1, depending on how I'm feeling that day. But, um, we have a few more major titles left, uh, with only, like, a few ports each. Uh, we're, we're getting, we're getting closer and closer, and if, if this is the worst it's gonna get, which I think it kinda is, um, then that's not too bad, you know? Uh, we still have a couple more. Uh, dudes to punch and Marion's to save. We're getting there, folks, though. Just hang in there. Aw, yeah. If, they, if anyone can save us from the doldrums of bad Double Dragon games, it's certainly way forward. And Double Dragon Neon. No, 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 no. For my money, probably has, at the very least, the best soundtrack uh, in, all, in all of Double Dragon history. Double Dragon 4... Return of Double Dragon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that, that's that second, but I, I think I think Neon just just by sheer variety outclasses it. Okay, here we go. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Anything could happen. He could just whoa. Yep, that's me. Brilliant. It's the first thing that let you know that Way Forward knows what they're doing with this game, at least in terms of homage and tone and such. Marion? Oh man, not this again. 
<laughs> which, which, if this is a remake of Double Dragon 1, implies that it's happened <laughs> in prequel games we never got to play. Uh, big, big character nameplates, which is always appreciated. I, I think that's great for normal enemies. It just gives them that little bit more attitude. And it has been a while since, since I've played this. I, I downloaded the Switch version which I was a little disappointed had like nothing new. I'm glad it existed, but I like not even any improvements to the to the gameplay or, or visuals. Ow, oh my god, I'm trying to do the blocking thing. There you go. It only it only took three tries. Uh, so for those that haven't partaken in, in the delights of neon, uh, ducking there uh, gets you gleam. Gleam? Gleam. <laughs> Smooch. It gets you shine, um, and basically what that doesn't that doesn't double your your attack power in like 2.4 <laughs> times is your attack power for like a couple of seconds. It's it's the main sort of gameplay technique that we're going to be doing. It, it really really helps out if you take full advantage of it. I like do it every single encounter because I think I think aside from a few rare attacks. You can duck absolutely everything. Uh, and there's there's stricter timings. Oh my god, Williams. There's stricter timings and stuff like that. Uh, on, on certain attacks, especially by bosses, I'm sure. Let's, uh, let's go into the song thing. And again, for those that don't know, this is the second sort of main gameplay. Yeah. All right, so we have training wheels stuck there. So every time you pick up like an 80s mixtape, it can either be a passive buffs to like your entire move set or like uh, the special moves that you can do uh, that use the uh, electric meter right below your health. So it's basically like offense, like an offensive special and like, you know, uh, uh, so get a spin kick is gonna be an offensive one. Spin kick's really, really good. It's basically our hurricane kick. He's a maniac. <laughs> Just so simple. On your knees, idiots. So a bit controversial change. I guess it was controversial in double dragon circles, which is you can't actually grab someone by their hair and do follow-up attacks. I think there's a line from like the shopkeeper that you'll find later in this game that's like, that's 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 barbaric to do that. We don't allow that here. But you're still like stomping your, your fist into their uh, body on the floor. That's just as brutal. But for whatever reason, I, I think, um, I think Way Forward stated that it, it was just a slow move. Uh, and yeah, and they just didn't want to put, put that in there because it just slowed things down. And the game already, yeah, like I said, has has a deliberate pace. And I, I could see that being a concern. So those little treasure chests, they 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 do some fun things with those later. Is this a bobo or is this okay, not yet. And the camera pans out, it's a, usually a bobo is a is, is is a common. I should figure out the, the knee attack. It, yeah, again, it has been a little while, but juggling is possible in this game. Uh, probably one of the few games that we actually got that you can still buy nowadays that has juggling. I, I, I think maybe he's slightly over-designed, but this is a good Abobo, I think. I, I, I think his, his proportions a little, like, he's, he's, he's on Abigail territory from Street Fighter V. Maybe a bit too much. Oh, no! Are we, are, I want to, I want to duck something. I, I botched that. Botched that too. No. Oh, yeah, the third time. Oh, screw it. I'll get it. There you go. So usually you just need to get one gleam and, and that'll take care of most enemies. Do we get anything from there? Power Gambit? Yeah. One of my least favorite songs, actually. And again, in, in an homage, we have the conveyor belt. It looks a little goofy here. It, it looks like, I don't know, like a, a boost pad from a racing game. But we can manipulate some enemies to go in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be uh, good enough to do it. As we, as we can see, there's certainly some rust on me here. Oh, no! Yeah! I'll take that. We take those Ws. It's it's weird the way that the uh, hurricane kick works. It's, sometimes it sucks enemies towards you and they go the opposite direction of where you think. Just fall, Williams. No? I'm still standing. 
Okay, I think he's just right on the edge where he's there. There actually isn't a the fear of actually falling. He, he's just right on an invisible pixel. Can we get a Bobo in there? Is what I want to know. No. Yes, we can. Level complete. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, at least my assassin got what was coming to him. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna not do well on that. Okay, yeah, I didn't do well on that. Uh, typically. For those that don't know, we can bounce those around and, and max out our money there, but it is what it is. That's Double Dragon. So, I, I might as well talk about it, and this great screen here. Uh, I might as well talk about it. You know, there is a certain uh, percentage of Double Dragon old school fans that are just like, I don't, I don't like how how like uh, silly and over the top uh, th this is. I get that. I totally get that. But at the same time, Double Dragon needed something. If you're gonna bring it back in like what is this 2013? You're gonna bring it back. You had to have done something silly or, or different or unexpected and embracing 80s pop culture i'm like yeah no that makes total sense how you like we saw the xbox 360 remake that was going in the other direction uh, i'm on a roll like it, it's almost embracing the double dragon cartoon as well and how over the top and silly that was but this this is at least got funny writing <laughs> You know, you're in there. Uh, some great performances, some fun characters. And for those that aren't familiar, again, uh, with this or the greater way forward Double Dragon verse, uh, we're gonna we're gonna see our villain. What were they supposed to do with with the villain situation? You know, who the hell's the villain of Double Dragon? So they made their all original one, and he's and he's kind of stuck around in games here and there. Uh, and and we're all better for it. And just these '80s. 80s like power ballads this dancey pop music love it when you listen to old double dragon soundtracks from japan they have like people singing uh with like really weird funny uh nonsensical lyrics and stuff um i forget i think the double dragon 2 album has stuff like that and i'm like that's that's amazing so it feels pretty appropriate to me oh i don't think the, the uh, linda and a williams really needed that but sort of seems like overkill like how she just shrugged off that knife hit so i threw a knife as, as hard as i could she's just like ow the other the other cool thing about this game in general is that a lot of the concept art design for i think all the characters uh, a lot of it was done by genzo man who i'm sure anyone fighting game and fan art circles will know was very busy around this time doing lots of stuff for lots of indie games as well as their own art and this game is is what partially in his work on this is partially what inspired me to uh ask if he'd be willing to do some stuff on the takeover with me so uh yeah he he provided the uh one of the main illustrations uh for it uh did coloring as well uh, for the final box for the final box art um, and it was really cool working with him he's got such a distinctive style and it, fe it felt really at home with this game and I felt it would be great for the takeover as well okay you're dead that's good let's move on it seems like a trap but I gotta find Marion what to do what to do I, I guess we'll have to find her now this scene right love this scene it's very over the top that's great it's unexpected that's great i think this scene would have been more effective uh, later in the game we go to we're going to space as you can see and we're starting the third level man this was a trap <laughs> I, I i think this is like a climax thing like oh my god we're now going to space and we're fighting the main villain who are you your worst nightmare so yeah it's great to establish your villain early so we know who we're fighting but the space thing we're going to be fight having a few levels in space here and i just think it's such an over-the-top thing it would have been better more more potent uh towards the end i, I think if skullmageddon just showed up on the city streets and he's like my hand resigned and took many on uh, and and left the actual space base. Uh, I think I would have preferred that a little bit. It's such a minor thing, though. What am I really complaining about, actually? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I call big damage. Couple more hits I would like to thank. He's very much flashing orange. Skeleton slash. Skeleton slash. 
It's like, even though Skull McGann is really silly and Skeletor-like, he's still the best villain in Double Dragon history. Bon voyage! Bon voyage! Uh, amazing. So yeah, putting him, putting him down on the, um on the uh, surface level on Earth. Because as you see, we're gonna go up and up and up. They're gonna go back down to Earth. It's just a weird pacing thing that's, again, a bit of a personal preference. I guess you could say it's a spacing problem, ha 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 ha. So, back in the old Xbox 360 version of this. Ah, uh, is this thing on? This rocket-powered space dojo will be your brain! Like, I think this is one of the last games I wanted to uh, get all the achievements for before I stopped caring about that. Hey, hover bizzle. Uh, these things are really easy to take care of, so I can just talk over them. Hitting all of the uh, TV screens it was part of those achievements. So you want to destroy all of them that you can. Uh, this is the Steam version that I'm playing, which oddly enough th does not work at first. You do have to play this in like Windows, uh, XP? I forget. Windows compatibility mode. There, there was, I had to look up the Steam discussion forums to see why I couldn't play it. It just wouldn't boot. Because the Steam port was like a, a year after, like 2014, maybe 2015, something like that. So it is quite a few years older. But yeah, I, I have put like, I don't know, something like 15 hours into this back on the 360 version in 2013. Because it is the type of game where it gets more fun the more you max out things. Because you can level up all your songs and all your special moves. And then to compensate for that, you, you pump up the difficulty. I think there's an unlockable harder difficulty. I think there's actually several now that I think about it. Uh, so it all scales up to, to be a pretty balanced experience in that way. There's a lot of replay value here. There really is. I don't know why I'm smashing all the TVs. I don't I don't need to. I just want to. No but up. Oh. Okay. That you know, I deserve that. Cattle prod, you know, the the old classic double dragon weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, key. Uh, I should probably throw away the cattle prod. We, yeah, I think there's even an achievement for using the key as a weapon. I don't know if it'll pop up on Steam, but if I hit someone, because the key is not a weapon, but he can use it like one. It's really silly. No, knock me out of it. I'm, I'm risking damage to show that to you guys. Oh, okay, just a bunch of money. Got healing touch. You know, I'm not one for the non-offensive moves. I, I honestly stick to spin kick and just, just because it hits so many people on screen, it's easy to do. You can combo into it fairly easily. Like this is the bulldozer move. It looks kind of cool, but it's, it's, it's sort of hard to finagle in the heat of battle, I kind of find. Oh, baby, baby. All right, so this this is a, a little tricky a bit of a section. The airlock. You ever see this really old movie, Aliens? Fortunately, I, I, I'm pretty decent at it. I'm, I'm going to proclaim that I'm not going to get sucked into the airlock at all. No, I refuse. See, I refuse. Uh, the one thing you'll notice uh, again if you're if you have never played this this particular Double Dragon game before, your electric like special move meter fills on its own, just slowly, but fills on its own, uh, which I much prefer to whatever the system was, and oh my, yeah, than the Xbox 360 Edgelord remake, right? I hated that, actually. It was, it was so hard to, oh no. I almost want to restart that, but it's fine. Let's just move on. <laughs> Hold your breath. This is hard vacuum. We're just gonna hold our breath. That'll be okay. That's kind of how space works, so. These guys have space helmets on, so I, I suppose that protects them from the uh, horrible vacuum of space. Okay, what, what now? Oh! The tape worm! <clears throat> so, I was able to, I my mashing skills were at like the, the, the height they'd ever been at to maximize all my tapes to level them up by going back to previous levels. We've seen the map screen by now, right? Go back to previous levels and just find all the tapeworms and just mash my, my, my little heart out. 
that was one technique for, for leveling them up. Again, 15 hours. And to complete this game, like a first run through on normal difficulty, it's, it's about three hours, I'd say, maybe a little bit less. It's one of the longer Double Dragon adventures. Take that fax machine. Oh, look at all, all these screens gotta die. Hate them. And for this one back here, I need, I need this. Yeah, let's let's just wait for my meter to go up. Miles dice. There you go. Nice. Awesome. So we're fighting the Mandroid, which if you can't tell by this screen, is a Mega Man homage. He's kind of an annoying fight though, not gonna lie. I don't know, I guess it's supposed to be like a rush bike. Oh my god. Oh, we're starting off super sick. <laughs> D do some damage, anything. Uh, 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 uh. Get away. Please die. Nice. My hog. Uh. So on foot, not nearly as annoying, I don't think. He shoots his little, little, little yellow lemons. There, there's a Mega Man. Esque dash, you, as you saw. Oh, I want to stay away from that actually, or I'll get right into it and, and get hit by it. I can do that too. All right, do the damage while he's while he's charging up. Okay, it's better than one of the dumbass plan I just had previous. What the, hell? what the hell? I do like his accent though. It's very different. I guess they didn't want to get a Capcom Capcom lawyers on the case here. Don't you lecture me with your thirty dollar haircut. Goku dies. Uh, uh, uh. All right, flashing very orange. There you go. Nice. So, meteorites. Uh, sorry, um, Mithril, I believe. Hold on. He's so gonna get laid. I love how the logo is still there, stage complete. That's kind of funny, I don't know why. So, we're going back down to Earth, uh, to the countryside, which is, again, a little bit Double Dragon 2 arcade, right? Don't worry, I think we'll be okay, folks. <laughs> the bumpers get me every time. Nothing like walking the streets of Earth. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty decent planet. I mean, I guess. Um, it's kind of on the decline, but whatever. So, yeah. Uh, ha. Uh, mithril that you get after defeating bosses, that's the other thing that you do to level stuff up by bringing it to the tape smith. And I think if you put the difficulty up as well, you get more Mithril for defeating certain bosses. So everything kind of works in conjunction with, with each other. It's it's what made me put 15 hours into this game. Even though the core adventure is, like I said, like, you know, two hours and some change. Uh, it's just what spurred me to, to put that much time into it. Oh my god, these ninja chicks. I remember them being really annoying. Oh, yeah, because of that. Because of the breakdancing ninja move that ninjas love to do. Foolish child. I'm not a foolish child. I'm a foolish man. Up here, there's some fun stuff, I'm sure. Like, you know, the classic double dragon weapon, the boomerang. Why is it so obsessed with boomerangs? New Captain Boomerang. And there's even these little, like, garden shears, mini scythes. I don't know. I don't know. I never know what these are called. Sickles! There's, it's a sickle, yeah? They're not dead yet? Make them dead! Use the helicopter! Yes, the helicopter. Million missiled meddler. So yeah, these guys, whatever. Does does it really matter that they're here? The 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 reason why we're here is because of these missiles. These slowly firing missiles. <laughs> you you wanna know you want someone to know that missiles are coming. You gotta give them some time to react to them, you know? Sorry, Mr. Oz! So would I, would I, what would I want to see in, in a sequel Double Dragon game if, if they're ever to make one? I don't know if, if WayForward has the rights to actually make a dedicated Double Dragon game. They've featured Billy and Jimmy in the River City Girls games, but I think that's, you know, a separate cameo. But it's like, w w should you do this again? I'm not sure. Should you do like some other take that like focuses on a different decade i don't know there's there's no easy answers here really we good helicopter no more okay okay i can do more just throw them into the missiles this, this is this is the secret i think i am invincible while doing the hurricane kick though so oh there's the knee oh my god i've been looking for that your incompetence baffles me <laughs> retreat my own incompetence baffles me that it took me that long to find the knee strike move. I do actually have that crystal, that crystal can 
of Dragon Kick Soda. It came with the, the limited run uh, special edition, the physical uh, for this game, which is, which is took a long time coming because this was a digital only release for, I don't know, 10 years? I also have to be very careful not to trigger the horrible special creature cameo thing that's in this game. So there is that Genzo Man artwork I was talking about. So this is where you can buy curios, like Crystal Dragon Kick, uh, more tapes, uh, extra lives too if I really need them. But yeah, I don't have one inch punch. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, let's let's listen to that because one inch punch is a banger. One inch punch. Mm, drop. So yeah, lots of homages to like pretty much every late 80s, early 90s uh, musical act you can think of. Like, you know, j we'll, we'll talk about it more as, as we go through it, but it's just, e even if you're not like, you know, the biggest fan of this over the top silly style, it's like very clear that uh, Wave 4 put a lot of love into it. Uh, you know, just, just didn't like do one thing, call it a day. It's like, unlike the Xbox 360, um, remake that we just played Oof. Uh, that I, I don't think a lot of love went into that I don't think a lot of care and thought went into that fighting system or how Billy and Jimmy were were uh, characterized you know I don't think the boss fights were uh, had that much th th effort put into them sadly um, so yeah even if you disagree with this sillier style um, the people that made it had fun making it and, and that, that does mean quite a bit to me, knowing that devs were having fun uh, instead of the usual thing, which is devs being pressured and have time and have crunch and have uh, time limits. Uh, you know, it's, it's just one of those things that makes me like this game uh, a bit more than pretty much every other like reissue modern take on Double Dragon that we've seen in the last couple of years, especially Double Dragon 4, unfortunately. The fan is really good. Fantastic. And it's fantastic. Oh! Did not expect that Obobo there. Not at all. Peekaboo! When the camera zoomed out, I was like, there's no Obobo coming. That's a no-no to that Obobo. Ugh. Okay, I really don't want to touch the wooden boards there. I don't know how much damage they really do. Enemies are not activating it, so that's a concern. Come on, Mr. Bow. Thank you. I think that might be the boss of this stage. Yeah, let's see if I can do not horrible. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I'm improving. I'm improving. I'm terrible at volleyball. Take a gander at this replay. The angle at which Sterling deflects the ball off his skull is nothing short of perfection. Why do I not getting tired of that? I don't know. I can't even explain it. Assault zone. I wonder what's going to happen here. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's got this funky song and more copters and tanks and shit. Ooh, Ninja Star. Oh, what? He didn't fall in. That was the whole point. Oh. Okay, I was I was a little nervous there. Oh, yes, the arrows. Huh. <laughs> Not a great start to the assault zone. I mean, it is what it said on the tin. You can't go down there. That is crime alley, you dumb dumb. So as I've talked about in lots of videos uh, previous. I enjoy when beat em ups throw in like platforming elements or hazards or something just to spice up the beat em up. Oh! Oh! I thought I could save it. The fact that Skull McGinn is willing to risk this like very expensive looking helicopter to beat me is, is a compliment, I feel. Uh, the missiles will be my friend. No, they won't. The missiles will not be my friend. Do not make friends with missiles, kids. It's not. It never works out. Is this a worthwhile song for me to get? Lightning? Uh, let's check it out. I think all it does is uh, summon homing magic that is fast but weak. We can at least maybe look at it. I don't know if I actually want to use it though. It's always great when your hero stabs someone to death and has like, you know, a quip. A fun 80s quip. There you go. It's super lame, the lightning. 
And it homes in on one guy. I thought it would track like everyone on screen, but I, I, I guess not. So yeah, lightning, I don't recommend, kids. I didn't even kill them. Of, co of course you can level these all up, like, like I've said in the past. But in terms of utility, I don't know about that. We're going back to spin kick. The Billy Buster, I don't... Uh, uh. That, is, that is technically impressive. Just wait it out. We're not in a rush. Are, are we giving up? Please let us... Let... No, we're not giving up. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. Yeah, 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 they do. They do. The first time I saw this, I, I kind of thought it was maybe a bug when I first saw it. I was like, is it supposed to? I don't think I was paying attention to Skullmageddon's uh, explanation. Oh, God. No. Okay. I should have just ran, but your startup for your run is so long. Look how many weapons there's on, there are on the floor. One, two, three, four, five. Like, compared to some other Double Dragon games we played, like, holy crap, the Xbox 360 remake had the bit of wood and that was it. I, I, I think it's a hallmark of the franchise. Like, if you ever were to do another Double Dragon, a sequel, whatever, add more weapons. There's literally no downside to it. Fuck you, I'm out! Okay, that's over with. Thank Lord. Oh, I do not want to touch those two stone idols down there. I think that brings brings forth the fuzzy demon. Um, I'm not even going to really explain it for, for those that have played this game. You know what it is, so I don't need, I don't need to explain it to you. And it's not worth knowing for, for the people that aren't familiar. Let's just not talk about it at all. Oh, that was that was an excellent jump. I'm very proud of the, uh, proud of the timing there. I don't know where all these archers are hiding. There's a lot of them. Maybe maybe the helicopter is shooting all these ladies. Please, I must. What am I doing? I'm, yeah, I'm saving Marion. I think it's been a little while since I thought about her. Quite frankly. All right, now what? I think. Yeah. My least visible creation. This giant tank. <laughs> So it really reminds me of that, like, tank, uh, I guess it's what it's going for, the, the weird tank monstrosity you see in Double Dragon 2 NES. If you're gonna take anything from that game, it's the weird tank thing! So I think we want to get rid of these. Uh, oh, Jesus! Okay, do we know where that came from? Die, die weird turret? I've never met a turret I liked. Get out. Well, turret gun in Perfect Dark is pretty sick. Okay, so I think I do have to grab this. I'm very close to this explosion, but what can you do? You got you got to take the bumps. We are running out of options. Bring back the <laughs> This is that's not I don't think Okay, whatever. You're you're the Skullmageddon villain here, not me. It would seem like a really bad idea to start shooting missiles at your own tank, but So I'm loosely basing it on the US military. I suppose I could just Oh. No, I I guess I can't roll. Roll, keep on rolling, baby. So yeah, I think it's 3 3 hits. You know, it is a video game after all. I don't know why I should, I should be surprised there. D do I need to kill every enemy? No. No, this isn't uh, the Edgelord 3 Xbox 360 remake with its weird kill counter at the end of the stage. But still, I I'm getting, I'm thinning out Skullmageddon's forces. Let's see, let's see if we can outrun. No, we can't. We can't. Can outrun missiles, kids. <laughs> This might be it. It might be a little bit more. Hopefully, I think that's a death. Goodbye, monster. You do not belong in this world. It's a different. It's a different game. Yeah, Mithril. I haven't seen a tape smith in a long time. A crazy stage for sure. Yeah, I kind of, kind of thought that would happen. Now's your chance to capture him. Take him to the lab. I'll make him a. <laughs> what does he mean? All right, so this is mission seven, some kind of lab. Oh man, more like science unfair. So yeah, there's there's a little um, secret here that I don't really want to do. If you hit this uh, hit this uh, punching bag about 87 times, the the year of Double Dragon One's uh, release, uh, you get transported to a secret level that's. It's it's interesting, but it's kind of annoying to actually play through. But I'll leave that to you kids to to, to play through or look look up an, another YouTube video. Roxy, oh my God, wait, no, no, boo, 
Bad Roxy, hate this character actually. It's just airborne, super annoying. Does these jetpack fuel? Oh, I should not. We, I, hmm. I want to talk about them. So I do like how enemies get reskinned. So these are Lindas we've seen before, but they get different costumes. It's just something that you know 3D beat 'em ups can do. Um, you know, if I was to make one, I, w I would certainly use use that advantage. I mean, these are Williams as these guys in the weird science coats. It's not something that the, that the Double Dragon 2 remake on the 360 leveraged, is it? All right, I forget what's up here. Oh God, these missiles. Oh yeah, I might be able to avoid a lot of these, but not most of them. You know, I'm no Murphigator. Hit these, why not? Get get a song, Dragon Swarm, already have that, but that's, that's cool. To bring these crushers back from Double Dragon 2, other, you know, awesome choice. Hi, Linda, or yeah, yeah, Linda. I was about to call her Roxy, and no, that's that's incorrect. Smash her butt! Yeah! Oh yeah, silhouette levels. I feel like these were all over the place. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, a lot, lot of them like that. I think it was, you know, I want to say Rayman. Rayman Legends, Rayman Origins, whichever. I think that was just, that's just a thing in the, in the late, like, 2010s, you know? You can kind of see me now that I had I the gleam, but okay, well, it's, it's gone now, but... I look cool for a sec. I look cool for one second. What are, what are you? Hello? What are you? Ooh, one up. Oh, here we go. I just saw out of the corner of my eye. No, don't ruin this moment, jobbers. This is what this entire video has been leading up towards. Get out. Oh, I, I thought that was going to be it, but no, I, I am denied for uh, up to another 30 seconds, at least. We, we were going to have to wait, folks. Sorry about this. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Yeah. So good. Still so potent. Like, Bimmy's bad enough. Bimmy, Bimmy's our scoring system, but I think Jammy is super underrated. Like, we, more people should be making fun of Jammy, honestly. But I am already in my pajamas. Mistranslated mutants. Mwah! Thank you, Way Forward. Yeah, th those were actually the bosses. Can I do better? I have an all-time streak of doing shitty. No, I can't. Doing really, really shitty with those. It's fine. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm making amends with it, I guess. No, no. No, hey, tapeworm. It's been a little while. Come here. Ugh, not that much stuff. Tapeworm is so weird. In a game that's pretty weird, it's weird. You know. What's this? Another taser? No, it's like a gun. I love how Billy and Jimmy are like, they take, pick up a gun, they throw it, they're holding it by the barrel. Gonna throw it. It's the opposite of fucking Game Gear, Double Dragon, where he's like a gun freakazoid. Ugh. Ugh, more, more of these guys. Okay, that's fine. That's fine too. I do find some of the lab, like some of the space sections and the lab section goes on maybe a little bit too long. Like, you're, you're engaged for the most part, but there, there's a few waves of enemies where I'm like, ah, that wave could have been, like, two waves shorter. I'm just saying. Okay. There's Thorny Triple Threat. Marion 2! Uh, this, this thing. This, this is probably as over-the-top as bosses really get. And to be fair, it's really over-the-top. I remember this one also being particularly tough like there's a lot going on on the screen as you can see uh, but we gotta we gotta destroy the bulbs this is the main thing come on come on come on yeah there 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 it is in a game of of over the topness where that's the the flavor of the day they're like we, no we need to push it harder how about a gigantic uh piranha plant monster that has two arms that 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 are a shark and, and we'll see what the other one is. Oh yeah, and the shark's eyes are missiles. Because of course they are. It's kind of scary, actually. There's like a body horror element to it. Like, I feel that this was really a prototype for uh, Spider Soars, that other uh, Wave 4 game that released a little bit a uh, while ago, where it's just like a Contra like, but you're fighting dinosaur spiders. It, it comes from the same well of ideas, I think. Ah. Gotta stop this. Yeah. Go away. Please die. No. Nope. Okay, that was wrong. That was not correct to do. There you go. Thank you for that glowing weak point. 
Yeah, I just go straight into that, why not? That was another load-bearing boss. So Haunted Forest, although this, it doesn't start as Haunted Forest, weirdly enough. It starts as riding part of the boss down a underground ice cave. Having fun at the beach. And of course, some fun surfer music. When I think of surfer music, I don't even think of the Beach Boys anymore. I think of Metal Gear Solid 3. <laughs> and it's it's weird radio frequencies that like healed you or soothed you or, or filled up your stomach. Okay, please go away, Roxas. You can lose a lot of lives here because if you fall off this once, you instantly... Oh my god, you instantly lose a life. Please go away, Bubbo. I'm pretty sure if I die here, I start this stage over. really don't want to. Oh! Oh, scared me, actually. Now we're in Haunted Forest proper, which I think is probably maybe it's what inspired the uh, Haunted Haunted Lost Forest level in River City Girls 2. Desecratious! <laughs> Desecratious! <laughs> Tumular! Tumbul- like, uh, amazing! Who could say no to Tumbular? What is this? I forgot you. I don't even know what this is, this weapon. Oh, yeah! Oh my god, skeleton goddamn warriors. I think these are essentially just Williams's. Just, they're skeletons. So you can't pick up a head. I'm not sure if it's good for anything, but I have gotten head right now. So that's always important. Okay, it just explodes and then nothing happens. <laughs> Cause damage. Didn't even intimidate them really. And these are Linda's cause they're doing a sexy lady pose. You know the one. Oh, yeah, yo, pretty sneaky. But how about here? Good. Okay. I don't think I can continue without. Oh my god. That was amazingly timed. I don't think I can continue until this last skeleton where there he goes. I like, I respect you, skeleton, but you have to go. I need to, I need to progress. Yeah. What the butt? What the butt? What? That's what I say. Awesome. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm holding. Ah. Oh, that was poor. Didn't didn't expect him there. I was holding the key. At least at least give me some good stuff. A lot of money, one tape. I got rage. The most generic video game term for any sort of power up. God, you're so stupid. How are you not yet extinct? All right, there's a tape smith. I don't think we've seen one yet. So another another very Genzo man creation. So this is where you can actually level up your powers. Increases damage and hits more enemies. So it basically just always increases damage and depending where it's a multi hit thing. Keep on rocking. I wish he had said keep on rolling, but what can you do? I love the little lion, lion guy statues. I'm, I'm sad that I'm breaking them, but you know, it's the name of the game. Oh, Jesus. It's pretty metal. It just like the bracelets that little V still wears and they're just rolling around. That's a, that's a, that's a good uh, stage hazard. Like, that's all she's got. Just calling everyone stupid idiot. Gymnastics. <laughs> Gymnastics. Just say what you're doing. All right, all right, magic blast, magic blast. Oh God, that was it, just two? Huh. Nice. Song Snatch, I don't remember that one. Okay, let's let's try again. Mm-hmm. Yep, nope, yep, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, we're going. Ugh, gotta pick up the money too, damn it. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's what I should be doing all along, to be fair. Took me goddamn long enough. You know, son of a bitch. I mean, what, 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 wow! Yeah. I think, I believe this place has a cool name. It's like ne Neon Fortress. That's sick. Mission 10. Oh, the music here is also perfect. But uh, here is the very much like previous Double Dragon games we've already played. Uh, the final level is this golden martial arts palace. Um, and they did a really good job with this one. Well, with the neon accents and such. I think it's right here, the music. So this is a pretty cool enemy. I like that even in the last level of the game, they're introducing new enemies. I think this is our last one that we get. Uh, but I think in every other level, at least, there's always one, which is appreciated. Okay, this is probably gonna be dangerous. I shouldn't, mm. I don't learn, do I? What are you, what are you in you? Oh, oh, lots of traps. Lots of traps in this place. Okay, one up, I'll take that. 
Ooh, bit of wood. Nice. Or should I say board with nail in it? Okay, cool. Another silhouette. A board with nail in it is the ultimate weapon when you really think about it. No man of martial arts can really stand up to it. Oh, thank you. I was just, I was like, please drop an abobo on me right now. Okay, yeah. You, you, you know his body's down there. You do want to give it a little mm, love tap. Yeah. Ah. No, oh. I was almost cool. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. What do we got? Oh, got more missiles. Let's let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Uh. Huh. Whoa. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, of course, of course. I, I had to watch it at the very end there. Oh, shit. <sighs> it's all falling apart now. You were impressed. You were all impressed for about, like, maybe 15 seconds. I'll take it. Oh, fancy blue abobo. Watch out. Ooh. I don't know what really happened there, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Couldn't even really see what he was doing and was able to uh, duck it. Okay, let's... Yeah, how about this? <laughs> Whoops. Fun. I think this is kind of a boss found. There you go. Mm-hmm. Come on, you gotta have something worthwhile. All right, a battery. That's all right. Oh, extra life. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, what, what about you? Another extra life. Ah, oh, not another grenade. Battery, sure. Oh, is this a tapeworm? Yep. Oh! That was actually pretty sick. A lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff out of them. Absorb. Oh, it's another one. Just pre-tapping. Okay, a lot of money. I don't need many, any more batteries. We have a third? Yep. Such a weird creature. What's the lore behind this creature? Should Vanti Vigia do a fucking lore video on Double Dragon? Oh my god, do I even have- Oh, I don't know which one's good anymore. My memory is... Shit. Yeah, sure. Only one key, though. I wonder which one was the best one. Ah, my ass. Hurts so bad. Not gonna get me this time way forward from- Way forward from, like, ten years ago. There we you go. You got nowhere to run, Skull McGannon! Now, where's Marion? Oh, where are my manners? I haven't introduced you to the new and improved Marion. I call her Evil Marion. <laughs> I'm bad. You evil jerk! You're going down! Silence, you baby! <laughs> <laughs> this, this is art. I don't even know why that's funny. It just is. I guess it's because of Sean Velasco's... Uh, delivery. Evil Marion's a good twist. I I always like that, just to see what they look like. When you theorize what violent or you know Shin whatever looks like, you, you want to actually do see it. You just don't want it to be locked as like a, an idea. So having this weird red you know uh, evil eye just as her like crotchal area armor. That's cool. Nice little 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 cape. Very Morgan-esque. I think it's a sweet design. I have no idea what's happening. I don't know what I should be doing. Okay. <laughs> nice. She just nuked me. Sick. Oh, you. Watch me throw my hat. <laughs> come on, 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 come on. Oh. Thought I had him there. Nice. I think she is buffing him though. Not any not anymore. This is pointless. I'm a master of space and time. Follow me if you dare. Oh, believe me. I dare. Nice. I double dragon dare. Double dragon dare. They should say that shit all the time. Black double dog dare you. Ah, yes. My item is returned to me. I'll use the power of love to send you after him. Nice. Oh, and uh, I'm pretty sure human bodies can not survive this transition. So, uh. What? Uh, it'll be fine. Just go. Okay, why not? It's like I already say Mary, and now I'm just going in for the punishment. So we're now in our mecha robot form, because that's where this game was going. It had to go. So you see how this stage is kind of spacey almost? It's again, I kind of think that the space theme would have continued. Uh, enemies are here just to show you how powerful you are now. Just one hit murderizes everybody. I don't know why these Williamses are in are in this pocket dimension but they're but they're here lots of abobos so you can feel like a real man oh that was sick i'll take it don't need it but i'll take it 
You've taken my pride! You scrapped my rocket dojo! Laid waste to my laboratory! Broke my televisions! <laughs> and murdered countless Williamses! All I wanted was a date! This ends now! Giga Skullmageddon. Tengen Toppen Gurren Lagan Skullmageddon. So yeah, bringing back the theme. Excellent. His moves are sick. He barfs some sort of energy on you. This is this is uh, one of the better boss fights. Like I, I think for at least a smallish indie game, you know, uh, uh, versus what they could possibly do technically, artistically, gameplay wise. Uh, it goes on a fair bit. Should have rolled. And of course, uh, bad guy matching your same power set. So you both have similar armor is is always sick. He's only blinking a tiny bit, and by the time you get to him, ah oh, shit! I can keep doing that. I just I just really need this damage. I need it bad. I gotta stop this shit. No 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 no! It's, oh, I forget what he does here. I'm, I was just should I leave? I don't know where to go. Yeah, no, now's the time. Like, like, Skull Mageddon's no joke, man. He doesn't play. For for how skeletor they made him, like, this is a pretty epic boss fight. I'm always surprised every time I get to it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you do not want to get hit by that. I forget even what it is, but I remember it not being good. Do it. Surprise! Damn it. He's really flashing, though. I feel like we're like one good hurricane kick away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that it? No, not so hasty. There you go. Uh, I, was, I was gonna wait this out. Just don't get hit by. Yeah. Uh, see, you gotta want. You gotta make noises. That's how. That's how a boss knows they're finished. If you make the noises. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I didn't have any, I didn't have any, whatever, it's fine. Those are two sick last minute rolls. Oh, what are we gonna do here? Well, first get the mithril. Maybe the knee, maybe I'll just do the spin kick. Now I have enough energy. All right, here we go. And IGN is like three out of ten. Like, did they see the did they beat it? I don't think they beat it. It's so good. Can't even stand it every time. It's like the best ending to any video game ever. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, I think in two player mode you do have to fight each other. Uh and you you get the um, you get the whatever Jimmy brother, Jimmy brother, whatever Jimbo brother you are that uh You'll be holding Mary in there. It's 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 sweet, you know, fighting for her, I guess. Who will own her? <laughs> so Double Dragon Neon, it is it is not a perfect game by by any means, but like I love it so much. I you know, it's maybe weird art style where it contrasts between the the 3D models and the 2D sprites and all that. You know, some of the gameplay being like, you know, it can use a few more moves, blah blah blah. It doesn't really matter. It's like a 4.7. Uh, bimmies out of five easily. Um, I would love this to get like a like a, a proper remaster with some things fixed, maybe new content, blah blah blah. I, I don't know. I, j I just love it so much. I hope you loved it too. Uh, I, I decided full, full. We're doing all of it here. Um, there's still one more game to play. We're we're almost there, folks. So here we are at the end of this long, long road. Double Dragon 4. Nuclear wars of civilization, nature, alike in ruin. Pillaging and extortion have become a commonplace as the world's few remaining. Wow, that's going fast. The earth has become a dark place where violence rules humanity. There are two brothers who are different. They start against all that. They use their, they people call them the, the double the dragons. Double dragon. Yeah, lots of time to read that. That's it. <laughs> okay. That's the first janky thing that's going to be happening in this Double Dragon 4 playthrough. So should I take red pants or blue pants? It doesn't matter which one is which anymore, does it? It makes no sense. Their hair colors don't change for some reason. 
After overcoming the power of the Gensatsuken technique, Billy and Jimmy set up so Setsuken dojos across the U.S. to preserve the peace. One day, Billy and Jimmy are driving through the desert on the way to the West Coast Dojo. West Side is the worst. They're like, we really don't want to go to the West Coast. Jimmy, it looks like we're going to head San Francisco soon. Look out. There's a car coming up behind us. So Jimmy is red in this. All right. All of a sudden, a car slammed to them at full speed. Look at the drama and the act. Mission one. Okay, I thought we were going to be in a car. That's disappointing. So, Double Dragon 4 is a return to form. Uh, the original creator of Double Dragon, uh, along with the original composer of the first, like, two games or something, uh, worked on this. Arc System Works published it. And it's massively disappointing. I don't know what a lot of people were expecting. When when I was envisioning what a Double Dragon 4 would look like, I would not think back to, you know, old games, like the NES versions. Now, as we've discussed and talked about, um, those are some of the best versions. The NES version, this is clearly modeled specifically after Double Dragon 2 NES, right? Um, but I, 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 it's like, there was more advanced games, like, I don't know, Super Double Dragon or Double Dragon Advance that, you know, looked better than, sounded better than this. Because as you go through, you're going to see how kind of limited this game's scope and and graphics and everything. And it's just like, for Mega Man 9 and 10, I think that worked. I, I, I don't think I think that worked. I, it did work, right? People were blown away by the nostalgia. And I think you might get blown away by nostalgia um, maybe when this was first announced, maybe mainstream Double Dragon fans or just mainstream fans in general, like, oh, cool, an old retro thing. The problem is that this doesn't really, from, from the last time I played this, this is the first time in quite a long while, um, the last time I played this, I was just like, that was, all right. There's, there's weird stuff going on. It's really strange, uh, a lot of the choices that were made in this game. That being said, it's still there's still some highlights, certainly. Uh, moves are easier to do than ever. You're not straining to do hyper uppercuts and, and spinning kicks and such. The, the control is not an issue at, at all, actually. And fortunately, it does have that other really great thing that I do enjoy that I've already talked about when we played Double Dragon 2 and even Double Dragon 1 on NES, which is like more of a um, action platformer with some beat-em-up elements. Here's Burnov again. I don't know why Burnov's here on the West Coast. That's a little, that's a little weird. Ah. Stay down, Birdie, no! Oh, God. And then here, here we go. Hyper uppercut, that's, that's, I have to remember to use that for when someone's right in front of me. Oh my God, that weird spinning head thing. So straight, mission one clear, just like that. So we've unlocked Williams in two player dual mode. I think that's the other highlight of this game. Burnoff, what are you doing here? Just doing our jobs is all, you damn Libronas. What, who hired you for a job like this? Jake of the Renegades. Jake of the Snakes. So I do appreciate also little cutscenes, but the cutscenes are not nearly as, I don't know. They're, they're missing a little something compared to Double Dragon 2. And just visually looking at this, it's weird. This game, I think you can only play it in 16 by nine. And it just, the sprites are so small because of it, or, or the camera's slightly a little zoomed out. There's just a lot of real estate. So there's a lot of walking, just walking from left to right without much going on. You cannot dash in this, which is, I, I think a, a flaw is, is things like that. And everything just kind of adds up. The two player dual mode is probably like an absolute highlight because you can unlock like something like 10, 15 characters. It's some ludicrous number. Like every enemy in the game and every boss. Would you want to play that long term? Are they going to be hosting Evo side tournaments? They have not and they never will. So this is the remix soundtrack too. It's not too bad. It sounds a little off when paired with the old sound effects and stuff, and even the visuals. Like, it, like this soundtrack sounds more advanced than the game is. It sounds like it, it might, you know, do better in a Double Dragon Advance. 
Okay, so you can't duck, so there you go. Oh, oh god, that was close. Okay, I think this is Jake of the Renegades and an Abobo. He's finally here performing for us. So yeah, I think a lot of people were kind of disappointed this didn't, you know, pick up on the Super Double Dragon 4. It was never called Super Double Dragon 4, it was just called Return Double Dragon, Double Dragon 4. Um, that this wasn't a sequel to that. But the creator of Double Dragon, he didn't work on uh, Super Double Dragon. So uh, maybe that's that's the reason why uh, the choices made in that game are not his choices. Jimmy, that guy must be Jake. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, that he looked like a Jake. Let's get on top of that trailer and make sure he doesn't get away. Fortunately, there was a trailer that was driving along. Billy and Jimmy jumped on top of the speeding truck. So yeah. Uh, like many, many uh, Double Dragon games that we played before, Advance, uh, and even Super, oddly enough, we have like an on 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 a moving vehicle stage. Except I don't recall if there's any danger of falling off this at all. There definitely is in this game in general, but I don't know if it's on, on this stage specifically. And it's like, I, I know Double Dragon Neon was divisive among fans and stuff just because of its, its big shift in tone. Even though, like me personally, as I've you know already kind of mentioned, I think there's so much passion and and like hard work put into that. Clearly, you know, I, it it did a different thing with the direction certainly, and I think some people were like expecting something uh, maybe like that uh, in terms of its mechanics and how advanced it was, but with you know a more serious tone. So when it just like oh let's just go back to NES again. And it's like, I think that style retro remake, like this is what, 2017? I think by 2017, it was kind of like, if you're going to do that, you have to be bringing something new to the table. You can't just, you can't just rely on nostalgia. Like when did Mega Man 9 and 10 come out? Like 2009 and 10, I think? I forget. It was, it was like, you know, like 13 years ago, 13 years ago. So if Double Dragon's like, now it's my turn to do that, but it's 13 years later. I, I, I think if this was some sort of remake of, of Double Dragon 2 with quality life improvements and stuff, people would be like, okay, that's that's fine. See how people respond to that. Make it, you know, uh, yeah, make a, a pixel remake of it. Mason, there's no way you two brothers can take down Jake. Uh, Willie's dead, and now the West Coast is Jake's territory. You guys defeated Willie? I thought we did. Like, twice. Pretty sure we killed him. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you guys taking down the Black Warriors. You bastards! And you can see there's definite, like, like a disparity in the, the quality of the background. Sometimes they look really good and authentic, and other times it just feels like they photoshopped it, like, within three seconds of just Google searching, like, an image. Uh, not this stage. This is, like, probably one of the better looking ones, actually. But, but some of them definitely feel like they're from another source, like they didn't quite belong in this game. Um, and it's just one of those things that just makes you think, like, not a lot of money or time was spent on this. It was just kind of a nostalgia uh, cash grab, really. And for w what that is, there's this weird box. These boxes, I remember this, they appear like a couple times and they don't do anything. You just kind of walk through them. You can't jump off them. You can't attack them. They're just there. I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's like something they wanted to do more with and they didn't finish it. And I remember this is the um, this is the uh, Steam version I'm playing. I remember when the PS4 version came out. I was like screen tearing the shit. Can I really not do anything with this? Yeah, the PS4 was like a technical mess, and it's like. Why? This is what I'm talking about, these stages? Like, it's just big expanses of kind of nothing? A lot of the time? Not all the time, but a lot? That's cool. That's that's a nice change. So we're against three bosses. Burnout and a Bobo and, and, and Jake the Dog over here. I do like his sprite. The new sprites in this as well. There'll be a couple new enemies. I already fought the cool dudes with the skull masks. I like them, obviously, because... But they kind of, some of them look better than, well, most of them look better than the original sprites. Like, Jake's sprite looks better than Billy or Jimmy's. Even if you defeat me, you won't save your partner. Huh, partner? Wait, do you mean Marion? How is she alive? I'm so confused now. 
Marion, huh? So that's so that's her name. I kind of feel bad for her. Bastado! What did you do with Marion? We don't even... What? We did that. All right, so here's, here's a nice uh, classic Double Dragon tune. So, so yeah, somehow they kidnapped Marion. Somehow they kidnapped Marion Palpatine, and, and they're, they've been kidnapped again. I don't know. I actually don't even remember that happening. I don't even remember Marion really being like an issue. So the other little thing about gameplay is even though these moves are easier to do, and I appreciate that, it's like, that's it. That's the only thing that the game has. The moves are easier to do. And there's like one or two other new ones. But there's no expanded combo system. There's no real defensive move you can do. Uh, there's no juggling. Uh, there's nothing. So like all those, all those gameplay innovations that we saw in Double Dragon Advance, Super Double Dragon, and Double Dragon Neon, it's like, oh, well, that's gone. None of that. Just, ju just Double Dragon 2 with some additions. And I guess if they're making a sequel to... Uh, there's not even Double Dragon 3 shit in here. You know, there's no selectable... There's no multiple characters. There's no weapons. There's no, like... T I, I, I don't know if there's tag team moves, actually, when I think about it. Even if you say this is like, oh, it's a sequel to Double Dragon 3. Well, it's got kind of less stuff you can do. That's sort of lame. I have this. I have this spinning head thing. There, I got that. You know, there, there's no XP system. Can unlock new moves. That type of shit. So, is that supposed to be like Alcatraz in the background there? Oh, that's weird. And it's like there's not even any sprites from Double Dragon Three. Like these are all two, except for the new ones that were made for this game. You could have had even more characters if you used Double Dragon Three sprites. Just saying. It, it's weird that a mode that was in Double Dragon Zebo unlocking all those characters, like it's eerily similar to this. So I'm wondering if the Double Dragon creator um, t took a bit of inspiration from that, perhaps. Obviously, the two-player dual mode uh, from Double Dragon 2 NES, you know, make makes sense. But you can unlock additional characters for that. Please go away, burn off. I have no time. So yeah, that 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 was like two or three screens together, and you just fight burn off again. I like that skull guy. Where's Marion? Cody. The Okada sisters have taken her to Japan, and they've taken a liking to her. Uh, Okada sisters, who are they? They're the head of the Okada Corporation that controls Japan. Why are you after us? When you get to Japan, give the Okada Tower a visit. Double Dragons Brothers headed to the harbor. So that'll take them, what, a month to get there from San Francisco to 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 Japan? Hey, Marion's dead. That's for that's for sure happened. So they mentioned the Okada sisters. That's the Jake was not the boss, the Jake of the Renegades. We're, we're done with that now. That's not a thing. Uh, so the, the real boss is the Okada sisters. Uh, Kaders you have never heard of that for some reason hate the, hate the Lee brothers. I'm not going to stop. You have to stop me. Oh, and, and we're going on a cool ship. So that's neat. You know, oh, never mind. I thought I could walk on that, but I guess not. Not sure if I can hit anybody off this. It'd be super satisfying if I could, but I don't know if that's a thing. We'll try. We'll try to set it up, but don't be angry at me if I can. Okay, never mind. They're dead. Well, we don't have to now. See, we dodged a bullet there because we all could have been very angry at me if I if I had botched that. Ugh. Did he just kill himself? I think he did. <laughs> he did. Yeah, you kicked me in the face, idiot. But you died. I weird okay that that's the roper I forgot I do like Cody's little flipping kick there ow so yeah very double dragon too oh please get killed by the giant bamboo yeah I'm so smart SMRT I don't know if these kill you in one hit I'd like to think they probably do that's why I'm tray nervous uh. 
Now it launches them straight up. Oh, into the pasta soup you go. Better let me, you better let the screen scroll. Oh, green Abobo. He is the captain. He is really dressed like the Hulk now, straight up. Captain Abobo and his, and his first mates. Burn off one and burn off two. Casey, hey, your boyfriend's gonna get to Japan soon. You excited? What, why are you do? who are you people? You know, I've always been interested in the U.S. That's where we're going to take over next. But before that, we've got to take care of the Double Dragon Brothers, of course. You're all insane! Who will think of the children? Casey, do you really have to do all this? Shannon, the reason our family was slaughtered was because we were too weak. Strength is everything in today's world. Shannon, you need to understand this. Mama and Papa want us to kill the Double Dragons. So yeah, here's a new... Uh, well, and new, it's, it, it's, it's the same enemy type, it is a new sprite, these guys were not in Double Dragon 2. Or not this exact sprite, maybe, maybe there is a version of these guys later on? So yeah, the, the, I don't know why these sisters kind of know that, that we're already here, or about to get to Japan, I hope Marion's excited to see us. But yeah, these Okada sisters, um, you know, we'll, we'll play the rest of the game, see where things go. Uh, they're not great villains, uh, at all. Um, at least, you know, just doing the whole punching Marion thing again, like, I thought we, I thought we were past that. I guess, I guess we're not. So we had, let's just do it again. That, we already did that, like, two, two, a thousand times, really, in, in my head. Uh, but it's already kind of blasé. Like, you know, do a different spin on it or, or something. Or don't do it at all. Uh, just saving Marion again. Yeah, we were already, like, Double Dragon Neon already lampooned it a bunch, but I'm betting that no one that worked on this was, like, even taking any consideration to the things Double Dragon Neon, like, did gameplay-wise or, you know, character-wise, really, and that's a little disappointing. Uh, speaking of disappointing, I cannot go up here. I am fucked. I am so boned. Ugh. Even though there was a nuclear war, it seems like the world is getting along great. There's commerce, there's corporations, there's conveyor belts that are running 24-7. I guess that's just a goofy 80s thing, like, even though the, you know, like, Hokuto no Ken is, is very realistic most of the time, and, and like, it, everything's just shitty all the time. Like, if you, if you got water, you're a god, or if you got, like, functioning uh, motorcycles or something. Like, that's all you need. And that, oh, uh, in Double Dragon World, it's, oh, 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 my God, this dude is just wrecking me. It should, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Okay, one guy just fell. He's like, I don't want to deal with this. I'm just, I'm just ending myself. Okay, that dude's, that dude's having fun. Good job, sir. All right, yeah, here we go. Yeah! Oh, oh! <laughs> I won! I did it! Why am I back on the ladder? The Double Dragon Brothers headed to Okada Tower on a bike they took from the Renegades. That's cool. I wish we could have, like, a cool bike section. Like a road rash type thing? It doesn't even have to be, like, behind the back of, of the riders. So that says Okada Tower above me. I like this stage. I like the, the lighting on the ground. It, it kind of looks nice. Um, that, that level that we were, we were just in on the docks, like, I, I forgot to mention it, but that, that background of the city is just literally a photo of a city skyline. Probably Tokyo, if I'm, if I'm gonna guess. And another weird thing about just this game in general is just, like, how so little weapons there was a bat that we got once maybe there was a i think there was yeah it was just a bat i was trying to think if there was a bottle and these like chain bases that, and that's it i think maybe some come later i think there was one knife it's just for the amount of stages and enemies that you beat there's a startling lack of weapons you can actually use and these chains have these like little sticks what happened to little sticks Love to, to hit some dudes with some little sticks. These guys, even these Lindas, they don't carry whips, which is again kind of their thing. Yeah, there's there's that dumbass spin. I don't know how I'm actually doing it, but 
All right, we're going on up. We're almost... Oh! That's a horrible experience. You know what's weird? is like that, that elevator has to open up and Billy has to see the Abobo inside, then walk in. It's like there's any place for that Abobo to hide. Oh my God, this section. Oh God, I remember this. Yeah, the disappearing girders of Okada Tower. Oh my God, oh my God. Uh, uh. When you go inside like the, uh, the, like the fighting palace, like usually at the end of Double Dragon 1 or 2, like that, okay, there's mysticism involved there. I don't know. That's, what is that crazy attack, Abobo? Yeah, there's, there's magic or martial arts, you know, uh, bullshit going on. I, I, I'll say I'll believe that. That there's disappearing platforms, you know, traps or whatever. These are just standard girders. Are you just expected to believe that Japanese girders could just disappear whenever? Oh, yeah. That was good. We're going straight to the top of Tokyo Tower here to tell Darian that we love him. All right, so one of the Okada sisters just got away. There's nothing we could do. Yeah. And fight this one jobber. All right, three job, four job. Okay, Jake's back! Like, you know when bosses get reused and beat them ups all the time after you defeat them once? But, like, not like bosses where there was, like, a storyline booking. Oh my god, he just killed himself! Uh, so, so, so one thing is that they certainly made this game longer. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'd say an hour long. Hey, Roper, where did the Okada sisters go? If you really want to know that bad, you should head to Rinka in uh, Kabukicho. So their nice little background, it's just very colorful. It reminds me of uh, a bunch of the SNK KOF stages, you know? So there, there, there's absolutely positives to, to Double Dragon 4 in that regard. It's just, I don't think they, they kind of outweigh the negatives. Like if this had come out around the same time as Mega Man 9 or 10, I, I think I'd give it a lot more slack. I'd be more like amazed and stuff that, you know, Again, 13 years past that point, and after like the the cool gameplay innovations, can anyone know one? No one. Okay. After the cool gameplay innovations of Double Dragon Neon, um, yeah, just just ignoring everything, just kind kind of just you know, again, not bad, just just disappointing. I think there's gonna be a boss here, but I can't remember who. Oh no, there there we are. It's just it's just Yokozuna. Yeah, I went out all in and that I got all the digital versions and I got the limited run, uh, like deluxe physical. And I got that when I went to Video Games New York, in New York, uh, last time I was there, like in 2018. And I saw that box, I was like, oh, this is so cool. Actually, to be fair, you know what? That, the, that deluxe edition, it inspired me to be like, you know what? I think that's what, uh, wow, that was easy. Uh, I think that's what we should do for the takeover where I'm like, it really doesn't need to be anything super deluxe. Doesn't need action figures. Doesn't need any of that stuff. You got me. It looks like I'm no match for you. I'm Kodani, the Yokozuna. Hey, Tubbs, Tubby. The girls are waiting for you at the castle in Odawara. Billy, we need to hurry. All right. Switching to the uh, classic NES style music now. Um, yeah, I was saying about, uh, yeah, the, the, the physical edition of this, it just had a fancy case, cool artwork on it, and it had a full color instruction manual, and it had a poster. And I was like, you know what, that's that's all I really want to do. I don't think, you know, this tiny indie beat-em-up that I helped with uh, is a very low-key release. It, it doesn't require shitloads of stuff, medallions and, and masks and whatever so i think when i saw that that double dragon 4 one i was like yeah no that's a nice standard release we have lots of great artwork to use for a poster double-sided one so why not just do that so these are the two nin new ninja girl sprites they're kind of they're a little off they're actually like too modern in a way like i can kind of see their eyes too much like they're slightly more animated than i would think uh, that the others, uh, they, they just contrast a little against all the other sprites, I think. Oh my god. And also, the thing about this, they're super annoying to fight! Oh, Jesus. Good. Good, you die on those. Uh, uh. Oh my god. 
One thing about this castle is the level, I remember it being super long and super not great. I remember there like being a labyrinth or, or something like Oh, Jesus Christ. What is this? The Naruto Shinobi Force? Get out of here. What's really weird is that the cutscene disparity between that and the character designs here. It's very clear that when Billy and Jimmy are fighting, they are just wearing a waistcoat, like a vest. They look like Aladdin, and that's it. Well, no, they're wearing pants too, right? And but they in the cutscenes they have. Oh, this is what I was talking about before. I don't know center. In the cutscenes, they both have white T-shirts on. I like the music though. And they, they have some type of boots or, or whatever. They're very clearly visible. But, you know, they're still like, no, we, it still has to be the exact NES DD2 sprite. So it looks like he has to be uh, shoeless. Don't color the boots any other way. And also don't make sure that they don't have the shirts. Just fucking edit the sprites. Oh, no. All right. Well, it's just one, so it can't be too bad. I dusted that, that the other sumo. Oh. I feel like I went on a good path, though, to get here. I feel like this is, like, an encounter. Like, near near the end of getting through this labyrinth. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, no, this guy. He has this bullshit, like, like, a Kodokan move. Look at that. It's invisible, too. I think there's an encounter later, you have to fight like seven of them or some shit. And they're doing that move constantly, and it's just the worst. Wow! I did get through that a lot easier than, than I remember it being. Uh, Shida, you blocked my attacks. I admit your techniques are fine, but you're still no match for the Akata Sisters. But I shall reward you for defeating me. I'll lead you to the Akata Sisters' private villa. That's nice of you. So, now we're in like this dark alley, like, in front of a mansion. This looks very Resident Evil, almost. Like a Resident Evil remake, but still. J it's a flying butt attack! And oh my god! Is this their private villa? I feel like that dude... Oh. It's not a great look where it's like, this is, this is the optimal technique to do. To, like, defeat characters in your beat-em-up fighting game. Don't step on that obvious trap door, you lug nuts! Stupid idiots. Now we're just like reusing Double Dragon 2 music. And, and one, I think. I think this is from one, actually. And I'm still not even sure how Marion's still alive. If this is a true sequel to Double Dragon 2 or 3, she should be dead. Because in all the Japanese made games, I believe she's she's canon dead in, in those. Again, it was only the. Oh my god. It was. Oh, I got so nervous. It's the only the American localization of Double Dragon 3 NES even mentions Marion being in that. Otherwise, she's never even talked about, which makes me think she was dead. I'm so gonna lose a bunch of lives here, aren't I? Oh, oh! Okay, okay, no, that's fine. We're still good, we're still good. It's gonna flip, isn't it? No! Oh! Hey, no, that's perfect, that's fine, that's fine, it's, it's fine. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh. That's so elaborate. That's like... That's like Warner Brothers cartoons. Like Looney Tunes shit. Alright, no snake eater moment there. Billy, where'd you, what, what? What happened? I just saved her out of nowhere? I didn't even press anything. Okay, well we saved Mary and she was just there. Oh, that's rough. That's rough ass shit. There wasn't even a boss there. Okay, while I'm fighting this, can we have that screen that talking to Marion screen so people can read it? I have it up there for like 10 seconds while I while I'm fighting. Just have it overlaid, please. Thank you. But yeah, no no boss there. Just Marion. Just it, it just goes straight into a cutscene. Oh, you say Marion? Well, do I really need to defeat the Okada sisters? Can we just go home? We got a lot. We have another month long boat ride. Even longer if we're going back to New York City. See, let's just give these guys a move where the player has to, like, not play the game for, for a little while. Oh, Jesus. I, I have, like, two credits left. Three lives, and this is, like, the last stage. Alright, two bosses. A gun. So 
Someone has a gun. There's a, there's Okada's sister A, Shannon and Cheryl or some shit. <laughs> I just got a gun. Is she like Machine Gun Willie's like like illegitimate Japanese daughters? Oh, oh my my sister. We have to know the meaning of true strength. That's just shooting people with guns. Oh god. Bra bra. It's just like. Filling my brain with lead here. Okay. Uh, now, now I'm actually nervous because I don't know if zero doesn't count as a as a credit. That yeah, that's stupid. What I just said. And again, this background. I'm pretty sure that's just a photo. Oh. That was anticlimactic, wasn't it? Casey, ugh, ugh, come on, kill me <laughs> once and for all. Please kill me. Do it. You don't use that art of so sets you can to kill. You've I've literally killed like hundreds of people. But we were trying to kill you. Why didn't you finish me off? Why were you trying to kill me? Cuz I don't think you're a bad person person that kidnapped my girlfriend. Can someone like me really keep on living? Okay, so you're not weak at all. You're the strongest, kindest woman. You're the kindest. You always have my back. My brother and I might be strong, but you also recognize our weaknesses. Conquering those weaknesses is the very principle of so Setsu Ken. Uh, can even someone like me turn over a new leaf? What the hell is happening? If you're thinking like that, then you're already halfway there! And knowing it's half the- What a bunch of horse shit! God damn! Double Dragon 4... You are... A... Three... Bimmy. Yeah, out of five Bimmy Jimmies. It's it's because of your solid nature in terms of, of gameplay, solid, not spectacular, and, you know, just the fact that it even came out, like, I'm being generous with the three, I really think. Because, like, I'd rather, I'd honestly rather play, like, Double Dragon 2, because that's an actual blast of nostalgia, whereas this is, like, not really quite there. I, I you know, I, I just wish this would have been better, is, is my main gripe. But um, that kind of is the end of our Double Dragon story for now. So uh, I'm going to have to wrap this up in a, in a nice uh, outro, right? Uh, because this deserves it, yeah? Wow. So that was certainly a journey. A journey that spanned 36 years and 60-something games. I don't know. I, I honestly lost count. We knocked out and or killed dozens upon dozens of Williamses, Lindas, Ropers, and of course, Bobos, and came out the other side unscathed, I, I think. Amongst all these Lee Brother adventures, you can clearly see which were the shining diamonds and which were the dull rocks. So here's a quick recap of what I thought were the most memorable and the most fun. Double Dragon 1 and 2 on the NES, the PC Engine remake of Double Dragon 2, Double Dragon Advance, the Neo Geo Fighter, Return of Double Dragon Sleeping Dragon Has Awoke, and finally the Xbox 360 remake Wander of the Dragon. <laughs> I'm just I'm just yanking your nunchuck. I, I meant Double Dragon Neon. I'll also give a really mild recommendation for Double Dragon 4, and finally an asterisk on both Double Dragon Zebo and the iOS remake. I really wish those had gotten ported to literally anything else because they're so fun and unique. They're just, you know, pretty unobtainable to the common person. It's unclear what the future holds for this franchise. Arc System Works seems to at least be somewhat interested in keeping the Lee brothers around as they gave WayForward permission to include them in the River City Girls franchises as cameos, but at the same time, it's been six years since the release of Double Dragon 4 with nothing other than those cameos. Now, even if Arxis were to summon the Double Dragons again, what guys should it be in? The Neon style? Another DD4 retro throwback? Making the fan game Ultimate Double Dragon official or something completely new? One thing's for sure, despite a pretty rocky legacy, the franchise has still managed to endure the better part of 40 years. And with that kind of longevity, I think the Lee brothers still have some fight in them left. Thanks again to any of you out there that made it this far into the video, and thanks to all the editors that also made it possible. And if there's any other projects like this you'd like me to tackle in the future, post up some suggestions in the comments below, or drop me a line in the dojo that is my Twitter. 
Until then, see you next time, Dragon Warriors. I, I have to go get some sleep now. Bye.